We didn't get to it last week, and, and we almost missed it because uh, Corey Feldman... Um, Jesus yeah. Christ, this guy never quits. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, well, the week before, I mean, obviously, we talked about his his uh, drive-by stabbing or whatever he had that brutal was just attack. a little freckle on his chest. Uh, he was poisoned. He, he made some tweet that he had a big announcement uh, last week. Oh, yeah. And then he put up a video, but then he took it down. But luckily, someone got it. Um, so, I mean, I haven't gone through it. And it's not short, of course. <laughs> I like the title, <laughs> Feldman's Truth, or does he just want money again? <laughs> yeah, everyone's, even the people that I think supported him are starting to get hip to his fucking game. Well, that dude, he, does. he really does. He's on like his fifth or sixth GoFundMe. At this point, it's like, hey, dude, you can't make a living off of everyone else just donating to you forever. And I, I don't know what he says here, but it must not be good because he took it down and said, okay, I want to focus on my movie his uh, what Baron Corbin movie? Uh, yeah, Baron um, it's, something Baron. It's like he's competing it's with The Baron. Rock about his movie about Paige. He's making his own movie about Baron Corbin. But this is when he had his special announcement. Corbin um, Nash from last week. Corbin Nash, thank you. Hi everybody, this is Corey Feldman. I'm coming to you with a brand new video. I didn't plan on making another one of these videos, and I was quite frankly hoping I wouldn't have to. Even though he made an announcement about the video. Ended. Yeah, yeah. Well, and plus he just continues to make these videos all the time to be like, okay, we, if we can get another couple of grand in the bank account, this will get us closer to the truth. We're so close to the truth. This guy had the world eaten out of the palm of his hands in the fall when it was, everyone was about the Me Too. And he was too caught up in his own jealousy that like he wasn't getting all the attention, yeah. <laughs> but he was oh, getting yeah. more attention. He stretched the world too thin. Just like his lips. What, three months ago. <laughs> and, uh... Once it ended, I figured I would be done with this and all this harassment, the targeted harassment, would stop. But it hasn't stopped. I like how someone had the forethought to record this, but did it through computer speakers. <laughs> like, yeah. they didn't know how to regular record it. Although I wonder, I, I could almost just see this is how Corey had the audio. <gasps> oh, you're you know right. What I mean? You're yeah. right. I almost wouldn't blame the person that capped it. I bet you this is just how it went out. Here's oh, a boom mic right. leaning up against a lamp, kind of sort of pointed towards him. Right. This group of people has been taunting and terrorizing us on a daily basis. They call themselves the Wolf Pack, and they're out there making these scandalous, sensational, lying videos about me. Now, <laughs> these don't exist. It's I was just you turning his back on them. Is there any chance that the that A, the Wolf no. Pack, isn't made up? <gasps> what or, if we're in the Wolf Pack? Or could, is it just some kid that's like trolling him and yes. he's like, I'm the Wolf Pack? Or, or is it not even that? It's just he made this up. I think, well, so, God, man, he's put himself in a position where <laughs> him making it up and a kid trolling him both make equal amounts of sense. Because <laughs> uh, it's weird because I wouldn't put it past him and calling it the Wolf Pack is like, shitty enough that he would come up with that and be like yeah they're called the wolf yeah pack. that's who's coming after me but then also he's dumb enough to believe that he's that important well, it's the type of dumb name that if someone was fucking with him and then they finally got him to respond and they're like who are you and he goes <laughs> the wolf pack we're the wolf pack <laughs> and we're coming to get you about my wife and about the whole situation and not only that it's not just the videos but we get blackmail threats we get threats that they're going to make up lies and go to the Time's Up lawyers. We get threats that they're going to take me to the Wait, labor the what? for money. The Time's Up lawyers, you know, the famous Time's Up lawyers. But, like, why are they going to go to the Time's Up lawyers on him? <laughs> the fuck is a Time's Up lawyer? Well, Time's Up the ha is the hashtag about how, like, Time's Up for men that harassing women. Oh, I haven't heard that hashtag. Um, Wait, so they... <laughs> Wait, and I, I think they fun. do have, like, a legal fund, so women aren't afraid to come forward, but I don't get what it has to do with him. Oh, what... Well, so then that's him vaguely talking about how his angels keep coming out and saying, oh, hey. That's right. Yeah. They do come out with they, that. Tons right. of them keep coming out saying, oh, I was harassed or right? it was a, because a terrible were. situation. <laughs> yeah, 100%. So were. that's his way of saying the, they keep threatening to expose these girls. So that's the Time's Up lawyers. Um, it's a continuous ball of perpetuated lies that they just keep making up to try and paint some picture that I'm this terrible person. Okay, so I want to start off by giving you guys the facts of the situation surrounding the stabbing that happened last week. I want to be very clear. Quit because calling it a stabbing. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to go through the all these videos that we've watched as truth videos 
There was what? One, he was just like against a wall. Yeah. There's yeah. one where he was like laying down on he's a rug. He was clearly laying yeah, down the and rug, the camera yeah. was above him and it was supposed to look like a wall behind him. <laughs> and now, it like, even though it's just a regular like recliner or for office, like uh, just like home furniture, it looks like he's in like a villain chair. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's the way he has the lighting position. It's he the, just can't figure this shit out. It's the doorknobs that look like minions in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's been some things that have been misconstrued in the media, and my wife and I want to set the record straight by putting all the details out there so you guys can understand what's really happening and judge for yourselves. First of all, there's been a lie that has been strewn about saying that I was never, uh, I was attacked, but there was no flesh wound, and that I was not penetrated, and that- I was penetrated! No- <laughs> Someone penetrated A me. group of men showed up and <laughs> penetrated me, and that is true. I've been saying it for decades. <laughs> you know, laceration, these are all lies. They're unequivocal lies. Now, I sent a video to TMZ showing that the police were identifying the mark, that they were photographing the mark, and that they were using a, a little slider measurer thing to see how the a width ruler? and the, 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 the depth <laughs> of the mark were, okay? Obviously, it's a small mark. We're not questioning that, but it does exist, and I want you all to know that. So I have brought forth this paperwork. Now, I want you to understand... Why doesn't he just open his shirt he and really, show us it? He <laughs> doesn't understand all the... He really has. He, he, he clearly didn't understand the internet. Then... <laughs> He released a video on the internet and everyone found it. And then everyone started paying attention to him again. And so now he doesn't understand the opposite of the internet. He forgot the real world exists. And now he's like a, like a Twitter rapper where like all they do is release fucking YouTube videos talking yeah. shit about each other. He doesn't, he, the court of opinion is all that matters to him anymore. So instead of and like ignoring it or going away, he, he thinks he needs to release a video showing proof with documents and stuff. Well, but it's great because he's the classic. He's the classic idiot getting trolled. Yeah. Where he, he doesn't realize, like, the more he does this, the funnier oh, yeah. and worse he looks. He's just dumb enough to use the internet without being smart enough to survive on it. <laughs> something. There's something called the HIPAA regulations. The HIPAA regulations basically state that no medical facility is allowed to show... What does his hat say? Faith? I've been trying to figure it... Oh, you're right. Because it kept looking like it said Fuick to me. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a big uh, fan of the Fuick. <laughs> it's a car. My medical results to the media, to any request from any personal person, it just doesn't work that way. They're not allowed to. It's illegal. So... Cops First of all, anybody that's want. claiming that they've got results back and that I'm good to go and I'm safe is a lie. Okay, they can't do that. And it can't be in the police report either because the specific things that I was tested for that we're most concerned with, such as if a disease was put into my body or... If I got uh, that slow of- death? Well, and it's great because he's mad that because he, he wants this idea out there that he could be dead any day because he got stabbed with a needle. But... Even if we don't, we don't have to look at his medical records to be like, well, clearly he's okay. Yeah. I mean, yes, of course, there's a risk where it could take a few months to find something, but nothing deadly. Like if something deadly was going on, they would probably know. Yeah. And no, he didn't get fucking stabbed with HIV or AIDS or whatever. But he's Prove mad. It, Jim. He's mad because people are putting out that fire, but he needs that fire to fuel his GoFundMe. Yes. <laughs> so he's like, stop, say- stop saying I don't have diseases. I, have a di- I could have a disease. We won't know for two months. Please donate as much as you can for two months, it's and crazy. we'll get the truth out there. He really does. He's And he's talking to a group of people right now. Like look, look, The way he's talking and the passion he's talking with, he doesn't realize that it's falling on the ear uh, on like deaf ears like the people that he needs to that he feels like he needs to change the minds of are the people that think he's stupid and are mocking him and the only people that care he wouldn't need to justify to anyway yeah. so he's he's just talking to the wrong audience because he doesn't understand how the internet works at all poison those things don't even show up for anywhere from two to five months in your body okay so there's no way we could have those results because they don't exist. Secondly, the poisons that we're most worried about, if I was injected, are both untraceable and irreversible. <laughs> we'll get more into that in a minute. But for now, oh, I, can't wait. I wanted to show you the exact paperwork. This from- is like when stupid Scott Baio was taking out it paperwork. On- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and His you're right, Mike. Wife, yeah. This is someone who like knows enough to be able to broadcast live, but like 
No one wants to watch your fucking live stream of you holding up papers and trying to point out signatures and words. Yeah, no one's going to look at this paper and be like, oh my god, he's right. I should leave him alone. (laughs) Get some fucking production value. Scan that shit. Get ready to put up a picture in picture or something. come on. I was scanning things when I was in like fucking 2001 when I was a teenager. (laughs) Your butt cheeks. I was scanning my dick. And your dick and balls. I took a (laughs) scan of my dick before you could take, before cameras were accessible. Uh, girls like, yo, let me scan my titties. I'll scan, and you can scan your dick. So we did it, and it was fucking <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> From the night that I went into the hospital, as you can see, we went to Kaiser Permanente. Here's the date that we were there. On top of it, I want to take like you in his head. He really is like, boom. Visit. Here's all the proof. Like he thinks, he thinks that he's like, if a judge and a lawyer in a courtroom were seeing this stuff. They'd be like, oh my God, you're right. Yeah, this is shit. all true. But he doesn't understand that those are the only people on the planet who would look at this and go, oh my God, he's shutting us down. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> he's he's showing us all the things we needed to see. I guess it's ironclad. I guess there's nothing we can do. Plus, no, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, he's showing me his dirty fingernails, and that's all I need to know. <laughs> Plus, no one, no one doubts that he went to the hospital. Yeah, we went to the hospital. We just think you're a liar. Yeah. We just think you're that crazy and that much of a shameless liar that you went to the hospital and wasted everyone's time. Well, and even if he got stabbed, some people aren't even refuting that he got stabbed, but it's clear that you were stoked when you got stabbed because it meant yeah. that you could make a huge <laughs> deal was, about it and call up TMZ and be like, hey, you want to do another story stoked. about me? He was very excited. He was so excited when it happened. He couldn't have been the more excited. The reason for the visit was a stab wound, the diagnosis, puncture wound of abdominal wall. On top of that, these are the lab tests that they took to see what was in my body and what wasn't. And the date was on the 27th. Oh, she's, high, she's, <laughs> higher she's, so <laughs> she's, she's higher than Kristen. I'm not. What? <laughs> she's higher than Kristen right now. <laughs> 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 Winning Jeff's chair. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's great because yeah, she missed that he already fucking pointed that and it's out. It's also the least important thing. Plus, either way, we don't doubt the, the hospital <laughs> has to write down what... Your dumbass says, and your dumbass. He fucking, ordered all those tests. Yeah, well, like it, they're gonna run those tests. It doesn't matter. Well, they don't care. Cash a check. I love that the date only matters if we're led to believe. Like, no, this is paperwork <laughs> from a different stabbing. <laughs> this is you went to the hospital for a different stabbing. And I think this is from a different day. Plus, either way, if I didn't believe you went to the hospital, anyone could print up a fucking piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. Dude, I could fake a hundred pieces of paper. I'm not even that good at that stuff. <laughs> Correct. Well, actually, that was Wednesday morning. On top of it, ah, he corrected her. He corrected her immediately. They, they hate each Shut other. Shut down. They really hate each other. Stuff up here, which says, please start to medicate for HIV pre- preparation. Okay, within Aww. 72 hours. He struggled to read that which word. Which means, in case there was HIV on the needle, they already did the test. They already proved that I don't have HIV in my system at this time. But again, those results would take six months to show up. So they gave me some medicine to prevent the HIV from ever starting. But it would make me sick for a month. So I choose, chose not to take that medicine. Letting you all know. Okay, on top of all that, we also have... Stacks in the chat. He cheated on his wife with a hooker, and then he got an STD, so he stabbed himself to cover <laughs> up. <laughs> uh. A witness. I like how uh, Hooker Cross is like, hey, they- I don't want to be kissed on the lips. He's like, that's fine. I don't have any lips. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, my lips It's impossible off. for me to kiss anyone on the lips. How many did you hear it? I suck so much. I can't, I can't kiss anyone. <laughs> they had tried to reach out to the police, but they never got an interview. My lawyer spoke with that witness. The witness is a fire engineer who works at the local fire station. He builds fires. They happened to see the event, and it was... Why did he call him a fire engineer? <laughs> At first, I thought he meant something different, but then he's like, he works in the fire department. So yeah, he's the guy who <laughs> creates and studies fires. He's he a, builds the uh, fires yeah. and then and then like he designs them in AutoCAD. He's <laughs> a fire engineer, and he had some sort of stick measuring thing. He meant that he, that the fire engine. His friend is the fire engine. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like fucking <laughs> it's the, uh, Herbie. He's just a crazy local <laughs> yeah, It's just a car like. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, he just said that he saw everything. <laughs> He's a transformer. <laughs> Seen by him and another engineer and a captain at that fire station. So we have three witnesses who saw the event take place. Two with a fake and job and one was the captain. The police will be talking to them very soon. On top of that, there may be some video surveillance footage of the event as it took place. So there is that. Uh, maybe. Additionally, Not, sure. I want everybody to know that I am taking all of this information gathered with information that I it's he's really worked up but it's if you think about it say I mean even your has been star like Corey Feldman how uh how much of a bum out how depressing is it that 
everyone's laughing that you got <laughs> stabbed by someone. <laughs> like, say it all, because like, I don't think it happened, but say it did happen. And, well, and he's proving it like, to you. I'm just really like, ah, fuck you, <laughs> idiot. Fuck you, piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. You didn't, it didn't happen, and if it did, I'm happy. Woo! <laughs> I've been collecting for about six months now to prove the collusion between 30 or 40 people who Wolf created Pack. a conspiracy calling themselves the Wolf Pack and terrorizing my <laughs> oh. family. He doesn't know how crazy it sounds. He says it like it's a normal thing. He doesn't realize how crazy it is to say that there's a conspiracy by a group called the Wolf Pack. Well, it'd be so great. Like... It'd be the perfect crime, though, if you did want to terrorize them. You'd be like, you kept nailing the point that we're called the Wolf Pack. Don't you forget it. We're the Wolf Pack. Just because you know when he says it, everyone's like, whatever. The Fuck Wolf Pack is, is the shitty stories about Bill Murray where he goes, no one will no even one, believe no you. One will ever believe I'm the taking wolf. the money out of your purse. Yeah. A daily basis. And it's not just my family they're terrorizing. They're also terrorizing my fans, my supporters, people like yourselves, and you know who you are. Because you've had to open the door and have a surprise of somebody showing up at your doorstep, picking up the phone and having somebody call you in your real phone number. I mean, this what is if someone knocks on your door, Jim, and they're like, "Hey, fucking what's up?" <laughs> and you're like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "It's me <laughs> from the whole pack. It's me, Sierra Hilo. <laughs> what the fuck is it for, for Shield? <laughs> Sierra Hotel, India, yeah. uh, Echo Lima Delta. Here it is. It's me. Tell everyone. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Dun -dun. Across the board, and I've gotten reports that people have been sent to the hospital also in other places. So this is a very, very serious situation that's affecting many people. These people are relentless. They will stop at nothing. I've had to hire lawyers. I've gone to the hospital. <laughs> Gary Shandling leans over uh, another guy and he goes, Hail the wolf pack. Hail the wolf pack. My life in the past six months, whether they're related or not, we don't know that they're related. There is a very good chance that what happened was a random event and some gang members just tried to stab me. For <laughs> Can I get a rose? <laughs> he could do big horse things. Man, thank you, you Obi-Wan Nobby. It's it's like um, it is that thing. He, he has a disassociation with like real life. He's been in this weird world for so long that he doesn't know. How dramatic he sounds. Like he thinks what he's saying is normal, because like, but to all of us, it's just a clear, obvious dramatization lie. But to him, he's been stuck in this world. That was a great <laughs> shot. He's been <laughs> stuck in this world for, no for so long. But there's. I didn't mean to play it. Sorry. I was just trying to zoom in on you his did, fucking awesome pause face that we had. He should, like, to all of us, it's so obvious how nonsense it sounds, but he's stuck in his own dumb Corey Feldman world that, to him, this stuff happens all the time. So, like, better talk about it. Hey, everybody, I know well, you have your own crazy stories about the, the, the wolf packs that are attacking you, but here's my wolf pack well, story. Well, and plus, like, you kind of nailed it earlier. Um, he loves this. Oh, yeah. Even, oh, yeah. If there, even if there was... Like I'm, I'm, I'm sure he gets fucking people that fuck with him, even in real life, calling his number and fucking around with yeah, him. Yeah, definitely. Stuff. But like to him, it's even better if there's this group called the Wolf Pack that have this coordinated planned attack on him. Because like a normal person, say this was happening, and you're like, look, I'm being harassed. There's definitely been stuff going on. People have been threatening me, calling my house. I feel unsafe in my home. And then this attack happens, and it could be unrelated. Maybe it was just road rage or something, or just some sort of traffic incident. But he has to be like, either it's this coordinated underground society or gang strike to attack <laughs> me. Like, it always has to be this elevated, cool guy version for Corey Feldman to be involved in. It can't just be an attack, a random attack. No, it yeah. has to be, no, it was gang members yeah. attacking <laughs> well, me. Maybe this gang saw me, and they're like, that's the kid from the Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, also think a very good chance that this was a coordinated attempt. We won't know until we get those... Uh, 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 Varmits. Go fund me dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we get those donations in. Keep them coming, y'all. Yeah, Traitors but... under arrest. And I'm hoping that that those happens liver very soon. These rascals. people can be brought to justice. And we can question them and find out exactly why they were there or how it Did all I went say down. liver lily? I meant lily meantime, liver. How embarrassing. Oh, yeah. That's all right. We all I was trying to be a cowboy, you guys. I hope you understood. <laughs> Who's on the line? Hey! Yo. Beat LA! Oh, I think it's Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Beat LA! Do they are they winning? Yes, one nothing. Oh yeah, baby. Who scored the goal? Was it Carlson? Yeah. Oh, it was Tuck, baby. Ooh. And then quick uh 
Quick's asshole fell out in the middle of the crease. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. They're trying to clean it up right now, but it's been a big delay. Hell yeah. Good shit, dude. Good yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. I just wanted to check in. I'm sure I, you said I was dead or some shit. No, we said where you were, but we may have come up with a playful reason of how you got there. <laughs> oh, I'm curious. I'm bi curious. Oh, you have no idea, Jeff. It's not <laughs> that elaborate. It was- <laughs> it's not that elaborate. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you guys go back to it. I'm I'm driving the Zamboni right now, so I, I gotta pay attention. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right, later, up man. On that ice, Bye. dude. Go right, Knights. Go Knights. Go. Go Knights. Go Knights. Go. Go Knights. Go. Go Knights. Go. Beat L.A. I'm putting all this information together. And you I'm just want them to beat all, L.A. because that's where Corey's from. Into a succinct <laughs> operation, some well, by the way, keep in mind that if any of this actually happened, um, uh, people that should be putting all this information together would be doing it. Oh, he yeah. wouldn't be left to his own devices. <laughs> like, it's fucking Fallout 3, and you yeah. have to uh, like uh, search for all the information. Like, hey, it's me, guy from New Vegas. I have to figure out who tried to kill me because the world is in shambles. He's, like, a detective or a police officer yeah. would be doing all this legwork, not him. He's the one trying to rally up witnesses and try to track down security footage because everyone else is like, ah, oh, that's not really a thing. Yeah. That's not a stab wound movie or something like that so I can show everybody including the legal system including all of you the facts of how it went all down and so that you can hear for the first time the full truth about how my best friend was raped because oh, let me tell Jesus. you it's all connected somebody's fighting to keep that information it really is scummy how um, he lacks so little self-awareness that he doesn't realize that he's holding that host- that that information hostage, and that that makes him a real fucking scumbag. Well, w- I love how his narrative has changed now because it was who molested him. Yes, right. Yeah. Now it's because even with that movie that we watched, which you can watch with us on the Jim and Them Patreon, by the way, uh, the Tale of Two Corys or whatever the fuck it was called. That movie pitches it more that Corey Haim was being raped, not Feldman. So something changed where now he doesn't want to be the victim, I guess. That's impossible. He's He's Corey Feldman. (laughs) He doesn't want people to know what happened to his lips. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) He's trying to cover up his uh, loss of lips. From getting out, and I'm going to prove to you who it is that's trying to stop it. I would like you to talk to my wife for a few moments so that she can... (laughs) No, thank you. Uh, (laughs) You know, she's got a fucking... She's got like a death stare. Like she doesn't want to talk. It She's like on a, a screen, like shaking her head. It's like, going to be like a green screen. It's Corey in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't call on me. No. To you, her feelings on what she's been experiencing the past few months. Courtney? Um, well. <laughs> <laughs> she just woke up from a fucking deep choke. <laughs> Well, it's great because she thinks she's doing the, like, I'm so emotional right now. But she is doing the, I just woke up. Or she's doing an, I'm exhausted from living with this man. It's like, you guys, it comes in in waves, but I have to deal with it all the time. Every second of my life is a Corey video. Just fucking hit me over the back of the head. Someone tried to kill my husband. This group of thugs, I wish... Can I get a (laughs) rosé? Nigga doing big horse things. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Very, very angry at what happened and this group of thugs. And I I hope to God that it doesn't happen again. But there's absolutely no guarantee that it won't happen again. And I need to find some way that I can be able to protect my family. She looks like okay, the old bass player not- from the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> doesn't she? I'm going to find a picture. I'll, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> She definitely is not nailing this tone of like I, no. I'm worried about my husband. She seems like an annoyed person. Like she, I keep posting these links to my blog, and then stupid fucking Jill comments mm-hmm. on them, and it's like you don't even get what this blog is about. Don't comment on it. <laughs> she's either like a bad actress trying to go along with his story, or she's trying to have him killed, and she's a bad actress <laughs> that to uh, that can't oh. hide it. What if the Wolfpack is real and it's her? It's it, her. Because it was all along, just marry him and fucking knock him off. Oh, my God. Fun having to leave the house and being afraid for your life every oh, time I was wrong, it's the, the guitar house. player. Oh, maybe it is the bass player. Oh, yeah, yeah, from uh, from the, from uh, the yeah, pumpkins. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, looks exactly like her. It's not, not that okay. it matters. <laughs> and nobody go, go should on. have to feel that way. And there should be something someone can do to protect us or help us in this situation because so far we've 
we don't know what to do. I don't know. I feel. What do you think they're like when like no one's around and they're yes. just a couple? <laughs> I think they're in a fucking drug coma. I don't think they know how to turn it off. I think that they're yeah, like like Thorsten said, they're either they're they're either drunk off real beer or paranoia at any given time. You don't think there's just genuine like. You know, couple moments, they're just kind of curled up on the couch, like binging Netflix or something like that. <laughs> Isn't it weird that you can't picture that happening with them? No. no they didn't see Moana. <laughs> They'd never go out and be like, hey, you want to go see Moana? They're never like, hey, you see the Incredibles 2 trailer on, yeah. on Facebook? They just put it up. They're always like, oh, my God. Is the are, are all nine locks on the front door locked? <laughs> I'm going to have cereal. Do you want to have cereal, Corey? It's just a lot of fucking real. I would like to surface. chew and swallow yeah. cereal. I hope it tastes good. I will taste it with my tongue. I feel helpless. I, how am I supposed to protect my family? How is, how is he supposed to protect himself? We don't have any protection. So I bet don't you know. should because you I hired security guards with your protection. nine yeah, Indiegogos. Thought, yeah, I thought all the Indiegogos were for the, yeah, the what security. A, weren't yeah. you all your GoFundMes to, to prevent this, you fucking yuts? Can I get a rose? In case you doing missed big horse it, things. Uh, he never met any of those goals, so I don't know where the fuck you guys think he got security guards if he didn't even meet yeah. his goals. But GoFundMe, you don't need to meet a goal. You still get that sweet, sweet money. Oh, but that's yeah, true. But he, he did say he had security, but he got distracted. <laughs> yeah, the security <laughs> guard was dealing with someone else when another man went over and ripped uh, the, the fucking door off of his car. Uh, thank you for the bits, my dude. Uh, shirt? I just call him shirt because I don't know what the I other things shirt. are. I call him shirt as well. Do we have security? Just don't call him late for dinner. <laughs> and security is very costly. To get people with a certain permit that allows them to fire a weapon is a very, very costly thing. And if you need more than one person, because we're doing big public events where you've got to doing big horse from things. all sides, <laughs> all this stuff costs a lot of money. So, yes, we are keeping the GoFundMe campaign up there. If people want to donate out of the kindness of their hearts, believe me, it means the world to us. Yeah. But we're not demanding money. We're not requesting. Okay, this is the nice backwards way of yeah. saying, please give us money. I like how he's like, I have a GoFundMe, but don't worry, I'm not requesting money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the, the, by, by very definition of it, you are requesting money. You're also reminding me of the GoFundMe that has not met its goal, and you're making sure we know about it. Well, and plus, he's twisted enough to to fake this, but he's faking it for the greater good. Yes. Where he's like, look, look, I probably would get, I would get stabbed anyway, so I need the money to protect me from getting stabbed. Believe me, I'd love to just tell <laughs> you the story, but it's not that easy. <laughs> That's why I have to make a movie. God, man. Can you imagine a world where I could just tell all of you? Uh, I wish. Show oh, well. We want a real Hollywood picture. Money. We're not out there campaigning. We're not going to start a No, you campaign. literally no, are. You are. I'm leaving the GoFundMe up. It's up to you. If you want to make a donation, believe me, it's appreciated from the bottom of our hearts. And we will get back to you with all the rewards once it's all done. It, this you know, is him realizing that, first off, the people that want rewards aren't getting them. And well, they're no. mad. And then the people that keep saying, hey, you're just fucking hounding for money. He's hearing and reading all that because you know he's a psycho that reads every single fucking thing. And that's his dumb, clumsy way of trying to be like, no, but guys. Well, dude, I was on it today. One of the most recent comments is someone that didn't get their perks. But this is even someone from the original Indiegogo like two years ago, they said. Yeah. When uh, it was just to put out his album. And he's like, they never I even got his album. And he's like, I haven't gotten any of my perks. Where are they? It's yeah. been like two years. And you no you know that he's reading all that stuff and he's trying to be like, oh, crap. People know that I'm just, just trying to fucking fleece them, <laughs> trying to fleece everybody. And now they figured me out. And we can have a moment to breathe. Yeah. I do want to say that we're going to add some new perks to the GoFundMe campaign that's up there uh, where you can have a chance to come see the premiere of my new movie. Uh, Imagine if someone's like, hey, what's, what's your, what do you do for a living? And he's just like, I just push my GoFundMe every now and, yeah. and then. I, I make up <laughs> stories and then post up GoFundMes. <laughs> I work... Uh, uh, oh, wait, what do you do for a living? Oh, GoFundMe. Oh, you work at that website? Oh, no, no, I just have a GoFundMe, <laughs> and I, you know, uh, drum up some <laughs> some attention every few months and get a couple extra grand in the in the kitty, and then I'm good to go. What do you do when you're not uh, trying to post GoFundMes? Oh, I like to go to the crazy buffet. Oh, dude, I hit this kid on a skateboard today. Should have seen how quick I got out of there. <laughs> I had to get out of there. I don't, he's, what, does he think he's going to get a piece of my GoFundMe? I don't think so. Or my Indiegogo. Uh, we're going to give away some tickets and maybe even some, some free trips or whatever. We're just doing yeah, basically whatever. All. You know, I doubt there's any trips, and they're not free. Yeah, the only trips uh, happening right now are the one they're on because of all the <laughs> drugs they're doing. We can to whatever survive. We can. Whatever we can. Keep ourselves alive. Can it's you blame us? 
until we can prove Wow, she is so bad. Look at her. Look at her <laughs> pretend to cry. Yes, Look at her yes. pretend to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was like immediate. Now, I'm wondering. Um, uh, now, because Corey is obviously like a crazy weirdo. But there was a time when he was kind of just a little off kilter. So is it like... Is she making him crazier, or is he making oh, her he's crazier? Making her crazier. Yeah, he's or making is it this her. weird echo where they just keep bouncing off. I think each other? she. I mean, she obviously couldn't have been normal in the first place to get where she is. But I think when you're um, fully immersed, like you know, when you're in a place where everyone has an accent, and then you start kind of talking oh, with yeah, that yeah. accent, she has been like, she didn't just dip her toe in the Corey Feldman. She fucking jumped in, fucking did a jackknife off a diving board into the Corey Feldman, and now but she's drenched in it. There's a chance that she's the one that's like. Corey, people are trying to kill you. Like, you think about it. Like, you're trying to unlock. Well, yeah, these she things. she married Corey yeah. Feldman to get money, and now she's like, well, shit, no. he didn't have any. Crap. Uh, go fund me. Do another go fund me, Corey. Well, like she's a, Jafar. Like, yes. <laughs> imagine trying to live your life, and like how you guys were saying, she's like, hey, you want to go to the movie theaters, and uh, maybe we can see Moana. And he's like, no, honey. <laughs> Did you know that Moana was produced by the same man who married the cousin of the man who raped Corey Haim? <laughs> and just any and it just slowly just beats you down. And Do you know? Oh, you are this. Do you know the guy that did sound design out of Moana as a member of the Wolf Pack? <laughs> it's Corey. They opened a new all-you-can-eat sushi place I want to check out. Are you kidding me? You think I could go outside right now? There are snipers outside. Look, you can see the red dots. Corey, I don't see any red dots anywhere. <laughs> Look at them. They're everywhere. Oh, those snipers think they're smart. But ah, ooh, old Corey Feldman's one step ahead of them. Do you know Lin-Manuel Miranda stole the idea for Hamilton from me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, because it's great because... I have no doubt in my mind, really, that he made this all up. Because remember, he had his made-up getting run over story? Yeah. How they were going to try to run him over, but it was really like he was on the sidewalk and a car drove by fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, wow, did you see that? That car tried to run me over. Uh, and that was his last big video to try to get people to donate because his life was on the line. But I don't have two years. I don't believe we have two years to tell that story, to, sh to make the movie, and to show the truth. So instead, we're going to do it all in the next few months. We're going to get it out. And one way or another, we're going to release oh, the documentary see the movie? that's going to expose this entire... Well, now, what are we getting? The documentary? <laughs> I thought we were getting <laughs> fucking already. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're on the Jim and them Facebook group. Uh, we need to that, make that, that our Jaime Robert. Yeah, it's Jaime. It's our boy Jaime. He's got a nice screen cap of a Corey face. We got to make that our tier three <laughs> emotion, <laughs> uh, emote or whatever. Conspiracy to try to destroy us. Okay, I think that's all we have to say. Well, you see how he kind of turned from like uh, concerned, I need help, guy to like, okay, so that's it now. Uh, <laughs> give often and tell friends. Uh, I love his his five minute uh, diatribe about his GoFundMe. Started off with guys, you don't have to give any money <laughs> to this GoFundMe. Money. We're not even going to talk about the GoFundMe today. <laughs> what do I look like? I got my hat in hand and I'm asking for money. <laughs> uh, there couldn't be anything far from it right now. But what seriously, am I? we got to get this documentary. We got to get this movie going. <laughs> you think I'm playing an acoustic guitar on the corner uh, with a, a fucking top hat in front of me or something? <laughs> hey, is there anything else, honey? We love you. We thank those she's of you who have been in our she's corner. So she's bad. thinking of cats and dogs dying and <laughs> fucking like her, uh, like her grandma's funeral. She's really trying to. You push think it. it'd be easy to pretend to act miserable when you're married to Corey Feldman, and she can't even do that. Uh, uh, Melfina in the chat documentary shot in this room with the same audio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? They're not spending that GoFundMe money on uh, her hair bleach. Look at those roots. Yeah, fix those roots, bitch. Yeah, what are you? Uh, it's her hair playing music for the. The Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show or yeah. something? Get her. Uh, get her. Get her. Choo choo. Bring us from the uh, beginning. Hey, uh, and yeah, I yeah, promise yeah. you from the bottom of my heart, I would not do this if it wasn't for justice and it wasn't for truth. My family doesn't need it. My son doesn't need this. None of us. Oh, my God. Us. He has a son? Yeah, I, yeah, you, yeah. You had the same reaction two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Son. <laughs> I, I did. It just seems impossible that he would have a son. Oh, Christ. Can you? you it's uh, like um. He again? It's we like the it uh, documentary you showed Mr. Trailer for, where there's that young kid who's talking about his mom that like wants to pretend to be black, and you can tell oh, he's just like yeah, yeah, yeah. really frustrated. Like he's being super honest about how he feels about it. Like that must be how Corey Feldman's poor fucking son. Oh yeah, Zen Feldman. Zen Feldman. Zen. For Christ's sake. Or Zen Scott Feldman. Uh, he's 13. Oh, what a oh, bummer. This poor motherfucker. Poor fucking kid, dude. He's in what junior high. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and all his friends are watching his dad uh, fucking beg for money and fucking do all this like uh, embarrassing shit on uh, Jesus. Yes, for this. Nobody. We just wanted to tell the truth, and we just wanted a bad monster to be exposed. And instead, other monsters have come in and made our lives hell. The only mo- he's the monster. He's a monster. Like they're yeah. both monsters. These are monster people you're looking at. Yeah, right here. Friday the Thirteenth, right there. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. We love you. Pray for us. Be with us. God bless. I will not. Pray for you, okay, Corey Feldman. Not happening, my guy. I'll pray for you, Corey. <laughs> pray to the devil. Well, yeah, and this I'm going to pray to the day. didn't say to who I could pray to. <laughs> well, it's right on theme for Friday the 13th as well, because uh, he was sharing a bunch of Friday the 13th tweets today, and I was like, what the fuck is he doing? And I forgot that he he's young Tommy Jarvis in, um, I think, part three? Isn't part that the four, one everyone maybe? hates? <laughs> well, everyone loves, everyone likes him uh, in, in the movies. Wow. Oh. Um, because, wait, yeah. Yeah, no, he's in Friday the 13th. I wasn't sure at first. But then they got someone else to be older, Tommy Jarvis. Good. Um, <laughs> hell yeah, indeed. And he also did a um, Access Hollywood interview. Um, I didn't check this out. We'll see if there's anything. Yeah. The only person hear. more excited that this stuff keeps happening to Corey is these <laughs> fucking shit shows that yeah. like get to uh, <laughs> produce 12 minutes of content for their garbage television show all about him being a fucking maniac. Extra, and not extra. to say we're not doing it say, as well. And Jim and them, because we get a solid hour each <laughs> but, uh, that, uh, I'm I'm stoked whenever he does stuff, but he shouldn't be as stoked exactly. as I am. He yeah. shouldn't be more and, stoked than we are. And these people shouldn't be as stoked because they try to act like they're concerned. Hey, Hey, wasn't this bitch on road rules? <laughs> <laughs> I think you think that's Veronica, hey. and it's not. Oh, okay. I thought it was the road rules. Uh, John King claimed that he was stabbed while in his car at an L.A. intersection. Now, for the first time since that alleged incident, Corey is opening up about what happened. It's an interview. Why is he dressed like Beetlejuice? <laughs> I locked the door. He pulls on the door. He's just like Johnny Depp and Crybaby. It It was locked, but then somehow when he pulls. I mean, one thing that's interesting with all these different tours he does, he tries different looks on these shows. He's just trying to see what works. Remember, he had his weird rat tail that time. This is the best one so far. Well, I mean, isn't that a bummer? (laughs) The the clothes uh, don't help. Changes again. He opens it with ease. The door just opened. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if he had like some kind of magnetic device or what. Uh, or if I just left it unlocked. Yeah, I just didn't fucking lock the All door. All he does is watch movies and be in movies, and so he thinks magnetic devices that unlock doors exist. Well, and plus, nothing could ever be his fault because th- he would be the idiot that didn't lock the door. He had to have some sort of magnetic, magnetic yeah. device, or he's just a super car thief. Can I get a rose? <laughs> he could do a big horse thing. Thank you, Lights of the Party Gaming. Got the door open, lunged in one time, stabbed me like that, and pulled back out, and that was it. And, and did you see what you say he stabbed you with? I couldn't see no, it. I think that it... was Kit, Kristen. Kit from uh, Road Rules. Oh. I was never a big Road Rules. Let me see. Let me see. Let me I don't see, know why Jim. I disagreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was big on the real world. Uh, she was like a southern bitch, I think. Ooh. Sounds hot. <laughs> I'm super into mm. southern bitches. I like them when they go to debutantes balls. It was dark. It was nighttime. Yeah, uh, this does like kind of look like a younger said. version. It's like from like the first or second road rules. It's like she's yeah. Oh, school. yeah, that might be her. Her face is a little more busted now, though. Oh, damn, know. catty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, why doesn't she get her roots done, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking to Mike. <laughs> I was, was making like fun of Corey Feldman's wife. Can you show me? Well, it's it's faded now. You won't really see much. Yeah, he won't fucking show it at all. He he has to fucking pull out his papers and shit. Well, I mean, it doesn't exist, so well, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'd have to. I can't, I can't show you something that's not real. Would you ask a lady to show it? But I don't think <laughs> they would. <laughs> Corey posted pictures of himself being examined at the hospital. Yeah, he'll post pictures of the fucking hospital. He won't lift up his shirt on Access Hollywood. This stupid picture with him in his vape and the blanket <laughs> yes. covering his chest to make it seem like it's more of a wound than it ever was is so hilarious. When it's hiding it's so his fat funny. gut. <laughs> and, and you think he thinks he's so fucking slick right here. Like, you know, he posed for it. Hell like, yeah, he did. Good. And he's wearing a baseball cap, too, which is like, I don't like. What do you think it is? He didn't have hair and makeup that day. Yeah. Something, possibly a hypodermic needle. 
So you were worried and you were getting tested that maybe it could have been a poison. It wasn't even a regular dermic needle. It was a hyperdermic needle. Corey, that's not, you know, never mind. There's a chance that it could be something else. We don't know. Just to even know that, like, God, there's a possibility there could be a poison in me and I could be dead in a few months. Now, if you'd like, after I tell the story, we could perform. I did bring the angels. (laughs) We got a new song. We got a GoFundMe. No, Uh, thank you. That's okay, Corey. We'll just talk to you for a little bit. You need to start singing. Jarring. Do you feel like you're being targeted, <laughs> or do you think well, in I can this go case acapella it could've... too? I'm that good. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a rose? He could do a big horse. Thanks things. for the bits. It's been a road rage incident. It could have gone either way. Um, there has been targeted harassment. There has been against targeted you. threats against me. And I've gotten blackmail threats. I've gotten these terrible videos these guys are making. This group of people has been taunting and terrorizing us Show us the videos. You know, because they they exist. Yeah, show us these, like, if it's been happening, too, wouldn't he have been maybe recorded a phone call, had some some sort of evidence? No, Jim, he's too busy. Corey took to social media to describe the group that he now thinks may have been behind the alleged stabbing. They're making up lies about me. They're doing everything they can to drag my name through the mud and twist and, and turn the lies. Can you imagine thinking you need to discredit Corey Feldman? <laughs> You're like, you know what? People take this guy seriously. I need to uh, I need to discredit this, we this need to gentleman. Knock, we need to knock him down a peg or two. <laughs> but are they going to let him name drop Wolfpack on Access? Because if they don't, then they're clearly real. That's true. And they have an inside man or they're like, Access Hollywood. We're, they're like, we're not going to call them by their name. <laughs> They've been very successful at this campaign. Do you have an idea who they are? I you know call exactly. them the Wolf Pack. Well, I don't want to give that name any more attention. And have you gone <laughs> to the police to... My uh, people, <laughs> publicists have been like, stop saying the Wolf Pack. You sound like a fucking crazy well, person. I like how you just said I know exactly who they are. And it's like, well, then do something about it. <laughs> you know what? If someone had done something to me and I knew exactly who they were, I'd you know, do something about it. Well, I don't want to give them any more attention. Yes. And you've talked about yes. this group. And I'm going to be meeting with them again this week. Does it have what? anything with to do with the wolf pack? <laughs> no, the me- the police. Oh. oh, I thought he was talking about the wolf pack too. He Jesus. A, he has a secret. They said, come alone, no cops. <laughs> they said, don't talk about it on Access Hollywood. <laughs> with the pedophile claims? It is 100% connected. The threats that I've been getting, the assaults, the fake accusations, all these things that are happening where all of a sudden, like, why is Moments ago, he said he wasn't sure if they connected. Now he just said they were 100%. 100% about the fact that I've been speaking up. Well, the thing is, like, he definitely, there are crazy-ass motherfuckers out there. He probably does get real death threats and stuff. Oh, sure. And they're like, fuck you for blowing up Hollywood. Like, because he got, like... They, for some reason, they just think it's going to like ruin movies for them and they're a crazy person. Yeah. But he thinks that they're all the same person. He and so he connected. thinks that they're sane people. Well, well also, he, harassing Corey Feldman's like the purge. You can just kind of do it yeah, and get away yeah, with whatever you want because no one... It's like, hey, fucking free reign. If you're harassing Corey Feldman, you just get away with it. Everything's legal. And, well, and he thinks it's like some big Hollywood executive is taking time out of their day to call and harass <laughs> yes, him. Yes, yes. When it's just some like fucking conspiracy YouTuber or some shit. Or just some 13-year-old who saw him on... The uh, fucking Today Show. He's like, ah, fuck this guy. Claims he was molested as a young teen is looking to fund both a documentary and a film about his life. And Can you process, imagine how different this would be if Corey Eldman was handsome in any way? <laughs> <laughs> They're freaking really awful pictures. Yeah, they probably like, If he didn't look like Frankenstein's <laughs> monster, people would, like, actually take him seriously. But he's looked better than this. It's <laughs> almost like the wolf pack picked these pictures. <laughs> the wolf pack definitely picked these pictures. <laughs> are you sure these are the pictures I should use? Ow! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alleged Hollywood pedophile ring that he says he's known of since he was a child. This is our world. We're in Hollywood. There's a lot of amazing people here. Mm-hmm. A lot of talented, beautiful artists and great people here. And there's a few sickos. And we got to root them out. And we got to get them out of here. While he continues his quest well, for justice. What about you? Some would call you a sicko <laughs> that we need to get out. Isn't that kind of the opposite of what he's been saying, though? Isn't it more that, like, pedophiles are running things? In yeah, the they're everywhere. <laughs> But now he's like, there's just a couple people we need to get. But Jim, we need you're to at, show them. You, what you don't understand is how hard it is to stay consistent when every word out of your mouth is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep up with the truth. Corey is also moving ahead. Ah! <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Corbin Nash. Oh, my God. Oh, we got to watch Corbin Nash. Hell yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We got to watch Corbin Nash. Let me see that again. <laughs> And we got to root him out, and we got to get him out of here. <laughs> While he continues his quest It's like some for weird uh, blackface.
Yes. One other thing that we hadn't, we didn't get to, and Mike uh, told me about it about a month ago, but we we missed out on it because we've been so busy with our good friend, uh, fucking. Blue. Who's ready for fall? <laughs> or I should say, who else is ready for fall? Yeah, All of our fucking episodes yeah. are about Blue now. We forgot happy how belated. we talk about him. Happy <laughs> birthday. Way, yeah. Oh yeah, happy belated. We forgot about our nobody weirdo piece of shit. That we need to go back to our <laughs> celebrity one? weirdo piece of shit, Corey Feldman. Oh yeah. And his, um, oh yeah. He he has some other crowdfunding. So it, thing. well, so it's his own streaming service now. Wait a minute. Where now <laughs> you can't get his music anywhere. Yeah. You can't see his YouTube videos anywhere. Darn. You can't do anything. You can't see yeah, or he get doesn't anything. Do Twitter or anything like that, right? He, he does, dude. He's off of everything. What and we now, all if you want to see anything that has to do with him, you have to subscribe oh, to his own streaming service so you can see or hear or get any information from him. You call it the Fedora Club? Yeah. <laughs> Is he living in an apartment now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's called a condo. It was like a rusted ass, like fucking pigeon behind him. Yeah, it looks like a, like a, like one of the, the the low rent hotels in Anaheim when you go to fucking yeah, Disneyland or yeah. BlizzCon. Yeah, because it must the inside must look horrendous if he's like, yeah, this looks better. <laughs> this is a better spot. There's like <laughs> gum on the gutters. Look at this. He's really committed to the Michael Jackson there. It's fucking a hurricane so outside. He's like, better go outside. Uh, sorry for the delay. I've been. MIA for some time. I've been trying to keep my eyes MIA, open. That's <laughs> <laughs> the furthest I could get him this whole time. I've been pretty sleepy. I've been secluded for some time. I'm in a remote location right now, as you can probably tell. Anaheim. But it's a much better location than the last time I came to you with a campaign video. When this all started all crazy. a year ago, I was hiding in a scary, dark, <laughs> cold lonely hotel room in the middle of Texas. <laughs> not like this scary, dark, attack. lonely motel room that I'm yeah. now in. You know all those cool... You guys gave me $100,000, <laughs> and now I'm at a slightly better budget suite. <laughs> what he said in Texas. Like, like you know all those cold hotel rooms in Texas? Oh, my cold hotel rooms are in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that old uh, country yard. It was yard. a scary time when I started this campaign a year ago, and I'm happy to say that you're going to notice some big differences in this video today. The biggest video, of course... Ka -ka! <laughs> Ka -ka! Uh, coming from you from the owl's nest, as you know. Oh, I no. Am. They sent their bird spies again. <laughs> Look, there is one behind him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we need to move to a new location. Um, They've actually been to... sending me hate mail <laughs> through hucks, pigeon carriers. He hucks a ninja star at <laughs> <out of> it. <laughs> How shitty do you have to be to come out on the other side of the Me Too movement as someone no one gives a fuck about. Yeah. <laughs> like, at the height of it, they tried to give him shine, but he ruined it immediately because immediately he was like, yeah, this is very important. I yeah. just need about $80,000. Yeah, and then we gave and it to him, <laughs> and he just kept with the shit. No, he didn't get it. I mean, he got I mean, he got, he got more some. than he should have. Yeah, he got like thirty grand. He got nine different $20,000 ones. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot of things... Right now that I didn't have last time I spoke to This you. great shirt. Genital herpes. <laughs> <laughs> this cool hair. I have security. And I have the knowledge that the truth is coming. When I started this campaign a year ago, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was afraid Green Goblin life. flies by on his fucking <laughs> glider, hugs a pumpkin bomb at him, he turns into a skeleton. Well, oh. how could the Green and Goblin come behind him when he's sitting right there on camera talking to ah. this <laughs> uh, That's the hog goblin. The most important thing I have now that I didn't have before, it's this new business called High Smiles. <laughs> I just need to sign up 10 people, and then you sign up 10 people, and then they sign up 10 people, and you just start collecting money, guys. <laughs> this is a great business. Yeah. It involves live streaming. Have you heard of this before? Yes. Send me $2, and I'll send you back the world's tastiest uh, <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> I don't know if anyone, people, any people out there work retail, but you'll constantly have people trying to sign you up for their pyramid schemes mm -hmm. because you're at work and you have to talk to them. Oh, The best is when you went to high school with Mormon girls who invite you to uh, every LuLaRoe page that exists uh, <laughs> uh, <the laughs> in case you want to buy oversized t-shirts. <laughs> Mormon girls are <laughs> sluts. <laughs> <laughs> for Cafe Rio. <laughs> for a fucking it was, dick. <laughs> it was a mercy <laughs> cry. It was a begging begging for people to reach out and help me because I was so scared I didn't know what to do. Everybody was forcing me to come forward with information, telling me it was time to <laughs> They were forcing me to do a thing I've been doing for the last 20 years. Everyone was forcing me to just 
yeah, say what I've been teasing and kicking around forever to Ever, get attention. Everyone was begging me to not make them pay $100,000 for a fucking name. Everyone just wanted me to hand up my last golden goose, <laughs> and I won't do it, I tell you. And then he, he, he did, and they were all like, oh. Oh, yeah, he gave a name, and they were like, oh, okay, all right. All Fair right, enough. who cares? <laughs> all right, well, your job is done. Helped out, helped out and contributed... So that I can get the Why did you have a deeper so voice when he was a child? All the movies I've been watching, man, I just recently well, watched you one of your favorites. Wow, well, License, License to, to Drive. drive. Great movie. His voice like, hey, man. <laughs> it's because that was before his, he sucked so much dick, his lips fell off. His lips fell off. His, got, his vocals uh, got fried with cum. <laughs> yeah. He got the, gargled cum. Those birds are gathering behind him. They're just yeah, waiting for him are. to die so they can eat his <laughs> corpse. Incredible. <laughs> Within 12 hours, we raised $125,000. I told you you got money. No way. I don't remember him getting that. Maybe I'm I think wrong, he's though. saying, like, I, I bet he's, he's fudging it. He's like, okay, if you count the first 24 hours of my nine different uh, fund, like GoFundMe campaigns, all of that adds up to the 120. So we'll just say within 24 hours. Well, and plus, like, he might even be talking about just when he was raising money for probably like a Me Too charity or something, not his GoFundMe. Because I'm looking at one of them, and yeah, he's got 36000 out of 100000 um, What a great freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, he's so fucked. What is he? What do you think he's on? Opiates? Okay, no, I guess you're right. I don't think he well, can okay. opiates. You are right, Jeff, because the first one he was trying to raise a million. Yeah, and he did get he got, got two hundred like and seventy thousand dollars. That was before everyone turned on him. I said fifty. He got like three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we money. better get the money. <laughs> Good timing, Jeeves. Oh Thank my you. god! Holy shit! Yeah. Where's what the fuck? Th what do you do with it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Yeah, uh, Jim, <laughs> you're looking at it, boy. He bought this chain of hotels in the uh, Bahamas. He spent it all on TMZ publishing a fake story uh, about him getting yeah. stabbed. When was the last update on this fucking piece of shit Indiegogo that he put out? Never. Yeah, <laughs> he deleted never. it. <laughs> he just deleted yeah, no it from update, the internet. Just cash out. Um, yeah, what was this? Was the one I know we went over all his things, but what was like his highest? This is a 14-minute video. I think he's video. at his highest <laughs> right now. Well, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> yeah, if someone gave 100000 they were credited in the film titles. 10000 was the tickets to the film premiere. That's not a face, Chris. Someone <laughs> paid... It's a dead skin mask. <laughs> one person did $7,500 to visit the set for a day of this movie that's never getting made. They probably paid it themselves, Him, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. I think it was Corey. <laughs> I don't, but someone else did five thousand to spend a day with Feldman. Estimate <laughs> delivery April twenty eighteen. Wife. It was Corey's wife. You think he's got? Did that happen in April? Grand laying around that he can throw at his GoFundMe. I think th that he had some of the money. He's like, put it right back in, get it right back out. By the look of his face, it's still April twentieth, twenty eighteen. <laughs> Seven people gave a thousand dollars for a personal email of gratitude. What a fucking fuck boy. Yeah. Can you imagine? Little fuck boy got fucked. I bet those birds are like, oh, look, a corpse for us to eat. And they're like, no, nah, I think it's alive. And the one bird's like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure it's a corpse. And the other bird's like, I don't know. I think it's talking. I think he has something about Mary come here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what would happen with yeah. the come here. Yeah, that's way more realistic. Nah, it would stick up. When a woman who I expected to be on my side and support me turned against me. Is that his wife? Did his wife leave? television and made up. No, nah, it's that oh. angel that went on the news. Telling everybody. I don't remember her going I, on the news though. I just remember her making a YouTube, but maybe she went on. Maybe they they parlay. I that bet she went on fucking Doctor yeah. Phil or some shit. Because well, I thought her whole thing is she couldn't speak. She just held up signs because, and that was her like way to get around the. Well, yeah, but then yeah. then people stopped caring. She's like, shit, I need more attention. Mm -hmm. a con man, that I was doing all of this as a ploy to make money, and that I was literally just making stories up. She just went on and national TV and told the truth about me. Like some sort of bitch. <laughs> I mean, at some point in time, he has to realize that every video he puts out is him defending himself against claims. Well, like, they can't all be fake. Not every one of your hundred claim are? defense videos. Dude, he's just celebrity boy blue. Yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, all totally. of his, their videos yeah. are the same. That's why we love on a grander scale. Yeah, that's why we <laughs> love both of them so much. <laughs> He's just insane. people like My him. Mind on is the blown. <laughs> 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 I'm so distracted by his fucking piece of wheatgrass hair just hanging there. Yeah, hard. It was defiance awesome. of God. What are you nature. talking about? We're watching Thriller 3D and IMAX right now. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, is that Mike? A lot of people did take their money back. A lot of people stopped donating and <laughs> Wait, what? that maybe this was something people couldn't feel good about. It caused a lot of problems, but not only that, they continued attacking my safety, 
my life, my family's safety, and create your family. You have no family. <laughs> I'm talking about the birds on the. You pipes. have no one, Corey. We've been over this. <laughs> Little kids with BB guns keep shooting at the pipe birds. No friends. Disgusting, pathetic lies about me and my family. Um, false allegations, false accusations, things that have cost me tens of thousands of dollars to deal with in the court, and having private security 24 hours a day, armed security. It's very They're not here right now, though. <laughs> I send so, them on break. Even though I raise this money and hiring these attack to birds <laughs> to make sure no one, there's no snipers around. Don't worry, I got the mafia birds from Animaniacs. Animaniacs. This is the Joe Pesci bird. He's real mean. Me oh, wait, wait, no, he's explaining. There wasn't enough money left. He uh, literally this just is where said, the money went. I raised yeah. the money for the movie, but then everyone was yeah. attacking me, and now there's no money. All right, let's let's pull these fucking court doc documents because they must be just you know in the the court documents, right? No, no, no. Oh, just what? listen to my video. Left to make a movie. Just subscribe to hear my my court documents. Efforts to make sure that our funding stopped. We only walked away. Oh, that tiny little baby bird. Campaign with three hundred thousand dollars. Only. Income. Which Only they don't actually get that money because then it's all taken by you know the campaign. They take a big piece of it. Then you Who pay taxes? Then you got to you. Pay for all of the <laughs> yeah, you don't pay your campaign, taxes, Corey. Thousands of dollars, and you got to pay for all the perks, like sending someone a personal email for a thousand dollars. You have to make up a fake movie set and have someone come visit it because you said you would. Yeah, do the that. only thing you would have to spend money on, you didn't do yet. <laughs> so, and packaging and. All this stuff. So anyway, packaging. After ourselves in the courtroom, you said packaging. Security. At the end of the day, there was very little left, and obviously nowhere near what it takes to make a ten million dollar feature film. Yeah, plus Daddy got to eat. Know, <laughs> I must wet my beak. You understand? <laughs> I thought that three hundred thousand dollars would be enough to make a ten million dollar movie. <laughs> well, Turns out it wasn't. He said he couldn't add special effects. What special effects you are? Yeah, no, exactly. Is he using that fucking Marvel de aging yeah. shit so he can play himself? Yeah, clearly I'll play myself with the Marvel de-aging shit. <laughs> I'm happy to say all the rape scenes are going to be real full penetration. Yeah, we We're going to get real in, inside. We got Gaspar Noe or whatever the yeah. fuck the director Gaspar of Gaspar Noe is there. Irreversible. The <laughs> yeah. Specially brought in for the rape We're going to play the brown note as I get <laughs> raped for real again. And they CGI by me like Michael Douglas and Ant-Man. So like, yeah. Uh, so they made me, they fucked up and I look like Michael with, Douglas like, and Ant-Man. <laughs> Like $60,000. So we then decided to take that money. Your $300,000 was 50 or 60000 Even 50 or 60000 what'd you do with that? that? In filmmaking, <laughs> yeah. it takes about two years to complete a film. I knew that there's no way we would make it two years. These attacks were coming too fast. And too <laughs> the money was going too fast. Can I get a ah! rose? Yikes. 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 I have to crank it up because this stupid so Corey's audio road. sucks. What? Some private funding from an investor. But then the investor decided Thank to you, the out. investor it would not give me my soul back. We lost a lot of our witnesses because a lot of the witnesses started getting intimidated. They were, being they were intimidated by how bad I am at everything. <laughs> they were intimidated by my dancing and my singing. <laughs> Well, that it was said, still I God. decided to take matters into my own hand, and I made a decision to do something that was against my better judgment or against my morality because I had made a word of a promise that I was not going to do a certain medium of entertainment ever again. And that medium of entertainment is reality. <laughs> Ghetto <laughs> baby! <laughs> anyway, catch my new reality show, Ghetto uh, Baby. Thank you for on the Bravo. Thank you for the donation, Poon Coon. I like that he's like, yo, <laughs> Poon Coon. Poon Tycoon. I like how he's like, yo, I'll never do reality again. Anyway, here's a, a new video every day yeah, telling you about my so whole life and everything that's going on. This is basically his own version of a reality show. Uh, his shitty fucking... I would pay for this, I feel like. Yeah. If I was about to see no. him break down, how soon until we have him driving backwards on the highway? <laughs> for the better of the, the common good, I decided to put my own kind of ego, I guess, aside <laughs> and take a job offer. I decided to put my own ego aside and beg for money once again. <laughs> I'll put my ego aside, and I'm going to make a show that is all about me and my life. <laughs> Once again, I come to you hat in hand and plead and <laughs> beg for you to give me some money. Yeah, and it is a very cool hat. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a very nice fedora. Can you imagine? This motherfucker has gotten so much money from begging. He's gotten, like, literally, like, 20 years but worth even of money that I will make it over the next 20 years. Just in, in a year. 
Yeah, and he just fucking even pissed that, it all away. He can't, yeah, like, he can't realize, like, oh, shit, I got it made. Like, I'm getting free money for not doing anything. But, I'm, but hey, there's no way this money's going to stop. I'll just live live it up the yeah. best I can. Coke, Coke, Coke. <laughs> yeah, Coke, <laughs> as far as the eye can see. Every day someone walked up and said, here, here's a dollar. And instead of being like, oh, this is awesome, he was like, well, give me five dollars. And then yeah, the guy's like, well, now you get no money. He's like, no. Oh! Well, you can give ten then. <laughs> Well, the problem is we're in the wrong video. There's a video before this where he rubs lemons in his eyes as a stunt. It's part of his reality yeah. show. They did this scene. That's why he's all fucked up. Self-finance this documentary to get it completed, to get it finished. He's just taking a shit through that wicker chair. <laughs> so I'm happy to say, after making that decision, I have been successful in completing the filming of my documentary. Not That's a chance. Wait, not a now chance. it's done? It went from like, this is going to take two years, but of course it, it's going to take way longer because it's, uh, uh, because I'm being threatened. And plus it wasn't a documentary. Well, there's, yeah, still, there's eight real, minutes left, so where, it, how does he fucking... Eight minutes left. How does he trick us? How, like, what, what's his fucking scheme? That's why I've been so silent. That's why I've been secluded away. Because I didn't want anybody to know my whereabouts so that I could get this project finished safely. And I'm happy to announce the project has been finished. It is now in its final editing stages, and then we have to set up distribution. <laughs> oh, oh be that's going to be so expensive. As as possible. I'll be making, obviously, many future announcements about when exactly it's coming out, the name and the title of the project. It never ceases to amaze me that this fucking piece of shit <laughs> is constantly trying to make money off of, like, I know a secret. <laughs> I have a story about boys getting raped. You want to hear it? You want to hear I, it? I want no. It all to, <laughs> I, I want it all to come out just so I can be like, what does he do next? Because oh, he's yeah. been milking this one thing for fucking so it's like, long. It's like, uh, you know, hey, what are the fans of Howard Stern? What are they most common answer? I want to hear what he's going to do next. What about the people that hate Howard Stern? Most common answer? I want to hear what he's going to do oh, next. Shit. Oh, yes. Fuck. Yeah. Corey Feldman's just like Stern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Modern day Stern. Yeah. He's the king of all media. <laughs> <laughs> And other things, but the best his documentary is also called Private Parts. That the video that you're watching right now, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's on a great Kristen. Platform. If you notice, you're not watching this via YouTube. Well, I got tired of using YouTube. Why? Well, because basically, no one watches my videos. There's Everyone no way to make money off <laughs> my videos. It's impossible to make got, people pay. I, I mean. <laughs> I, I, I'm told people make money off YouTube, but I mean, I, I <laughs> everyone I'd be watched damned. my videos and downvoted them. <laughs> be everyone could if I leave could, me mean comments. <laughs> I'd be damned if I, yeah, got anything but hate comments. I didn't get subscribers. I didn't get views. Remember, we would be on his official page with his music video, and it'd have like four thousand <laughs> views or some bullshit <laughs> like that. Even when he was like king of all memes for a while, <laughs> yeah, uh, people still weren't checking out his shit. <laughs> Corey Feldman, king of all memes. <laughs> Well, I got One sick of being thing. king of all memes. That's why I'm here on uh, Super Fan Fan Crater. Bow down to your king. <laughs> I've got millions of views on those videos. No, what the fuck is this website? Yeah, Super Fan Fan yeah, Crater? Super Fan dot Fan Crater. That's his. Oh, I don't Corey. even know if it's just his because I don't think he could have said. I don't this, right? think it's his. We, I yeah. bet Boy Blue has an account on yeah, this. Yeah, like Squarespace. <laughs> you know what? If he doesn't, we should send him this. We're like, dude, you should set up a fan creator. We would totally donate to you. Terrible, hateful videos of people attacking. Hey, have you guys <laughs> checked out Fan Crater? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty cool site where you could get donations. I think I'm gonna walk down to the me. creek so and uh, think straight. about my fan crater. <laughs> They're screwing me over by destroying my credibility and my character and my name with lies. So Imagine someone else destroying Corey Feldman's <laughs> name <laughs> credibility <laughs> besides Corey Feldman. <laughs> they would have the easiest job in the world. Every day, every time you go to smear him, he already has done it. <laughs> He's in some already ahead of you. Yeah. Like, God damn it, Corey, you're always one step ahead of me. Remember when he got stabbed? Yeah, yeah, with a needle. <laughs> and then they're like, it appears that he did it to himself. <laughs> he ripped off. Uh, remember when they ripped the door off the hinges like uh, the uh, Hulk? Ugh. And they're like, he's changed his story four times, and then it just went away. <laughs> Today, we're launching a brand new service, which is going Ooh, to be a nice cut. <laughs> to the fan service 
for the Feld fam for the Did he fake stab himself to like say that he needed money cheap. for the recovery? No, it was like it was just to get attention for his new GoFundMe. Yeah, so like, he set up this is new, why I need security. Yeah, he set up a new truth campaign. Oh, yeah, because at the beginning of this video, he's like, I have security now. Yeah, 24 hour armed security. Has basically nothing to do this. That's cheap. For, uh, a subscription <laughs> of, I think, five to ten dollars a month. He doesn't even know. <laughs> And then you can watch exclusive content from me. This is probably one of those websites videos. where you can like follow a specific porn star and like uh, pay yeah, for the their like videos. Yeah, Corey <laughs> like, yeah, only just fans. Know. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah like Corey only Feldman, fans. Yeah. Only fans. <laughs> I could totally set one up. I have fans. <laughs> uh, chit chat. This is a cool new site for only my fans. You send me tokens, you know. On Twitter and Facebook, but eventually I'm gonna close all of those down. <laughs> Only I'm only going to use my fantasy chat. chat. You know, this idiot was looking at his, like, Twitter or whatever. And, you know, I, I don't remember exactly how many followers he had, but he probably had, like, 100,000 followers or something like that. It's probably the norm for his, like, status. Mm -hmm. And and most of them are just goof follows anyways. But he's probably staring at that, and he's like, 100,000. None of them are paying a dime <laughs> <laughs> to read my tweets. And he's like, I could easily set something up and probably get half that at $5. Like, and he doesn't stupid wheels in his head are spinning, and he really thinks he's going to make a ton of well, money. Meanwhile, all his posts have like 17 likes and four retweets, <laughs> yeah, so he's exactly. not making the connection. He has three gears, but none of them are gears. They're just discs, so they all spin and nothing happens. <laughs> and this is the way to block out all the trolls. I know the first thing they're going to say is, oh, of course he would do this. It's another way to make money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's where he shows See? you, See? Jim. We tried. Jeff, yeah. That's proof. We tried Judas. to take him down, but he took himself yeah. down first. Of course you think that like this is what I'm rabbit. doing. That's exactly what he's doing. Uh, and I know what the haters are going to say. Oh, he's a scam artist. Oh, he's always begging for money. Uh, I teamed up with up. My Boy Blue. So you can no longer harass my fans. You can no longer harass my followers. You can no longer harass my... You can no longer have fans. <laughs> like. You can no longer harass me. I don't have to listen to it. You can sign up. You can make your comments, but nobody's ever going to see them. So you can blab away all you want. Wow, because what a great service. Yeah, when, <laughs> you talk to no one. Is he gonna, I won't not gonna see him. <laughs> you won't see him. It's like it's a fart. It's like a turd in the wind. Look, this isn't a this isn't a quote community. This is just where you give me money. You sign yeah. up and you give me money. You give me money. It. I send videos at you. You said you spend comments to nowhere. You don't even need videos. It's like five or ten or fifteen dollars. I don't know. Just send me money. Who cares about videos? No. <laughs> Saturday. Super Bowl <laughs> Saturday. But anyway, the way that this works, we're going to be launching this over the next few months. So what months. you see here today, yeah, when you click on this link, you're going to see the landing page, which is going to show you this new world that we're so, about to So picture me singing. It's not fully up and running yet. <laughs> it's still under construction. <clears throat> so it's going to take a couple months. The camera's waving a little bit. Is someone holding the that camera that's on the Yeah, yeah well, just a giant bird. Yeah. <laughs> well, there, there are hurricane force <laughs> winds behind him. Soft opening. Yeah, birds platform. are flying into the window. So I Thunk. want everybody to get engaged and get excited about this. If you want to, you can sign up now, and you can be one of the very first. There's a creeper god up there. We're going to be doing private freak. screenings, Q&As, <laughs> that sort of thing. That's Mr. Dazbit. This film. You'll also, He's of course, a dick. Be the first you know who's to blame for some of this shit, though, too? Are people you. like... Uh, <laughs> us. <laughs> us. Well, no, like Jason Billings. Didn't he, like, go to see him yeah. live? Like I understand the, the kind of yeah. like people that are to that think are, about it as a goof, but you can't. You can't do it. You can't supporting go him the goof. Yeah, supporting him even ironically is still yeah. supporting him. The goof is never worth the squeeze. Yeah, that's right. You <laughs> end up there, and then you're just yeah. sitting there for 14 songs of him. <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> ah, ah, and then he's doing like fucking Billy Jean covers oh, and stop. shit. And then Ice Cube's there, or not Ice Cube, Ice uh, Ice Durst. Cool Man. What's Ice Co the guy that comes oh, out oh, around oh, Frosty? Trey guy. Baby Guy. Trey Freeze. <laughs> Trey Freeze. Who, who was Trey the Ghetto? Freeze? Baby guy, Mr. Frosty guy, yeah, that's Trey Freeze, yeah. something like that. Yeah. First to hear about my exciting new reality show project that I'm working Malibu on. Malibu Slim, and of course any updates about my music, new videos, if they new should music. Happen. Everybody, everybody that's on Doc this Ice. Is <laughs> Doc Ice, Doc Ice, Doc Ice, get a baby himself. To know the news that I have to release. This guy hasn't made first, new music in like ten in years, world, and you're gonna have private communication with me. Now, Doc you Ice? Want to sign up, you don't Corey have Feldman. To. You oh. can watch this video and go on. You'll still see Doc Ice stage dropping announcements and on Facebook yeah. for now. 
It's gonna take yeah, time. Who are these people over here? That guy just dabbing. So this is just <laughs> I'm paying attention to people in the background. Was he dabbing? Watch, he does a quick dab. Dabs on his bitch. Now, if you don't she just starts sucking his cock. You can watch yeah, it looks like he's like uh, having doggy You'll style sex. You'll see me on Twitter making announcements and on Facebook for now. Oh, maybe I'd... It's yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is just kind of a soft launch, and it's a way to show you that he's at a I frat no house. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with Delta Phi. <laughs> you know, I, I no have to get hazed. The best thing that could happen to Corey Feldman is if that man murdered that woman <laughs> in the background of this <laughs> yeah. video right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <you> Rear <laughs> window two with Yeah, you can have dog. the uh, evidence officer yeah. if you sign up. <laughs> Do you think any of the people in this place recognize this piece of shit? No. <laughs> yeah, they recognize him yeah. as the annoying guy from downstairs. Or they think it's Charlie Sheen. Or they, think it's they definitely think it's Charlie yeah. Sheen. Oh my god, Charlie Sheen. I'm so sorry. They're like, oh, it's the Crypt Keeper. Do the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> when <Gish>. the body. <laughs> I am fighting back. I promised you all that I would fight back. And this is called the Truth Campaign Stage 3. Um, someone else already has this that is name. <laughs> Isn't that what the, like, don't smoke cigarettes is? Yeah. <laughs> Truth.org. Oh, okay. Well, it's great because, yeah, this this is Stage 3. This is his third crowdsourcing of money. The first one... Clearly the most successful. Well, yeah, each that was like stage, 200. though, had multiple yeah, crowd <laughs> funds within it. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. if it's anything like cancer, five will be the one that kills him. Yeah. This Ooh, will be the thank good God. One. Third one's a charm. So right now I'm here to say <laughs> it's getting underway. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm here to say... <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to say... <laughs> 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 to he starts puking. If you don't want to comment, you can watch it like the rest of us. But either way... Today's comment, the day don't comment, it's all the same. So I'm very excited for the future. I want to thank each and every one of you who has been loving and supportive, especially for those of you who contributed to my campaign. I would not be here today if it wasn't for you. Literally, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to eat. I wouldn't be able to drink water. I would have nothing. So thank you so much for donating. If it wasn't for you giving me money, I wouldn't have even known I could ask people for money. (laughs) I want to thank God first and foremost and beyond all things. I want to thank God. For this great life he gave me. Did he just thank God? Twi- why is he? I, I want to thank God first and foremost, and and on top of that, I want to thank. God. I think he's just <laughs> bad at talking. Yeah. <laughs> this man, <laughs> a receiver of almost three hundred thousand dollars. Now I can assuredly say, no matter what happens to me, even if I die tomorrow, this documentary is coming out one way or another. You are going to get the whole truth. You are going to find out the name of the person. <laughs> Who molested me and raped my best friend? He already Listen said it. Oh. How he's, this is the pitch. Look, if you want to find out the name of the person that raped, that molested me and raped my friend, just please donate another please. five or ten dollars <laughs> just for the next giving six me months. money. <laughs> If you don't donate enough, he's just going to be out there. I can't wait for, for years this, for this website to become a 404, and everyone's like, huh? Yeah, what? what is this? But it keeps charging me, and there's no number to call. The ring that I promised you is coming out. Okay. Now that said, once I've said these names, I bet you the documentary is actually stage four of the Truth Campaign. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it even it's like okay, now this is the next step for our feature-length Hollywood film. Well, look, he's even about to yeah. take a couple steps back. He's like, if I say these names, it's gonna be bad. Well, so he's gonna say something like, I'll either go into hiding or I'll need more money. He also planted the seed already. He talked about how the next phase is a uh, distribution and oh, distribution yeah, ain't he free. Did, yeah. But distrib. What does he need distribution for? He has this fucking fan creator site that people are already <laughs> paying to get videos on. Yeah, it's Jim, got all the tools but, he needs. But Jim, <laughs> that you, what you're saying makes sense. <laughs> That's all I have left to say. There's no more. Except for these next three back. minutes. So I'm not coming out after the entire industry. I'm not going to bring down a whole ring of execs as people have speculated. That's not what this is about. I could, but I won't. Down. I literally One don't know any execs. <laughs> who destroyed my life and destroyed my best friend's life and also about exposing the people who've worked non-stop around the clock to try and to prevent pay me. this message from coming, to try to prevent my truth from coming. Well, they failed. I succeeded. We're taking I win. <laughs> warrants for them right now. We've got subpoenas that are being sent out right now. We are fighting back. We're going to take them to court. They're going to right, take just, me to court. Just do that. <laughs> Don't make your documentary. Yeah. Take Jim, but how is he going to get money then? This point is support How's he going to keep buying Big Macs, baby? Getting a stream or free download of the movie when it comes out. 
<laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Get a streamer free download. I don't know. CD. I like how he's like, I spent my own money, which used to be your money. Yeah, I spent my own money that was given to me by you, but it became my money. My hard earned beggar money. Uh -huh. I'm watching it for yourself. And then please support us by spreading the word to everybody you know, including law enforcement, to become actively involved. In Hello, 911. Yeah, can you please donate to Corey's fan crater? 911, how can I help you? Yeah, this is, uh, I'm one of the uh, the Feldman proud. <laughs> we need to help Corey. This is Feldfam1919. It's a felony to call 911. Is that a joke? Oh, see ya. We can do this together. I believe we can create a civil rights movement for the children of our future. It is their time. This is Kids 2. Capital K. <laughs> little IDS with the number little two. Little IDS oh, with the number two. two. That is the name of the movement. He just made that up in, in the moment. Well, too. he was like, it should be called Kids, and the kids already exist. He's like, all right, Kids 2. Dude, none <laughs> of that happened. But he, he insisted in, it be the number and not the word, too. Right in that moment, he was like, it will be called... Kids too. That, too. that is that is the name of the movement. Like yeah, kids uh, too. It's what I've been thinking capital about. Capital K, lowercase I D S. <laughs> two. Number two. You said kids too, because well, plus two is Corey <laughs> Hames' favorite number. If we, unless we all forget, oh, that's why. How good we? <laughs> that's why he always uses two, like angelic to the core. Oh, oh I thought it was just because he was a fucking loser. <laughs> well, and, and it's, even in his tweets, whenever he'd say like. Two, the, the word 2 0 would always be the number two because he's that. He's a kid. It's all about kids. Oh, yeah. It's the same way she, Cher tweets. <laughs> but a Cher just is because I'm That's old. <laughs> that we are creating for the children of our future. Kids, too. Remember that. And remember the truth is coming because the truth is coming very soon. And you will know all about the rape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a sound oh, too. Oh. You will know about. It's like a trailer. He's, yeah, he's selling it like it's a fucking Conor McGregor fight. It's yeah, it's slow you motion of the Rock running, jumping on that side <laughs> yeah. scraper into a rape. You will get all the details of the rape. <laughs> we go, Rocky's playing in the background. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad man. Said you got rape. Well, you gotta tell some. Gonna tell him someday. You uh, got uh, come in your butt. <laughs> you will. You big cum slut. <laughs> so I'm looking up kids too as the hashtag. Yeah. Literally the only one using it is Corey. <laughs> kids too. Hashtag kids too. Capital K. Little I D S <laughs> with the number two. Hashtag H2. kids two. That is the name of the movie. That's what I have. So we are creating for the children of our future. Kids too, remember that, and remember the he truth is himself. coming. Because the truth is coming very soon, and you. All of his tweets are all, all caps. About the rape of the two <laughs> Except for kids too. I promise you that. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to spending a lot more time with you all. And soon. telling you about this rape. <laughs> God bless. You will know all about the rape of the two Oh, no, his lips disappeared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they rubbed off on his hands. <laughs> so did you sign up? What do we, what's what's he posted? Now? I don't, but he's even, we it's going to be a few months. And don't we can't support it. him. Even ironically, we but can't. But we can sign up now, I think right? Once, no, we can't sign up yet. But once there's something on there, we got to sign up. <laughs> no, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. It's no, just, yeah. hey, no. well, here, uh, it's as just long as we all have a login so we can log in on our phones and check out Corey's app. In the new platform. Well, we could join him today, though. I think we could join him right now. But he doesn't have anything up yet. He even said so himself. I know, but we could still pay him today. Yeah, no, we don't want to pay, <laughs> pay him today. How's he going to make content with no money, Jim? I like how it's like $5. Cancel any time. <laughs> it should be the other way around. <laughs> Coming soon, the documentary everyone will be talking about. The rape of the two Corys. No commitment. Cancel any time. Wait, 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 wait. Go back down to the things he pitches you on right there. Look for DMs. I randomly message my Feld fam one on one. Just randomly. What if you're sitting there just out of nowhere? Hey, what's up? And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sup? Chilling. W.I.D. <laughs> cool. See me stream live to my Feld fam only. He's the playing, only thing is we may have Fortnite. to. We may have to uh, charge to the game. Yeah. Just for show content. Mm -mm. If he, yeah, we have to. Yeah. Because we, and, and you know what? We'll be doing one better because we'll be broadcasting his paid content That's to true. other people. <laughs> we are yeah. pirating. 
We're so, taking way more money than we're giving. Way, I mean, yeah, we're not going to do it when he has nothing. But the only way I can really salvage it is before the show and other people get to see it uh, without having to sign up for his cra- uh, garbage. Yeah, what else is on Fan Crater? Yeah, is it just him? Just search fran- fancrater.com. I bet there's um, something like fan that. Crater. Or Superfan. One of the two. Superpowers celebrities. Fan Crater. Okay, yeah. what, other c- what other celebs are on Fan Crater? We superpower you. To fill the void in the hearts of your most loyal fans. <laughs> wow. That's a way to put it. Yeah, do they have anyone on here? Well, you make oh, it and then you post no. your link to this thing that Let's nobody make uses. You and your I mean, if they had anyone on here, they'd be like, it would go. say, yeah. Check out say all the people. Currently. Watch our video. Okay. There's a button. Wait, wait. Go to the where it says celebrities. It says watch our video. Maybe they have a wait, list. Where did it say that? Right down, 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 right there. For celebrities and brands. It's no, not even nothing. clickable. Oh, no, go. Yes, yeah. Feel the love. What is fan crazy? Get one You're to not find normal. out. 112 normal views. <laughs> You've done everything right. Showed up at no every one's event, watched this. Liked every post, bought all the merchandise, and it's not enough. Is there more ways? You're a super fan. You deserve the kind of love regular fans don't get. You deserve. They're trying to be like Patreon. Imagine one-on-one interaction with your favorite superstar. That's a bad name, because you know what a crater is? It's just like a big stinking, <laughs> well, like, yeah, like a fiery hole. smoldering hole where the fan <laughs> once was. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they're trying to be Patreon, but for celebrities. But you'd think you would get celebrities before you uh, launch. they got one. Oh, that's you, right? Whoa. Yeah, they have Corey Bell. <laughs> Monthly subscription fee, the one you're wild about, will send you exclusive stuff. Whether it's video, audio, live stream, or nothing at or all. Yeah. Other exciting <laughs> fan crater features, you'll always be the first to know. And the best part is, it's one on one. Hey, look what no Corey sent me. Oh. Your no trolls. No trolls. They That's advertise this. it as no <laughs> comments from trolls. And only you. Fan crater. You is and super a bunch of stupid heaven. people like you. Sign up today and start experiencing the super fan life on fan crater. Yeah, but with who? Fan uh, crater? No fan one. <laughs> fan crater. Feel the sign love. up now and you can see you tons of slips and Chris sign up to their posts. Yeah, look, no one's even Just fucking looked guy. at this video. He's posted on his personal fucking bank. <laughs> <laughs> Fan creator jobs. We can apply oh, yeah. and work for What are them. they hiring? They're in Michigan. First of its uh, kind. I'm an idiot loser. Want to hire me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get you a fan creator. You get some fans. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not offering any jobs. They're like uh, the president <laughs> is the only one there. There's nothing else like it. Join Fan Creator. Make a bigger fan. Did impact. they mean to write? There's nothing else on it. Ricky Rebel on Twitter. Who the fuck is that? Okay, Ricky Rebels on there. Ricky we Rebel. got one. It's on their Facebook. So and we got in the Fan Creator hashtag. We got Feldman and we got Ricky Rebel. Yeah, let's, let's see who Ricky Rebel I like, is. I like the Migos app that you choose between two things. <laughs> this <laughs> app's no good. Uh, what was it? Uh, ba- 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 do, ba- do. <laughs> what do I do? But ba- do ba- for you. Who do? Dude, 135 <laughs> people used <laughs> <What> was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Was it Migos that did it? Yeah, it was Migos. Let's check. All the, all the Migos, it was like a bu- boobaloo. <laughs> what do I choose? Yeah, wubbaloo or... <laughs> <laughs> is that a real app that they made? Yeah. <laughs> Four ways to create a VIP experience. Wh- why are they posting if they don't have people? Well, they haven't even posted since Because it's an idea that they have. Well, there's one in September. Uh, they post once a month. Want to see your work They got about 250000 from Corey Feldman a little while ago. <laughs> oh, Bedlou? dude. These people skin- scammed Corey Feldman, the, <laughs> the ultimate scammer. Yeah, that's why they have no content. And then it links to some guy's YouTube. This person's enjoying the fan creator pr- platform. Hashtag truthers. It's a bot. It's a bot. For who? It's gotta Corey. Be. Look at her other Corey, tweets. Yeah. It's got to be. Jamie L. Ro- well, she has a crazy face. Oh, yeah. No, that's Ooh. a real like crazy, a crazy lady. person. Typo corrected. Pen post. That's her uh, pen post. Embrace. Live the life you love. Live the life you live. It's just an inspirational. It's just video. those like fucking letters on the wall of a bathroom. Uh, it's weird. You can just find. She just posts j- bitmojis. Bit <laughs> it's weird. You can just find crazy people on social media. All the Did time. I tell you well, about when I found the person who's obsessed with Paris Hilton, but he also believes he's a member of the Illuminati, uh, and that Paris Hilton sends him telepathic messages mm, uh, that she's in love with him. Sounds about white. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, he's not white, Jim. Oh, really? <laughs> he is, uh, That's surprising. He is a person of color for sure. 
Well, talking about how uh, social media gets you connected to crazy people, the fucking that video of that guy just driving that backwards down the highway. Oh, I didn't and, see that. And he's just uh, it, like he has normal posts, but they all are like hashtag fuck Jay Z Illuminati six six six. And then he stopped taking his meds, and it's just different videos on his Instagram posted not less a story, yeah, but yeah, separate don't, videos. Don't stop like, taking your meds. Yeah, and he's like, I salai these people are rebuking Jesus, <laughs> and he's just driving. And there's cars like cops next to him, like woo. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> and think, there's three different videos on this page. Do you think this is a really interesting and neat fact to know this response that Jamie L. Rollins? To Absolutely. Wyatt? Personally, I do think that. Oh, Spirit um, animal. Marquise de Favres, after reading his death sentence before being hanged, he said, I see you have th- made three step spelling mistakes. That is really interesting and neat. That is neat and interesting. <laughs> Um, oh shit! I just got diarrhea. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's one crazy person that's on Fan Crater. Yeah, I can't believe that's Henry She's not Rollins even talking about wife. who she's a fan of, though. Feld Dog. Oh, she's on the Feld Dog level. Right. Oh, okay. She's super fans she's crave the relationship. They just he really more. is the only one on there. I oh, guess there's Christopher so. Tobias, the guy with the website from December 2017. And uh, yeah, someone from the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> yeah, Darren McCarty posting some raw front row video of UFC 2018 on his fan channel. Oh, so Darren just, McCarty. There's just got someone one. pirating fucking UFC <laughs> fights. <laughs> <laughs> we give super... Fa- yes, Christopher Tobias keeps tweeting about it, of course, because he made it. Stole away to catch a little bit of Black Joe Lewis. This is Sofi. like their exclusive content, him next to the <laughs> stage. This is it. some fucking... It's one of those pieces of shit that... Is some probably is well. He's just rich. He's got a rich dad. It's some upstart. He's so trying he's to make going, it a website, yeah. but it's not. And then so he's going to South Corey by Feldman. and shit like that. I just, just you would not apps. believe what I just heard from Tom Cruise, fan creator. Yeah, the, Tom Cruise is not on fan creator. <laughs> Picture Fuck of like you. a concept car <laughs> and, yeah. and a link that doesn't work. <laughs> um, well, uh, when are well, we signing up for ours? <laughs> yeah, we once we know there's a post on there. It is bed Lou. You were right. Well, someone in the chat. Said, <laughs> no, no, no. When are we making a fan crater? I guess Which Bedloo's... car do I drive today? Uh, Dusty St. Bedlou is 404 now if you try to go to their <laughs> website. <laughs> it's an app that lets... Oh, man. Oh, man. What shirt? Bedlou helps... <laughs> It helps you make a choice. This is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> what shirt oh, should no. I wear, everyone? <laughs> Bed Lou. So you put on the shirt, take two pictures, upload it to Bed Lou, <laughs> and then send it to everyone on your uh, fan <laughs> fan crater. Oh, I guess all the losers on the internet so I should eat a pretzel. <laughs> Hey, chicken up pork, chicken up pork, chicken up, chicken up pork, chicken up pork. Zaytoven going crazy on the keys. Bedlou, 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 bedlou. Come to your back on the walk back. Ah, and also at Sundance. They did. Um, they did release a Michael Jackson documentary coming to HBO soon. That's what I was gonna. Uh, when I heard the Beat It news, I was thinking like, <laughs> man, Ooh, do they play it? Although <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> they I, might. It's one of his, the most <laughs> iconic songs of all time. <laughs> I was reading an article about the guys in this documentary, and um, you never know when you might hear Beat It. <laughs> it might just be playing in somewhere you're at. <laughs> And, and I, I can't tell if this is the media slander or not, but like I guess one of these guys uh, was still in the Michael Jackson camp, like well after his death. He did a lot of tributes to him, but then when they were trying to hire some uh, Corey, Corey Feldman, yeah. <laughs> wait, is it an anti Michael Jackson? Yes, it's about uh, how it's about how he's a molester. Gotcha. And um, one of the guys, he, when the, it came up to hire someone, maybe for the v- Vegas show or something, when they were trying to have someone build the choreography for an upcoming show they passed him over and ever since then now he's like oh i just remembered that i was molested by michael jackson and oh, uh, oh what the fuck 
So I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to discount if it's narrative. true, but that's it's, awfully yeah. convenient. It's hard. It's hard to see because you never know. Because sometimes they put these things out in the media just to like discredit it ahead of the story. But then sometimes maybe there's some legitimacy to it. I don't yeah. know. But anyways, this is uh, the report on the. And there's a lot of theatrics going along with this documentary because they talk about it in this news report here. Like they had. Um, <laughs> They had like therapists on site to talk to people after they watched it. But oh, whatever. That feels like how in the seventies, like at the Exorcist, they had ambulances outside. Yeah. But it's just a way to get like buzz going and talking. People were like, oh, like people a- were throwing yeah. up in this horror movie. It's film festival where the documentary premiered. Audience members' reactions were gut wrenching. Feels sick to my stomach. It's so sexually explicit that counselors are in the lobby. With one tweet. <laughs> that sounds like it's when like they were the doing like grindhouse movie. movies, and they're like, yeah, "You gotta sign a contract. Yeah, exactly. Psychiatrists <laughs> will be in the lobby." It's like it's kind of <laughs> like carny. It's like carny shit. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I just another, saw the documentary. Robson made me so sad. Say oh, I saw Fell Dog. Sexually abusing them. No, that's just. A, I guess he's got a type. That's just some kid that looks like. No, no, Fell no. Dog. Go back. Oh, what, did it show him? Yeah, I said it after. Right. Slightly shell shocked. What another. It's the first kid they show. Boom. No, that's the kid. That's, that's, Feldman. that's the kid. That's from oh, that's the documentary. Oh, that's not Feldog? No. No. This is Jew. Sainchuk say Jackson began sexually abusing them when they were on tour and during sleepovers at his Neverland Ranch. Uh. In the documentary, Safechuck claims Jackson gave him jewelry in exchange for sex acts and even staged a mock I wedding have with bows and, and a diamond <laughs> ring. Yeah, did you hear that, though? Supposedly, he, he, they, they had a wedding, like a fake wedding, and he gave what? him a ring and like got Probably. married to him. That's I mean, dope, I believe though. this. <laughs> that's super Who would dope. make that up? The, the <laughs> thing that's so weird about all the Michael Jackson stuff is like, yeah, every, every, beat, every bit of incident Every beat it. Every beat it of, into, of evidence uh, points to like, yeah, this guy was a sick fuck. Yeah. But then there's like Macaulay Culkin who seems well adjusted, and it's like, no, nah, he never molested me. And well, same thing. Uh, Corey Feldman Corey though, sells, is the opposite. But <laughs> Corey Feldman says, yeah, he never molested me. He says then, the same. And thing. you know that if he but there was just, even a chance, like it, he yeah, would jump so he on that really wagon. It's just Peter Pan. He's it, like, we. It feels like. It, well, it's I love weird. Having you but over. the thing with because Corey Feldman is he well, has there's like, two ways with Corey Feldman. It, it could be because it feels like he would just jump on it for the attention if there was a chance yes but then it also feels like since he dresses up and acts like michael yes. jackson all the time that he can't say that michael jackson molested him so i don't know well also he could uh, be one of I those feel- people where he like thinks that like no we were in a relationship he never oh, like, yeah. took well, advantage of me uh, I, that, maybe uh, i feel yeah. like he'd be more concerned michael with his Jackson's image more young than soul. Else. I, I feel like fell dog if he he would definitely throw his persona out the window if he knew he could cash in on fucking something like this. He'd be like, oh, yeah, I dressed up like him, but that's just because I hate him so much. In the documentary, Robson, now a well-regarded choreographer... <laughs> As he does the worst <laughs> dance of all time. Uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Seen here, dancing like a mummy. <laughs> he told Inside Edition in 2017 that Jackson made him promise to never reveal the alleged abuse. And the way Michael would talk to me. Was. He's like a magician. He does. You know, if anybody so else bad. ever finds out what it is that we're doing, we're doing, you and I voted will Titus both get in trouble and we'll both gay go to jail magician for the rest of, of gay porn. The Jackson I thought you were going to say voted Titus Bussy. documentary as a public lynching. Same. Better. Michael Jackson was and always will be 100% innocent of these false allegations. Security was beefed up at the premiere, with Safe Chuck and Robson being escorted to their car by police. But again, more theatrics. Yeah, they had like yeah. police and all these people there, and there was Nobody's like he's rushing them. There were two yeah. protesters, like two fans. They had signs that said like uh, "Michael Jackson, King of Pop" or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Beat it, bro! Yeah. <laughs> it just says like thriller, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> this movie is bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad because they they were supporting Michael, uh, and it's hard to say though because. I mean, well, I guess you could say R. Kelly also went through the system and they kind of, he got off because Michael Jackson. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. did. All the time. Because Michael Jackson didn't like, they ran, they kind of ran him through the ringer, didn't they? Well, I remember that he he came away from it. Like it was that, that whole court of opinion, like public opinion where everyone's always like, oh yeah, he's definitely guilty. He's like, but he was innocent in court. It's like, yeah, but he's definitely guilty. But then again, I guess is part of the innocent in court. Was it just settlements? Was he just paying people off? I was pretty young when it was happening. It was settlements, but then one of the, one of the kids has said that they made it up. But the, yeah. it, I mean, obviously, they have enough money to be like, say you made it up, <laughs> we'll give you a billion dollars. But again, I mean, this just kind of reminds me of like, you know, this is it's another R. Kelly situation where we kind of knew about this, or at least in public, there were these murmurs. But 
you know, the music's so good and and <laughs> that's what it always goes down to. It's, it's like we're gonna bangers, bro. We're gonna Fucking kind bangers. of ignore it, but now it's kind of little. It's it's a little bit more back in style. I mean, well, since but, Michael Jackson's dead, like if if you're still alive, it would be a bigger deal. It'd be more going because I guess you'd have yeah. someone to try to. You like answer to this? What do you have? Like defend yourself? Well, they well, should play weird. those people. Beat it. They'll <laughs> change their minds for sure. I, it was weird because I feel like early two thousands it was established like he's a child molester. Then he died, and enough time passed for everyone was like the music. Broke. No, dude, it was immediately after he died. It wasn't even. Didn't oh even yeah, as soon as he dies, like woo! But the, the main reason why I know <laughs> that is like because like nothing happened, but like we all went through it. But I all, but I always liked his music. It didn't, yeah. it didn't matter. I still liked his music even, even when, when I he thought even he was when a I thought he was a weirdo. Yeah. Uh, and then that's why, because even when he died and people were hopping on the bandwagon, I was like, get out of here. This is <laughs> I Jackson. like him when I thought yeah. he was a monster. Yeah, even when he's a monster, I, I stuck through him thick and thin. I'm like that R. Kelly fan. <laughs> you think he, what, do you think Michael Jackson invented this shit? He didn't invent this. <laughs> um, but I, actually, I didn't look it up, but I think Corey was there, too, shopping around his documentary. No. I th- I'm pretty sure he was at. Cor- uh, Feldog was somewhere shopping something around. <laughs> yeah, he was at fucking Sundance, I believe. Let me see. What's on his Twitter? I thought his Twitter was <clears throat> private now. I think he had to change it because no one signed up for that stupid pay. So oh, yeah, he had his own thing. Uh, the other day, actually, like a week ago, I tried to see if that... I couldn't remember the name of that site, but I couldn't find anything on... Well, because he was the only person on it, Yeah, though. What he is on, he's on uh, that other thing that loser actors go on. Only um, fans? Not only like fans. The, uh, like the dating site? No, oh, the, one where you make a, the one where you make a video for someone, and it's just like, hey, what's up? It's blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of wrestlers uh, cameo, on there. Cameo. Cameo. Yeah. He's on there. I still... And, oh, sorry. Good. I love the idea of him accidentally signing up for OnlyFans, not knowing <laughs> what it is. Because I would almost do this, but and I don't want to pay $122 for it. Ooh, but that's a, that'd be so good for us. You but don't? It, look how bloated he looks. <laughs> look at that guy. Susan, Corey Feldman here. How are you? Um, I am Susan. coming to you right now with this very special birthday message. Like, I'm in my drum room. Uh, this is $122 right here. <laughs> uh, look how all, high he is. I have laryngitis, Doesn't so it look I don't really he is. sound all that hot right now, but I feel pretty good. Okay, and I don't look too bad, so I think I'm doing okay, even though I don't. He kind of looks like Ronald Reagan. <laughs> but anyway, enough about me. Let's talk it's about the you. drip. I wanted to my say that like I have been told my bed. that you are my greatest fan ever. I heard you like drums. I don't know if that's really accurate because Uh, there's been a close competition between a few, but I definitely, definitely welcome the competition. Well, this guy Uh, sucks. What a dick. He didn't even give her a No, we can't pay one. Let's say she's the best. No, but you know what? Because he's afraid someone else who bought a cameo is going to watch this and be like, what the fuck? I'm your biggest fan. I'm the best. Well, what we got to do is we got to pay for it, but we got to say it's because our friend died. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. We gotta well, like look get, how we, bu- how bloated he is from the bottom right to the upper one. left. Like it's got to be for a crazy reason, and that's like what we say it is. He looks like J Frog. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, if he you does. are my greatest fan ever, then that's really amazing news. And apparently, you had sent me a bracelet at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what the fuck? A picture of me wearing, <laughs> which is pretty cool, because obviously, if you sent it to me and it got to me, then I would only want to honor you by wearing it. So that's dope. I'm glad that you got to see me wearing it. I, I like uh, how he's like, apparently I wore it once. Weird. Yeah, hey, that's cool for you. And I wonder if I still have it. Maybe you could send me a picture of the picture of me wearing it. Yeah, and then I could you see stupid if I still bitch. have it. And then maybe I could take another picture. But I wouldn't hold my breath because I have so lost many high, things. Dude. So fucking high, dude. Bro, I yeah, I like hold what my breath. Is, maybe I could do it, but I wouldn't <laughs> fucking get it. Uh, <laughs> don't even, don't hold your breath. <laughs> Uh, I know my lady. throat sounds really bad. <laughs> uh, Hi, I'm sick. I know you think you're my number one fan, but you're not. I know you sent me uh, something. Uh, I lost it's it. It's just a rambling story about nothing. He's like the a big cokehead, bro. Stolen. I've had new and he's drinking too. At the same time, I think. The point. Anyway, sorry again. I have laryngitis. I'm no, you to don't. Right now, but I wanted to get this out in time for your birthday. And by the way, this birthday wish was sent to you <laughs> by. Jessica. Someone and bought Kent. that for someone so, else. Happy birthday from Jessica and Kent. And maybe and you're in competition for my best fan. 
Which and I'm maybe I have a bracelet. Probably one of the two. <laughs> send we me a picture. We all somehow. Want you very we should day. send her a picture reply to this $122 service. Yeah, we gotta okay. lie and say we're someone. No, no, no. Who we, who's a fan of Jim and them, and that Jim and them recently died in like a fucking horrific like bus crash or something, and that they they loved you so much. They yeah. were huge fans of yours. And we want a video to play at I the wake see or some shit. all these ones from the same no. night. <laughs> Here's what we do. You probably want more money for that. We pay $122. We get him. Uh, we tell him it's for our friend, the boy blue, 91982. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Worlds collide. <laughs> we throw $122 at <laughs> <laughs> that. that I'm, <laughs> two fucking great. idiots that think <laughs> that someone likes them. <laughs> <laughs> then we send it to blue. Yeah. We're the only thing they have in common. <laughs> 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 Much oh. peace and love. Is and have an amazing Corey year. Feldman, your boy God blue, of like, like D celebrities, yeah, because yes. he's always begging for money. Oh yeah, he, but he can finds ways to get yeah. it, which I think your boy Blue does yeah. too. Yeah. His video quality is terrible. Hey there, this message is for Richard M. Nyman. <coughs> and, uh, Richard, this is Corey, by the way, and I've been asked <laughs> to uh, to read a, a bit of a script to you here. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got this fucking strange, script. So I, I just thought I should preface fucking with read, these are right? not my own words. Uh, okay. glug, glug, yeah, he's even go. saying I should preface these are not my own words, and then it's probably gonna be like, "Hey, no, Richard, don't. I'm really happy that you're my <laughs> fan. Me, you're Corey. a great guy. <laughs> you're a great once person. again, yeah, yeah, during he's like, once again, not me. Your friend wrote it. Uh, <laughs> I, not really I, but the guy that wanted me to say this, uh, oh. I wanted to say, hey, he did that my thing I said. He is doing <laughs> it. Yeah, he's doing the thing we said. No, this all sucks. So you, Dude, so imagine being money the guy that that paid and gave him this script because apparently you probably hit him up like, "Hey, do this video." And he's like, "You got to send me a script." <laughs> like in his reply, hard body Mark, and all the kids at Bubaroo. Mark is a legend of the '80s. He stole Drew Barrymore from me. And inspired Michael Jackson to write hit songs with the ukulele. <laughs> Wait, is this someone phoning him? This is yeah. the script. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he, I guess it makes more sense why he's like. But but honestly, you got one hundred twenty-two dollars for like twenty seconds. Just play along with the stupid script. Would have. I bet he thinks he is by breaking the fourth wall. Mark, love. <laughs> I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. Who I kind of want to see the one where he doesn't look fucked up now. Like, what the difference is. Glenn Cole of High School, Class 89. <laughs> yeah, a class what of the eight. fuck? <laughs> hey, everybody from the Glenn Cove High School, Class Oh, no, he's still fucked up. <laughs> this is Corey Feldman. Skittier. And I am coming to you with a very special <laughs> celebratory <laughs> message. I want you all to have an incredible 30 He can't keep his eyes open in any of these videos. Reunion <laughs> coming up in July. Okay? So... Going back for a minute. First of all, I've got laryngitis, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he's always got laryngitis. That is because he filmed all these in the span of just two days. No, I mean, no, no, like, that's not two days. Look I at don't know. There. They're like there. Corey. We you need we these have been piling up. We've been asking you for six months to record them. You have to record them as oh, you go. Well, they're two days, but they're four years apart. I think they're <laughs> a ways apart, but he's just always fucked up. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, back two months later, I still got laryngitis. I normally don't sound like this, but I wanted to ask you. 30 years ago, what were you doing? I mean, I know for me, I feel like I, I feel better. <laughs> 30 I, years I ago, uh, getting better. raped. <laughs> um, my life is more together. My head is more together. Dude, there's that drink. great, I mean, this I, is I, just about him. <laughs> yeah, there's that clip I sent you guys of Dick Miller on the side that of the burbs. That was so funny. Yeah. And stupid Corey Feldman just being like a fucking <laughs> wacko, like just singing and dancing. But you could tell, like, they're trying to start the scene, and he goes, hey, shut the fuck up, kid. We're trying to do some acting. Yeah, that was so <laughs> And he good. has to kind of play like, but, oh, it's so perfect. Wait, wait. Is that one where he's pointing the camera at the mirror instead of at himself? Yeah, here's one. Oh, here. cry. Oh, big shirt. I have pneumonia. Uh, dude, he's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> he can't even talk now, apparently. He's just showing signs. Hi, Dave. Oh, no man. fucking no way. Why does he say he has some sort of something? <laughs> 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 I'd be so mad if I paid $122 for this. You're good friends. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on your groovy cover band, Dave. Oh, no. 
and your hot wife. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> You're still banging. What the Ooh, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah. God, he's staring into the face of madness. And I hear you're like me and play all the instruments. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should just focus on one. Yeah, maybe one instrument. But if you want to be a rock star... Lots of letters instead of words. Make sure your hot wife doesn't get jealous. What oh, the geez. fuck? This guy's a fucking wackadoo. Okay. Love gay. Okay. <laughs> <Gay. laughs> yeah. Gay. Ugh. Look at that face. <laughs> Jesus fuck, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. How on earth is is people are paying money? Dude, he's gotta be getting so many complaints. He's so right? fucked up! <laughs> like you would think there would be some that are together. Like people gotta be sending emails be like, yo, I'm not fucking paying for this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, he's a charge back. He wrote and, a, I mean, you he know wrote what? a bunch of fucking messages on paper in a bathroom. And you know what? Going back to what Mike said, it probably yeah. was this man had two or three days, but he's been awake the whole Oh, yeah, time. no, they're back to back. So we're all right? Like, he's just been on a fucking Oh, yeah, he did, he did a video a day. <laughs> I have <coughs> Still very sleep. special message for my very dear friend, Carrie Yeast. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Well, apparently, you wrote me this message a couple days ago, and it was... Carrie Green's birthday. He missed so her birthday. Wanted me to mention uh. that. Um, well, happy birthday, Carrie Green. I uh, I spoke to Carrie about six months ago. She was doing great. Who? We keep in touch from this time to time. This is an angel that anyway, he fucked. Is that just some improv? Carrie. She's a sweetheart. And I love you, Carrie. And you're a sweetheart. Hear my voice? It's a mess. You know why? Because Laryngitis. I've been sick in bed for a week. This is the first time I've been able to actually <laughs> speak. No, it's not. No because voice. look at the shirts he's wearing. Yeah, yeah. It's I fucking mean, lying. It's a dirty fucking lion. He does. And he's like a wall of video proof. They're it, going in reverse order, though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Courtney just walked in with the dogs. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been wretched. I've been literally stuck in bed all week. Yeah, let, let me business, tell you about barely me. Barely able to do anything. <laughs> barely able to talk. Here's this fucking script but, somebody wrote. Not <clears> my <throat> idea. Antibiotics and steroids. So this is what happened. He missed back. this one birthday yeah. message, and he's like, "Oh fuck." Yeah, I gotta do. I gotta make it say now, I had yeah. uh, laryngitis. So that yeah. explains the first video. That's his backstory. <laughs> 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 what other losers oh, are on this awesome. website? And laying around in bed, and not me. That's not me. I, I actually never get sick. This is the first time I've been sick like this in probably five years. So anyway, oh, no not a lot of fun. Starting to finally feel better. That's why I was able to finally get the strength. Oh my to god! Do these it would be today. so worth so it to uh, just give him one hundred twenty-two dollars and be like, "What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, damn." <bro." laughs> well, he was also making it seem like it was a friend. Did he make his friend pay him money to record this video? Well, he said, "Carrie, that's Carrie Yeast." She mentioned Carrie Green. That was someone else that mentioned in his thing. I don't know who Carrie Green is. Hi. Corey Feldman here. <laughs> I may not sound like Corey Feldman right now because I have laryngitis. But the other I thing is he you. sounds like he always yeah, sounds yeah, in yeah, all these videos. Exactly like that. Anyway, I have a very special message for Kyle. Kyle, I wanted to let you know that your very, very good friend, Dave Chatterton, took the time to contact me and ask me to make you this special video, which I agreed to do. Uh, for money on a website. Pretty sick. <laughs> And we've been trying to hope that I would get better in time to make these videos for people, but unfortunately, I am still not able. Oh, uh, can speak you properly. pay? Uh, or can you do a two-minute video matter. about whatever for one hundred twenty-two dollars? Maybe of the year. I'll and try that it. Is an amazing thing. <laughs> He's conductor I mean, first of the of all, year. I've heard you're a great conductor, but secondly. You're the rookie of the year. <laughs> I mean, it was just a year what? ago when you were just Fudge the Elf, and now look at you. Rookie of the year. Yeah. Amazing. I can't imagine wait to that all the things he could have got this guy for $122 uh, <laughs> instead of this. Like lots of nice and, stuff. Uh, $122. Just the cash. And you, this uh, is what someone spent you know, their money on for you. <laughs> a few beautiful pieces for the masses. 
Anyway, um, well, <laughs> they all say that they're uh, having a great time with you on the team. They're enjoying having you around, and you're making people laugh. Unlike me, as I can only make you laugh at me because of my voice right now. But hey, and because of everything about me. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons you can make and people laugh at you. So is your conducting. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, have a great time. <clears throat> Congratulations, <laughs> and go get them. I'm going to go try and lay in bed for another 10 weeks and get my voice back. Peace and love. Hell yeah, peace and love. I Why would he see... put these up for us to see? Yeah. I think Cameo puts them up. You think there should so... just be like three? Like here's, know a, what here's you're some getting. samples. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if they like make you put them up. I assume they Are do. all the people getting these like us just losing their mind? Like maybe it's <laughs> Kyle, but it's like, Kyle, we got, you can't believe what we did. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, you're like, no. <laughs> I want to see if, I thought he put out a video about his, um, about his Sundance, uh, trip or his movie i guess maybe i have to look up his youtube what if he just dies in real time oh, right <laughs> there, there. that's right there which one this Corey feldman real. shocking last days yeah i was just caught on cameo he, he, in he his like a, basement uh, what's his youtube i was trying to see if he made a dumb video at least talking about it buy a video for me <laughs> it's behind a paywall of course it just retweets any fucking shit <laughs> oh yeah here we go <laughs> ah, <laughs> here we go. This, this is what I was looking for. This oh, is the Corey no. we know and love. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, it looks like a Christmas tree. Looks, this is fun, Cokehead Corey, like though. When he's wearing glasses, Star Wars. you can't see his eyes looking two different ways. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm going to give you guys a second to catch up before I start talking. And in five, four. What? Three. Sorry, I have a laryngitis. Sorry, this is so weird. Choke head. Are you here? <laughs> are you live? I'm live. It's me, Corey, coming to you live from Sundance in Utah, Park City, Utah. And uh, as you can see behind me, it's quite snowy and quite chilly, <laughs> and I'm standing out here without gloves. But I'm doing it because I wanted to come to you personally. How is this and the celebrate kid we you. love turned into this? <laughs> I know so many He's like a deep voice started opposite of this. Me when no. you know, this whole thing came out about the Harvey Weinstein scandal and everybody said, you know, Corey's got to tell his story. Now's the time. Now's the time. You know, all this stuff is coming out. Me Too movement, blah, blah, blah. I was blah. like, give me a million dollars. And everybody yeah. came to me and said, what's the deal? And we literally got 100,000 new followers on Twitter over a three-week period. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It took headlines all over the world and it resulted in the most dramatic and insane chaotic year of my life which we have just we endured stabbed. my wife and he's i he's pitching a video about getting raped and he's saying health, that this was the most the chaotic year of his <laughs> life but we did it for a reason we survived all of this we laid low we've been under the radar because i had to get my documentary shot and i had to get my documentary finished to the point that i could i did neither to sundance mm. to meet with distributors to talk about getting it out so that's why i'm here in park city utah now as a matter of coincidence it just so happened that the culmination of 15 years of work 15 years of work from child years. usa and their founder marcy hamilton who have been pushing to try and get the cva passed in the state of new york and in every other state so let me break that down for you guys for a minute yes uh, please so, the problem, the reason why people like myself who are uh, abuse victims and survivors who do not get it's a like chance a to get justice, the reason something. why we can't get that justice is because of the statutes of limitations. Because most children who are uh, abused, most What's sexual up, abuse guys? victims, so the reason do not that, come to terms uh, with I that can't abuse <laughs> until my rape they are charges. much later and much more evolved in life. So as children, we don't have the capability to, to understand what's happened to us. But as we get older, we process it. So by the time we're about 50 is when people are finally able to <laughs> give that information. Well, that's a okay? crazy that's uh, to number to the throw police. out there. I'm only 36. Unfortunately, <laughs> that window well, is long yeah, he's since gotta be close because to 50, right? most statutes uh. of limitations cut out in most states between 20 and 25. Oh, his glasses are on crooked. Okay, that's the yeah. issue. So his face, when his I face is on crooked. Ago, God put his face on wrong. He forgot to put his lips for, on before uh, he started the video. That guy raped his mouth that I was sideways. Trying to make, which did not get made because we didn't make the money because of all sorts of scandal and uh, outside Yeah, because remember he was to... just gonna, it was going to be a Hollywood film. It was going to yeah. be like he needed special effects and all this shit. But he's like, all right, no, we can't a make that. scandal. All involving me. He did a very good job at, at uh, blustering our campaign, which was on the track to doing exactly what it needed to do. But that's 
okay because everything happens for a reason. Things happen the way they're meant to. After that happened, I decided to reprogram, retool, and do things a bit differently and go ahead and make the documentary version to just get the truth out as quickly Should as possible. Should have been what you did from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, well, he so wanted to do a feature film well, starring like him, simple. I'm sure. You can't do that because if you do that, you're setting yourself up for a lot more problems and a lot more danger. So the point is that if you're going to do things, you got to do it the right way. It's got to be clear, it's got to be concise, and it's got to be all the information you need so that you fully understand the situation. Piecemailing it out by putting out a name or giving out this or giving out that. But honestly, BS. That's he not spent so much happen. time trying to the do the feature movie the right way, that this documentary was an afterthought, and, and then he I'm just doing. threw a documentary right together <laughs> yeah. in a few months, basically. <laughs> it's it's gotta, there's no way this is done. Yeah. It's clearly bad. So, since I started all this, when year is ago, this from? When first started the this campaign, is from like a week ago or whatever at Sundance. Something called Corey's Law. Because supposedly he has it done and he was showing it or shopping it around or something. It's probably just a bunch of like his YouTube videos. Yeah, a bunch of laws him. to change the statute entirely across the country. But that's not realistic. It was a beautiful thought. I supported it. Wasn't my bill, but I supported it. But that's when it wasn't my bill, Corey. Got law. involved with Child USA and became their ambassador. Since that time, I've been on the ground level, working with Marcy and many of her fine, fine soldiers. Who are many, many of them are survivors of abuse. Uh, it's kind of a bum out because, like, victims. you have but, like a a foundation or whatever, and you're kind of doing good work. But you can't like say no if Corey Feldman's gonna try to help because at least yeah. it's an avenue to get your thing yeah. out there. But, but he's then just you a maniac, yeah, Then you have to spend time with him. Like he's talking her ear off about the documentary and the movie if, he wants to make. If and anything, he, it's like sad evidence that like he doesn't get why like people would see this and be like, "Wow, we really do need to change these laws so someone like this <laughs> yeah, can get justice." Yeah. Just look how it fucked him up. But he's like convincing him, like thinking he's telling a point, and we're just looking at the sadness that is yeah. what Corey Feldman has. <laughs> really become like but just a weird coke wonderful group of people i've gotten a chance to meet with some of the u.s olympic sports team victims who are incredible ladies incredible ladies who are victims of, of larry nasser i've had the chance to go to the new york senate floor well, that's last the other year. bum out and that's the other bum out too like you're sexually assaulted and then Corey feldman has to show <laughs> up and be like hey me too like hey let's let's try like, let's have, let's do lunch no, baby no. they'll just like, one up all your stories hey you want to be an angel <laughs> uh, does Corey feldman have to be here <laughs> argue with the senate Senators face to face. Why won't you pass the CVA? Why won't you sign this bill into legislation? And they couldn't give me a good answer, but they all had excuses. What's a CVA? And let me tell you, we didn't get it passed last year, even though the great Governor Andrew Cuomo put it on the state's budget for 2018, but it got squashed in the Senate again after 14 years in a row. Well, I am here to say, finally, after 15 years of hard work. In the name of justice for the victims of sexual that I child in on abuse, in the end. Yeah. today is the finest day in history as we have finally accomplished our goal. The New York yeah, Corey State walks Senate into your room today, of like victims that you're going to use for your cause. And like, hey, is this for anyone that was sexually Act assaulted as a kid? Passed in a unanimous like, vote. I mean, yeah. yeah. But also, these people were doing hard work. He hopped in a few yeah, months ago. Yeah, that's where like, yeah, yeah. So you can't say no to him. Yeah, like, he, he, he hopped in be. a few months ago, and he's like, yeah, we did it. Can you believe after 15 years of hard work? And he's like, no, years. fuck you. In the Senate and in the Assembly, all but three voted yes on the CVA. So as of right now, there is a one-year roll back window i want you all to write this down because this is your year if i would have known when this happened in california i would have been able to get justice <laughs> if i knew or about it i was too busy recording was angelic to the core at the it. time <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> Fred Durst. <laughs> yeah, too busy York, making uh, my uh Don't ascension millennium video now is the moment now is the moment to speak up now is the moment to get your justice <laughs> I believe you remember the names of all that the <laughs> he was like he was had so much time for his statute of limitations but he was just being a weirdo and getting yourself too busy recruiting young girls in need whatever you can do to bring your and we're coming I would love if this just brings the attention to the people truth. that are still within their statutes the to report Corey. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that uh, title? No, so yeah, wait, it's what? called Truth the Rape of Two Corys. <laughs> the work done. And my work is done. And we're coming strong. The movie is called Truth the Rape of Two Corys. Oh my it's god. Very, it's hardcore. Very soon. Nothing can stop it. They can shoot me. They can run me over. It doesn't matter anore. <laughs> Film's done. It's in the camera. They already stabbed you. They didn't. The Sorry. Rape of Two Corys. Anyway, 
that's the deal. I love you all. Thank you all for the support. Thank you all for the love. Thank you for all the, the amazing blessings that, that, you know, the Feld fam and, and all the people involved <laughs> have given fam. me. Will's here right now filming this. Say hi, Will. Hello. So, ah! yes, he's still Hello. up on my side after all these years. Oh, he's Courtney's soon to edit prop. Off watching me do this too. Nah, Feld <laughs> has that up on a wall. But anyway, and he yeah, added that voice in post. Uh, that just anyway, hit me like, so, oh. So oh. This is, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm a a day, but it's an amazing day. It's my friend and, Wide Willie. It just his wife. He, she does a real good like dude voice. Hello. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be Will because it can't just always be you and me all the what time. What I it do? Looks bad. Do I just make a voice? Is that ho- 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 Wars of history. Um, Whoa there, of course. The rest I want to say is that I will be giving you more updates and more information about how and when you will be able to see the truth documentary. The chat Any makes a good now, point. It's the full soon. name, the rape of two uh, Corys. Nothing God can bless, stop it. Peace and, love, <laughs> and uh, stay true to yourself. Watch the door. <laughs> there you go. Uh, stay true to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That thing is about to God flip out right Sorry, there, but he held it together because the camera's I'm still not rolling. Holding the camera, I didn't see any of your stuff coming up anyway. So, <laughs> peace and love, everybody. Remember, about to yell at CBA everyone. has passed. <laughs> this is historic. It's historic legislation. Each state's going to come down. I will give him a tiny another, bit of credit. State by yeah. state. Because when We're he had initially down, announced that law thing and he was tied to it, I thought it was going to be some dumb thing that he he was trying to attach himself to and he'd forget about it. Yeah. That was a while ago. So the very idea that he's trying to act. Still involved. Yeah. Involved and seemingly acting excited to Kids tell people about too. it. I'm blown away that he stuck too. with it that long. Pound, it's the sequel to License to Drive. It's two Corys, two rapes. Oh. Number two. Kids two. Please use it kids because too. it's awareness. Every kids do. Oh, he's, he's trying to do, do like kids. He's trying to do like me too. He's trying to make his own thing. So it's kids, kids too. too. <laughs> I bet if you search that well, hashtag, it's a bunch of vile shit. And I think he calls it a pound at kids one point. Kids too. It's two. Okay. You got me too. Hashtag pound me too. Uh. Okay. Now you've got hashtag capital K IDS number two. And that's the number two. two. Kids Please two. use it because it's awareness. Every time people see that, I want them to think about the children's innocent lives who have been taken for granted for way too long, way too many years. And we're putting an end to it, and we're putting an end to it today. Yeah. Thank you. Today. God bless with you. Number yeah, two. with number two. Truth is Favorite number. Truth is coming. How do we shut it off? I'm so just chilling at Sundance. You're making it stop! <laughs> <laughs> How do you turn it off? Oh my god, bring it back. I didn't hear this conversation. <laughs> How do you turn off a phone? <laughs> How do you close an app? <laughs> it's still going. Man, fuck them kids. <laughs> oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> what could they even be trying to figure out at this point? It's not moving. Oh, they're doing lines <laughs> off the phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> they were just staring at a phone screen. So what do I do? <laughs> that was like 30 seconds. Truth uh, is coming. Yeah, I just want to hear like... How'd that go? How'd that go? Is that good? I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> and then he... Busted down a line on the phone. Oh, that's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> They're staring at the phone trying to figure out, was that ri- is that red button? Does that stop? You gotta do this. Stare for 15 <laughs> seconds. There can only be like three <laughs> options. One is like hit the home button. Yeah. There can't really be that many things. <laughs> close the whole app. <laughs> <laughs> like, are they just looking at each other, shaking their heads? Oh, that's that's what a perfect, lines off the phone. What a perfect way to end that. How was that? Was that good? I'm trying to figure out how to turn it off. Is that fucking you thing? just gotta do this. Uh, the rape <laughs> <of> <laughs> <Zucori>. <laughs> Look at the fucking font he's using. The rape at two quarries. Kids, too. It's like uh, forensic oh, files. <laughs> <laughs> um, heading to Sundance with a rough cut of my dock. We meeting with potential Heading into Sundance with my rough cut. <laughs> 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 How long till he just uploads it to YouTube? Uh, Indonesian beach is killing at least 222. So is he like, oh, that's my favorite number, two, <laughs> 222 lives. Yeah, hashtag 222 lives lost. Uh, what a weirdo. That's Corey for you. Ooh, Corey? Yeah, yeah, Corey. <laughs> Look at that big. Fell dog. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to double check his main page real quick, just in case he had something else. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Go, Corey. His headshots are golden. He looks like Bitter Beer Man in this photo. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, man. 
Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. I'm glad we were able to check in on a little Corey Feld dog. Yeah, sad. He's still kicking around. Yeah, he still, still sucks there. dick. He's still <laughs> fighting a good fight. So you're back on the wolf pack. Because we're almost done, anyways. But check in blue. I well, that's there's. We got to go back to one of the wells. I was kind of thinking I wanted to see what Corey Feldman's cameo. Oh, oh yeah. Because like. maybe he's better now. I, I assume he doesn't have yeah. Because anymore. before, yeah, we saw sick ones, and so now we have to see like, okay, well, we made fun of your sick ones. Let's see a, a non sick. Unless one. are they still the same? These are different, right? Yeah, these are different. That one is different. <laughs> maybe can't I'm you sure. tell by how much cooler he's dressed? Yeah, these are different for Ryan Dogpool. Well, that one's at least from uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ryan Dogpool. <laughs> Ryan Dogpool Pa Nasaro. I'd love to hear him try and say Hi that. <clears throat> this is Corey Feldman, and I have a very, very special Valentine's Day message for Ryan Dogpool Pa Nasaro. Let me make sure I got that right. He didn't Ryan even try Dogpool to read that Pa-Nasaro. ahead of time. Nasaro. <clears throat> and this was ordered for you by your lovely significant other, Jamie Poopsie Ma. <clears throat> so, Jamie still Poopsie Ma from yeah. Ryan Dog Poo Paw. Still got the drip going. Here's the message. Well, we, now we know this idiot I will read anything. Message. Remember when we were yeah. going to try and trick him into reading something stupid? He but can't... he'll also do the thing of like, apparently this is what the script says I have to read, so I'm going to read it. Oh, man. Um... Imagine the bare minimum you could do is say a couple sentences, and he can't even get through one sentence yeah. without being like, <coughs> I'll give him credit, though. He's got decorations up if they're Valentine's You'll Day. You'll give on. him credit. He's got balloons. He has like six balloons. <laughs> you know his wife brought that stuff yeah. for him. It's from your wife. But first, before I give you the message, you got to do the truffle shuffle. Do it. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, he's really put, a lo- it? put his Good. all in it. Okay, now. Do happy it. Happy Valentine's is- Day from your wife. And I think I already quoted my favorite line from the Goonies. My wife loves you. No, wait. Your wife loves you. Is that the line and from the Goonies? Of- <laughs> I already quoted my favorite Goonies line. I love you, my wife. Wait, did Dude, the I letter think, read uh-huh. quote I think your he favorite meant, like, line from the Goonies? He's like, Dude, I already like, Shuffle, that. shuffle was a, qu- a quote, I guess, in his eyes. But that, that's not his favorite line. You think that's his favorite line? Yeah, do the truffle shot. Not because it's not one of his lines. Yeah, I mean, it's one it, of is. His. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, he yells at a But still, oh, shit, you're right. But still, that's not his favorite line. He li- he. His favorite line is, uh, "This one's mine, my wish." And I'm taking it back. Yeah, I'm taking Jim, them all. You're back. You're better at being Corey yeah. than Corey is, Jim. Your lum, which is your belly button fuzz balls. Stop Ew, vaping because it will kill you. <laughs> I almost agree with that. Except if you're vaping using vegetable glycerin, it probably won't kill you. <laughs> what? So my oh, advice to you on a health he level would be switch from of anything opinions using on glycol in your vape because it's a terrible chemical which gives popcorn lung, and make sure that you only wow. use stuff. Who knew with that he would be well versed on the vape do that culture? By ordering it specifically online. Everyone, I find it's harsh on your so <laughs> throat. Uh, yeah, throat. Make, sure, make sure you get them from CoreyFeldman.net. You can get all your vegetable-based vape needs. <laughs> Online, that's why he's always him and hot. He's fucking mix, vaping tomato juice. And put it in your vape, and then you cut out all that terrible chemical <laughs> stuff. All right, that's my advice for the day. That's my Valentine's message for the day. Happy Valentine's to both of you, poo poo heads, and we'll talk to you <laughs> both real soon. Cracking <laughs> himself up. Uh, uh, can we get a sounder of that? Yeah. Happy Valentine's <laughs> to, day to both of you, poo poo heads. What a letdown Valentine's Day would have been. Well, for seven dollars, we could get our own cameo. Yeah. I assume it's seven dollars. Well, somehow <laughs> some angry old woman got a hold of his account because look next to that there's a video from a completely different person hello Emilio that's right I'm talking to you Emilio Estevez don't delete this message don't wipe your screen this is not a technical mistake this is actually Corey and I'm actually leaving a message for you why for your 49th technical mistake of course because well, from what I hear... You know that Norm MacDonald does these, too. Really? Yeah. I bet they're great, though. <laughs> yeah. He, I mean, well, the, the ONA subreddit did one for 
uh like for anthony but like it's mass so you don't know it's for anthony kumia and he just he's reading like in jokes from the reddit of like feed nana and he's just like what does that mean feed nana i'm sure there's some weird code for killing your nana like don't do yes, that you yeah you know normal give it a give it a go <coughs> Sorry, uh, what's great, great to guy. me is that people from mtv's the challenge have these uh, and also Corey feldman <laughs> i mean i guess we should have one of these right no <laughs> yeah. We could charge 20 bucks for Ours a Ours will cameo. just be like, say the N-word. <laughs> well, we wouldn't do that. Cameo probably doesn't allow that. Shuffle do it. <laughs> yeah. I've heard the you're N-word. Beyond, you're beyond just a great guy. You are a guy who goes above and beyond for his friends, for his family, for the people that he cares about. Everybody wants you to know Look at that how much wearing. you mean to them, how <laughs> special like, you nice are. It's a nice women's beak out. And how much they all love you. <laughs> and the reason... That they contacted me uh, was blouse. so that I could share that information with you and sing you a song. Uh, yes. Here it goes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Yeah, he's a oh, crooner. No. I wish he did like the Marilyn oh, no. Monroe he's one. A crooner. Happy birthday it's Corey to Emilio. Oh man. Shit, we should have got one of these for Jeff. His birthday just happened. Fuck. Fuck, I, I actually oh, forgot. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah. There we have it. <laughs> I, I was going to bring a bottle of booze for Jeff today for his birthday. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, I'll okay. have to get you on the backside. Yeah, get I was my trying to backside. see if Jenny's dispensary had gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Emilio. Happy birthday to you. That's from Tanya, and she wants you to know she loves you, along with the rest of the family. Yeah, odd way of Happy showing 49th it. Happy 49th birthday from 49th us. birthday. Uh, despite this message, she wants to remind <laughs> you she loves you. <laughs> Hi there. This message is for Matt. Hi, Matt. This message is a very special Valentine's Day message. As message. you can tell by all the Valentine's Day love in the background, I'm having my very own Valentine's Day right now with my wife. And that's right, this is me. He couldn't just let it be that the Valentine's Day <laughs> stuff is there for the cameo. He has to say, like, yeah, because we're having our own here. I mean, he didn't even Corey. say my wife. <laughs> and I'm coming Corey. to you now with this very special Valentine's Day message. You give him a script and he delivers a vlog. Valentine's Day with my wife because your wife, Julia thought that it was so important that she got you this message right now today that she contacted Corey Feldman me looks just like my grandma. Me, Please, <laughs> um, now that I'm looking get at his face, to look how bad his neck looks. He looks exactly like my grandma. Because he's got a nice here's cuttable the throat. <laughs> First of all, she loves you very much, but secondly, she feels super guilty because of the government shutdown. She was not able to get you a Christmas present Damn. that she really wanted. To she get got you. this, and she felt bad. Because the well, f uh, I don't know. I think you'd have to check the numbers there because I'm pretty sure people were getting people. They didn't stop getting paychecks till somewhere in January. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's quite a. She whoa, saw the, sorry. the writing on the wall. <laughs> Money just wasn't there. We can blame our government. We can blame our president. But don't blame your wife. Because now that she got some money back in her pocket, she did the thing that she thought but do would not make blame you the your wife on Valentine's Day, which was to get you a very special video message from me. So, on this video message, <clears throat> my job is to tell you, first of all, Merry Christmas. Second of all, Happy Valentine's Day from your procrastinating wife. And oh, third, what an asshole. I want a wife. fucking divorce. Very, very much. And we couldn't fourth, have Christmas because of... Her. Instead, give her some good, good loving tonight on Valentine's Day. I hope it's a beautiful... Make sure you fuck your wife, bro. And that's coming from me, Corey. She's, <laughs> she's playing this message she bought, but she's just playing it to his open <laughs> casket. <laughs> and it's just Corey talking at the wake to his open uh, casket. Make sure you give him that good loving tonight. She puts it up on a big screen. <laughs> night for both of you something you drove him into a rage officer <laughs> and happy he beat her to death with a hammer peace and love and god bless from Corey. yeah <laughs> hi there will schuster this is Corey feldman <laughs> from glee I have a very yeah i was like that sounds familiar birthday message for you the girlfriend of will schuster what well will's girlfriend 
I want to tell you how Did he put in the notes birthday. Will's girlfriend? I know and you're I'm a redheaded uh, student <laughs> uh, <laughs> counselor, but. I hope your OCD has gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> I really this, like your pamphlets. <laughs> this is just a gay guy who bought this to make it seem like he has a girlfriend, and he's like, look, Ma, see? Oh, I got, <laughs> see, I made this put, video for. <laughs> for Will's girlfriend. Will didn't put your name down when he made the request so i don't have it in front of me so i'm very sorry that i'm not able to call you by name but don't hate me for it and don't hate will for it because he took the time hey you know what normally he throws the person in the video under the bus i'm surprised he didn't throw him under the bus immediately he kind of did it was obviously a momentary lapse of reason but it's the thought that counts so Whatever your name is, Miss Wonderful Girlfriend of Will Schuster, who's turning 40 years old, I want to say happy birthday to you. And even more importantly than your big 4-0, I want to say congratulations on six years of sobriety. Woo-hoo! <laughs> That's awesome. It is it's awesome. amazing, right? I'm at Every day six hours. <laughs> Imagine Every day having you your sixth year be when you turn 40. <laughs> it's so old. Yeah. Your life and freedom and the ability to do and live and feel whatever you want and however you want and not have any regrets, it's all a better way to live, right? So anyway, so I've been at it for quite some time. I uh, got off hard drugs and alcohol almost 30 years ago now. There you so, go, that's his uh, copy. Right. Almost hard 30, 30 days ago. Been alive. Hard drugs, but anyway, so. Almost 30 uh, minutes ago. So he's just have, saying... 30 like, years ago I got off and then I got right back He's on. just saying like, Coke's not a hard drug. Yeah. <laughs> what, we, what we call him, fucking Coke a hard drug? From what the we, Earth. What are we talking about, opioids now? No, saying poppers? Berries? Poppers, sounds like poppies to me. And I just want you to know that Will loves you very, very much. He's very proud of you for your sobriety and... I guess he just Man, wanted this to would make me want to do sure all the drugs again. I'd just be like, ah, just give them to me. And for your sixth year sobriety anniversary. So, go take a cake. Make sure you say the Lord's Prayer. And <laughs> peace and love. And have an incredible every birthday. Cr- every birthday, you say the Lord's one day Prayer and eat what cake. Because you you're the mystery woman to me at this point. But it's a great mystery. <laughs> yeah, remember how Will fucked God that up? Bless. Happy 40th. Let's look at him in this setting. I like Paizo. I want to see yeah, that Yeah, P.S.O. Hello there. Is this Tony? <laughs> Hi, Tony. It's me, Corey. No, that that's right. It's really me, and I'm really looking for I know. I look like a turtle with no me. shell, but it's me, Corey. Your video message. I made this video message just for you, Tony, because there's one very special reason and that very special trying to remember he can't that. remember what he was supposed to do or say Barry that's right Barry did this so this motherfucker only does one take clearly think whichever way you want to go but either way I'm here to wish you a very happy birthday I hear that you've been a fan for a long time so thank you uh, God bless you and I hope that you happy have 50th. an incredible, <laughs> so incredible birthday. Happy 16th um, birthday. Yeah, how much and, are these uh, again? $122. Holy oh, shit. Remember that one where they exactly skipped Christmas? Be, so I, can't, I can't tell you exactly what age <laughs> you want to make up for you on uh, but, Valentine's you know, Day. I say celebrate them all. Um, you know, some are bigger than others. Sometimes we make a big hoopla out of some, and the others not so much. But you know what? For me personally, I think every year that we achieve another Ugh. day, another week, another month, another year of life. We are ahead of the game. Oh, anyways, <laughs> happy birthday. It's a real and shiny in here. It, Sorry, I'm winded down from my, my bumps this morning. And I hope you are too. Gratitude goes a long way, right? So we're going to be anyway, falling asleep. My rambling. <laughs> Tony, I just wanted to make sure that you have a very, very special birthday. 120 and I smackers. I make sure that you also... Realize yeah, how can you imagine cool spending all those smackers on this? Yeah, no way. Ain't getting my smackers. Is that a bed next to his drum set? Me yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets well, where do you put your up, bed, so Jim? <laughs> he gets all sweaty for drumming on coke, and they just gets up and collapses his shirt, let's face it out. crashes. He throws his drumsticks in the air, they stick in the roof panels. God bless. We get to pee as though we only hear this other one. Hi, Corey Feldman here, and I am doing a special video message. For Carl. He's wearing like a Snuggie. Carl, how you doing? I'm coming to you live all the way from my studio in Los Angeles. Studio I, uh, apartment. This is where I make all my magic happen. You know? Well, he's got his feet um, up like a fucking yeah. I, I like scrub. your English boys. Look, there's a, there's a poster you probably recognize. 
from Pink Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> you probably and know then, Pink uh, Floyd. They're British. Oh, look at that. That's a picture of uh, Paul McCartney and me and uh, David Gilmore ticket. Just fucking so, gloating. Yeah, I, I spend yeah. a lot of time hanging out with the, uh, the, the English mates, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you a shout oh. and I wanted to sing you a bit of, a, of an English British. breakfast song. Yes! Um, Hell which, yeah. Which yes, pause! Basically Hold on, pause. All of the Eng- <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get it out. Yeah, oh, right. to sing you a bit of an English breakfast song, <laughs> and he keeps like like t- going in and out of that British accent again. Ugh. All right, sorry. Yeah, no, that's good. You, we we had to prepare ourselves for this. English mates out there who just had a baby, and especially for those who've had a third baby, and we like to sing this when we drink our. See, we have our crumpets <laughs> in the morning. Um, so we're going to have some, like scones, some crumpets, and we're going to sing this little ditty. It goes like this. Cups and cakes, cups and cakes. <laughs> such a treat for when your tummy aches. Cups and cakes, cups and cakes. <laughs> Sorry, all right. That was a little spinal tap for you. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it brightened your day. And by the way, this very strange and odd message comes to you courtesy of your dear friend Alexander so uh, you can thank Alexander for this odd message yeah, please yeah, if you I get me a birthday message congrats tell on the, the third baby <laughs> bring I hope it's a breakfast little darling song. cheers cups and cakes how could pie advance top that hello there this message is for Pia Zoe <laughs> hi Pia Zoe this is Corey Feldman how are you? And I am coming Those to are my you three moods, direct those top and live books. from Los Angeles, California, all the way from the United States. And I am here with a very special birthday message for you. Because I heard that you're turning 12 today. And what? that's a very exciting no. age. Because only one more year until... I can fuck you! Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at him going, oh, no. Oh, no. How do I get out of this sentence? I'll... How do I get out of this sentence? I started shit. I wasn't thinking. No, he's having nom flashbacks at 12. <laughs> <laughs> only one more year till your lips fall off. Yeah, only one more year. <laughs> he's got your boy blue eye. One's going kind of the other way than the other one. <laughs> you're a teenager. And we all know that we can't wait to become teenagers. In fact, I was 13 when I made the movie Stand By Me. When I was a teenager, I was getting fucked by by producers. And I was actually 12 years old when I made the movie Goonies. So you are now officially the same age that I was when I made Goonies. And my son is actually 14 years old. So if you so want to date him. Oh, shit, I forget he has a kid. Yeah. Like his kid must be so embarrassed so all the time. So embarrassed, dude. So embarrassing. And is, he, like, is now. he likes so mom. It's amazing how we <laughs> I all bet he likes mom. <laughs> have to grow up. But fortunately for me, I don't get any older. I just stay the same. So I don't age. I don't believe in it. That's why I look the same. And you can be the same. <gasps> oh, no. Think positive That's why I still life. look like old Ronald and Reagan. Like I used to do. Body dysmorphia. <laughs> body, body morphia. I guess. Yeah. Where you think you look great. <laughs> you think you look awesome. Where you're dysmorphed. <laughs> He's been I'm dysmorphed. A it works for me. I also don't drink alcohol, so that works for me too. But anyway. Yeah. Sorry. I've got things coming on my screen. But anyway, I wanted you to thank your mom. This breathalyzer app. For doing this. Is your mom. Yeah, the Pia the and lie detector is going crazy on my phone. It says for Pia, by Pia. So either you're both named Pia, or one of you is Pia and one of you is Zoe. So oh, that's maybe Pia that's might be the mom it. and Zoe might be the daughter, or maybe Pia Zoe is the daughter and Pia is the These mom. These vary sure. in, either in way, like happy structure. Birthday the other one had a breakfast song. Pia Zoe and Zoe he loves like breaking out all the potential mistakes that may have happened along birthday. the way. He also, loves that. I love you both. Happy birthday. Happy year. God bless. I think we have to. Happy year. I think we have happy to birthday, spend $120, happy year. Jim. <laughs> happy year. Hi. Corey Feldman here, and I'm coming to you direct. But like, and live let's be honest, dude. Very- I know it sounds like a joke, and it's 120 bucks. But if we, if you got an email, and some Jim and Len listener was like, "Yo, check it out," it's like, "Hey, this is for Jim and like, we'd oh, all be yeah. fucking howling, yeah, and we'd, we we'd be up fucking dancing like cowboys." Yeah, if he was uh, Jim and them were different animes, <laughs> Jim oh. would be. 
Jim would be full metal. Oh, oh if Jim and them were different Corey Feldman uh, movies. Yes. Yeah, Kristen would be Lost Boys because... <laughs> well, I wouldn't be the Lost best one. Boys. Jim would be Goonies. Ah, Goonies is great. Stand by me is great. What well, do you mean? Those are better than Lost Boys. Lost Boys 2. <gasps> Jim, you said I was. You think I was the worst? Oh yeah, <laughs> no, no, of course not. Fuck the you, Jim. I You're the second worst. worst. I stayed after. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I stayed after I had diarrhea. <laughs> Very for <special> you. Message. <laughs> this message, Eric, is brought to you by your dear friend Sharon, and Sharon contacted me to make sure that I put this video Does message. Does have a picture of Abe you? Lincoln in the Ooh, background? <laughs> yeah, to go along and with his Paul McCartney picture. Here's me and Abe so, Lincoln. <laughs> I'm thinking an American to breakfast tune. I know there was a problem and you didn't make it out. I'm very disappointed. I was very disappointed to not see you in the audience that night. I was planning on you being there. Nobody I was, was there. on yeah. seeing you. I counting on one and person to course, show up. There was an empty seat in the house, which was very depressing. Two empty seats, as a matter of fact. Imagine There's this person really believes that, and now uh, they're upset. Very, very yeah, I mean, all these people have Down syndrome, so yeah, they do believe it. <laughs> because it's your birthday. I am every that single, every day, single person that got one of these. Very special <laughs> and Down private. syndrome. They're all bought by <laughs> people with Down syndrome, four people with Down syndrome. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eric. Are you going to get diarrhea again, Happy Kristen? Happy birthday to you. And that's from me, Corey, and your good friend, Sharon. So give her a big kiss and a hug and say thank you very much. And know that she loves you, and you are loved. Happy birthday, and come see the show next year. So we these definitely seem less sense. phoned in okay. than his sick ones. Yeah, his sick He's ones were some classics. When he was on sicko mode. Oh yeah. Ooh, Andy Dick, nice. Well, hello there, Jennifer. That's right. Don't clear your screen. Andy Dick is Just... cheaper than Corey Feldman. Ice T does these. Yeah, who else does these? Andy Dick is ninety nine bucks. It's thirty bucks less than Corey Feldman. What about Carson Kressley? I've never heard of him. Oh, he's yeah, from Queer, yeah. I guess. Uh, he's always on Drag Race too. Is Ice T doing? People are buying these for. Can't dick. wait for that album to drop. It's a showstopper every time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in with Corey Feldman. Ah! Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo! This big uh, gay energy. <laughs> <laughs> he must have some new ones, right? Uh, <laughs> he died of AIDS, clearly. <laughs> look at that picture. Did We We didn't watch these. Look like right? a Lego. I don't know. They all look the same. They all do. Well, we know we definitely saw ones with balloons. We yeah. saw this blurry one. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start with the newest one. <laughs> okay. All right. Easiest. Corey looking good, wearing the same Hello. shirt. This is Corey Feldman, and I have a very special birthday shout out for Roger Kalan. Hi, Roger, you Goonie. How are you? I think it's <laughs> Callan, by the way. Yeah, you Goonie. Goonie. Colon. Yeah. He's good wearing like a you. mesh coat. Well, I'm lying. I'm actually not seeing you, but you can see me, and that's all that really matters because you ordered the video message, not me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thanks for standing by me for all these years. Well, for at least 49 years, although I wasn't alive for 49 years, but maybe for some of the years. Wait, is that he you were not alive, 49? You were standing by me, and he's I appreciate 28. the years that he's you He's got to be older than that, right? And or at least. He's got to be at least 49. There's not a chance you're not 49, Corey. I can like appreciate 48. the years that you stood by your lovely partner, Yvonne, because on July 12th, Yvonne. It's your very special anniversary. So oh, this is a double celebration. A celebration for Roger's 49th birthday and a celebration for the 28th anniversary of the two of you lovely people. Which I feel is like he's kind of getting them down now. July 12th, yeah, he's which getting is just better. four days before my birthday. So obviously you guys were thinking about me on your wedding day, and I'm nope, so flattered well. by that. <laughs> well. uh, no, but seriously, I hope you guys have an incredible anniversary. Do something very special. 28 years together is Maybe more have than a I could possibly imagine. Marathon. I want to see the one where he's wearing a hat looking but, like Michael uh, J. No, Fox. What's going I'm on with that I'm actually married, one? and I've been with my wife for a whole two years, so we'll see how that works out. Doesn't <laughs> it seem like he's been married to that bitch forever? Well, yeah, they've been together a long I time. I guess maybe it was a recent marriage. Oh, but uh, we've been together they for eight. They dated for a long time. Uh, really been wouldn't... together for eight. All right. 
we're mm-hmm. happier. So uh, anything is possible, I suppose. But 28 years is a long time to spend with the same person. I'll so kill my wife before then. Very dedicated, <laughs> very in love. And I hope you guys really take the time to have a very special 28th anniversary celebration. So hopefully this helps make it special and you guys have a lot of love. I and- imagine um, given like taking out like a jewelry box or like a like a ring box but then you open it and it's just like uh well it's just a little eye watch with this video on it (laughs) happy anniversary i hope this makes it so much better and any normal person probably doesn't know the state of Corey feldman it's a one of those fucking like what were they called hit clicks the the, (laughs) with just an mp3 of this playing and have a great build a bear anniversary and a great birthday and a great year and well god bless you all peace and love (laughs) I want to get Jim a build a bear for Christmas that plays Corey Feldman saying it's a showstopper every time. Ah, uh, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, this is Corey Feldman coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, and this message is a very special video message for Annie. Look at that fancy Hi, backdrop. Um, <laughs> just thinking well, to myself, this I guy with so many now. huge movies. What? Yeah, what is that? Curtain. Closet. <laughs> it's a closet. He put like fucking things around. Like as it's, a background, it's yeah, it's they, like a weird, like uh, like kind a of like a show. It's just a towel. Like he has like Punch and Judy puppet shows behind that thing. <laughs> the hell is Corey Feldman doing? Sending me a video message. How did he get my information? This better not be my present. Well, <laughs> I can answer that in one quick question. I've been stalking you, Annie. For Imagine quite a while. you found out someone spent one hundred fifty dollars uh, on you, but on this. I've been hiding out in the bushes. <laughs> like, wouldn't you have you just like, please, just have given me that money? Well, I mean, if you're a big Corey Feldman fan, it would be kind of exciting, right? Hmm. <laughs> no. You guess. I guess if you, you don't know how much it costs, <laughs> yeah. If you're like, this must have been like twenty bucks. Annie, I'm just joking. Actually, the truth is, your sister put me up to this. That's right. You can thank your sister, Amy Kate, because I like that he kind of has a template now that he does where it's always like he does the thing. And then he's like, well, actually, you can thank your husband because I don't know who you are or what's going on. Thinking about you forever. You're the tummy that wants my video or whatever. Uh, But she wanted to tell me that. First of all, you they are get, uh, What's mom that kid from Terminator 2 in on this? It looks all kids. fucking horrifying. He's got to have one. Eddie 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 for a long. Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, that's <laughs> pretty incredible. How do you oh, gut hanging out? Is that and the one that Dana, the, the Juggalo met? Yes. Yeah. 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 You guys are big fans of the Goonies. Well, I just want to say one thing. That you have eight kids. There was seven kids in the Goonies. You can make your own Goonie adventure film plus one. So you can have like Goonies 2 because there would always there be like eight another kids? new kid if it was a Look at his eyes, kid. dude. So yeah. Look at his face. <laughs> makes a Goonies This sequel. is him looking at so like good. I say go out there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, doing compared well. Compared to those other ones, those <laughs> other ones adventure. he's all like sniffing and, and uh, fucked take up. take Goonie Oath. Why not? <laughs> take the Goonie, Goonie Oath. <laughs> so you got that going for Why you. not? Anyway, take the Goonie Oath. Good luck handling all those kids. Amazing work, and keep it up, and God bless you. And uh, you can, again, thank your sister, <laughs> You Amy, can suck my dick. <laughs> hey, kids. Racist bitch. Just, just to let you know, she loves Hey, kids, you. I could barely hit right. six angels. We'll have a wonderful <laughs> and they're all on drugs. <laughs> yeah. And they all fuck we'll me and suck my dick. I don't like that he's getting better at this. I yeah. Mean, You'll see me too. Still not good. <laughs> you know what I mean. Practice anyway, makes perfect. I'm just joking. I'm not stalking you. But Jeez. we love you. Peace and love, and God bless. Hi, this message is for Randy. Randy, what's up, man? It is Corey Feldman here, and I am coming to you with a very, very special message. I want to say to you, Randy, happy sober birthday. Ah, (laughs) hell yeah. That's what you want ringing in. That's a bum out, though. (laughs) On your fucking soberversary or whatever the fuck. (laughs) Oh, man. That's right. Think about it for himself or did the sponsor get it? I've been there. I've done that. And... Well, I've been sober for 49 years. years for me since I did my <laughs> drug of choice. But luckily for me, I'm still here and you're still here to talk about it. So I don't know if you're uh, a guy that goes to AA or CA or NA or all of the above. But wherever you go, don't forget to take a cake. And ma- in fact, take 27 cakes because you're mm-hmm. 27 sober years. Damn what? It. That's anyway, not how it works. Sorry, I'm all awesome fucked up. <laughs> Candles. It's not easy to do one day at a time. Like we all take make 27 cakes. By cakes, I mean rails. <laughs> Coke rails. Of course, celebrate it. And we trust God and have a little faith, right? 
So keep the faith, faith, stay strong, be a loving soul, give back because we can't keep it if we don't give it away. And remember that God loves you. God bless you. Oh, yeah. Peace, peace and love. love. And happy 27th. That's a short one day. compared to the By the way, day. in case no, you were wondering going. how this crazy thing happened, oh, here we go. why I'm yeah. getting in touch with you, you can thank your dear friend, Rachel, for getting in touch with me and asking me to do this for you. So God bless and love to Rachel and love to you. Happy 27th. Oh, yeah. Peace and love. Dirty fingers, dirty hands. <laughs> she asked me and also gave me $150. <laughs> She's a great friend. Oh, Corey. Hello there. Corey <laughs> Feldman here. Jim. And this is a message for Jim and them. Oh, no! no! <laughs> the second I saw this no was in VLC, I was like, no! <laughs> no way. Don't blame me, dude. Message for Jim and them. Hi, Jim and them. Actually, let's break it down. <laughs> them happens to be Mike, Jeff, and Kristen. And I hear that you guys are about to celebrate your 600th episode of your podcast, appropriately titled Jim and Them. Oh, no. This is great, We're right? Doesn't it feel happen. awesome? Doesn't it feel awesome to get one, though? Now that, Not now for that the right reasons, though. <laughs> I wish that we got a more fucked up one. Well, there's still time. Yeah. The them happens to be Mike, Jeff, and Kristen. And I hear that you guys are about to celebrate your 600th episode of your podcast, appropriately titled Jim and Them. So, Jim, them, all you guys, have an incredible 600, 600th episode. That's what I meant to say. Uh, apparently you guys love the movies and you love my music, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 I get that. Well, now that, now that you think about it, too, there are probably so many where they don't like him and it's just a joke that he's yeah. like, yeah, I know you love the music and you love my movies. I mean, I like his movies. <laughs> I do like his movies. Yeah. Not Corbin well, Nash. Well, not his recent ones. <laughs> I liked Corbin Nash, Corey. I meant to say, uh, apparently you guys love the movies and you love my music, so... That means the world to me. So hopefully this means yeah, the world to you. Yeah, look up Jim and them and Corey I Feldman. I hear Corey. that your podcast is absolutely incredible. It's a showstopper every time. It's probably one of the best podcasts alive on, uh, well, of all the internet, I suppose. But Yeah, of all the internet. <laughs> See, I mean, I've been dropping hints all yeah. episode, I know my dude. I, I didn't know where that I missed came the from, reference. Yeah. And even the, the, the Corey Feldman here, I've been dropping little hints. Because, I mean, this was got for this. We're not going to have the 600 for a while. Like, I can't, I couldn't wait till like August <laughs> and sit on this until like August. Incredible. It's a showstopper every time. It's probably one of the best podcasts alive on, uh, well, of all the internet, I suppose. But, um, Oh, okay, I'm lying. I've actually never heard your show, and I've never heard of your show, but you can... Damn! Yeah, it still fucking burns us. Just to throw a little burn in there. Oh, if only he had. Yeah, I know. If only you heard of us, dude. Because Picard asked me to send you a video <laughs> and act like I know what the hell I'm talking about. So there you have it. Have a great one. Congratulations. Peace, love, and God bless. Ah, Picard, what a yeah. dude. Wow. Yeah. Can't believe it. Oh, we should have known. Yep, yeah, Picard came through. I got the fucking, the other day, <laughs> I got this gem <laughs> in my inbox. I can't believe you held on for so long. Yeah, are you going to throw that on Twitter? I was going to try to tease it longer, but, I mean, like, how can you? How can you sit on that? How can you sit on that poor, that, on that good old Feld dog? Uh, Peace and love. Shout out Jim and them. Corey Feldman, uh, heard your music. <laughs> Hello there, Corey Feldman here, and this is a message for Jim and them. That's Hi, crazy. Jim and them. Actually, let's break it down. The <laughs> them happens to be Mike, Jeff, and Kristen. And I hear that you guys are about to celebrate your 600th episode of your podcast, appropriately titled Jim and Them. So, Jim, them, all you guys, <laughs> have an incredible 600, 600th episode. That's what I meant to say. Uh, apparently you guys love the movies and you love my, I guess it is good timing. He is getting good at these. So he kind of gave us, although I guess it would have been maybe better if he was all oh, yeah, fucked up. A bit. Was <laughs> but, fucking yeah. Dark room, Corey. So still that surreal. means the world to me. This so is surreality. This means the world to you. I hear that your podcast is absolutely 
incredible. It's a showstopper every time. <laughs> it's probably one of the best podcasts alive on, uh, well, of all the internet, I suppose. But, um, oh, okay, I'm lying. I've actually never heard your show, and I've never heard of your show. But you can thank Picard for this, because Picard asked me to send you a video and act like I know what the hell I'm talking about. So there you have That's it. That's his thing with every have single one, one now. Congratulations. <laughs> Special Peace, thanks to Suggestive Gaming for paying for this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> shout outs to fucking you, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking Mickey. Donald. Double May Cry a fucking story somewhere. He paid for this dream. So yeah, Corey Feldman, he did it. He came through. He came through for the for the Piss Boys. Thanks, Corey. You think he's a cut boy? He's definitely a cut boy. Oh, right? he's a cut boy, right? For sure. Mm. Is he Jewish? He's Jewish, right? Do know. they cut or don't cut? I forget. Don't they like extra they cut? Do. <laughs> extra <laughs> cut? I don't they think do you can get supersized. They squeeze an extra cut in there. <laughs> supersized. Extra cut. Uh, oh, Picard's in the chat. He says, for the record, that was his personal Picard money. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So it's just got stacks on deck, or he's uh, out of house and home over Corey video. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't need four. I mean, it was it was uh, a matter of time. Someone had to come through. We got to give shout outs to Picard for Picard. coming through. Someone yeah, came definitely. through with the the Corey Feldman cameo. Now we have this to cherish. It goes in the history books. Yeah. It goes in the soundboard or whatever. We talked to X rays on the phone. We yeah. got a cameo from Corey Feldman. Our last uh, one is blue, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, you boy blue. That that might be a hard one to get. I mean, we still uh, got to call him. Apparently, you guys love the movies and you love my music. So, <laughs> I was wondering. I thought that was something from the Patreon earlier. <laughs> oh, the gibberish yeah. part that I. Had. I thought it was too. I thought it was something. I was like, that's a quick cap- capture. Yeah, I thought it Corey was. Corey Feldman here. <laughs> oh, yeah, what did I pull? I forgot. I even forgot that I pulled a clip. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's from uh, the upcoming Woke Show. <laughs> a bit, bit, that a sounds bit. a little Corey on the Patreon. though. I don't want to get too excited, but it looks like we might got some cokey, <laughs> cokey sea dog posts because we got Asapalusas. He looks real coked oh, out. He looks Jorge. like Cosmic Breakfast. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is a message for Ryan. This is Corey Feldman coming to you live and direct from Los Angeles, California. Uh, Ryan, I wanted to let you know that your girlfriend, Chrissy, wanted to take a moment to contact me and ask me to send you a very special video birthday message. So, your birthday's on the 19th. It's coming up in a few days, and it's going to be your 41st birthday. And all of that said, I know... That The Burbs happens to be one of your favorite movies. Oh, The Burbs! Great movie. Great. For that, I have to tell you, thank you so much for watching. And you God, keep thinking he's going to do an impression, this. and he's always yeah. like, for that, okay. I'm your Now friend. that that's out of the way, let's talk about what's really important besides your birthday on the 19th. What's really important is that the Red Raiders, your alma mater made it to the final four and that it's is weird incredible. to see like so idols like the sadness in their eyes because you see them too much in this yeah. where you see them every day and it's just the constant like you see how worn down they are like you've never seen a photo of Corey feldman like this when you were a kid yeah yeah that is the whole thing with social media with the access to some of these people it really takes the fucking shine yeah, like, away. tell when he's been crying <laughs> or just coked up hi there this is a very special video message from Corey. F- <laughs> is that really? that, oh, no way. Is that really? Hi there. This is a very special video message from Corey. F- no! <laughs> <laughs> That's not me doing that. That's just where that ends. His price went up. <laughs> it went up from when we got one. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, maybe they posted it again. Oh, he does post another one up here. But at least the oh. next one, he does have a Ryan one. Uh, let's see his. <laughs> As he's just blasting off these videos, Hello, he finishes it, blasts is, it off. Yeah. Live and direct from Corey Feldman, live in my studio in Los this Angeles, days California. Later. And this message is for Mr. Tom Hyatt. Hi, Tom. 
How you doing, buddy? Uh, listen, I tried to make you this yeah, video okay. like a week ago. <laughs> a week I'm so ago. so sorry that uh, you didn't get it sooner. What happened was I actually made the video and it cut off and it was all weird. And I tried to <laughs> redo it and it just got all messed up. But anyway. LFC no, you just posted it and didn't look. He didn't, yeah, he didn't try to read. This is him redoing it. What does he mean? Yeah, because Tony messaged or Tom yeah. or whatever messaged. And it was like, hey, you hey. posted the video and it's just you going, eh. <laughs> 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 Why is Corey Feldman sending Tom this message all of a sudden out of nowhere? Well, it's a get well message, really. Uh -oh. I'm here to say, feel better, buddy. I know that you just had a bit of a stroke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! He said the fucked up one to the stroke guy. <laughs> Wait, can we see the, let me see the stroke one again? <laughs> Hi there. This is a very special video message from Corey... <laughs> <laughs> hey man sorry it's a week later he's like was in the hospital now he's out getting this message <laughs> make a video for him to cheer him up in the hospital hey <laughs> oh my I god dude. It, you had a bit of a stroke <laughs> you're gonna have a fucking bit of a stroke uh, hey sorry. man but that's that's sad news right but the good news is that you are actually doing pretty good. I hear you're doing a lot better. You're in recovery. You're in rehab. You're doing well. And you're going to pull through just fine. You know why? Because... I did recovery and rehab too. <laughs> and I'll tell you who those people are. Those people are Zan and good. Thomas and Kim for a start. Okay? Zam? Because Zan, Thomas, and Zan. Kim. Zan. Zan. Zanny bars. And, and they asked me if Kim I could send this video message to make you feel better. And get you cheered up. Well, hopefully it worked. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I know that uh, <laughs> that you showed uh, you showed Clear Thomas and and uh, your brother these are like hotel and, jammies and, and, and these other ones. Thomas and his brother, all of my '80s movies or whatever. And I guess hopefully <laughs> yeah, you're showing them all my new movies too, because like oh, well, hopefully you like don't. Corbin Nash. No, <laughs> oh, yes! no, don't do that. Don't no, watch Corbin. Show the stroke victim, <laughs> Corbin Nash. Oh, we found this. The victim is hung by his machine. Yeah, remember, remember that scene when he like. Is like gonna fuck a girl or whatever, and he's like, oh, oh. oh like the first scene, yeah, like on, yeah, on the hood of a car, and he like murders her. Or yeah, something. we kind of butt fucks yeah. a guy. That yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Just came out last year, and I play a vampire. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Anyway, there's something to do. He paid now, you, bro. Hanging out in rehab, getting better. Right? Go yeah. watch the new movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, stop living in the past. Oh, I got new things. Uh, I heard the best podcast ever did a uh, commentary <laughs> on it. What did he call us? The best podcast? Uh, yeah, although he said he hasn't heard it, but, you know, he's told one of the best podcasts. Like, it's a showstopper every time. Uh, what else have I put out the last few years? The M word. Anyway. Hope you watch the, the M words as well as the old ones. And of course, listen to my music and come see us on tour sometime. Right? Cool. Anyway, <laughs> supposedly. Uh, you're no funny. free tickets, huh? Uh, he knows this person will dump Stay money funny. on him, apparently. Your sense of humor. Don't ever lose it. All right. Take care, pal. God bless you. And much love from your family. Feel better. Corey Feldman. Peace, Peace. and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Duck face. Hi there. This is a very special video message. From Corey. <laughs> <laughs> it was, all right, done. Uh, oh yeah, hey, what's up? Popolis. This is Corey Feldman coming to you live and direct from Los Angeles, California. And I have a very, very special message for George Garcia. Or maybe it's Jorge. I'm not sure. It might be George or it might be Jorge Garcia. But either way, I don't know you. Uh, <laughs> that's not why I'm contacting you. I'm contacting you. Because I want to wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday. Well, okay, I lied. I don't want to wish you a happy birthday. What, what? this is about is that <laughs> you're incredible. The Why does he think this is an endearing <laughs> angle? Like, it really is annoying. Yeah, like, it's the best. You, <laughs> the whole point is we want it to feel like you wish us happy yes. birthday. It's like, well, I want to break you down how cameo works. Your friend gave me a bunch of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. And, uh, <laughs> uh, Anyways, and I'm Corey. He didn't even finish his name. Hey, it's your boy, C Doc. <laughs> Love of your life, the love of your life, <clears throat> you know, Carla, she contacted me and she said that it would make you really excited if you got a birthday message from me. Uh, in fact, 
Apparently, you guys came to one of my concerts, and we even had a high five moment. I remember it like it was yesterday. Just kidding. So, no, I don't. For that reason, <laughs> I don't alone, remember yesterday. So that was a catch twenty two. So I want to say, I remember well, just like yesterday. It was nice meeting you guys in Houston, and I hope that we get to see you at the next show whenever we tour again. Probably won't be with the Angels. Uh, oh, but, no. Oh, not with the no. Angels. Oh, goodness. Ooh, What's happening? Spill. Truth Movement might return soon. You never know. They're going to break out the truth option, on me. Or maybe another solo tour with another band. But one way or another, I'll be back in Houston. In fact, I'll be in Dallas for an autograph signing in a couple weeks. Uh, but anyway, listen, I've rambled long enough. I hope you have an amazing 40th birthday, and you should go give Carla a big, fat, Wet licorice kiss. Licorice, right. uh, licorice, kiss. licorice, kiss. Licorice, kiss. Licorice, kiss. Licorice, kiss. Licorice, All of my kisses God are licorice bless. because I'm an alcoholic. Licorice, <laughs> licorice. Nice licorice. 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 licorice in the front, poker in the rear. Uh, <laughs> actually, since we're on Corey, the, he did have this Rolling Stone uh, expose this week. A lot of people were sending me this. Here's the picture. I want to put it in the chat. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, yes. He wants to expose Hollywood's darkest secrets. Um, he can't help himself even in the Rolling Stone. <laughs> yeah. Just being like Michael Jackson. <laughs> and like even with the Michael Jackson stuff that came out, I was like, I'm going to look like Michael Jackson. Uh, out in the leafy suburbs of the Woodland Hills, California, is an okay house in an okay neighborhood. Wow. Way to go, Eric uh, Hedegaard. Fucking throwing some yeah. salt already. Own them. Corey Feldman is wandering around saying he soon might name the name of the man he says raped his like a brother best friend and frequent co-star Corey Haim, Corey Haim back in 85. He's been talking about naming this name for more than seven years now, but each time Feldman has shied away at the last minute, citing lawsuit fears, further ostracism and derailment of a career already off the tracks. Wow. This is this guy article. does not respect Corey no, Feldman. No, he's fed up with him, just like us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I was expecting this to be a puff piece, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> and possible physical harm to him and his family. He sucks on a nicotine-filled vape, exhales a plume, drops his head a little, and says, I mean, I've had my life threatened twice in the last six months. His wife of two years, a tall blonde named Courtney, nods. People want to kill him. They don't want what he has to say to come out. Uh, They've been married two years. <laughs> yeah, it feels like forever, it right? It feels like ages. Yeah. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. It's the big secret. He really is trying to coast off this fucking... Wait a, wait a minute, real quick. This related thing, is it a mess up? It says, Deadwood rides again. More than 12,000 Boy Scout members were victims of sexual abuse. Yeah, wait, How, what does that have to do with Deadwood? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> oh, they're two separate headlines. Oh, oh it's weird. Just Sorry. Terribly. I, just, no, I was right. staring it looks, at it. It looks it like it is looks, one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Deadwood rise again. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, it's like that's what Deadwood was. It's like yeah. this is why they canceled Deadwood, but we made them bring it like back. like cowboy show nobody watch. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> back to Corey. I'm uh, so confused. One possible obvious reason for keeping and hiding this big secret, no one really wants to hear about children and rape if it involves the nation's number one source of escapist entertainment. Uh, in 2013, Feldman went on The View to talk about how the pedophile numbers are larger than anybody knows and includes a ring reaching up into the Hollywood elite that's been shielded for years by the establishment. Uh, Barbara Walters looked him with disbelief, hands clasped across her belly and snarled, you're damaging an entire industry. I do remember that. That was kind of fucked up that she did that. Yeah, everyone was everyone was mad at her at yeah. the time because Corey hadn't like disgraced himself quite yeah, yet. That's yeah, that's true. Uh, then there's HBO leaving Netherland, where two men allege that Michael Jackson, one of Feldman's closest friends growing up, abused them when they were kids. Uh, Feld Feldman has always said Jackson never touched him inappropriately, and at times he seemed to be defending Jackson against accusers. Uh, this whole thing's one-sided, with no chance of a defense from a dead man, and no evidence other than the t the word of two men who, as adults, defended him in court. Oh, this is one of his tweets. This led to a barrage of criticism on social media and a few days later, a clarification from Feldman. I cannot in good conscience defend anyone who's being accused of such horrendous crimes, but at the same time, I'm also not here to judge him because, again, he didn't do those things to me, and that was not my experience. Uh, I watched it with my wife and son, he says. It caused me to have concerns. It's the standard grooming process they describe. Everything was similar that happened to me <laughs> yeah. up until the sexual part. Everything. He bought me gifts. A Watchmen TV. What? What's a Watchmen TV? Oh, man. That's a t like the uh -huh. comic? It's a TV on your <laughs> hand. Was that a... 
<laughs> was that a brand? Oh, oh a Sony Watchman. Oh, it's like oh, a portable like little handheld the TV. Look how tiny that screen is. Oh, yeah, that, awesome. that was like you were fucking the shit in uh, yeah in the eighties when you had this look at this little black and white TV. I have it gets what? one channel. <laughs> A gold watch from Disneyland, so he's grooming me, and I just never ended up being his pick. Yeah, or, he's all has all sorts of <laughs> questions. Or is that who he was? That's the fucking thing. We'll never know. But I would have been exactly his type. I was cute, <laughs> short, and blonde. You know? Oh, so now he's sad. He didn't get yeah. molested by Michael yeah. Jackson. It really is coming it's off like that, that way, Always right? Sunny episode where Mac has to go back to the teacher that <laughs> yeah. they accused of molesting. And it's and it's also kind of a defense too. Like, look, how can he pass me up? Who's into boys? Yeah, I was the hottest boy. <laughs> Although what allegedly happened to Corey Haim, Feldman has no doubts. Not one, he says. Uh, much to the unending dismay of Corey Haim's mother, Judy, who says her son was never raped by anyone. <laughs> and Feldman saying it happened only because he's still jealous of her boy's success. Ooh. And he's Oof. using Haim's name to scam the public out of crowdfunded money <laughs> for a movie about industry pedophiles that'll never get made. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's desperately trying to destroy my son's history, his image, and his memory, says Haim. It's a very deep jealousy thing that my son uh, always got first billing. I'm sick of him. Dragging my son's name through the mud for nine years. How shameful. This guy's a liar. The guy's sick, okay? <laughs> oh, man. That would be the worst. Because remember when he came back with that reality show that was just basically about Corey Haim being a fuck-up? Yeah, it was yeah. like... He, he was like, I'm a dick care of Corey Haim. Like, he yeah. was clean. He was living in his nice uh, suburban house with his wife, and then Corey Haim was the fuck-up deadbeat that came in and needed to sleep on the couch. <laughs> and then he dies, and he's like, yeah. he was raped. <laughs> but the thing is, I guess... Am I remembering it wrong? Didn't he also say that he was raped too? Yeah, yeah he did. But it really has changed to like Corey Haim. Yeah, it was not me. Corey Haim. <laughs> Corey Haim was raped a bunch of times. And remember the movie. I mean, imagine me Corey Haim's mom and just watching it change the narrative <laughs> yeah. to that. Nobody seems to notice or care. Well, did we all watch the two Corys? Were you there for that, Jeff? Were you there for that, I was Kristen? There, yeah. I forget yeah, I was if there. people yeah. weren't there or not. Because even that movie, it really was all about how Corey Haim was raped. Yeah, uh, I, I guess like people. Um, they 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 clearly like they hit on Corey Feldman, and he did some drugs. We didn't get raped. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It's almost like he had something to do with the production of the two Corys. <laughs> to combat Feldman, Sheener supporters, and there are quite a few of them, have formed an online gang known as the Wolf Pack. So there is a Wolf Pack. There is a Wolf Pack. <laughs> <laughs> they produce YouTube videos with the titles "You Low Life Feldman, You Have Gone Too Far This Time." And send out tweets saying, "Let's watch that video immediately." Yeah. <laughs> if longing to see Corey Feldman get gang raped in prison is wrong, I don't want to be right. Hey, sometimes the Arctic <laughs> Army of locker room <laughs> goons gets out of hand, and you can't be held responsible for what gets said to <laughs> R.L. Stein. I personally will never stop until Corey Feldman is in prison or a mental institution at best. That's problematic. Um, yeah, where is this? I don't think it exists. <laughs> yeah, man, I want to see that. I want to see this, you lowlife Feldman. Maybe that's a YouTube video. Yeah, I, I, now that I'm reading this, is this him saying they do this, or is this a report of them doing this? I mean, this is Rolling Stone saying that it exists. Uh, let me just try I feel it like they YouTube. forgot to put it in quotes. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like, a quote from him. But then they've they've watched Yeah, it. that can't be the title, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not coming up. Let Sissy me see Spacek? Corey Feldman. <laughs> Sissy Spacek has a song. <laughs> Where's the wolf pack, though? Uh, the only it's all his whenever claims. he's talking yeah. about it. Yeah. I want to find the wolf pack channel. But anyways, back to the thing. Too bad it doesn't yeah. exist. Right now, Feldman's standing in his living room while a bunch of recent arrival. It'd be great, though, if it's like uh, to combat uh, her and her supporters. They come to known as Jim and them. <laughs> they have com ca uh, commentaries like Corey Feldman's cringe cameo. <laughs> Uh, Corey Feldman standing in his living room with a bunch, uh, while a bunch of recent arrivals busy themselves unpacking cameras, monitors, and light reflecting umbrellas. He's 47, but doesn't look much different than the impish, thin lipped, wisecracking kid who became one of the mid 1980s most bankable teen faces. Ah, I think they're being a little too polite there. Yeah. Uh, when he smiles, you can still see that kid in there somewhere, but you also see a poster ba uh, boy for the age old perils of teen stardom. And a story that turned tragic for his uh, pal Haim. His who, pal Haim. <laughs> who died in 20, 2010 at the age of 38 from complications from pneumonia after a lifetime uh, spent struggling against the various addictions that Feldman s says he himself kicked for good in 95. No in way. 95. Yeah, not a chance. No way. Uh, walking through the four in the back room, video game machine, jukebox, dartboard, vibrating easy chair. He's still thinking about the wolf pack. 
Maybe Corey Feldman gave these quotes. Yeah. Yeah, they got these be. videos called, uh, oh, something like, you know, you little like Feldman, you gone too far. <laughs> 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 They're plotting against me, he says. There's been an assault charge pending against me, a labor board charge, things that are ruining my life. They're trying to get my kid taken away. All this is what I'm up against. These are the stakes. I'm fighting for my life. But I'm tired of being victimized and blackmailed. That's why I'm fighting back. Uh, this is what the film crew's about. The documentary Truth, The Rape of Two Corys. What a title. <laughs> uh, him at the age of 14. Yeah, about the... Okay, about men who allegedly molested him at the age of 14 and, the, and about the A-lister and others who allegedly raped or molested his best friend. Okay, so he does still say he was molested at least. We got seven people who were told firsthand that this person raped Corey, Feldman says, and they're all being interviewed. Uh, Feldman's going to sit before the cameras as well. Of course he is. Yeah, yeah, think he's going to not sit down in yeah, front of in every any shot. camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said he was told this is what all the boys do. It's called the Boys Club. It's totally normal. Uh, all words that Haim said he once said was told as well. Uh, Haim told him, and according to Feldman, they went on to describe the alleged rape in ugly, explicit detail. When a kid tells you something as a way to arouse you, when he's sitting there with a hard on trying to hook up with a guy, you don't immediately go, where'd this come from? What is he, ta- what? What is he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. When a kid tells you something as a way to arouse you, when he's sitting there with a hard on trying to hook up with a guy, you don't immediately go, where'd this come from? It wasn't like he just said, was, hey, man, you know what happened to me? But the line he used, I'm not gay, but I was taught this by other guys in the business. How do you question that? So is he uh, saying so that I Corey Haim tried to fuck that. him? Yeah. And, and I mean, that, that's but, the and next th- turn. <laughs> May, yeah, it does. I mean, this is what the, Corey Haim's mother's talking about, how he's dragging his name through the mud. I mean, I guess to be fair, yeah, if he was raped, it makes you confused. And Wasn't that kind of in that and, movie where like Haim was like, no, man, this is what we do. That wasn't. Yeah, there was something like that in that he movie. He really is just being like, Haim <laughs> sucked dick and I didn't want to. <laughs> Uh, Haim swore to secrecy only to reconsider 23 years later and beg Feldman to tell his story should he die first. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> if I die first, tell my story. <laughs> Nobody knows what it's like to constantly console somebody whose life has been ruined by rape. Unless you've been there. If I die, Jim, <laughs> if I die, tell everyone that I got raped, that I t- started it, that I liked it, and I told you to do it. <laughs> Unless you've been there holding them when they cry, bringing them back to life over and over, stopping them from walking around with a knife. I didn't ask for this. I didn't <laughs> ask for this. Stop them from walking around with a knife. <laughs> 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 what is that? A knife. A knife. <laughs> I didn't ask to tell this story. I didn't ask for any of this. If there ever was an imperfect messenger for attempting to take down pedophiles in Hollywood, Pet Feldman might be it. He's an, he has an untidy past that can't help but following everywhere and a present that seems to do him no favors. Uh, he was arrested three times for heroin by 19. He liked Coke along with weed, mushrooms, alcohol, crack, quaaludes, and acid. Mm. Uh, and then he was in Meatballs 4, Lipstick Camera, <laughs> Citizen <laughs> Toxie. I like how they're like, and then he just did a bunch <laughs> of shitty movies. Yeah, Celebrity Wife Swap in 2015, Surreal Life 2003. Feldman does stuff that is ill-considered at best and often plain weird. He used to throw parties at his house, the Feld Mansion. Featuring a gaggle of girls called Corey's Angels, which regular Joes could attend for $250 with a hot tub experience going for $500 and a cabana for $2,500. I didn't. So he's prostituting uh, the angels. Yes, absolutely. Vice reported on two of them and made them look like thoroughly unappealing, sparsely attended grisly affairs. Uh, yeah, well, then a bunch of nerds show up, but there aren't even the angels aren't even there. Well, yeah, they're probably not even fucking either. They're probably <laughs> just like maybe doing coke with Corey in they the back. They passed out on Quaaludes. Yeah. Uh, then to talk about his Today Show performance went viral with an explosion of Twitter-led ridicule. Feldman felt called upon to post a video response. We did the best we could. And like, I've never had such mean things said about me. Public shaming should not be accepted no matter who you are. And then he wept. (laughs) 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 Uh, So clearly he may may never be able to display the gravitas of, say, Ashley Judd, who helped kickstart the Me Too movement. Nor does he have much in the way of industry clout. (laughs) But he's nothing if not dogged in his pursuit of ways to get his message out, uh, even though it's one disappointment after another. He wanted to name names in the 2013 memoir choreography, but the publisher <laughs> nixed the idea. He hoped for better with the Lifetime biopic, uh, Tale of Two Corys, but the events were sanitized. He decided to crowdfund his own feature film, $10 million being his goal, uh, but it branded a scam and fell apart at the 273000 mark. 
It, it was like, branded a scam because it was a scam. <laughs> it looked like he wanted ten million to na- as a reward for naming names. His response to name names when the statute of limitations is long gone is to invite lawsuits. Uh, he's looking good these days. He usually presents himself noonish since bedtime is usually three ish. Clean shaven and spruce, favoring peg jodpers. Jodpers. Uh, clunky tennis shoes and a baseball cap worn backwards. Uh, he, wait, like cool he started guy. this sentence with, hey, he's looking pretty good these days? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? His yeah, cameo no. is, all, is from the 25th. <laughs> uh, if he's going out in one of his pants pockets, he brings a taser. One of the hardcore ones, he says meaningfully. Uh, That's not good. He's going to unleash that on someone at some point. <laughs> Last year, despite the presence of a ma- mammoth security guard named Jeff, Feldman, was, hey, here you go, Jeff. Hey, yeah. Feldman was atta- allegedly attacked in his car by a hoodlum who ripped open the door and plunged something like a needle into his abdomen, injecting Lord knows what. What's led to an emergency room visit, lots of snickering and social media doubting. I uh, thought he pulled a hoax, and the addition of bentonite clay to some of his health shakes. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, the police viewed it as a random road rage incident, while Feldman continues to maintain it was a directed attack. And he ended up with the world's smallest knife wound. Hmm. Also, sometimes he'll hide a tiny video camera somewhere on his body and record conversations with those he's unsure of. He's paranoid. People constantly break your trust and use it against you. It's very emotionally battering. I'm an intelligent person, but there's something about me that's very naive. I don't understand a lot of the world still, but I'm trying to get better at protecting myself. Oi, I don't understand the whole world. His cell phone beeps. Bitch. He reads a text, groans. What the fuck? Shit. God damn it. <laughs> 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 As of a few days ago, he had 10 people willing to go before the cameras and tell what Heyman told him about the alleged rape. He was psyched. Uh, holy jackpot. We're fucking gold. But one by one, they've thinking twice. This latest backpedaler gave a, as a reason receiving a death threat on Twitter. I feel terrible. I'm disappointing you. She texted him. I'm not being a flake. I'm simply frightened. No, mm-hmm. yeah, it just so happens to get the text during his yeah. Rolling oh, Stone. Man. Yeah, oh, send me that text. We were just about to blow the roof off this thing. There uh, she is. Let me just skip back. I just can't read this whole thing. I just wanted to see if there's anything else here. Uh, how is it a 14-year-old's job to raise another 14-year-old? Uh, okay. Uh, he's, he's, talking he's talking about, about when he was yeah, raised. Yeah, well, and he's also talking about how he had to take care of Corey Fa- Haim. I was growing up myself. He was left unsupervised in a world of sleaze balls. He was an innocent child. I was an innocent child. And it was our parents' job to protect us from the adult world. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do like that they kind of... I mean, sometimes they're being complimentary of him, and sometimes they're clearly mocking him. Yeah. It's an interesting way to go through this weird fucking Rolling Stone article on him. <laughs> uh, maybe Hollywood realized they kicked me to the curb for nothing. Hopefully they embrace what I'm doing and say... About that other guy, you know what? This is a big sore at the bottom of our leg, and we need to just amputate. What other guy? Hmm. I did skip Corey Haim? Yeah, who knows? He's not coming back, dude. You're not coming back. Yeah. He had his he had his small little comeback with the Me Too thing, and people were, were like, he, blew he, sh- <laughs> he should have just named names. He came off like a fucking, he was begging for money. He wanted money to say. He didn't want to yeah. say anything. Uh, yeah, he's not going to give up no matter his intentions or his words or in fact the public ever has a chance to see his movie. It does seem like a fight that for him may never and will never actually come to an end. Oh, look at that editor's <clears> note <throat> though. Yeah, editor's, uh, editor's note for Feldman's representative told Rolling Stone, Corey just signed a deal with a company who is financing finishing touches of production it will be handling worldwide distribution. It is projected that the release of the film will take place in the fourth quarter of this year. Yeah, the end of this year. Just yeah. give them plenty of time, but that yeah, I'm, I'm, but just a company. You don't have to say who it is or anything like that. That would be a little too specific. But there you go. We well, good. good uh, we got that to look forward to. We have uh, X Men. I, mean, I really am excited for <laughs> for that movie to come out. I hope it comes out. Yeah, fourth quarter. But didn't he supposedly have it when he went to Sundance? Remember who was at Sundance? It wasn't he ready. Supposedly <laughs> has it always. Yeah, he's always got it. Yeah, who will give me money? I have it right here. He has a VHS tape in his hand. I am bummed that we're not going to see that Hollywood production version of it, though, with the <laughs> Bayless stars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Uh, I don't know if they released more on it yet, but everyone was uh, shouting out this uh, 
Corey Feldman and Bret Hart movie. What? Mm. That I didn't watch any of that. I didn't watch any I of that I saw someone either. post it and I was like, I'm not even going to look at that. Yeah. Sometimes I uh, flex my privilege that way. Well, because it, it's it's pitched as like some lost movie that like they weren't going to put out, and they like someone found out about it. But I feel like that's obviously all. Part yeah, that's of the, the cringe normie angle. Yeah, of that's it. like the p- part of how they're trying to market it. So I don't understand if like I assumed are they making a Sharknado or are wait? They... So it's new. It's not. It's not a fake old movie, or it is a fake. Or I it is an old movie, recent. but they're pretending. Oh, okay. I think it's fairly recent, but I, I don't know how. And Bret recent. Hart's in it. it. I guess it's it's called Tales from the Dead Zone. So I think it is an anthology. So I don't know if they're in like the same uh, stories or not. But yeah, Bret Hart's supposed to be in it. Corey Feldman. Uh, I mean, they still only got twelve thousand views on this trailer. Really, that's the official yeah. one too. Ah, uh, maybe I'll have to double check. There's a zone where no one uh, fell dares self-aware. to go. <laughs> it's back. I'll just find myself in your toys. Why no, don't you this let is her bad on purpose. <laughs> no, no, please. But it, it's also, but it's that bad on purpose because they know like they don't have good equipment or anything it's behind not, it. So it's not like, that's, what, that's what I mean, like not good. Yeah, it's not like purpose. the the best of the worst style shit that they watch on like fucking Red Letter Media where it's bad because they had no time and no budget, but they were trying to make something. It's, this they is knew just they like, had no budget. Yeah, they knew it was going to be bad, so they leaned into yeah. the Let's bad while like making those bad movies. And then it's not fun. And yeah. You're just yeah. annoyed. Crazy. Don't post this shit. That's your reality. It's not a lost movie. This is definitely from like this last couple of years, couple of weeks. The, the one thing yeah. you can say though is you know Corey Feldman went there and didn't he? There's no tongue anywhere near a cheek. Yes, he's yeah. he's thinking like, oh, cool, another project. Shh, quiet now. Logic. Death is near. <laughs> but do have a name. What did we tell you before? And I don't want somebody fucking lying to me. Oh, wow. Go. It just looks like all the 48 hour yeah. films we used to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and someone in the chat uh, brought up Sharknado, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Where like yeah, Sharknado those, isn't, those shit suck. isn't shit fun suck. at all. They like, there's do, nothing fun yeah. about that. Your your cringe normie self thinks yeah. it's fun. Yeah, but like everyone involved with that knew what they were doing. They knew it was going to be bad, and so they just said, like, "Let's lean into oh, it. Let's make a memeable thing for cringe normies. Let's like trick you, them into thinking we're having like fun." You look at me. You're the cringe normie. You think you're not? Who me? Who me? Look at me right now. Me? You think you're not? But you're like Sharknado's so weird. Is it? But yeah, we've been. That's against not that. Ed Wood. That's yeah. not Ed Wood. Yeah, no, we've Ed been Wood against that. Ed Wood is Ed Wood because of Ed Wood. That's not Troll Two. It's not Troll 2 because yeah. Troll 2 is the way it is because someone tried. Yeah, yes. That's not Batman versus Superman. They didn't try to make it bad. <laughs> the Dawn of Justice. They tried to make it good, you cringe normie. Yeah. Stop making me cringe. We've, <sighs> and we've been against that from day one, from the jump. Yeah, we hated Sharknado when it came out. The only thing we liked about Sharknado was Tara Reid on drugs. <laughs> we'll pull the trigger. Bret Hart was going for it, though. He wasn't hamming it up. He was going for it. about to do is really crazy. I mean, like, it looked really like, did he film like a cameo? Like, no, is he, <laughs> they, yeah, look, dude, you can see he's holding his phone yeah, in his like, hands. <laughs> Corey Feldman. He's bad on purpose. Fat idiot. Other guy. Glenn J. Phillips. He was last seen with you. Wait, is that Bret Hart's real name? What are you? Bret about? Hart? Len J. Oh, Phillips? Len G- yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, my from God. The legendary Phillips family. Fuck them. Those idiots just said Bret Hart. No, 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 it said Bret Hart before that. I was just kidding. Oh, okay. Len J. Phillips is some other guy. Okay. <laughs> why, how, why is Bret Hart doing this? He had a stroke. Oh, was, <laughs> yes, he's stroking out. Do you think he knows someone and he's just like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll come do a thing for you? Yeah, or maybe he thinks this is his big break because he had a stroke. Yeah. Dakota House. I'm a one-man wrecking crew. Maybe Bret Hart's friends with Dakota House. Bret Hart doesn't have friends at this point. Just hangers on. Do you on. think Bret Hart feels that Jim, he that should... Jim, that looks like you. Yeah, that better not look like me. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> Do you think Bret Hart feels that he should have the crossover power of, like, um, a Hulk Hogan or a John Cena? Or, or a Dakota Rock House. Or, or a Dakota House. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Bret I've, Hart never had like a personality. Yeah, he's got to he know. He's just great at what he did. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have crossover. But does he want it? 
Maybe. What is we all have bad days and, and sometimes bad years. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think someone bought a cameo and asked him to talk about stuff and then just put it in their film? Maybe. Because it seems like that's the only part that he's in. Tales from the Dead Zone. We'll never watch this. The Nightmare. Well, this isn't even worth watching gone. something because it's, it's not bad. worth watching. Yeah, it's essentially a bad right. YouTube sketch, and I wouldn't watch that either. I don't know. Maybe we have to watch the whole thing to be sure, though. <laughs> um. That's a good point, Jim. I just want to see if they put up any other clips. Yeah, no, that must be the official. Look at that cringe normie that's like, look at this! Oh, the hoopla! What? Toned Whoa. in entertainment? I'm a normie. Yeah, let's watch that. Yeah, let's watch <laughs> let's, let's hey do a commentary in the commentary. This is cringe normie guy. I talk a variety of things. We got a Windows culture. hat. Two of the topics I like to talk about are wrestling and movies, and today I'm combining our wrestling, wrestling, bro. Is he talking? Is he shouting out a subreddit in his video? What, what is that? How he's talking? He, no, he's saying uh, some of the things I like to talk about are uh, okay. wrestling. I'm tired like, of wrestling, bro. Uh, wrestling sub. It doesn't need to be inserted into literally everything. Yeah. The topics. I talking like to you. Are wrestling. Talking to you, Jim and them. <laughs> I'm combining both of them. That's right, because there's a new movie called Tales from the Dead Zone, starring Brett the Hitman Hart. And this Corey guy like Feldman. still listens to Pennywise. <laughs> That's how cringe Normie right, is. The hitman hard is known like, as I, mean, I don't know if Pennywise is not Normie. No, it is though. But it, like that because he's like the best I would say that every, bad religion every guy more that like than my Pennywise. girl, my, not my, I was gonna say my sister and I said girlfriend. Every guy <laughs> my sister dated likes like gutter mouth and Pennywise. Yeah, yeah it's, skate the, punks and they're cringe Normies. Bad religion's way more Normie than Pennywise. What? Yeah, big yeah, time. It is. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Well, the best there ever will be. <laughs> Bro him. I don't know, bro him. I don't know, bro <laughs> him. <laughs> Feldman. I grew up watching him in the Goonies and Lost Boys, and I actually just recently met him at MegaCon in Orlando this past May. Oh, this sad guy sense. is a fucking cringe normie. Yeah, this guy sucks. Both of them in a movie together? I'm pretty excited, to be perfectly yeah, honest. This is my sister's According boyfriend. According to IMDb, Bret Hart is going to be Good playing guy. Detective Tom Jenkins. I'm pretty excited, Feldman, to be honest. Yeah. He's going to be playing a satire of himself. He even gets a jab at himself in the trailer. We, we all have bad days and, and sometimes bad years. <laughs> According to the like Tales 20 of That's not him so, acting. That's yeah, just him no. being Corey Feldman. Four stories in the anthology have been shot. Filming resumes in the fall to shoot the final segment and wrap up Tales from the Dead Zone. So are they asking for money the or some shit? The shoot is the main story slash wraparound that ties all four stories together. A three-minute video and spent now, two minutes explaining what they did. The of a movie? <laughs> well, Tales from the Dead Zone is giving you that chance. For $95, Pretty you can get yourself Whoa. an associate I guess he has 100 credit. views, so we're just shitting up some nobody. You get a co -producer He's got a pretty harsh There's line on his face. Damn, 100 bucks to be a producer. That's not that bad. For yeah, but what does that even mean? <laughs> an You're in the credits. Credit for $1,995. You get an acting credit and without acting credit in it? <laughs> for $995. If you're interested, I've put the link below under credit. pricing. Also, as of this recording, you know there are two <clears <clears <throat> I know what happened. This dumb shill thought, yeah. oh, I'll make a video about this dumb thing. And then <clears throat> that, since they'll, they'll be like, oh, look at this guy. We want him to be involved. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he like, right uh, beats the shit pants off the court. You can send to your reel or video edition. Again, all the info is there on their website. Well, it looks like production for this movie is going to wrap up in early 2020. This guy doesn't oh my blink. God, this like guy sucks. Look, he doesn't blink. <laughs> he never blinks. I, I realized I was like, we're shooting on some nobody. And then someone in the chat is like, that's all you do is shoot on some <laughs> YouTube nobody. This movie right now is on IMDb. That's all you do. It says a medical examiner conducting autopsies on victims. All of he's doing is screenshotting and IMDb and reading it to us. Well, I'm glad he doesn't have clicks Stories because actually most videos like this are this. Zealand, yeah. And they have like 100,000, 200 million and views. And LJ's finest hours. Now looking at the movie trailer, I love the opening line here. There's a zone where no one dares to go. <laughs> And from the looks of the trailer, it appears that movies line. going that way as well as just seeing the way it's shot. It really doesn't look like any movie I've ever seen before, and that's definitely refreshing. So is what do you mean? mean? Like, Wait a minute! Is, is he guy... not doing a bit where he's like, "Ha ha! Look at this stupid movie." He Maybe he's like, looks "I good. can't wait to see." He this. really is just some some fucking loser idiot who doesn't know what the world well, is. Well, let's just do, a classic let's just wrestling <laughs> fan like retard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got to do the Jim in a deep dive and just click his other videos, and it's all just no, like, no. We're I definitely gonna be watching some other he videos. Takes his head off has a big dent in his skull. <laughs> well, and you can see his great Photoshop skills on the little TV next to him yeah. where you can black out where the screen goes. <laughs>
Now, this movie kind of mm. looks like a passion project for these filmmakers. And he has, like, you newscaster voice, After but wrong. After sitting a bunch of Hollywood stinkers this year, seeing a movie where the filmmakers really have a vision and no, really have a No, no, that's well, the well, opposite. That's not true at all. To look forward this to is someone trying to cash in, in on Corey being a drugged out weirdo. <laughs> and on, a cash in on Bret Hart being Tales a stroked out zone. weirdo. Like, it's all the right, ultimate so cash out. For this first look at Tales from the Dead Zone. I mean, this Bret looks Hitman worse than, like, er, like, like our first sketch. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it's shot as well as fucking ICP Love You or whatever it's called. I would definitely I, 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 I only have not that in CPU. Here, yeah, I named it. I can't even fucking remember what it's called. <laughs> She's just not that into CPU. Yeah, that's it. And I, that looks movies, great. I talk about and I have an iconic role in that movie. Yeah. All right, let's see what this retard does in his free time. Toned in entertainment. So you're back on the wolf pack. Although now, I mean, I never believed that HBO documentary, but now a lot of people are coming back around again and uh, saying that that's all bullshit. Really? Yeah. I mean, Macaulay Culkin, the Culk himself, he just recently came out in support of Michael Jackson. I don't know. I don't know. There, there's no way Michael Jackson didn't fuck at least one kid. No, at least there's one. no way. <laughs> I don't think there is. Do you think there is? You don't I think, think he didn't at least give a handy to like at least three kids? I think there's a chance that he didn't even give a <laughs> handy to a one chance. kid. I, I think, think it's impossible. <laughs> I think I, it's I think he at the very least he he slept walk onto his Ferris wheel and butt fucked a kid in his mid sleep walk and he woke up and had a heart attack. What if <laughs> I mean Michael, Don't wake him. Michael Jackson could have been asexual. I don't know, bro. He's Yeah, he fucked kids. He had to have. He didn't have to have. And what why would he do have. all that? Do all what? Because he he lost his childhood, man. He just wanted to be. He wanted to be. A, he was. Just he wanted to hang out with kids. All he was the time, filled with alone? childlike wonder. What? And he just paid off all the parents and shit with like. Well, extravagant- but everyone, if you're rich enough, you'll pay off anyone to make a thing go away. Because it's not like, that's not like you and me being like, oh, I'm not gonna pay someone, but like rich people do it all the time. Hmm. I don't know if that kind of hold. I don't know if that holds up. Just the fact that he paid off a settlement. Man, if he didn't touch kids, I don't know why he acted the way he did. Um, well, I think he was clearly just a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't deny he's a weirdo. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. He's a creep. He's a weirdo. Oh, yes. Fuck. I fr- this is perfect because, yeah, Corey Feldman. Um, he denied Michael Jackson touching him, too. Well, right? his, his documentary is finally coming out. Is it? Yes. Isn't it like coming out for one day on YouTube or something? Not well on YouTube or some. It's gonna be streaming somewhere. And yes, thank you, uh, King in the chat. He shared a link as well. I guess he was um, talking to Doctor Oz about his uh, upcoming movie. Actually, hmm. is there a video of this? Let me pull up this link here because we do have the trailer. Although the trailer is only like under two minutes. But yeah, he's doing like some sort of pay per view. You have to buy tickets online. And it's screening exactly once. But of course, you know, we maybe we should simulcast that sure. or someone's going to cap it so we can just uh, steal it and put it online. Um, Feldman's new movie, My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys, will be posted online on March 9th. He names men who claims uh, raped him and Corey Feldman. Wait, what? He's Corey Feldman. <laughs> uh, they must mean him and Corey Haim. Dr. Oz said he was startled by one of the men Feldman names in the movie. Um, oh, the, oh, the the interview hasn't aired yet. So, I mean, the, here's the problem with this. And I mean, I know we've pointed this out many times. I mean, everyone's pointed it out. Like, he's treating it way too much like a summer blockbuster. Because <laughs> uh, even this interview, they got to tease the interview for the announcement of the thing. <laughs> and it's like they're trying to maximize as much tickets off of it than, than actually do any type of good. Uh, let's see what he's saying here. Living in fear. Um, okay, so let me break it down for you a little bit and, and explain to you that there's there's elements of this that the reason why this has been so difficult, which there's a multitude of reasons, but one of the main things is a lot of the people who were pushing me and saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, were victims that knew about what was going on. So at the last minute, these people would back out on me and say, oh, well, we got death threats. Oh, well, we got, you know, uh, my, my family is afraid. We've got a family to think about. My family's got to come first. And I'm going, what about my family? 
Does my family not matter? Why, why, why am I being asked to sacrifice everything when nobody else is willing to take those same sacrifices? Because you don't have um, a family, Corey. You know what? That wasn't but, I mean, that would hold weight. That, like, what he's saying is, like, you know, he's opening himself up for assassins or ninjas that are going to get him. Yeah, remember he lied about um, being stabbed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're but, like, there are no stab wounds. That would hold weight if we didn't just see years ago, like, many w women come forward against, like, Harvey Weinstein and, like, other powerful people. Yeah, like, that were still in power. He's, and like, was, coming against, like, some actor that did some movies. It was completely proven that, you know, if you come out and are sincere and have a real story, you will be protected. Like, uh, but even if that was... It just doesn't come off as, as a legit reasoning because at every turn... He's tried to make money on this. Yeah, <laughs> and I know. Cameo lately. <laughs> I know most people are uh, like, you don't want to point this out because you are still shaming, I guess, a potential molestation victim. Yeah. But no, he's so he's too shameless with his bullshit that he has to be called on it. Well, it wasn't yeah, he, uh, he's raised like millions of dollars, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> over over well, the different GoFundMe millions, but yeah, he like, he definitely hit like a three hundred k on one. <laughs> then he hit like a sixty k on another. But he was tr he was trying to make a ten million dollar movie or like a blockbuster. And now so he's making going. one YouTube and video that streams happens. once. Then I get stabbed. Then I get, get you know stabbed. almost run over. Then, I mean, it's just one thing after <laughs> almost another run that over. happened over the last three <laughs> and years. I got almost run they over. They do it here. through intimidation, and then they all go around and they spread this rumor that you're this awful. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Hi. Oh, it's his cameo. Yeah, we watched that one. <laughs> hey. Well, <laughs> I want to see if there's any other. And but brothers. remember, w was it me and you that watched this movie, or me and Mike? Did we watch his like Lifetime movie? I think I was there. I think I caught like the end of well, it. Well, because remember the movie though. In the movie, it was all Corey Haim getting raped. It was like, <laughs> yeah, he made it like Feldman. He never got I think raped. a producer like maybe tried to kiss him, and he's like, "Whoa, bro, that's not what I do." <laughs> but I'm then, not gay. Like, I'm cool. Yeah, through most Corey of Haim, <laughs> he's the gay one. Yeah. <laughs> but the rest of the movie was about how Corey Haim was raped all the time. Uh, <laughs> really, nothing about. Poor old Feld dog, uh, but yeah. Let me let's take a look at the trailer. Let me pull it up for the chat here. Just the fact that he has to have a trailer, he has to have a documentary. <laughs> he can't just come out. Remember, he, even on like Doctor Oz when he initially came out before, he did this whole big spiel and he named some nobody name that no one's ever heard of, mm -hmm. and he complained about the statute of limitations or whatever. We talked about <laughs> the like a 911 call and, and, and your interpretation of that 911 call, okay? Mm. I want to play it. You can hit play on this, Where does okay? lips go? <laughs> if you've heard the whole thing or whatever, <sighs> just hit play whenever you're ready. I think it... Mm -hmm. This is made on, like, fucking, like, Windows Movie Maker type shit. Well, and isn't the lifetime of abuse, like got molested a couple times and then he abused drugs the rest of his life and then also yeah. women <laughs> like they definitely like yeah like, we have to, those women we have to gloss over the fact that yeah he did treat um young women coming to la with dreams like shit he he basically was an abuser i just want him to get back to the music Has he got a tear? Is that a tear? He's got a tear. So, I mean, it's podcasters, it's just been a lot of uh, titles on the screen. A lifetime of abuse, a lifetime of fear. And then he's listening to something on the phone, which I guess they're teasing like us call. that we need to that we'll get to hear once we pay for this movie. He's got eyeliner. And now he's, yeah, he's got a lot of makeup on. He's got no lips, of course. You can almost see where maybe lips were, <laughs> like around here. I don't know if uh, those were his lips. Those, those are pretty big. Imagine if he had big <laughs> lips like that. Maybe he had some big, pouty, full lips. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should get like some injections. Uh, but yeah, now he has like a melodramatic single tear. He's really forcing the fall. Great. 
Up oh, there we go. And I isn't that like the same font as like um what the hell is like uh Lost Boys 2 like the tribe? Oh <laughs> like yeah. Isn't, it is, is he using the font for the truth, the rape of two Corys logo? Well, and it's weird to put my in parentheses because then it sounds like it's not the truth. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's no, like exactly. My version of the truth. Well, my, I mean, not just truth. He's like my snitching truth. on the fact that it's not true. March 9th, 2020, 8 p.m. Pacific. One time worldwide event screening, pay per view tickets available on the 22nd. <sighs> how much are these tickets? Yeah, how much? 50, right? At least. Do you, do you think he has a horror stinger at the end of the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> it's just him again. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they show or him, it's him a going, stinger. Rape! <laughs> I was raped! <laughs> I'm going to get you! That <laughs> oh, was a Joe Blow. Yeah, read the room, Joe Blow. Don't throw your fucking post scene at the end of the My Truth of uh, the My Truth trailer. <laughs> Jesus. So Let's yeah, see. how much is the pricing on these? CoreyFeldman.net. Uh, what do we got here? MyTruthDoc.com. Do you think he... he uh, okay, 20, 20 bucks. I mean, that's still a lot, but yeah, I definitely uh, expected him to bleed it a little bit more. Uh, My Truth Doc is being built and will be live to buy tickets on the 22nd. That's tomorrow. <laughs> made. He has like the free version to make that poster because in the corner has the water tag like made by posterly.com. <laughs> 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 it's really skimping. He's got to maximize profits on it. Please check your time zone as it'll be different depending on where you live. There's no way this goes off without a hitch, too. Like, it's oh, not going to yeah, work no for way. most of the people that paid. How to watch. Oh, he's just linking how uh, clickbait sites are posting about his movie. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, look, we got a headline on Movie Web. Look, and even in his, his website here, it's got like a fake. Um, like cinema, like uh, like Fandango, yeah, like the um, billboard. the billboard. But then even in the pictures, it's just the the. I feel like they're shooting it right now because <laughs> it's like a there's it, the website has a cinema marquee that says "My Truth: The Rape of Two Corys" and there are pictures by the ticket booth, but it's just pictures from the teaser. <laughs> so like they're just quickly shooting it. They're like, "Fuck, well, just set a date, March 9th. We'll be able to shoot enough stuff by then." <laughs> 17 days and 13 minutes till the world ends. Yeah, what is March March 9th is what? A s- Monday? What? Why? Why would you do Monday March Monday. 9th? Monday. I think we're going to we're going to have to stream this. Yeah, Monday night Corey. You can play it on Apple TV. Signing up, log in to stream on your computer, tablet, phone and smart TV. They're not even on We got to watch this. Yeah, they go on sale tomorrow. I can't wait. I need to get tickets immediately. I need to <laughs> pre-order tickets. Can't wait to finally find out if Corey was raped. <laughs> well, also his um, uh, what's that made by? What poster my something? Postermywall.com. <laughs> yeah, also because his poster my wall poster is just a, <laughs> it's just a theater curtain. <laughs> yeah, and, and some. Seats theater seats and like snow <laughs> and you can like see like the outline of like where you enter the text <laughs> like enter text here in this free version you can pay for one and it'll look good what yeah. is this you like screen capped it the posters <laughs> the posters just be two butts in the air <laughs> the whole <laughs> the rape of two Corys. the whole the whole movie has that uh trial version uh oh thing yeah it has the screen matic <laughs> uh watermark on it right in the middle of it it's like the fucking rfg videos it's just a bunch <laughs> of tabs open and if we look at this guy this is harvey weinstein he raped me louis ck raped me who else? Who <laughs> else raped me? Uh, Aziz Ansari raped me. He just starts naming off every uh, Me Too uh, victim. Let's see. Remembering Corey Haim, choreography, Child USA. I still haven't read uh, choreography yet. I have it. <laughs> I'm sure uh, it's good. Let's see. Does he have anything else on his on his YouTube? 
Live in, Live Taiwan. in Taiwan. Oh, yeah. What was this birthday jam? <laughs> so we're going to do uh, some cover songs right now. And one of them that we're going to start off. Well, we saw. And all of them are Michael Checks. Go to Dodger Stadium the other night and get to see the great Sir Paul McCartney, who was here doing some amazing stuff. One of which was an incredible reunion with Ringo Starr. Hello! The Beatles played together. Hello! At least the rhythm section. For the first time in history, they played those songs, which was pretty amazing. They'd never played them live together. So Is he going to cool. do a Beatles song? Oh, so doesn't he do Blackbird or something? Didn't we see him already? Does he? <laughs> Blackbird! <laughs> Blackbird! Drive! <laughs> <laughs> Even flow. <laughs> Damn. So inspired that we decided we wanted to do a song that you probably recognize. It's from the White Album, and it's really light. There's not a lot going on, so that's why we've got just me and Greg. Yep, Blackbird. Did I? Go. Yeah, I think we've seen him do this song before. He thinks he does it really well. Maybe he does do it well. Why does this guy have such a tiny guitar? I love how he makes all these statements about how I have to make all these sacrifices to out these rapists, but he's just playing fucking bar gigs <laughs> and doing Beatles covers. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. <laughs> Take these song in Oz and learn to see. <laughs> That's not the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Take these feels, sunken arms and learn to see. <laughs> it feels like he forgot him, like in the midst. <laughs> he knows the the title, <laughs> Blackbird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. His first song is warming up. Take these eyes and learn to see. Learn to see all your life. You were only waiting. All right, skip to the middle of something, and I'm sure it's going to be like, even blow. <laughs> Corey Haim softly. Hey. I just want to hear him sing Pearl. Uh, it, uh, just the coke in your nose? It really, it starts to feel like this guy must understand what he's doing, but he clearly doesn't. No, it is like, I guess it's like when you can't hear that you're tone deaf. <laughs> like, I don't know, in your head. Like, he you has think to you're know. It. But I feel like everyone can hear that they're tone deaf. That's what I, I mean. Know. He has to know he's not a great singer, but he's still, I mean. So he chose an acoustic song. <laughs> and acoustic also, Beatles it's not track. like Beatles are like hard, <laughs> yeah. particularly hard. Like, but you gotta hit some of these notes, dude. If you want to do some, uh, and pick you up, pick helter with skelter or something. Yeah. yeah, you need to warm up the vocals a little bit. You got too much of a drip happening right now to hit those vocals. <laughs> Black This says premiered August 8th, too, so he had, like, a countdown to when this video would go uh, up. Yeah, You know, when did. they set, like, premieres? Yeah, he had a countdown. Yeah, he's like, oh, man, you gotta see my set, my birthday jam. It looks like he's at a bar, but he's just in someone's house. <laughs> Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Blackbird. <laughs> it really is like a... Well, he's even cracking himself up now. It really is like a... The guy's a like, that's really bad. He's like, I know. Like I can't turn it off. I can't. <laughs> the I want just started laughing at him. <laughs> I want to skip ahead, but I just can't. I need to hear how he's gonna do it. Yeah, we might as well watch the whole thing. Yeah, we might as well watch this forty minute. We should watch this forty <laughs> minutes. Set. Hey. Okay. So, what are some of the songs he covers? How many Michael Jackson songs? It's like four. Oh. Uh, we. They. They went to give him a pity clap. He's like, No, I'm. I'm not done. Not done. I got a whistle. <laughs> Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings. I'm out of here. <laughs> One thing that I admire about him is that he's not embarrassed. Because I, I'm I'm embarrassed, <laughs> and I and I'm, it, part of my head is I'm picturing myself doing this and how embarrassed I'd be for myself <laughs> if I did this. 
So like I I don't know how what's the description for that just shameless then like what is that um, we just you have don't have lots of people around you telling you you're doing a good job is it like you, yeah no self awareness just the is it just, he's he's that ballsy like <laughs> ballsy <laughs> I think it's just yeah not having any sort of self awareness. And thinking you're talented at something you're clearly not talented yeah, at. Yeah, scruffy ignorance. Yeah, he's like just, the, you don't like the thing you're good at. It's like every person that's good at something. Although he's not all, the thing also is, that great of an actor. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> yeah, entitlement. Thank you, chat. Like, it's weird because in one hand, successful people do need this. Like, you have to think you're the best, even at times when you're not, because you have to just be able to just push through whatever. Um, and you know, obviously for a lot of people that are successful, it works, but then there are a lot of people. Yeah. Have had, Having confidence yeah. is good and yeah. also bad sometimes. And Gordon makes a good point. This is definitely those bar shows where no one else knew there was a show. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah. is that? Well, imagine if you were just hanging out, having a beer and then like, what? <laughs> and you're like, who is, is that? <laughs> it's like, is that Gordon Feldman? Is he all right? <laughs> Did he say it was pretty close? <laughs> Only one day of rehearsal. Can you believe it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's what he's saying. I no. just want to take a piss. Yeah, hell yeah, me <laughs> that's too. That's everyone in the audience. <laughs> All right, we got to go. <laughs> no worries, no worries. It's my 50th birthday, everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday, me. I think he was actually blaming the guitar player for fucking something up. <laughs> I think he's like, you almost got it. Uh, the, the guitar sounded perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That okay. would be him, um, though, blaming you. <laughs> by another Englishman, and it's just a little bit faster than that one. And it's called... Well, okay, I don't want to tell you the name. It's by Cat Stevens. Yay. Any Cat Stevens fans here? Yeah. Oh, man, is he doing oh, um, Wild World? Baby, um, baby, uh, it's uh, Wild uh, World. Uh, what, Corey, uh, Corey, a lot Corey. Of people during the Me Too movement were saying it's called I Can't Keep It In. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did he just say? <laughs> did he just make an off call? He made a joke. Me Too goof. <laughs> but did he make me a Me Too? too? Shock jock go shock jock goof. Can't keep it in. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> you were raped. <laughs> were you? <laughs> I think a lot of people there in the Me Too movement were thinking this. I just can't keep it in. <laughs> Anyways, and a one and a two. And a hubba dubba doo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this this is uh, Give It Away by Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, or as Harvey Weinstein would call it, my theme song. Ooh, give it away, give it away. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got to trust women, though, fuck, right? Fuck, Nobody man. trusts Corey. No, he listened to Corey uh, when Corey was raped. <laughs> here's something uh, Louis C.K. was saying a lot. Uh, it's by the Eurythmics. Uh, I touch myself uh, in a one and <laughs> <in> a two. <laughs> little, little song, little dance, little pee-pee in my pants. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> What's in the news? Uh, school shootings are bad. Oh, Jeremy Smoker. <laughs> Corey Haim smoking. I guess it's been a while since we checked in with Corey. Like, I completely forgot he just does shit like oh, this. Oh, man. He's, yeah, I miss Corey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we're back on watching this 40 minute video of Corey. <laughs> I don't want to hear whatever this bullshit Cat Stevens song is, but I do want to hear the banter. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that back. What exactly yeah. did he say? Dude, that's because like, I feel like even the guitar's like, whoa. <laughs> uh. Just a little bit faster than that one. And it's called I, well, okay. I don't want to tell you the name. It's by Cat Stevens. Yeah. Any Cat Stevens fans here? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well hopefully you still will be after this. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, this is what uh, a lot of people during the Me Too movement were saying. It's called I Can't Keep It In. Right? Now, I think he means, like, because they're telling the truth. Now yeah. and now that I try to think about what he's saying, he means, like, they can't keep it in, like, this secret. But it comes off as just a sex rape joke. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, well, because you look at Corey and it just immediately you have rape on the mind. You're like, oh, this is why he's like that. But maybe he's, he was never raped. <sighs> Man. Maybe he was just a sicko. Oh. Let's see, do I know this song? Yeah, I'll probably skip ahead, but I just want to see. Do we know this one? Well, I can't keep it in. <laughs> It's impossible if you do know this song, it's still impossible to tell if you do. Why can't you say if you know then being what you're thinking, 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 why not? Why, why, why not? Great fun, right? Oh, now he's standing up. Electric time. All right, all right, enough of that. You know, but that shit <laughs> does a bunch of blow off his seat. Ah! <laughs> Baked potato, ladies and gentlemen. Woo-hoo. Okay, so now we're going to plug it in a little bit and amp it up just a small bit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! Ah, here we He's go. picking up the guitar. Uh, He's getting his axe. Get help up here, though, I don't think we can pull this next one off alone, so we're going to need some of our good friends. Is anyone a drummer in the house? <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Rod, Rod from Truth Movement, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. The one and only, we haven't played together in years and years, but Rob Haskett from Truth Movement, we've got Dave Dunn! You haven't played together in years and, and years, and years. this guy's 30 years younger than you. Haven't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> played together since I was hanging out with him when he was 10. Don't, don't show me. <laughs> don't show me on camera. <laughs> yeah, please. So, okay, and, uh, are we not going to have a drummer, but we're going to have three guitarists and a saxophone? Did he say that this guy with the saxophone's from Pink Floyd? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ringo. Ringo. And the infectious grooves, legendary musician Dave Dunn, and of course the great Scotty Page. (laughs) Jimmy Page. Yeah, no, Scotty Page from Pink Floyd, he's saying. Jesus, fuck. What does he have on these people? (laughs) And uh, who's playing drums on this one? Ringo. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'll play drums. Ringo. Who's on the I know he's like, yo, what, what the fuck? You're fucking embarrassing me. Someone he didn't show up. Where's Aaron? Is Aaron here? Someone get Aaron on fucking drums. Right Aaron now. Gillespie from Under Oath. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just drum on your guitar, Corey. Yeah. Fucking embarrassing me on my fucking birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, good friend of ours, first time playing with us. That's why he's in the parking lot. Aaron, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Oh, sorry, I was fucking smoking eight months. Sorry, I was trying to leave. I was waiting for my Uber. <laughs> All right, this is Rain and Blood. <laughs> He's got a fucking saxophone player. <laughs> Did he even have a bass player? <laughs> All right, this is the weight, and this goes out to Harvey Weinstein. To put the weight right on me. And <laughs> he's doing his own harmonies. And, and, and you put the weight right on Corey. That's a good chord. Oh, there's, there's a, a musician up there. <laughs> that guy that just has got keyboards. It's quite an Elvis coat. I gotta do it. Thank you. Very awesome. Shut the fuck up, Scotty oh, Page. Yeah, hurry, yeah. <laughs> know your worth. Right, so, uh, anyway, so this is from the first album, and I wrote it about bad relationships. Oh, God, it's uh, his own song. So, I thought he was going to do more covers. And if you have the he got Scotty Page. Did Ascension do. Millennium. It's about what you do when you're tired of hurting and tired of standing around for abuse and you just want to you want to will you make a go fun man and you want to walk so that's what the name of the song is walk is this the one that had fred durst on it <laughs> what is he doing i hope he's tuning <laughs> This is a, a collection of assholes. <laughs> Re. Spect. Walk. <laughs> oh, 
he's bringing his wife up. Get up here. No. <laughs> hey, he's no. Like, get up here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Man, she, now she just has to hang out up there awkwardly. Does she have a part where she sings? I assume she's going to sing on the next part. I like to think she's not even wearing heels. <laughs> yeah, she's way taller she's than She's towering him. over him. Look, she loves me. Uh, For the podcast, he brought on his fucking giant 18-year-old wife, and he's just sort of trying to seduce her. Now, she, now she's <laughs> blowing into the mic. Look, see, she wants to be with me. It's consensual. <laughs> you gotta walk. Walk! <laughs> Jesus. It's like a fucking 10 minute jam song. No one turned on Corey's mic. Do you think that she, he makes her listen to the albums like over and over again? Oh, yeah. That's why she knows the words. I mean, he's up all night on coke, just fucking jamming to his own songs. Dude, I keep skipping ahead, and it's the same song. Oh, there we go. All right, look, you get off keyboards. My wife's going to play. Oh, he's getting on drums now. Why? All right, we're going to have uh, Scotty Page sing Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> Oh, because again, he was in Stand By Me. He was in the movie. (laughs) No, I couldn't sing Stand By Me. That would be too egomaniac. I'll just play the the drums. (laughs) Fuck Scotty Page for even being here. Eat shit. Corey must... Corey must have the hook up on coke. He's got the dirt on him. He was at yeah. one of the rape parties. You want to be in my dock? <laughs> huh? Do you? I'll name your name. Play sax in my band. So, Corey, Corey, stand. A regular Neil Pert. A regular dead Neil Pert up there. (laughs) Absolutely no audio, video, recording, or photography. This is one that, um, I don't know, I often ask myself this question whenever I'm on tour. And it's a Beatles song from the White Album. It's called Why? Well, I guess you'll hear it in a minute. Why don't we do it in the road? Don't we do it in the road? (laughs) I'm always asking this on tour. On tour with a fucking <laughs> whores. Anyways, wife. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. At this point, everyone's turned around in the crowd. They just moved on back to whatever they were doing. Original drummer, ladies and gentlemen, the captain of all. Right, let's see. <laughs> 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 it is. It's animal. <laughs> From the chat, why does he sound like Dr. T? <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks like Dr. T's wife, too. Hey, man. Damn, this dude loves the Beatles. All right, let's just skip it. Oh, there's his birthday cake. He's in love, a little worth cake. Is that a real picture? It is a real picture. That's from the Rolling Stone thing. How did they do that? That's the Rolling Stone thing. <laughs> no one's ever seen a picture on a cake. Yeah, how'd they get a picture there? Let's try to figure out what song this is. This is a Corey original. It's gotta be. No Michael Jackson. 
Well, he doesn't want to be under that thumb anymore. <laughs> that was just jamming, hanging out. Oh, it's another Beatles song. <laughs> Is that I got a feeling? Happy birthday! <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, yes, put some credits yeah, in there. <laughs> and 20 credit. second birthday celebration. <laughs> oh, because remember, his favorite number is two. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Corey Feldman's favorite number is two, and Corey Haim's favorite number is also two. That's what, what they bonded over. Yeah, it was in the movie. <laughs> I love that there's credits, dude. Lead vocals, guitar, drums. Courtney Feldman, backing vocals, lead vocals. Damn, I wish I was at that show. Sounds fun. Brady has the same birthday as him. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Sharing a birthday with the great one. Happy birthday, Brady. Happy 26th What not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no comments. How is there no comments on this Intimate video? performance for just about 50 people made up of his family and a few close, close friends. At the last minute, they threw a band together, which happened to be a discreet truth movement reunion. Yeah! Wow, what a surprise! Yeah. The guys from Truth Movement weren't doing nothing. <laughs> uh, do we want to look at what this, whatever the fuck this is? Yep, <laughs> the Frog Sisters. <laughs> uh, I think this is a sketch. Um, <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ! Now, if you don't know, the Corey Feldman was one half of the Frog Brothers in Lost Boys, but apparently this is a sketch that's reimagining the is Frog Brothers. Is that the Brothers. other guy? I think it is, as the Frog Sisters. I mean, and yeah, I guess that guy's not doing nothing. Well, because he was in one of the sequels, yeah, because like, he's a vampire and he's the bad guy. Oh, yeah, and the one yeah. with like Edge in it or whatever. So maybe this is them having fun on set. Filming the what if the Frog Brothers were actually the Frog Sisters? This is gonna be real transphobic. <laughs> Place your name. Sorry, what? What is that? Your names and the part you're reading for, please. Slate. Okay. Oh, sure. Of course, yeah. You go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, we work together. So always a fun improv bit. It's is just doing, what? <laughs> it's doing the Jimmy. He's like just doing the Jimmy Fallon thing, kind of. So that's you when you know someone's not funny when their improv oh God, bit is what? So What'd you say? Right oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so, so adorable. Ridiculous. Yeah. I'm totally standing you right now because you're like killing it. Oh, that's so kind. Of is this you. filmed on a webcam? Okay. So I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it's like the lighthouse yeah, with well, that we'll aspect ratio, <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's a bizarre <laughs> aspect okay, ratio. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Your name? Sure, we can. Ooh, new aspect ratio. Okay. Okay. Um, my I, name is Jamie. Oh, uh, do you want our full names or do you want just our? Oh my name? fucking god, bro! Oh, <laughs> this is some good improv. Yeah, yeah. Do you know oh that? Oh my god, it was so much. So fun. I, oh, I love her so much. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what she does oh my god. with her. Okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Okay. Your name oh, and sorry. your name okay. and then the character you're reading. What? Okay, yeah, um, I was my reading. what? Yeah, I, I just I got it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Can you do this? This is very transphobic. Right, and slate your name for the camera, please. Oh, hello there. Hi. Uh, slate is okay, your just name sing. and the character you're Okay, of course. okay, sure. Yes. My name's Jamie Ned Lammer, and <laughs> I'm reading for the role of Alina Frog. Oh what my the god, bro. And they're I'm still the doing shit the, I made when I was 11. Yeah, they're still doing the, so much better than the slate your name bit. Let's my get what? <laughs> Jesus. That, 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 was, that was great. That Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll call you. Thank okay, but we, oh, wait, we, wait, really, wait, we, we want to get to the second scene. Because we really love these parts. And we, <laughs> okay, okay. One more okay. scene. All right. We you relate, ready? We relate ready? to them very Yeah, heavily. we really relate to them. And action. <laughs> we, uh, we went to school together. We went yeah. to high school together, which was just a couple of years ago. Can you tell? We're sort of like sisters. I'm, right? I'm 22. And I'm 21. Okay, can, you, right. okay, can we stick to the script? Are you ready? Action. Sure. Okay. Um, I like when he's wearing lipstick on his non-lips. Yeah, I think there's something <laughs> up here. I don't see what you're talking. Wait a minute. Uh, it's Bloodsucker Hotel all over again. I thought it was supposed to be a coffin. 
I thought it was supposed to be a parachute. Busting off. Uh, they're doing the great, like, <laughs> you know, doing a yes and, but making a yes and it's also not what you just said. <laughs> I thought it was a parachute. Yes he just, and. He just a bunch of pills. Look at this meant. club. Well, yes and, you mean a coffin? <laughs> uh, yes, I mean a parachute. I'm so embarrassed right now. Oh, my God. That totally says parakeet. I thought it said parachute. They oh, fly, right, too, right, just right. like that. Yeah. That's Come enough. On. We're done. Yeah, Get we're done. Off. We're, t- <laughs> <laughs> we're done. That's too much. <laughs> well, I mean, I probably have more Corey yeah, no. videos. It's not this one. Yeah, no, that's too much. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that anymore. I'll see him live in Taiwan for six minutes, though, maybe. <clears throat> live in Taiwan oh, with his wife, of course. Oh, that gives me a good idea. Corey Feldman, go for it, featuring Snoop Dogg. Did we already see that? Oh, of course we did. We have a commentary on it. That's his uh, original uh, video, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, that's his original. He must have re-upped it or something. Courtney, oh, wait, let me turn on private. This is Courtney Feldman nudes. <laughs> yeah. I can't even do this. That's it. We 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 gotta save the rest of the Corey for when the fucking. <laughs> I searched Courtney um, Feldman nude, and all that came up was Corey Feldman's horrific, depressing <laughs> near nude birthday party from 2013. <laughs> <laughs> from Gawker, R.I.P. We'll have to save the rest of the Corey for when his movie comes out. <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing it on the 22nd. You're right. 222 that's why it's on a monday yeah well that's what well, he uh, he should be having the premiere then that's when the tickets go on sale oh, the tickets should the be fuck? 22 dollars as well if we knew anything about Corey feldman uh but yeah it doesn't actually air till march 9th because like i said they're filming it right now like right this <laughs> second they're still filming it they need to get it ready um so yeah be on the lookout we have to get a rip of that and and i think maybe we'll just have to live stream it well, it's playing. So you're back on the wolf pack. So I'll tell you back on the wolf pack. Feldman was back on Dr. Oz because I I thought we missed it. But uh, the. Coming up. Yeah, the premiere of his film is on this Monday. Does he still um, have his own personal website and that's where he's going to put it or is he putting it somewhere real? It's on like truthdoc.org or something like that. It's some bullshit. All right. So in the <laughs> chat room, I need of the best prank call where you call a restaurant and say, open your door. There's a pack of wild dogs out here. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Help! <laughs> It's a pack of wild dogs <laughs> out here, bro. <laughs> and I assume you had, like, dog sounders happening. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It was yeah. dogs, remember. Gro- it was dogs growling, wasn't it? Well, but I'm, I'm trying to remember. It from... was, because at one point in time you stopped talking and you just had the dogs growling, I think. <laughs> well, but I'm trying to remember, though, that was also a Jake and them bit. Because remember Jake and... Jake, uh, Jake kept going to Mike Appleyard on location. <laughs> Never some do- mind. That's what I'm remembering. Yeah, then, and then he goes back to him on location, and all you hear the dogs growling. Yeah, I'm Although in. I'm it might have, we might have done that. To, we might have been on the prank as well because I think when we were doing cold call pizza. I think there was one when I was trying to sell a pizza, and then I was like, oh, my God, there's a bunch of dogs out here. Do you see me by the dumpster? <laughs> okay, then, yeah. I do remember that. I was yeah. combining those two in my head. Because I think it was something like, don't you see me? I'm right outside. Look out the window. And they're like, what dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so good. I'm glad you're good at prank calls. Like I'm saying, I can't do a prank call to save my life. Uh, I mean, they're tough sometimes. Sometimes they'll go nowhere. You just got to kind of feel it. I well, just feel like I immediately feel bad about prank calling someone and then like hang up. Well, and there's that tough line between playing it straight. And but going escalating, too far, like yeah. like you, you're great at walking that line where you escalate it enough where it's a prank call, but you play it straight enough where the person on the other line, like the worst thing about hearing a prank call is when like three lines in, you immediately know it's a prank call, mm. and like and you know that the person on the line knows it, 
And then it just kind of like it takes uh, there's there's no uh, build up, there's no tension. Yeah, someone's doing like a crazy scenario. Like, like, like right like, Hello, yeah. it's me, the bone collector. You're like, okay, I don't, I don't need to calling? hear this. <laughs> but I mean, it was we kind of did that when we did. Um, the classic Toyota, uh, Centennial Tiny. Toyota. Yeah, you got to that point. Because we just kept calling him and just saying, fuck you. <laughs> What's yeah. up, fucko? Yeah. It's us. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Tiny's probably dead, right? Probably uh, had like, a heart attack. Uh, I would love to call and see if Tiny still works. We'll have to do that one of these times. Didn't we t- Actually, didn't we try to call him again? I forget. No, I think we did because I wasn't around for the original Tiny, but I was there for the recall, and they go, oh, Tiny doesn't work here anymore. But they remembered it. Ah, him. yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds right. I remember them like Tiny's actively being like, oh, yeah, no, Kept Tiny. picking up kids. <laughs> Tiny. Hey, because the best was when you know uh, he's picked too, right? we called Tiny, because uh, we just kept calling him over and over again and just saying, fuck you to him. Because it was because Jake was mad at them for some dude when he was buying his Prius. They, like, fucked him over. Uh, so that's why he knew the guy's name. And then at one point we call, and then Jake just goes, "Hey, fuck you!" And the guy goes, "Listen up, pussy! I'm gonna find you and like kick, <laughs> kick your ass." And then Jake just goes, "No, you won't." <laughs> <laughs> it's so great because no, he do- no, he won't. That's the best response to like anything on the internet or prank calling. It's just telling people, "Nope, <laughs> yeah, nope," because they get so them. bad because they want you to argue more. It's like, nah, you won't. Uh, but yeah, I actually heard a little of Fell Dog on uh, Jim and Sam, even though I don't get to hear Jim and Sam that much anymore. What? Uh, what? Dope. <laughs> I actually saw that Feldman was on it, so I wanted to hear his bullshit. And uh, he was just being a prick, like, immediately. Really? Because they were just asking him, like, kind of the standard question of, uh, well, first, Feldman got mad because uh, he came in with, uh, Feldman came in with his wife. Uh-huh. And Jim Norton didn't know who that was. And he's like, is this one of your angels or something? And he's like, nah. uh, it's my wife. And they got like super defensive. But like, she was one of his yeah. angels. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. But he doesn't want people to remember that, I think. Yeah, don't remember yeah. the weird angel phase. And then, uh, yeah, they started, he was asking about like doing this thing for profit. And he just had this long spiel about he, he's putting himself in, like the typical he's in danger shit. Uh, but yeah, let's see what he has to say to Dr. Oz getting ready for his big premiere on Monday. We might have to do like a live stream or some shit, uh, on Monday for the, for the big Feldman. What time premiere. is it? Like eight o'clock or something? Uh, good question. Let me look Fuck, up the site probably real quick. Have to work. I might just pull it up at work. Let's pay see. for my ticket. Truth yeah. talk. Well, I mean, we'll just broadcast it. We'll buy it and broadcast it for free. Yeah, if it's not too early, I could, I could just roll over after work. <laughs> my truth talk. Rape of I think it's like quarters. seven or eight. Let's see. My truth talk. The rape of two Corys. Just search rape. Search I'm just rape. trying to his like it kept loading just CoryFeldman.net or whatever. <laughs> just go to Dat Piff and search raped. Ah. Yeah, it looks to be like at eight o'clock. I usually get here like right before eight, right? Uh, I think no. so. But I mean, either way, I mean, even if we're not all here, we could all just like hop in a chat room or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, connect and watch everywhere by signing up, log in, live one time. And oh, and they did ask him the question like, so this is just like a one time thing, huh? And he's like, well, we'll see. <laughs> like he was already saying like, it's like shilling it out. He was basically <sighs> saying that because it cost X amount of dollars for the servers. He's he was making it seem like streaming live is like a really big deal. And I guess I I understand if you're handling your own servers, it kind of can get kind of expensive. But he's like, yeah, you know, but if there's enough interest, like maybe we'll do it again. Like he's already <laughs> setting up Selling my that rate. maybe they'll do it again. God, he just can't help himself. Please welcome Corey Feldman. That's his song, right? Still wearing the Michael Pants. <laughs> you can't never not wear the Michael Pants. Someone finally convinced him to get rid of the hair. <laughs> He's like, nah, Michael Pants stay. Someone finally convinced him to get rid of his lips. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been through a lot. Just a few things. <laughs> let's, let's, since we last saw each other. Let's, let's, let's pick up for a moment. I like how Dr. Oz has to call it the alleged rape of the two quarters. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been two years yep. since you revealed the names of several of your abusers. What's been going on in your life? What's, what's your day been like? 
it's special fear. <laughs> it's been madness. I mean, it's been complete madness. First of all, trying to get the film done. I mean, that was the biggest challenge my I've ever dealt crashed. with in my life. <laughs> on a personal level, on a private level, on a business level. It's been the roughest aspect. three weeks of my Every life. Every time I would feel done. like we were getting somewhere. What do you get stabbed? Oh, yeah, I know. That, that was rough. Me. And let me just, just forget about yeah. the same page here. When you left here, you vowed that you would tell the story that couldn't be told by making a movie. I said I would find a way. Right. That's where we are right Listen, now. There's first of all, what I said, no, not exactly. But we're going to get into that, of what's going to happen now. Dr. But Oz looks like a villain. I've never seen him before, but he looks like a villain in like a, a Marvel movie. <laughs> he does look like a villain. Like he looks like uh, like a... He's like Hydra, a, for sure. Yeah, like he's a Hydra agent. Like he's right, he looks like yeah, a politician. Say, Robert mean, Redfield or... Because, yeah, he looks like not like a super villain, but yeah, like the bureaucratic guy yeah. or whatever. He's the guy like trying to register mutants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Listen, try Corey's dangerous. We got to register yeah. him. Have, have you been living in fear? Um, okay, so let me break it down for you a little bit and, and explain to you that there's there's elements of this that the reason why this has been so difficult, which is a multitude Dr. of reasons, Ross. but one of the main things is a lot of the people who were pushing me and saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, were victims that knew about what was going on. And I would say to them, okay, if you're with me, if you're with me, but I'm going to need like you to back me up. like a weird wrestling tape on his right hand. Word. I'm going to need your testimony. Like yarn and wrapped around his fingers that go around his wrist. And we'd get the crew there, and all of a sudden, these people would back out on me and say, oh, well, we got death threats. Oh, well, we got, you know, uh, my, my family is afraid. We've got a family to think about. My family's got to come first. And I'm going, what about my family? Does why can't he make eye matter? contact with Dr. Why, Oz? Why, Look at him. He, because, lying. yeah, he's immediately defensive, and, yeah, he knows that this is, like, a... He knows... He knows the movie he made yeah. that's some hot shit, probably. <laughs> like, he's like, listen, <laughs> he's already defending a movie that he's, hasn't come out yet. Yeah, he's not self-aware, but he at least knows that this is all horse shit. Like, his brain knows how yeah. you can act, even if he doesn't know that's how he's acting. And I, I'm sure everyone... Because it's probably the question everyone asks him, too. Everyone's like, well, why are you releasing it for you know, charging people like money and running all these GoFundMe's and like, why wouldn't you just come up? Because it's a logical question because we've seen many people just come forward who have had you know for sexual free. assaults in the no past. GoFundMe. Just, yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to be exactly like that Flash Lex Luthor, th Luthor thing that Jeff keeps sharing, where they're, they're just going to be like, the person that raped me is this person, and then everyone's going to be like, who's that? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. Lex Luthor is in the Flash, and he's, he's like, like oh, ah, yeah. now I know who you are. <laughs> Wait, who is this? <laughs> I have no idea who this is. Am I being asked to sacrifice everything when nobody else is willing to take those same sacrifices? Um, but you know what? That wasn't enough to stop me. So I kept going. And then another thing would happen. Then I get stabbed. Then I get, you know, almost run over. <laughs> then the LAPD says I wasn't another stabbed. That have happened over the last three years. That happened and in one week. Security. Remember when he got stabbed and run over? And it was all, yeah, and it was all in the midst of his GoFundMe. So and yeah, just, and like, like the LAPD came out and said he wasn't stabbed. Yeah. And he's like, oh, this is all just part of the cover up. <laughs> you know, these things continued happening and the death threats and the attacks on social media. So this is how they Jim do it. Jim and them's they do it horrible video about me. But this film that we've been talking about, Corey's been working on. It's so perfect that ev literally every single person can claim that they get death threats. Oh, yeah. Like, no matter what your side is or what you're representing, yeah. everyone has it in their back pocket to be like, well, I got death threats. And I mean, I understand that it's it's fucked up that people will say shit like that to you online, but it really shouldn't mean and at this point. Everyone's like, yeah, so what? Well, and the only yeah. ones that matter are like plausible. Like if someone got a message that said, hey, motherfucker, I hope that. Linda's ready on 175 Melody Lane, yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, shit, Linda's my wife's name, and he just said my address. <laughs> Those are the ones where you can be like, yeah. guys, we need to shut it down, but just someone be like, some guy like kill fuck yourself. you, kill yourself, I'm going to kill you, I hate. I wish you were dead. Like Those are the ones that people are talking about when they claim they got death threats. Yeah. It's like That's when I'm what talking, talking to about. Justin on Twitter. Yeah. I'm like, I will literally kill you. I'll yeah. find you. <laughs> to expose the most painful allegations of abuse, he says he's been keeping secret for decades. The film is called My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys. Oh, finally, a poster. Yes, I like how, <laughs> how the word rape. my is so small on that poster, you don't <laughs> even realize it's there. <laughs> well, because The legal basically said, all right, Corey, you can... You can't call it the truth. You have to call it my truth. But what we found a way to do is just make the word my so yeah. small that all anyone sees is the word truth. Well, and also when he was on Jim and Sam 
Uh, he even kind of let slip because he was talking about like how they needed certain insurance and clearance for things like legally because he's like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't get raped. My friend did. What? And that's what that stupid when we watched that Lifetime movie, it was all about Corey Haim getting raped and not really Corey Feldman. But I thought he also got raped. I thought that's so the whole it, point. It's called the rape of two Corys, but I, I'm sure it's going to come out in this stupid movie that he's like, well, mine wasn't like a literal rape. It was like rape. a mental rape. Yeah, it was like because I had to watch my friend go through all this stuff. <laughs> it was PTSD. almost like I was raped. <laughs> Pretty, down. Pretty sus. After a lot of soul searching to finally reveal the name of the person, the Hollywood insider who allegedly was involved in raping Corey. Allegedly. Hayes. So these same allegations were made against this man a few years ago, and he categorically denied them. That's correct. And we're going to talk about what happened to Corey Haim, but like so many people who have been abused. <laughs> what if it's like uh, uh, Vince McMahon, but it's Corey Feldman? It was me, Corey! <laughs> it, it was, was me all along! It was me, Dr. Oz! It was me all along! What if Corey Feldman's been dangling the, his own name? <laughs> This whole time, and he's like, "Ha ha!" He saw how I over, raped my own friend. <laughs> he saw how over it got Vince back in the Attitude Era. So he's like, "Oh, that'll get me over." <laughs> it was me, Corey. I did it all along. Dramatically changed the course of his life. Imagine Why these two now? people on the same stage, and I you're like, "I guess I'll trust uh, the guy who looks like a villain." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't trust Corey so much that I guess the guy that looks like. Like a young Willem Dafoe is the one I'm going to trust. Willing to tell the truth this whole time. I've been telling the truth this whole time, but I haven't cer told certain details because legally I was not cleared to tell those details. So what I did is I started using my own money. I literally had to go do a reality show, which was something that I definitely did not want to be doing. That's not but true. Said, There's nothing less That's true not in the true. world. He did a reality show when Corey Haim was alive. Yeah, he loves attention more than anyone I've ever known in the entire world. Because I think he's referring to how he did, like, within the past year, he did Wife Swap or whatever, yeah. one Wait, of those what? shows. <laughs> no one loves attention yeah. more than Corey Feldman. Because I downloaded a few episodes because I was like, oh, maybe we'll watch this. But then I was just like, fuck that. Who cares? <laughs> Hell yeah, Jim. But, <laughs> Thanks, but dude. He, he also did one of those, like, fake celeb reality shows when Corey Haim was alive where it was like Corey Haim came in to move in with him and they were like the odd couple or some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what? If Corey to Corey or some like shit an idiot, like that. If they want to make me look name. like a fool, if I've got to be the scapegoat on this TV show, I'll do it if it means that I can attain the budget that's necessary to get the message across. So I did that. I made that sacrifice. Only reason and then to sacrifice the is to integrity. The end, and they go, here's your bill for the insurance if you want to get this thing cleared to show to the world. Over a million dollars was the final price tag. And Ooh, by the grace whoa, of God, this hot chick's uh, surprise. an angel investor, literally. I know we've always said this, in like we've asked this question many a times, but like, for real, what happened to him? Oh, yeah. Because I'm not even saying, like, that he was raped as a kid. Like, he must have been raped, like, eight years ago or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because what happened? He was always, like, a little weird, like, with his Michael Jackson stuff. Uh -huh. But he didn't go, like, full-on, well, like, maniac. That's what I think. I think it is ego. I think he got... He hadn't been famous in a long time. He had always been in Haim's shadow. Yeah. Like... They're famous together, but like it's like fucking Gwen Stefani and No Doubt. Yeah. Those guys know that they're also rock stars. They have plenty of money, well, but they also know. Well, and even we're on nothing. that show, he's not that fucked up. Like that celeb yeah. reality show you're talking yeah. about. Like he had like bleach tips. You're like, oh, weird. I <laughs> think like, maybe I think he got a taste of like, oh shit, drugs. Do, also, right? It was something to do with that because he was married before. Like this weirdo he's married to now because he has a kid. And yeah, when he was on that celeb reality show, he had a different wife, and that's when he. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm sure that maybe that wasn't his real well, house on the show, him. but uh, I don't know. Maybe that divorce did something. Because I mean, I was watching some of Gremlins earlier this week, and I was like, oh yeah, Corey. It's I still enjoy him and stuff, but then I'm uh, they're always in the back of my mind now when I see young Corey Feldman. I'm like, oh yeah. man, it's hard to go back. Like, what's oh, gonna yeah. ha you? Do you don't even know what's gonna happen to you, bro. Like, yeah. you don't know what you're gonna be. I was watching Ninja Turtles, and it was just his voice that was <laughs> taking me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> An angel investor came out of nowhere and said, "I'm gonna help you." I like how he laughed at that because he knew like the angel connection he was saying, like, oh. "Yeah." An angel investor. Huh. Yeah. Well, he also means angels. a literal angel yeah. from God's uh, <laughs> celestial kingdom. They, came down and gave him money. And then they cut back to the cartoon devil. <laughs> like, why is he, look at his eyebrows. What's wrong with him? 
on this insurance. So that is what literally opened the path for me to be able to get it out. But again, now it's not like a regular movie release where I can just put it out in the theaters. So how did we do it? We did it by being very innovative and very creative Live and coming stream. up with an original way of distributing Dude, a film. This is what he was saying on Jim and Sam as well. He thinks that no one's ever released a film online before. Like Louis We've C. done that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Jim and like, them has done that. He's, Everyone. He's out of his mind. He really thinks this is something brand new and different. And yeah, like yeah, like Louis C.K. sold stuff on his website years ago and probably had to get you know, a much higher b- bandwidth bill because uh, he had much <laughs> more people paying for his shit. Yeah, he was popular and people gave a shit. Which has never been done in the history of entertainment. What do you mean? And what that is, is what we're doing, which is a one-time live, live pay-per-view global event, which means everybody around the world can order... If and- anything, what he's doing is more antiquated he's than... He's describing yeah. paper. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, the, yeah, it's the most f- hack shit it's ever. It's a step back from just having something that's on demand to be able to watch. Watch this movie simultaneously, but it's only going to air one time. Why, people ask, why one time? Because it costs so much money. I'm actually buying the bandwidth to stream the movie myself. Now that costs a lot of money. So if it's just a fathom event, it's just Jurassic Park. Tickets, <laughs> you can watch it at fucking Cinemark theaters. For all the money I've spent, and then I could purchase more bandwidth and try and show it again. Yeah, see, point. that's what he's talking about. Yeah, that's what he was saying. If if we make money on this, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll pay to do it again. The, the problem is, is he took a sorcerer's bet that he wouldn't turn into a Ninja Turtle if he did it. And now he's slowly turning into a Ninja Turtle. And that's why his face is like that. <laughs> yeah. His fucking lips <laughs> fell off. He's slowly be, he has to keep getting more money to pay off the sorcerer. Uh, also, yeah, uh, Captain L.F. Stern in the chat. I know he was a child actor. Now he's old. But no, there was a time where he was still old and he wasn't like, like weird wasn't like not, this. Yeah. Yeah. But, like That's why it was funny to us that we saw the concert and he was weird all the time because he had not always been that yes. weird. And he'd been he yeah, he had been like a post child star guy for for quite a while. Yeah, he was like a talking head on like VH1 yeah. thing. He's like, way beyond child star fucked up. Yeah. Like he's just a fucking like now he's yeah. a maniac scammer. Yeah. So I had an early preview and I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement in order to get uh, that preview. Uh, we got to say the some film, bullshit. Uh, Let me just tell you, uh, at May Amon Day. <laughs> uh, that you're about to share with the world will have serious what a, what a scoop! Because he's younger than him. <laughs> and a lot of names. They so fucked him like five years ago. About. And there are numerous people who corroborate the things you're saying. But nevertheless, it's going to have repercussions for you. How are you going to deal with that? How prepared are you? Because it's going to be a tsunami of criticism that comes your way. Oh, nah. I'm sure there will be. Um, is English Dr. Oz's day, first language? All I can say is that yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because he kind of talks from like... from Australia? Yeah, he, ta- he talks like um, like someone who doesn't know how to do an American accent perfectly. he's perfect Australian because he's Dr. Oz. I what, was... really? That's where his name came from? I don't know. I thought his name was like <laughs> Jack Oz or something. I always thought it was uh, Mr. Lipschitz from Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> remember? <laughs> I do remember. I have faith in God that... Thank you. God! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Fuck yeah! God really did a number on I, old Corey. I believe that everything has happened for a reason to get us to this point. Yeah, like my friend getting fucked. Yeah. The rape of two God Corey's. The mental the rape of me. Because what is more important oh, than protecting... The innocence of our children. Just put your dumb things nothing. up over the video. There is literally nothing more important. Here's a look at Corey's film. So you're back on the wolf pack. So you're back on the wolf pack. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are listening to Jim and Them, episode 623, part two. My name is Mike Steele, and I need you to realize that I am in a room that I am sure will get me sick. Oh, yeah. I'm with two of the sickest dudes I know. They are so fucking sick. The first man, he's so sick that he did a fakey 360 stalefish down a three block. I'm, of course, talking about Jeff Murphy. Yeah, I'm sick, sick, sick. Thanks, bro. But uh, I don't. I just want to take a moment 
to turn it over to my good friend, Mr. Foghorn Gayhorn. Everybody, Foghorn Gayhorn. <sighs> now, now, <laughs> now, now look at now look at here. I'm gay. <laughs> uh, of course, you know this means I'm gay. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that boy got a mouth like an outboard motor. I say, I, I say that boy got a. Let me go to another character real quick. I got a uh, Mexican with an Italian accent ordering food. A quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a third character. <laughs> it's uh, Mr. Onomatopoeia, Mamma Mia. Zap, pow, bang, a Mamma Mia. <laughs> Thank you. That's three characters for you. Hell yeah! I said, I said Fuck I'm yeah. gay. <laughs> uh, I wanna, <laughs> Jeff, I want to, I want to tell you, and I mean this. I'm proud of you for not calling him Faghorn Leghorn. Wow, oh, yes. come on, bro. <laughs> because that would have been way more crass. Yeah. And I'm, I, I think that you're a better man for not like lowering yourself to that. Too far. That twink got a mouth like an onboard motor. I say, I say. I, <laughs> the only part I do is I say, I say. <laughs> That's all the part anyone does. <laughs> No, boy! <laughs> I can do that. The other man in here, he is so sick. Oh, I feel like I'm getting a little uh, scratch in my throat because I just watched him do a 720 Benihana over the rolling gap. I am, of course, talking about Jim Scam Poli. Uh, that's balls, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for that intro. My name is Jim Scampoli. And you know what? I'm not going to really bring anyone over because we need to get to my very good friend. Goes by the name of Corey Feldman. He's had quite a week this week. The Feld Dog. The friend Feld of the show. Fam, friend of the show. Absolutely. Um, for people that have been keeping track, following at home. Uh, he finally had his big pay-per-view debut. Hmm. It was, what, supposed to be on Monday. Monday at 8, right? Yeah, yeah. Monday, 8, eight Pacific, because it was going to be a worldwide... Like, everyone had to watch it at the same time. It was one time only uh, pay-per-view. People. Passed. Well, it wasn't a pay-per-view. It was a really unique thing. Yeah, a really unique... Everybody <laughs> pays for a screening and watches it at the same time <laughs> yeah. for once. It was called like, like Corey View or something, but yeah. it was definitely a unique thing. As he said, it was the first time anyone's ever done it. Anyone's was, ever streamed a movie. Yeah, he was killing it. He was like, uh, he was on the precipice of technology. And um, so, yes, yeah, so eight o'clock. Now, people, he had been taking pre orders for this for like two weeks uh, or maybe even longer. It might have been like a month. 20 bucks, 20 bucks a pop. You get on, sign up, make an account. And uh, really, that's it? Yeah, I would have thought he'd try to uh, rape uh, people more. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was kind of smart. He kind of knew his worth at that point. Like twenty bucks is a nice round. Like, all right, twenty bucks for a movie because you know you could buy a lot of first run movies when they come out to da- to keep for like fifteen bucks. So it's still a little bit above that. But yeah, you you'd almost think he'd try to go forty or fifty. Yeah, knowing him, know? it's just a thing he'd do. But uh, so then. You know, the th- I, di- I didn't. I was like, all right, I'm going to stream this, but I didn't pre buy it or anything. I was like, all right, let's see how it goes. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Monday night, I like I go over to my computer at like 7 30. I'm like, all right, let's take a look at this. And uh, his site's down. <laughs> and when you go to like, like CoreyFeldman.net or .com, whatever his site is, was down completely. And then when you go to MyTruthDoc.com, that came up, but when you clicked on like buy now, it would load the page and then it would say like 403 error. But it's not his fault, Jim. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. not his fault. Uh, so people kept trying that. And then he tweeted that he was like in a, he tweeted first that he was in a like, iso- he, not isolated, but he was in a secure location and that he was going to check in after the Oh, screening. was he at a Corey Feldman concert? <laughs> well, dude, no, he was at a screening of the movie. Um, just in LA. LA yeah. But he was at beforehand, he was making it seem like he was worried that shit was going to pop off and like he had to be in hiding. But then it had to come out when he was tweeting that he was just actually just in a theater screening the movie like to his friends or some shit. 
Because it's who? Yeah. Because, <laughs> of, of course, it didn't load. Uh, it didn't come up at, on time. And all the Feld fans like, I, on Twitter tweeting at him, like, what's going on? Where's the movie? It's not working. Then he's like, all right, it's going to start in 15 minutes. Like, you know, the servers are so busy. This is a good thing. This is great. Like, everyone wants to see it. Then, of course, the 15-minute deadline came and went. Um, I kept, like, refreshing the page. And then finally got to a like well, what time? It might have been like an hour later, like I, nine o'clock. I dipped out at like eight forty-five. Yeah. I'm like, dude, if he's not going to show this, I'm just going to go play Division Two. At like nine o'clock, it got to the point where I could make an account, and then I I paid the twenty bucks, and then the movie just started playing, and I, I was like, I, but I was like, is this a trailer? What is this? And it was just the, the you movie. Were like one of the only people that even got it to play, right? Yeah, there were still people tweeting like, what the fuck? This doesn't work. All the people that pre-bought couldn't get it to work, but then if you like got it to load where you could buy it, like right after you were done buying it, it just started playing the movie, <laughs> and it plays his fucking song first. His his song oh, is attached to the yeah. beginning as a new song about. Corey Haim, which we'll get into. And it's at the end, too. Yeah, and it plays at the end credits as well. And But then it only played for like 15 minutes, because for the first few minutes, we're like, wait, is this the movie? What's going on? But then it only plays for 15 minutes, and then it cuts. And Can just, I get a rosé? Oh, you can do a big horse thing. Thanks, Boat Knight. Appreciate that. Yeah, doing some um, big Baltimore horse things. And then it cuts, <laughs> and then it just says, like, there'll be a screening at noon tomorrow. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, what does that mean? And then he's like, well, you know, we decided we're going to play it in the theater for everyone. The, you know, we're being hacked. And, oh, do you, you know, have that footage? Yeah, I do. I'm going to oh, play that. Man. And, you know, we're, but we're going to play it at the theater. Cause, and honestly, because he kept saying, like, kind of, not secretly, but he'd have these little comments of, like, you know, maybe someone will pick it up. Maybe someone will buy it. So this is clearly all, like, a show to show that people did want to see because people were tweeting about it. So he did have people that bought, that bought it. But he was putting on this show where I, he, I think he still thought that, like, Hulu or Netflix or someone like that was going to come in and be like, you know what, man, we're going to give you like $2 million. We want to buy this. We want it on our streaming platform or some bullshit like that because he was trying to get it. Sundance denied him. He wanted Sundance to pick it up. They said no. Uh, So I feel like we only show movies (laughs) because even like after it played, because he was supposed to do a QA and a and there was footage of him being like, uh, you know, it just wouldn't feel right because people online couldn't see it. But I don't know. Maybe someone will pick it up. Maybe someone will buy it. Then everyone will get to see it. Uh, so he was even Dude, saying shit like that at the time. He's so fucking flimsy and transparent in everything he does. Yeah, yeah. Like, does awful. he think he's being clever? Like, even his, like, diehards were like, yeah. all right, he's faking? Yes. Yeah, he, even his diehard fans were like, you know, I've been through a lot with Core, but like it's it's really coming off so fake and ridiculous at this yeah, point. Yeah, he's he's just as transparent as possible with all his intentions. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he's talking about being hacked. He's still talking about maybe they'll buy. It. Then the next day, I mean, everyone's pissed because he's still trying to say there might be a. He's like, he was even in the morning being like, ah, oh, you know, we're gonna check. Hopefully, we can get everyone to see it. I mean, but I'll send DVDs to everyone myself if I have to. You're gonna see this. The most empty promise yeah. of all time. But he's still kind of in the back of his mind. He kept saying he had little comments that were still kind of like, you know, or maybe someone will pick it up. Maybe it'll get picked up and someone else, will, and then we'll be able to all see it or some bullshit. And then he was talking about noon, like hopefully we can get the the servers going so people can watch it at noon. And that came and went. But people, I think, were pissed, and people were, I think, were trying to get refunds and shit. <laughs> so then, at that point, he finally, because I, I like fell asleep. I took a nap. I woke up around like uh, three o'clock in the afternoon or some shit. It was just working. And uh, well, no, I saw he had posted that it was just going to be playing on a loop for twenty four hours. <laughs> So he, I like that he was just, he, you can't just buy it. <laughs> yeah. I like that he just went pay from the money like, and then it exi- <laughs> like you download a file. Like, do you know how fucking it's, come on, dude. Yeah. Well, they, they went from being like an original thing to now it's just a channel on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. So I saw that it was still playing and someone already had kind of like a bad quality rip of it on YouTube. So I kind of skimmed through that to see where it was at. I was playing. I was like, oh, cool. So it's going to be, it'll restart in about an hour. So like around five o'clock or a little after five uh, on Tuesday, we were able to play it, and I, I I did a I did a Jim and them edit of it. So I have the movie here. I trimmed it down to with his song and with this quick intro of him talking about being hacked. It's like forty minutes. Or oh shit! So. Are we just gonna watch it? Yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna. There's That's these are part all two? these are all good clips. Hell yeah. I, yeah! I I trimmed it down to all the good stuff. I I trimmed out about an hour 
of uh Will you bullshit. remove things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Uh but yeah, let me pull this up for the chat. So I got I got a gym cut of the uh what's it called again? My truth, the rape of two Corys in the Lost Boys font. Parentheses <laughs> and parentheses. In the Lost Boys <laughs> font. Because he used the Lost Boys font. But anyway, this beginning clip though is this is him in the theater when the stupid servers weren't working because he also went through a cheap company. So he's, tr- he's trying to say he was hacked. It's such no, no, bullshit. no, Jim. He went through uh, like a top yeah, company. Yeah, exactly. He got black hat service or he whatever. Did, oh, yeah, white, white glove. glove or, yeah, white yeah. glove service. But uh, here's him like getting the news and giving to the theater about the hacking. We've been seeing since the beginning of this. And they've been clearing it. And dealing with it, but they keep now, I guess they have someone on the speakerphone on the mic, like supposedly the look servers, and he's like, oh, quiet, listen, uh, listen to uh, the good Look at his face. Oh, what? Uh. Coming back. Um, they can't fight it off. It's too strong. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. They're hacking us in real time. <laughs> like it <laughs> seems like he's doing a bad bit, like a it's part of the sketch. Yeah, this or is something. like what we would have done if we were yeah. like when we show our special live, like we'd yeah. have a dumb stage bit like this. Well, because it's so great, because everyone was saying as a joke, we're all in our chat <laughs> being like, "Oh, the, the wolf pack got him." Yeah, but he's then like, he Whoa. really he really started saying the wolf pack. Well, I love that he's dressed like a nutcracker come to life, <laughs> and like his his yeah. wife is like also She's like, like uh, a Polly Pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like one of those uh, Barbies dancers that you pull on a ripcord and it spins through the air. Oh, yeah. Uh, sky dancers. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. You know who it is. Oh, he's got that crazy How? lady that runs his like shit. 10 minutes. Oh, I love that, too, because he doesn't want to say the wolf pack. So he has to look to someone in the audience and be like, wait, you know who it is? Who? What do you mean? How do you know who it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'll say this out loud. Hold on. Wait, what did you just say? It's Wolf Pack. They've been bragging that they're going to do this crap. I was hoping they were full of it because a lot of times they are. But I mean, I can name names right freaking now. I am Susie Shannon. I mean, it's all of these people. Yes, yeah, Corey Hames, mom. <laughs> yeah, she's like Susie Shannon, you know. Oh, you know, the, the Wolf hackers. Pack. <laughs> Anyways, now we're getting into the movie. So this is the intro clip. He is playing. He's dragging the dead body of his quote unquote <laughs> best friend. Uh, Corey Haim, they're playing the um, the nine one one audio of his mom calling when he's dead, basically, and Jeez. Corey's listening to it on a phone to react. It's terrifying. Are you with him right now? Hey, listen, he's not breathing. Ma'am, are you with him right now? Yes. Oh, and I love how bored the 911 operator is, always, too. Every time you play a 911 call, yeah. it's like, I'm being murdered. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> ma'am. Uh, What's your ad- yeah. address? Hey, you ma'am. Don't... Ma'am, what is your address? If you don't calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, help. Oh, ma'am, I'm going to hang up. <laughs> 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 Look at him pretending to be no. sad. Yeah, he's trying really hard. He's to got so much makeup on that even if he could like shed a tear, just get stuck in all the foundation. He looks like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> it does. Yeah, look at the. And he's got the one tear coming. He's ready. Terrifying. Yeah, he does. He looks like the goosebumps. Dummy. Yeah, he looks like yeah. Slappy. Night of the dummy. <laughs> slappy from Night of the Dummy. Well, you guys, you're way too hard on him. He was raped. I mean, he wasn't raped. <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, we'll get into that because it's called the rape at two quarries. I mean, he gets into a little of his stuff, but it's big time on Haim. So yeah. now this here is getting into his uh, the reality show, the two Corys, um, and like season two. With like Gary Cooper. Is there. And this, this sets up 
the basically the the mission that Corey Feldman's been on since Haim passed away well, ten years ago. Half the movie takes place on this thing you use to get by, like fucking yes, uh, the YouTube, YouTube sensors yeah. and shit. This fake TV, this really bad, yeah, like put on the TV thing. <laughs> Listen to Jews, take care of you. I'm fine. Is that a f***ing intervention? Why? You've got serious issues. It wasn't a f***ing intervention. I'm f***ing done. F***ing done. That's I've done it. everything I can to help a f***ing guy. He's pathetic. He is pathetic. It's over. He's I pathetic. To to I hate him. Right. Piece of to, shit. Garbage person. To worry person. about us. And that episode... Pause real quick. The- you brought it up like while we were watching it, but isn't it so weird that Corey wasn't insane? Like, no, that's and a, this was like oh, 2000. Yes. Yeah, Corey felt like two. That's how you know that the, the right now Corey is the fakest, phoniest, like, True maniac because you've seen him just be a person. Wait a yeah. minute, Co- uh, Corey's ex-wife's last name is Sprague. Yes. What yeah, the fuck? That's his ex. That's the is one that he has. Jake's has a sister kid with. that we don't know about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah! Now it all makes sense. The anger and the screaming was real. The things said back and forth, uh, it wasn't scripted and it wasn't produced. Uh, it was a very real moment. Don't look After at the, the camera. Shooting the second season, of the two Corys were in the back of the car doing our our promo shots, where we had this promo with a car, and we're both sticking our heads out, looking different directions, and that was their idea to show that there's this kind of new distance between us. <laughs> and while we're in the car, of course, leave it to Corey to give me that super uncomfortable moment. And we're already uncomfortable, and you could break the tension with you know an ice pick. And he goes, can me and my mom stop by for, can we all have dinner tonight? Let's just have one nice dinner together. Why was it so uncomfortable? Why is he being like, of course it was uncomfortable. And then yeah. Corey has to hit me with this thing of like, like hey, can, we, <laughs> hey, can yeah. we have a nice dinner? Yeah, what is dinner? The, what's the logic behind this story? <laughs> it's because these guys were not friends. And Corey Feldman has to pretend that they were best friends the whole time well, when they weren't. And from the chat, Boat Night says, uh, is Jim trying to say Corey Haim is the more interesting <laughs> story? No, Corey Feldman is saying Corey Haim is the more yeah. interesting story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Corey Feldman. Yeah. He's been dragging his, quote, best friend's body through the mud for 10 years now. His he's mom r- is just like, please, let yeah. him rest. He's been riding it like one of those uh, hoverboards in the Ninja Turtles uh, <laughs> arcade game. <laughs> is that, yeah. That's where he's on a fucking hoverboard. That, that's Corey Feldman on top of Corey Haim. He's doing the Weekend at Bernie's, except he's just a skeleton he's dragging around now. With <laughs> yeah. Shades on. He's slowly turning into Raphael. <laughs> It was very or is he Donatello? It was. It was. And listen to this. Listen to this. This is the fakest story ever. And I, I even sec. I have to second guess his dumb ex-wife now because she <gasps> backs up these fake stories. It's a friendly get together later that evening when they were gone. Um, you know, my husband at the time uh, came and told me that the two of them, him and Corey Haim, had had this conversation, and they had. Um, you know, discussed filming a a third season. I said, I don't want a third. I want this to be over. (laughs) I want you to get the help you need. Nope. And I guess you were demanding a third. (laughs) You know, if something happens to me, I want you to tell my story. Nope. So Corey listen to this. Listen to this bullshit of how (laughs) Corey Haim made Corey Feldman promise, like, hey, if something if I die or whatever you have to tell my story. Why, why did it take him 10 years? <laughs> well, because... It I was mean, only recently that he decided to tell the story. Well, but, I mean, you remember the GoFundMes <laughs> and the money that he needs yeah, to Yeah, but get? that was like... That was eight years after all this apparently happened. Yeah, but he just I remembered. said Rivers. I said Rivers. He said, when I die, <laughs> tell everyone I'm a white supremacist. <laughs> I've always been a white supremacist. It's me, Rivers Phoenix. Your co-star. <laughs> River Phoenix. I'm a white <laughs> supremacist. I'm not going to tell your story. You're here. You tell your story. Write a book. And Corey, love, go. I go love, to them. <laughs> I love how in, in, in Corey's, uh, well, Feldman's version of it, it's always like, no, nah, of course not. You know, you're... You're alive. Like he always has to be the good guy, even in You're the story. You're the man, bro. What You're, would I? What, what are you I, gonna die or something? Why are you asking me to do this? We're gonna live forever. You and me. <laughs> Start writing. Now's the time. Start just doing Donatello do quotes, it. or what, wait, which turtle was he? Donatello, right? It, man, uh, was he Donatello, or was he? No, I don't he know wasn't. Where was he? Leonardo? Wasn't he? Wait, which is which? I thought he was Donatello. Donatello's with the bow. He's purple. Yeah. He's the party dude, right? No, that's Michelangelo. Yeah, that's yeah, Michelangelo. But wouldn't Corey be the party dude or no? 
Um, maybe he was Michelangelo. Maybe. Who was he? I I thought, now we have to look it up. Yeah. Mm. Now it's a thing. My bad. <laughs> well, he's a party dude. The other one it does computers. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does Donatello. machines. Yeah, who was he? Um, yeah, he was Donatello. Yeah, okay. that's a bummer, too, because Donatello is the best. Uh, what? Yeah, he is. More so than Raphael. What? No, Raphael's Who was Leonardo. Raphael's third. Wait, I don't know which. It goes Donatello, turtle. Michelangelo, Raphael. Donatello's purple. Leonardo. Yes. He does computers though. Yeah, he does. And machines. he has like a stick. Yeah, he's All right. Got a bow staff. He's not the best. Back to Corey. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Maybe I don't have the balls you do. I don't know. I just can't do it. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. You've got a year right well, now. Well, yeah. See, that's important because Corey Haim even told Corey Feldman in. This fake story. He's like, I don't know, man. You got these big balls. You're just so tr- strong. Way stronger <laughs> than I am. I was filming Lost Boys 3. <laughs> and he said, you're the man, Corey. To get your life together. And if during that year, you can mature enough to get yourself healthy, then you're going to have the poorly tied to tell the story is. yourself. And you'll still be here. It's like really badly so done. Goes, <laughs> you try okay, tying a tie on a puppet. I'm not, it's fine. You're not, and you really die for some reason, then I will tell your story. Begrudgingly, I will. promise. And he's like, well, uh, I promise. Fine, I promise. What a fake. That's the fakest story I've ever heard. Such horseshit. I love the the idea to make the word my the tiniest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Feldman, good to see you, man. All right, so this is where they show this guy here on their two Corey's... um, uh, fake documentary reality show. This guy here is now the director of this documentary. Yeah, what is this goofy TV thing, by the way? What is this? You it's, ever saw their surreal reality? Uh, Remember when VH? No, no, he's no, talking like, about the what we were talking about. Oh, like framing. Yeah. What is this fake? It's just some bizarre framing they they're doing for no it, like. It's like a little spice. I, I assume they have rights to use <laughs> clips from their own reality show, but maybe they don't. <laughs> maybe they don't, and they're trying to get around yeah. YouTube censors. But uh, this guy here, he's coming off of directing a couple Lifetime Christmas movies to, <laughs> to make the uh, My Truth documentary with his friends, Corey. And uh, he tells some great stories about hanging with Haim. How are you? How are this you? is Corey Haim. So nice to meet you, man. Nice How's it going? Good. When Feldman and Corey Haim got the show, the two Coreys, uh, that was just a validation of a, a desire I had, which was to get the Coreys back in a movie. That wasn't your desire. And we get to meet the crazy characters in the line, and you two play your Timothy and your. Listen to his pitch. He's pitching a movie called The Line, (laughs) and it's about a line, and there's crazy characters there, including the two core. Like they're in line for something? They're in the bank? (laughs) (laughs) I know. I mean, I guess it's kind of. Whoa! (laughs) It's kind of now. They're in lines for a cronut or some bullshit, you know, some hipster thing or a (laughs) nice club. But it's like. What that's if the they're movie. in the line the whole time? That's, that's like movie, a that's more man. of a bottle episode than yes. a than a movie. And then pitch. like once they get to it and it's like time to go in, cut to credits. Yes. Look at these two drug addicts. Fuck yeah, look at look how <laughs> thrilled they are to be in this movie. Back. You know, I heard all the rumors and you know, knew all the stories and uh, you know, all the run ins he had with the law, and I was just like, Is he is he gonna be okay to be able to do this? Is he gonna be okay to be able to do the show? Is he gonna be okay? I was worried to mostly about his health. I remember being <laughs> not about Feldman getting my dumb movies. movie. And uh he was terrific. He this was is, great. This is I great saw him here. two other times after that experience. This was in two thousand ten. Uh we have a discussion <laughs> about what the sequel to License to Drive would look like. <laughs> Aim starts talking about how he had this idea for license to fly. <laughs> look at look at look at him. he's got a spark in his eyes. Like, Whoa. It's like wait wait, license li- li- to fly, huh? Yeah, this fucking drug addict. This was fucking like, fucked up piece of shit was like having a moment of not clarity. And this fucking nobody is like, ooh, I can cash in on that has been. <laughs> what if we do license to f- let me uh, he's, sit down for this one. He's dressed like that lady, the coronavirus lady with the fucking bag on her head. Yeah. Like, what about this? License to fly. What I was if, like, whoa. 
Whoa. License to fly? License to he, fly. He pissed himself and shat on the floor and fell over. <laughs> he's either a great actor or he stupidly thought that was a great idea. Because look at him, dude. He's not faking it. Well, he's it's he's like holding his hand as he writes himself a check. Like, like, this is the realest story we've heard all night. Because it feels like, the, I mean, on one hand, I'm amazed by it. Because it seems like the obvious dumb idea is it's just, yeah, license to drive, too. And their parents and they have kids that are, you know, going through the similar adventure. You know what I mean? And that seems like the logical explanation, not license to fly, <laughs> where I guess they're going to fly planes around. <laughs> they borrow their dad's plane. Their dad played by John Travolta, who flies planes. Yeah. And, and, and he starts talking about that. And I'm like, this is awesome. I love how he's like, he's here. He's, he's wants to do this. This is great. Not too long after, Haim delivered a treatment. Horrible grammatical mistakes. Spelling was terrible. There was an airplane Owned. Uh, on the cover of the treatment under the words license to fly. And look like a it, uh, baby druid. <laughs> yeah, look like, like a retarded bitch. baby druid. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'll write it. Every uh, page written on McDonald's wrappers for old hamburgers. Yeah, you'd almost think he'd say it's bad, but I mean tell you the treatment was great (laughs) no way it was great there's no way but like how does he not remember like if it was great he would almost say like you know it was gonna have uh blah 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 or it's gonna have this but he remembered all the details about how poorly (laughs) made it was it's about them flying not a plane but they can fly now (laughs) and i love that this guy's in i don't know if you guys remember but you remember don't tell mom the babysitter's dead yeah yeah this is uh, the dishes are done, brother. <laughs> Wait a minute. Pull them up. I don't even remember Why is them. he in this? <laughs> you don't remember the dishes are done, man? No, I don't remember the movie. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, he's like, the di- they. Sh- she's like, make sure you- it was in the trailer. That's why I remember. Yeah. It. She's like, make sure you do the dishes to her brother. And then it cuts to them like throwing dishes in the air and shooting them with a gun. <laughs> and he goes, the dishes are done, man. Oh, man. Is that a good movie? <laughs> I mean, he's bad. He, like, it's just, it, you know, time. I guess he's old. So he can't. That was what? He looks like Pee Wee Herman's stunt double. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was like over 30 years ago at this point. So he's older, but he doesn't look great. The biggest pain is that he's not here now because I really do miss him. I genuinely do. I think that he's just an amazing guy. He was just really See, that's nice what emotion guy. looks really like. Really sweet guy. Yeah. And also fun. Like when you're like, crying about someone that you care about. You, like, Not care like about that, that sad fucking that uh, sad pathetic Corey, Where you're like Corey Feldman straining to <laughs> yeah, fucking look he's sad. He's doing that Tom Cruise Magnolia squeeze your hand really He looks like me cry. trying to pretend to be sad when Jake dies in the finale special. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what to do. So yeah, I'm just, just like, I'm just going. Mm. You're trying to quiver your lip. and you're Yeah, just kind I don't know how to fucking do that. I don't know how to act. He loved to have a good time and laughed, and he made everybody laugh. And he was such a goofball, you know. He really was. He was no, like he was a off kid. goofballs. I, oh, I was just about to say something uh, like that. <laughs> and he loved doing goofballs. He's such a goofball, especially when he did goofballs. <laughs> especially all the goofballs he'd bring for us <laughs> to smoke. Yeah, <laughs> what's a goofball? A uh, goofball is Xanax wrapped in I don't know heroin. <laughs> yeah, I just figured it'd be some kind of drug. I know speedball is coke and heroin together. Jesus. You know, trapped in a in a man's body. He just was silly and free spirited too. Uncle Corey, hi buddy, love you. Overall, he treated me like Corey's son, like a son. Haim was Corey's son's second dad. He um. All I could think when I see this is poor kid, dude. Wait, he? I didn't know Corey had a kid. Yeah, that's his son right there. Then Corey Haim was just saying, "Hey, Zen." Yeah, this yeah. poor fucker. He's yeah. there at his arcade jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> he cared for me like my dad. The, he, the... Oh, and he, you get to um... see Feldman's brother. You get to see what Feldman should look like. Because, you know, oh, usually the yeah. celebrity is like the normal one and the brother's the weird looking one. But now it's the other way around. His, his kid looks like he's about to say, hey, you guys. I don't know. It's... <laughs> It's hard to talk about because he he was a he was a really good person. Haim. Yeah, there what? he is. That's, what? that's Feldman's Whoa, brother. Whoa, that is what Corey Feldman should look like. Yes, he's yeah. just like a successful real estate <laughs> broker. Is definitely like a member of the family for us. You know, we'd all hang out a lot, and you know, we'd we'd do a lot of fun things together. Goofball. Corey Haim, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Corey Haim. Hi. Holy what? Oh, oh, this is great. Ugh. Let me set this up a little bit. So, yeah, this is the last footage of the two Corys together. Yeah, because it looks bloated and terrible. But, and, and Corey Haim even says, like, he looks at Corey Feldman 
And remember how Corey Feldman always has that long strand of hair? Mm. And he's no, like, No, I don't quite remember that. And he's kind of like, What the fuck is your hair? <laughs> and Feldman tries to turn this into an origin story. Like, listen to what he says, Haim says about his hair and why he kept it. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> It's, it's why do you look like a fucking idiot? You know Corey Haim, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Corey Haim. Hi. What the fuck? Oh, no, that was you. No, the hair got long. Come on, no. It was a weird fashion choice. I got he's really like, sh- yeah, because he's like making faces. Yeah, he's like, he's what's clowning? Up with your hair? He's clowning on it. This is someone that hasn't seen you in years. Is like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're looking good. One hundred percent clowning on him. But now listen to Feldman's version of what Hain really means here. Short, chopped up hair. And then this one long piece. And I see Corey like the next day or two days later. He's like, what's up with the hair, man? I like it. I think it's really dope. <laughs> uh, he said that off camera. Yeah. What's no, up, no, man? no. Don't, don't. I like that he described the other about a part of his hair as weird and chopped up. <laughs> he's like, I had this really weird haircut. I love that he's lying about a clip we just watched. Yeah, in his own <laughs> like documentary. He, like he's like, hey, here's this clip. Anyway, I'm going to lie about the content of it, but you just watched it. We just watched it. He could have just not shown us and, he's and then lied about it. Then we'd believe him. But instead, he showed it to us and then lied. And we're like, no, that's not what happened. We just watched it. And he's intercutting the clip over his story, and we could see, hey, face is not saying any of that. Oh, that's dope, man. The, if the wolf pack were real, the <laughs> the best thing they could do is not hack this and just let it happen. <laughs> like, everything yeah. about it just disproves anything <laughs> he's at. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. I mean, for real. It's like, out sick. of all the things you've ever done, like, that is, like, your signature, bro. You should keep that. <laughs> if he said that, first of all, he may have actually said that. But he was all fucked up. Because he, no, no. Because he hates Corey <laughs> Feldman. Yeah, he he's like, like, that's fucking that's, cool, That's bro. your signature. You look <laughs> he's laughing. He's like, yeah, you know, out of everything you've done, <laughs> that is it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. you to a T. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back and snorts goofballs with his uh, real friends. He's like, yeah, I told him there. It was cool. And I was like, interesting. All right. Well, maybe I will. What well, do you think he, he keeps, keeps in his zipper ah, shirt? <laughs> and then he died. And now he's dead. Oh, yeah. What, I didn't even realize his zipper shirt. I was just... What do you think he keeps in there? Or do you think it opens up to his like chest? It opens up to his nipple, yeah. <laughs> He wants his nipple licked at any moment. He's wearing a breastfeed shirt. He has lady tits. <laughs> he does. Shortly after that. So I think there's something in this that I've always felt this connection to him. I think that this represents finding justice. For no, no, no. Him. What he's doing is he's uh. that moron who was like 17 and somehow was able to get a tattoo and it was stupid as fuck. Mm. And then 15 years later, they're like asking him like, oh, so what's that? And you're like, oh, yeah, you know, it's just like, Jack Skellington, it's just like, it reminds me of my dad, you know? My, yeah. da- my dad was always like, we, me and him would watch. He was like, what the fuck's that before tattoo? Christmas, but now he's dead. And so it's like, Jack Skellington, bro. Except it's, it was 2010 and he was 38 yeah. and he was growing his <laughs> long hair. And, and, but now he's building this backstory of how like... Now he's just lying. So now you can't... He's, he thinks like now you won't be able to make fun of it because he's like, well, no, this was a promise I made to Corey Haim yeah. because what? he loved this. And then he died right after he said how great it was. It was one, like his last wish. One, cut it. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Or two, you're a liar. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't worry. It might be. It might become a very important narrative piece throughout <laughs> it's, this documentary. It's the Mike. literal thread. His hair is thread. <laughs> and uh, it, in no way is it him trying to be Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson <laughs> raped him. Yeah. He's never been raped. Well, I mean, there's, two Corys have been raped. I mean, there's mentally. some I- there's some inadvertent subtext here that almost points the finger at Michael Jackson that I'm very surprised made it into the final edit of this movie. <laughs> no, but no. We'll get there. I just figured it out. <laughs> Corey Feldman raped Corey. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> I was saying, what if the Long Kong was that, yeah, he just came out of the end and was like, it was me. Yeah, <laughs> I I, he's clearly the one that raped him. <laughs> Boat Knight's very upset that we can't give Corey the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> In some way. And I feel like when I feel like I've done my job, then I'll cut it off. Yeah, I get a message that. from my phone machine one day. And Robin had been telling me, oh, this boy, Corey, he's so cute. And I'm like, well, thanks. It's about time you notice. And she's like, no, not you. No, this other guy, Corey. 
and uh, you know so he's in fucking all the team full of himself. But I love how he's he, but he's so mad. Like yeah. he's he like, doesn't. That part adds nothing yeah. to the story. It's just him flexing on himself. Well, no, it's great because he's she, she's like, oh, you're Corey's so cute, and he's like, thank you, and she's like, well, no, not you, Corey. Aim. She thought she was <laughs> like, calling that's him that's the up the and story. talking in the third person. <laughs> that's what's great because now n- this is where he kind of shows the real Feldman because he's really like mad that there's another person yeah. with Corey. Zines. He's right next to you all the time. You don't see him. And I'm like, what? <laughs> ah, you know, what do you mean there's another guy? And he spells his name the same and everything. <laughs> What's going on here? And um, he was kind of growing. He was becoming a thing. And at first I was very like, who is this kid? Who's this kid moving into town? He's moving in on my girl. He's moving in on my job. What's going on here? You know, and he's saying at first he's like that, but honestly, that never, it's never, is at, not. at first and forever, that's how it was. Yeah, he's like, now that he's long dead, it's time to fucking <laughs> completely <laughs> bury him. Yeah, it's time to bury this fuck. <laughs> um, and then one day when we were in the casting for Lost Boys, Joel Schumacher says, he's he's on the phone with a friend, he's like, oh my God, this is going to be an amazing movie. I've got the two Corys in it. I said, What? What two Corys? I'm Christian the Corey. God. Me, <laughs> Corey. Corey, good. He's in Corey a movie King. with him. He's like, who? Huh? Two Corys. Was there was this father son dynamic there? Corey was very fatherly to him. John Hughes nope. came along. Yeah, there's no. What is that? <laughs> what is that? You know how your father's always jealous of you and mad that you have the same name as him? Yeah, nope. You guys are basically the same age and he hates you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corey Feldman told that direct. Like, look, if you want to direct this movie, you better say I was like the father figure. I don't want to direct Aim. this movie. I got dirt on you when you <laughs> rate Corey. I never rate Corey. Direct I'm going to say it. <laughs> and showed that kids could have these rich stories and you could hang 90 minutes on a child. What? Um, and that timing to come along in the 80s when kids' stories... Oh, are yeah, he was also in Adventures in Babysitting. That was him in that picture. Wow. ...being told. <laughs> and then to find something that works, a pairing of the two Corys... This is great here. ...was like the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If you can find a group like two Corys, it's yeah. almost like the Beatles. It's... This guy was like, Corey, I will say anything you want me to say. Just give me... Two thousand dollars. It's Corey Mania, baby. Fans dug it up. I grew up in the '80s, and there was something about duos in film that have a chemistry, that have uh, you know this a, a brotherly kind of banter, that have a uh, comedic timing. There's something about it's people not talking that to each prevalent. other. And I really felt there's a reason why the two Corys became the phenomenon that it did. The time that I spent with him, weren't they in like two movies together? Well, well, I mean, it ended up becoming a thing. I mean, they were in what? Lost Boys, License to Drive. I, I've never seen Dream a Little Dream, but the then they just started. Did, yeah, I've never seen it. Then they just kind of like latched onto that and just did when they were not famous really anymore. They were like, oh, let's keep doing movies together. Yeah, Corey couldn't we get over that he has the same name as him. This is where they start getting into how uh, Corey Haim is a sex fiend. <laughs> this guy sets it up all here. It's great because everyone else kind of talks about Corey Haim being raped. But whenever they cut to this guy who was in Lost Boys as well, he's basically like, no, Corey Ham was just gay and he liked to have sex with men. <laughs> like, that's basically <laughs> the way he tells the story. Was talking about sex or how to get sex or, you know, again, we were 15 or I was 15 or 15, 16. And that's, I, I talked about that with most people. But with, with Haim, it was it was very much a, a, a topic. It was he's something that he was that really interested in. These are very fond memories, you know, Haim and I spending the day together. This kid who I was a kind of an idol and then became a friend, and we were just spending the day together. I think we even rode to the beach that day, like a big, you know, like a, a bike ride to the beach. We are hanging out in the hot tub, and he was like, so, uh, like, do, do you do gay shit and stuff, you know? And I just thought he was messing with me. Dope icebreaker. Like, he was like sit in now. a hot tub? <laughs> <laughs> you like to do gay shit? Hey, so do you like do gay shit or whatever? <laughs> Like, it seemed like he was kind of feeling the waters out, you know, and and I wasn't interested, you know. Um, I'm but not gay. He, uh, Corey was super <laughs> jerked gay. off with the jet in the jacuzzi. What? Yeah, so he just jerked off. He just what? jerked off he with the jet. The hey, jet, do you like right? to do gay shit? <laughs> <laughs> no answers, huh? <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I assume that he got the impression that I wasn't into having sex with men, you know. But I also think that, um, I also don't necessarily think that he was uh, uh, partial to men. I think he was partial to women, actually. 
Yeah, and I think that uh, the Corey's men like, no, thing was... no, no. Um, you know, now that I think of it in the context of what happened to him and his journey in that way, it makes a lot of sense. I think at the time I just thought he was a star and he was thinking about getting laid constantly. First day that I meet him, we decided to go to the beach and have our fathers meet and play football on the beach. It was a fantastic afternoon, very normal. I love the kid. Immediately, I love the kid. Immediately, he grew on me. I was the like, kid? This is like, dude, they're like they, four yeah. years apart. Yeah, he's like, come on, bro. I, and as you remember in the two Corys movie, we see this scene when they're hanging out on the beach, tossing oh, the football around. Football, yeah. The brother I always wanted. He's my age. He's. We're both actors. We're both he's Jewish. Like, hey, I want to fuck we're your both dad. The same height. We're both Jewish. We're both named Corey. So. Dads are in the One of room. us is good looking. We're in the bedroom. <laughs> We're having this conversation. He starts talking to me about sexual stuff. He starts getting changed out of his bathing suit and he starts like masturbating himself. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, let's mess around, man. I'm like, what? He's like, let's mess around. I said, with who? He's like, you and me. And I'm like, um, dude, I'm not, I'm not gay. And he's like, I'm not gay either. I'm like, all right, well, then we you must be if you want to. <laughs> Wait, what's the agenda around? of this film? Well, to if he's just gonna him. fucking drag his friend. <laughs> I think what they're because trying... this isn't a like. Even if you're like, yeah. like, I don't think he's saying like being gay is bad. But the way yeah. he's framing this story is like, yeah, my fucking friend. It was a weirdo and well, a creep. I think what they go, what they're doing very badly because they're they're setting it up in a bizarre way. Instead of doing this later, I think what they're trying to say is that. Because Corey Haim was molested when he was younger, that's why he thought this stuff was normal later. Oh, they're but doing they bring a bad job. But they're doing just start with him being a pervert. <laughs> I only know this because I've seen this twice, <laughs> so, <laughs> so now I'm like putting it together. But yeah, the way the movie plays it. You don't pick that up at all. You're like, all right, what? What hey, are they he's, doing? He's telling the story like he's talking shit <laughs> <laughs> with me because I'm a dude. And he's like, no, I'm, it's normal. And I'm like, what do you mean it's normal? And he says, hey, man, this is what all boys do. It's called the Boys Club, and we all do this. And I said, who told you that? And that's what he told me. John had come into my life. It's this guy, John Grissom, that they mention. The, the novelist? <laughs> no, not what? Grissom. Oh. Grissom. Towards the end of Lost Boys, the very, very end. My father oh, said, about Look, the boys I want, club. you know, John to be your caretaker. He's going to be the guy that hangs out with you. And right away when John heard this, he like pops up and he's like, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm going to be your best friend. We're going to do this together. They start blowing know, me. I'm here to take care of you. I'm here <laughs> kinda, to do your business. I'll drive goes. you around wherever you need to go. I'm getting paid for it. Where do you want to go? Disneyland? I mean, that was the first boys thing club? he suggested to me. And I was like, club 31, yeah, where we fucked. <laughs> Let's go. He was really funny and he had a great personality and he, he just seemed like one like of the guys. That cock. <laughs> and so one day he goes, "Look at this." Different TV. See that? Yeah, this is the this old timey TV for the <laughs> older footage. It's got sepia tone, <laughs> yeah. and it's a t- <laughs> Jesus, dude. That suitcase right there. And I said, "Yeah." He goes, "What do you think's in it?" Boom! There was this bag of sorted pills, and there's like. The John Grissom looks like Roddy Piper in this. Yeah, movie. he does. Yeah. Fifty to hundred pills in there, and they're all sorts of different shapes and sizes and colors. And he's like, "Dude, those are quaaludes." Those are 747s, lemons. They're like the, the bomb, man. That's what everybody wants. They don't even make them anymore. And I was like, great. What does that mean? You know, it's like, we got to try them. Well, Quaaludes did me in. He can see that I'm pretty out of it. So at a certain point. But I fought him off. Like, and I was like, no, I'm straight. Sure. I'm cool. I don't have I mean, sex. Then he fucked Corey. There is a part where that happens where he does fight him off. Of course. Of course <laughs> he fought him off. A little awkward, but I won't say anything. <laughs> and he's like, is this okay? And I said, sure. I guess. And then before I knew it, he was moving that hand up my leg into my groin area. And I was like, oh, this is how this happens. <laughs> and... The only thought that went through my mind was, this is what Corey did. Maybe he's right. Maybe this is what all the boys do. A lot now, of that story is real, and then other stuff isn't. Now, well, no, but, no, and, well, and if it is real, he doesn't go into all the detail about well, his own true. stories. He did about Corey's stories. Like, 
to tell well, all sorts of weird details about that, but then his, it's a cutoff after the leg. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Pay attention to how when he gets to Corey's came story later, he gets into very much detail. But yeah, here it's like, oh, he ran his hand up my leg. And then, you know, I guess something happened. Whatever yeah. happened, happened. He leaves it to your imagination yeah. for him, but in, with, with Corey, he Michael gets Jackson. to graphic. Well, that's what I was going to say. Rape him. <laughs> this, well, here's the subtext, because yes, now we have Michael Jackson playing, and listen to the voiceover track that plays while this is going. As I was just starting to try to process the fact that I was being abused by somebody who I thought was a friend, <laughs> I was already being groomed by another. Is that him? Like, how does that not, like, Wait, you, you who totally is he being think... being groomed by? Well, that, they get into some other guy, but it totally is set up like he's going to say Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. It's fucking bizarre that it's in the movie and no one picks up on that. That's very odd. You know what mm -hmm. is fucking weird and sad about this is like, this was cool, what he's doing right here. <laughs> yeah, and then he just great. never stopped doing this. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is still cool. That's him. The man who abused you. Yeah, because even this, they cut to Dr. Oz and it's almost like... You're waiting for the, the like reveal to be Michael Jackson. Let me, as the host of the show, try to reciprocate some of your braveness by sharing the name myself. Okay. The man whose picture I just showed to Corey, his name is Alfie Hoffman. Nope. And then one night, um, I got really wasted. But I remember that I went and laid down in Alfie's bedroom because I was kind of passing out. And then I remember waking up to Alfie doing the same exact thing to me that John Grissom had done. Which I won't tell you what it is because well, I'm not talking about Corey Haim. Well, then this I picked him up and <laughs> threw him out the window. Well, this time the director does say, which is what? Like, he does make him say it. He's like, what do you mean? So, which is what? He was giving me oral copulation. One day for me. <laughs> he, he put my dick in his mouth and I came. I came... I so sucked his hard. dick so hard my neck fell off. <laughs> well, no, I mean he didn't even have to suck. That's dick. me, the man who sucked a dick. <laughs> yeah, it was Corey's good. dick. I sucked. I sucked both their dicks. Yeah, because Corey doesn't even get fucked or have to suck a dick. He's just getting his dick, dick sucked by dudes like left and right, like yeah. constantly getting his dick sucked. I'm sorry if you get blown by any age, you're not raped. <laughs> Putting it, put my foot down by by <laughs> any gender. Corona. What if your dad blows you and you're three? If your dad blows you and you're three, you're just coming up. You're flexing. <laughs> yeah, it means you're just Jewish and you get a. You, you're getting a, a schwitz or whatever. Not a schwitz. <laughs> what do they call it? Oh, a schwitz. Yeah. Uh, you're getting a Because isn't that the thing where the, the rabbis, <laughs> they, they, oh, they give you the circumcision and they put their mouths on your dinky to get the blood out? <laughs> oh, yeah. the um... Oh, the schwitz. <laughs> yeah, the schwitz. <laughs> what is happening? He's got the fucking vibe. Dude, go wash your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go wash your fucking yeah, hands. Jeff wouldn't high five me last week because I ride the bus and he's over here fucking sneezing all over his fa his fingers. Oh, a bris. Thank you, Zenpai. We're taking a quick uh, hand wash break while Jeff <laughs> washes his hands because <laughs> he got the virus from Mike. What? No, I'm the one that's not sick. Don't get me wrong. You wouldn't J wash your hands, though. Jake, I already... You were the guy in the thing when we're all doing the blood I test. I got off the bus, washed my hands, and walked straight here no. with my hands in my pocket. Yeah, we're all doing the thing blood test. You're like, I already did the blood test. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hands for no reason. Check the footage. I sneezed into my arm like you're supposed to. Uh, fair enough. So I had to wash my arm. Yeah, wash your arm. But I gotta go pee. Jake and I were talking about this on the bus. We were talking about a corona pool. Who's most likely to get corona virus? Yeah. And we raised some interesting <laughs> ideas because I was immediately like, well, it's probably me first off because I'm uh, I'm I work uh, in downtown. There's unwashed masses everywhere. And I'm on the bus constantly, which I can't imagine they're cleaned well enough. I seem like I'm, a, I'm at the top. And then Jake's like, I have a baby and babies always get you sick. And I was like, oh, that's a wild card. But yeah. here's the biggest wild card of all. No, he would need a toddler. He would need it interacting with other babies See, to get. But yeah. then we're like, well, what about Jeff? Jeff seems like the type of person that just to prove a point, would go out of his way to get it on purpose. Like, he'd be trying to get it. Mm. So, But you were, you were at the bottom list out of all of them. Ah. Just because, like, not only you're responsible, but you work from home. Yes, yeah, I work from home. Makes it easy. So easier, I In the corona say. pool, it seems like the official, uh, the, the official business is Mike, Jeff, Jake, Jim. <laughs> Um, Congratulations, Jim. Oh, thanks. You're going to outlive us all. I'd like to thank the coronavirus. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank germs. I'd like to thank people. Uh, so, yeah, this guy, going back to Corey here with what, Alby? Alby Hoffman? That's him? No, no, no. This isn't oh, him. Okay. This is a guy that knew him as well that hears the story from okay. his point of view, I think, about he... what happened with um, 
uh, with Corey. Because he looks like someone would blow a kid. Yeah, but no, he's he's on the side of against pedos. Oh, weird. No reason whatsoever he says to me, you know what, maybe one time there was a situation, he goes, I... He goes, I had a party at my house. I don't know who was there. He goes, I had all kinds of people there. He goes, I was tired. I just wanted to go to bed. And he goes, I went into my room and I went to lay down and I laid down and there was somebody underneath me. I laid down. I said, holy shit. And jumped out of bed. I, who is that? What the hell is this? And he says, I chased them the hell out of my room and I went to bed. <laughs> no, he didn't. And he goes, so if he's talking about that, yeah, I sat down on top of it because I didn't know no one was in my room. It was dark. That sounds like such a lie a pedophile would say, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah Look, a... it was dark. I went to my room. Like, cause here's the thing. Let's pretend that is a real story. N you're never going to think, like, well, is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Is yeah. he talking about <laughs> that? <laughs> that? <laughs> that? <laughs> like, yeah. could, he, could he have met maybe and, you know, he the time it. where... You know, he did it one of those things where someone's like, hey, man, uh, Corey Feldman said that you were, like, uh, blowing him <laughs> while he was sleeping. It's like, why, why would he um, say that? Ah, wait, actually, you know what? There was yeah. this one time <laughs> when it was dark. <laughs> and I fell on... I, but, like, so <laughs> let's pretend the story is true. No, he's never going to, can like... Get those two things confused. <laughs> yeah. I remember just kind of like getting dressed real fast and just being like, yeah, that's that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I didn't say anything. I didn't talk about it. I was just kind of like, I got to go. I got to get I got to get home. <sighs> so fast forward. Now I'm 17 and John says, try a quaalude. I found some quaaludes. Let's do a quaalude together. And we had some girls over. So we all decided to do some quaaludes. Well, the girls left, and then because we were sucking each other's I couldn't dicks. even stand up, so I <laughs> crawled myself into my bedroom, and I crawled myself up to my bed, and I passed out. And he crawled himself next to me, and he passed out. And I figured we were asleep for the night. And all of a sudden, I wake up to him unbuttoning my pants, and I freaking jumped up. And I was like, you my... I mean, I went off. Fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> Knocked on him out you. with one punch. Fool me twice, shame on me. He was like, Corey, you're so strong. <laughs> and I love how this guy had this selfie, Four apparently. 20. Oh, hell yeah. Smoke weed every day. Thanks, yeah. Joe. What a, great, yeah, what a great picture. Yeah, I, I think this guy had it on like his MySpace or some shit. It's just what gay people do, yeah. right? Bro, they like fuck little kids. Uh, like, well, I mean, thing. like, like if every fifteen-year-old that's had a gay experience with a fifty-year-old man. I mean, we did. T we talked about it in the Twitch chat, and I did say, "Call me by your name," because yeah. it is kind of <laughs> like that story. It is like, in some cases, it's pitched as this like romantic thing where a grown man comes in and teaches mm. you about sexuality. So no, but so it's like I never know what I'm supposed to think here. And he just grabbed his like pants and threw them around, and, you know, grabbed his shoes and just like went running out the front door, running down the street. And I went running after him as far as I could until I couldn't see him anymore. No, you didn't. No, <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Well, you then know, he also you wake up from a quaalude deluge and you fucking <laughs> fight someone off and then chase him. And this is what he told him. But if you ever come back here again, I'll kill you. <laughs> No, but hold on. Yeah, he didn't say that. <laughs> None of this is adding up. He's doing the math. <laughs> oh, kill, yeah. Let me see. This doesn't really work. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where they get in the bulletin board about, like, who the bad people are. and uh, Hame, number one. Yeah. Bad uh, guy. Okay, so it's a molester, but we're not... Hame was he a UPS more than like driver? this is a consensual thing with Dom. It was consensual, consensual, but he was still a child. Right. Okay, so they do talk about how one of these was consensual. Wait, why are him and the uh, director he almost worked with <laughs> 10 years earlier doing this? Because <laughs> they're trying to tell Hame's story. He made a promise to him that if anything happened to him, I'll tell your story. Dominic is like 35. Right. But one of those parties at that house, at Alfie and Bobby's house, is where I met Dominic Brasha for the first time. Yeah, this fat, ugly loser guy. Oh, he's definitely a pedophile, too, right? <laughs> Him and Haim would hook up all the time, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that seems like Haim's type. <laughs> and I guess he's in a bunch of their movies. <laughs> but but also, Corey Fel he was Corey Feldman's roommate for years, apparently. Ne not No no gay stuff, though. And good, the reason out, why, being so this cool. was a little later, this was probably now, you know, when I was 13, but I remember meeting Dominic... And at that point was when I told him my next movie was going to be Lost Boys. And I told him that Corey Haim was going to be in it. And that's when he said, ooh, Corey Haim, I've got a big 
crush on him or, you know, I think he's just so cute. Marty Who, Weiss? Corey? Marty Weiss. No, the other Corey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what yeah, other Corey? You mean, what? <laughs> Some other Corey? Two Coreys. And, uh, yeah, this is where they get more into Corey Haim being a sex fiend. <laughs> They start to bury Corey Haim even more with some of these stories. And the agreement was that I had to have a responsible person come down to be the set sitter. And so it was like, who do we call? The what? Marty, of course. I guess just, yes, someone has to keep an eye on him while he's on set. He's like a babysitter on set, but not. Oh, a set sitter. Yeah, a set sitter. Because they they get into like basically shitting all over Judy Haim, who is Corey Haim's uh, mother. They they briefly every now and then mention Corey Feldman's father, but they don't get into like he kind of insinuates that Corey Feldman's dad was a piece of shit, but he doesn't really give it to him the same that he does to uh, Judy Ham. Imagine having your sex offender picture look like you're the biggest sex offender. Yeah. <laughs> you're smirking, raising an eyebrow. Well, he has um, one of those Corey hairs that goes way down. I love this footage they use because it looks like Feldman's all fucked up on Quaaludes here for oh, some reason. Yeah. He I, don't those they, I don't know why they. I don't want. Is that I had to have a responsible person come down to be the set sitter, and so it was like, who do we call? Marty, of course. When we did Lost Boys, and then Marty walks in the door, and the second Marty walks in the door, he goes, "Hey, I'm horny." Could you blow me? Because I told him Marty was gay. <laughs> the second Marty walks in the door, he goes, "Hey, I'm horny. Could you blow me?" Because I know, you're, hey, I know you're gay. Will you blow me? Hey. And Marty takes him in the room and does it. And then we get back to. It's like Doja Cat and right now. Says, all hey, fucked do you up. Have any friends? You know, blah blah. Oh blah. shit! Did we leave the audio equipment inside <laughs> the boiling water? God damn it! Whatever, use it. <laughs> Well, yeah, and then this is where he's getting into. So then after he gets blown, when they get to L.A., he's like, do you have any other gay friends? Because I need to get blown again, like, because he's a sex fiend. I want to get laid, and that's when I said, well, I don't know any girls. I'm sorry. And he said, well, forget girls. Do you know any guys? I only like and guys. I said, well, me, I Corey Hayes. that time when Dominic told me that he thought he was cute. So I said, well, I know a guy that thinks you're cute. And he's like, I don't <laughs> care. Just call him up. Get him over here. Yeah, I know a guy <laughs> that thinks you're, you're cute. He looks like the Michelin man. <laughs> Get him over here. Corey Haim needs his dick sucked, and he needs it sucked right now. Remember and if Feldman ain't going to do it, to get your fat friend over. I know the guy. He's from Big Trouble in Little China, and he turns into a big balloon. Oh, I, yeah, I think he is in that, yeah. You know, he shared with me that on the set of Lucas uh, that he was... Re- oh, here's where we get into the Shane, re- uh, Charlie Sheen reveal. The set of what? Lucas. What's that? Movie from uh, like 85 or something like that. Mm. Raped as a little boy. And I remember thinking like, oh, wow. Gay. You know, raped as a little boy. And um, and he told me that, you know, it was his co-star. And he told me that it was Charlie Sheen that did it. So um, I heard that, that Charlie Sheen had. Uh... And what I was talking about in the chat when we were watching this, because I feel like sometimes they know to lead with like not Corey Feldman. Because they go to his wife and she looks more normal, and even this guy looks normal. Yeah. Because it's believable. Within it's this okay. movie, there's actually like obviously an important message, and there's some stuff going on that should be, get out there. But then it gets undermined every time we cut to Corey Feldman because he's fake acting, <laughs> or he's fucked up on drugs, yeah. <laughs> or he has this weird personal vendetta he's trying to do. So it all it undermines it at every moment where if he just made this and maybe had a quick part where he talks about his relationship with Corey Haim and you know what yeah, he told should, him they and then tease him and like put him at the very end. Yeah, and and not even be that long. But the fact that they keep bringing him in, it just ruins the whole thing. Uh had I heard it in the context of rape? No, I hadn't heard it in context of rape. I, I rape. I had heard it in that uh, he had said to him, this is what men do. Shit, I've personally heard Shit. a story about Charlie and Corey Haim, probably. Who is this? I don't know. It's just another, people. like, there are all these, I think he's like their age. Put his name. <laughs> just something. To be fair, they might have had him up earlier, and oh, I just yeah, cut I some of those clips okay. out. Well, probably in my inner circle, no, it's for sure. Sutherland's brother. <laughs> Yeah. Charlie Sheen raped him. 
See, perfect example of like people are talking about it. And it's like, oh shit, this really happened. And you just don't believe, dude. It's the and, fakest well, shit. The guy it's before so him fake. even said like, had I heard it as rape? No, I heard it from Corey that he had yeah. sex with Charlie Sheen. I mean, but even still, like you could still make an argument that if he was only like twelve or something, sure. Uh, you but make yeah. an argument that this is what gay people do. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> argument that I have been making for years. But yeah, then Corey shows up and just undermines <laughs> yeah. everything by being a fucking phony. Yeah, for a second, you're like, oh, wow, this is like dropping real shit right now. And then it cuts to him overacting and trying to be r- melodramatic about it. In my inner circle, no, for sure. <sighs> he said Charlie Sheen raped him. They show him he... walk away like Kermit. Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know how to act, so he just he's whispering. He's doing this weird he's whisper like voice. It. He's getting that tear going. This wasn't like a one-time thing he said in passing. It wasn't like, oh, by the way, this happened. He went into great detail. He told me, Charlie. Wait, how do they have clips about the Charlie Sheen thing over. in the movie well, that supposedly revealed this, it? This news is, came out by from the Inquirer a couple of years then ago. Then why didn't he, he have a? Why up. is he <laughs> acting like? This movie is revealing anything then, I, because he's if he's revealing a shit. name that's already been revealed, I mean, I guess to be fair, it wasn't. It was like an inquirer thing. No one knew what what, and he's weirdly confirming it. But he totally could have came out and confirmed yeah. it. Yeah, like, to your point, he didn't have to make this movie. Like he made, he was. You know, we've watched all the times he's been hyping up this movie, and like his legit fans, like the people unironically that follow him. They were bracing themselves for like Steven Spielberg's name to be brought up. They were like, "Oh my God, Steven Spielberg!" Like Steven Spielberg's trying to kill Corey. This guy's worth billions, and even they're like, "Well, we kind of knew that," which I, I know is like a weird reaction. But like but, the way he had framed it was as yeah. if he was going to tell you something you had never heard before. When now all he's doing is confirming something that you had ho- totally and, heard before. And the timing's even more weird because. Uh, the Inquirer brought it up, and then Charlie Sheen was suing them. He brought up like a suit against them for uh, slander or something like that. And then that was just recently brought up that it was being settled and settled out of court. So it was almost like the timing, he was waiting for that. So maybe that means he can't get sued, or who the fuck knows? It's like some bizarre chain of events, but this is his big money shot reveal here. In between Good two trailers, he put <laughs> Crisco oil on my butt. He looks like a fucking and geisha. Me. He's got so much fucking makeup broad on. daylight, anybody could have walked by. Anybody could have seen it. So Corey Haim and I got into an argument one day. And this is not my cut. I love that it cuts <laughs> to this guy after. <laughs> hey, so anyways. I've uh, been stoned <laughs> since I was bored. <laughs> It's, it's in the serious. Perry. It cuts from Feldman <laughs> talking about how. He he doused my butt in Crisco oil and then and Jake Perry me. shows and up. And Jake Perry's like, "Yeah, so Corey was yeah. saying he got fucked." Up. That is chill, <laughs> man. It's cool. What? Wait, what are you doing? Like again, no self awareness <laughs> into this movie. Oh, look at this cut. Look at this screen. Hell oh, yeah! <laughs> There's a thumbnail for the episode. Me, Charlie, bent me over in between two trailers and put Crisco oil on my butt and raped me. In broad daylight, anybody could have walked by. Anybody could have seen it. So Corey Haim and I got into an <laughs> argument one day because he, he called me up on the phone and he started yelling at me because he thought I was, you know, talking smack on set about him. And, and since he knew I was a big fan, he was also like, Also, look never at be- when he was his assistant. <laughs> like, Corey Haim was 35. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but listen to his, his like... drug dealer, a.k.a. assistant. Listen to his, like, reasoning here. It to Corey, you want to be like me? You want to dress like me? I'll bend you over and ream you. Then you'll see how it feels. And I was like, well, that, that was weird. Why do you say that? So what do you think? Of <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just Corey being an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but he's saying like, I, they're using it in like, oh, you want to be Corey Haim? Well, I'll bend you over and fuck you. And now you'll know. And now we have Judy Feldman. And she, because she says the Sheen stuff is bullshit. But she does say that her son was raped by Dominic. About these allegations that... He was raped when he was age 13. I would have known if anything was wrong. My kid had nothing. He was like transparent. He never hit anything. He was Corey. It's out of character. That's number one. 
When my son was 13, he's not gonna go and ask Charlie Sheen to go and sleep with him. I have to tell you that this guy, Dominic, is the guy that abused my son. You know how I know that? Because my son said so. Just watching his interaction with Corey Feldman, that mm -hmm. Corey Haim, your son, was deeply angry mm -hmm. about being abused by someone who was brought into his life mm -hmm. by Corey Feldman. Exactly. And who's going to be there except for your best friend? But You're bringing up real, what, real, what real deep things. What are you doing? So I'm going to do you the want same me to get exact deep? thing. Dude. You want me to get deep? Dude, get as deep as you want. Do you really want, want me to? Man. Sure. Corey, I'm sitting and right I don't, there. I don't need to Go do ahead. that. I don't have to do that. Corey, I'd love to see you even attempt to do something like that. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you right You're now? You're an easy target, bro. I'm right here. Let's do this. I'm right here. Hit me with the hardest you got. Now, why? This is where we see that Corey Haim really did not like yeah. Corey Feldman. Yeah, they yeah. despised that man. And, and they hated each other. And I can't tell. I think Feldman thinks this footage is proving that he means Charlie Sheen here. Because he brings up, like, getting, like, uh, raped by your friend. But he's talking about Dominic because, like, Corey Feldman is still friends with that guy, Dominic, even after, like... <laughs> well, they even brought it up in the context of that. Well, but then, what, well, what's great is then after this clip, Feldman has to tell stories on why it was okay he was friends with him because basically Haim was the one that was always like, hey, get Dominic over here so he could blow me. He was always saying, like, bring him over. <laughs> what I Did want Dominic fund this to try movie? and hurt you... Corey, you opening up to the world about me having a knife in my pocket. And the reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up some scars I have because like I used to cut into myself because it's the way to feel I hear. Well, and I love what he's saying here because this even proves it. Like, like even when he was alive, day, yeah. even when Corey Haim was alive, he's like, dude, you're always talking about my shit. Yeah. You're talking about how I cut myself. And like he's still doing the same stuff even after in death. Where he's like, Corey Aim, he was raped, he was gay, yep. <laughs> he was this, he was a druggie. To put it in terms for the kids, he was pocket watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Why nice. is he pocket watching Corey Haim right now? Well, but and also get, go and get your own bag, Corey <laughs> Feldman. If I could put it in terms for the kids who I will blow if they pull up, put it on my tombstone. <laughs> who wants to get blown? It's cool if you're gay. Gay people blow kids. And also, like, well, in put it on the in relation to like with that hindsight <laughs> the way he tries to pitch like later he starts to get into how judy Haim's a villain and it's like of course she is to Corey feldman she fucking hates Corey feldman yeah, yeah. as she should because all Corey feldman does is talk about her son who's talk been shit dead about yeah. her son and but lie and say they're best friends she said go like, get your own bag you it's like no your, your bag is man. my bag we have I'll the same name better. <laughs> you let me get f***ed around in my life man raped so to speak what an intro to this new metal song, by the way, when it finally comes in. Ooh, oh, <laughs> don't know. I'm saying this right now by the guy you so hang out with and tell me I'm 14 to take responsibility. About? You know exactly what I'm talking For about. For the chat, they both the look like Tim and Eric characters. Explained. Dude, look at it. You know that that dude, Corey's an idiot. All he yeah. did was show us a clip that's like, hey, watch someone be real. And watch you phone like like he's like yeah I'm acting right now I'm in a scene I'm acting and then he says that shit and then Corey's like uh uh what <laughs> yeah no, it's no, nothing no uh no uh <laughs> like, yeah he fucking immediately like doesn't know how to react he's the bad improv from like that coronavirus video yeah yeah and I love this version of Corey as well Pink yeah where's shirt, his Corey? long hair yeah well I mean maybe spoilers maybe <gasps> this is after some other um. stuff we'll need to understand that it was such a complex come relationship between the two of them. Because Dominic became his friend. Corey would go through these waves where like one minute he hated Dominic and he thought he was a disgusting pig. And he would say that. He'd be like, you're a disgusting pig. You're some 35-year-old balding fat man. And why the <laughs> fuck am I sitting here with you? I hate you. And You I'd heard like, him say that? I too. heard him say it. And then I'd come over a week later... And they'd be best buds going to a movie together or like going to a club or whatever. And I'm like, I don't get it, dude. Do you hate him or do you not hate him? What's the deal? You know? But then you Yeah, this really, you this stop. whole thing has the narrative of a smear piece. Yeah, no, absolutely. He, he I built agree. this up like it was supposed to be like, I'm going to let everyone know what happened to my poor my pal. Best friend. But the whole thing is basically like, <laughs> it really fiend. does feel like a, a yeah. giant smear piece where it's like, hey, 
You know, like you think that Corey thought that Haim was always talking shit about him, and now that he's dead, he can say yeah. his truth. But like that's the way that all of this footage reads. Well, and it, it there's there's so much time spent where a topic comes up, and then they have to go to Corey Feldman, where he has to explain because a topic comes up and it makes him look bad, and then he has this long story on why no, it's not like that. It's actually I'm the hero. <laughs> Dominic and Corey it's, in, in, in the two movie. movies. Yeah. Okay, so we did National Lampoon's Last Resort together, and Corey thought it was a great idea to give Dominic a cameo in it. So we put him in the movie. That was our decision mutually to help him out and give him the spot. And then, of course, as soon as he's on the set, Corey's like, why is he here, man? I don't want him here. Like, well, you told it's him It's almost to like hire he has him. a lot of conflicted feelings do? about the man he's who like, raped no, him. like, no, man, that was your idea. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it wasn't. It was your idea. You felt bad for him and you wanted to help him out. You told me let's hire him. So that kind of stuff happened a lot. By the time we get to Busted... Now, I was and- I was loving the clips of Busted. I feel like we need to do a commentary on this. <laughs> what is I guess busted? it's just the two Corys being cops. And Police I had told Academy Corey, of course, Corey? this is the cast... He knew. I don't know. Who was like, in the look cast. at it. They both look kind of all right here. And yeah. that's when I was in a pretty Carrie terrible Kaysen. movie. I was in a low budget and movie. And so Carrie <laughs> knew that we were all friends. She didn't know what was going on. She didn't know the backstory. So if you ask Carrie, she's going to say, The chat brings up a good point that he looks just other. like Charlie Sheen. He does. Yeah, he totally <laughs> I had does. had the assumption that Judy was a friend for life because I was a friend with her child. Yeah, for this life. is where he gets into how Judy's a villain. Like, Corey Ames' mom. Mom is a villain. Who's and I assumed guy? that when he was gone, that what our... say? Who was that guy on the right? Was that it... was Corey Haim. Really? Yeah. The closeness would never change. So when all of a sudden you see her doing these things and you see her lashing out and saying these awful things, you go, God, why would you, why would you do that? That hurts. That's not fair. That's what you're, you're doing right now. This whole movie is you doing yourself. that. That's not fair. So that gives you a little anger, but the real anger comes from... When you see that there's an entire conspiracy that's been formed, really at least comes thirty from someone else being named Corey, who are working in conjunction with one another, I believe all. Wow, what a horrible the picture of her. Jesus! When I found out that she was at the top, we should of the take tree. a picture laying on his grave. Yeah, yeah, not fuck. great. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, both of them are fucking horrible now, trauma survivors, I things. guess. The Goonies star <laughs> says that he was attacked last night. He's talking oh, about the alleged yeah. attack on social media. Now, according to the LAPD, they were made aware of an assault with a deadly weapon at 1045 last night. Feldman also tweeted that he has been threatened recently on social media. You know what media. happens when you get stabbed? You don't have to point out where you got pack. stabbed. <laughs> so I am writing a, I'm trying to write a concise. What is this? Oh, I know there's a typo in the first four <laughs> words. You're sending him a zip file? Yeah. Thank you for taking the type uh, so, uh, uh, comma E. <laughs> I have attached, yeah, attached, attached is, is typoed a file for your convenience so you can some of the have been made and to help paint the picture who these people are and their motives. Just fix your typos really quick before yeah. you film it. What are you doing? Uh, they call themselves the Wolf Pack. They are led by a name being Bobby Wolf. I've never met Bobby, though he runs it. <laughs> this letter to Detective Hickman, who is the detective who investigated my stabbing. Basically, what's going on is the wolf pack or whatever, uh, these people have come from the other side of the country. And uh, basically, they've come to town to ambush me, harass me, stalk me, and who knows, possibly harm me or my family. So I would like to get a protective order. So I went to the police station. We asked them if they would give us a protective order. They said that they could not uh, because (laughs) they they felt that this may be directly connected to the stabbing case. So you can barely tall enough to reach over to the the original detective. We can only give you protective orders against real things. She (laughs) said she cannot verify at this time that they're connected, but she will give this to secret investigations or something like that. Anyway, it's a special crimes unit. Special Everyone crimes can actually set Corey. up a task what force is to deal with celebrities <laughs> who are getting stalked, celebrities who have these types of problems. So they actually have something in LA that's set up specifically for situations like this. So I've got to now celebrities put such all as this myself. into a letter so she understands the history, which is going to be not easy. Right, Imagine so getting so that I'm, email and then just deleting it, <laughs> not reading it at all. I, my whole pretending thing you is, never got it. It took me a couple of days to figure out and follow what you've been telling uh, me in the terms of all pack. the people, all the different players. So I just want to make sure for everybody that I think it's, it's best lot. visually to just show. Well, to try and maybe find all the, the roots of everybody like a family tree. Okay. 
So you said start with Feldfam first. Feldfam on that <laughs> side. Okay, explain. One sentence. Who's Feldfam? The followers and fans that follow me on Twitter mostly. It shoots off to Facebook and, and Instagram. Okay. But it's, it's the root, the root family Jim of social and media. And we call them family because a lot of them have been there for 10 years. Listen how and old and it's stupid is. You should just be like, oh, they're my fans. To, you know, yeah, finding no, out fans what's going mine. on with everything. When Corey was just touring and we were talking on Twitter, it was always fun There's and lighthearted. And I don't even fan. remember Ugh. any like bad people coming into that. It was when he did his first campaign, when he stopped touring and decided to try to help the children. That's when they came out and it was like a swarm. I have this tweet on my phone of what Corey said and what basically caused the dam to burst. This is crazy wife. Is this tweet that he said that said, I'm hatching up a plan to come forward and, you know, expose these predators. She has to get the gist of, wait a minute, go back to his tweet. <laughs> yeah, she's got to get the gist of it because what does his tweet say? <laughs> right, hold on. Dam to burst. Is this tweet that he said that said i'm that, that said uh, i am working on a plan that may be a way forward to sheet some light on this situation if i can figure out a way to get actual justice all those twos are the number two yeah, yeah. well not risking my safety and well-being you will know when that time comes as for now i'm glad people are talking and i pray that others come hatching up a plan to come forward and, you know, expose these predators that are pedophiles. And even in the fake tweet thing, and it says like happened, 700 was, people are talking about all. this. <laughs> and the floodgates open and the dam burst and all these Twitter messages and e and just everything came flooding in. It was like, as soon as I finally said, Look at okay, <laughs> I'm going to say something. He's like, wait a minute. I was never raped. were insane. I almost got run over by two trucks, and I was literally saved somehow, <laughs> miraculously, within inches of my life. I'm surprised we didn't make it life. into this doc. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, I'm haters. Saved. We're definitely a part of the, the wolf pack. But all I can say is that God. We didn't even me know. Yeah, we, we don't even mean to be. And then the next day, a couple of my band members were arrested, and the press lied and said that I was arrested. And then the third day, I got a call from the Inquirer that they were going to print the Sheen story, which led me to remember every moment of my life, like everything flashed before me, and I suddenly realized I don't need to be on this tour i need to well i like money. how <laughs> just in passing he just kind of destroyed his credibility because he just made it seem like then the inquirer called and told me about the sheen story and then i suddenly remembered it like <laughs> it's almost like he, like you were talking about mike what you were getting at it's like he didn't have a name and then this thing happened and he's like oh yeah Corey did tell me about that i yeah. remember now yeah you still know how to repress memories work <laughs> yeah. jim Keep my promise to Corey, and I need to get oh, my yeah, the truth promise, out there, remember? no matter what. I was terrified because guess what? People want to kill I'm him. I'm Corey Feldman's wife. It's horrifying. It's so what scary. What he has to say to come out? Here we go, Wolfpack. Wolfpack, clever. So I know this. Clever. Start with no. <laughs> Bobby Wolf because I know that's the guy. No, we start with Judy Haynes. Bobby Wolf, obviously. Okay, leader so of the Wolf Pack. Guy, yeah, Judy Haynes, leader of the Wolf Pack. I don't know. I don't know how you spell Number two. Him. He's just some a fan guy. <laughs> of what? I have no idea. You've never met him or spoken Never met him, him, never spoken to him. It's somebody that started working with Judy. The Wolf Pack is doing things on social media like Twitter messages. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Bobby uh, Wolf is coming to town. He really just typed some shit into a meme generator. <laughs> uh, Facebook messages that are th get you get you magnet door opener ready and hold your syringes high. Threatening you, what? disparaging you, defaming you, accusing you of bad things, and going after my fans and attacking them and okay. basically telling them that they don't want to participate, they don't want to support me. It's all a sham. And when they don't listen and they keep defending me, then they start attacking them personally. You're saying is Judy's part of the wolf pack? I, I think Judy is the queen of the wolf pack. Okay. And so how does she she's always like, leave my dead son alone. Stop bringing up my dead son. <laughs> it's amazing how this, I mean, well, this whole documentary, but especially this scene here plays out like a sketch or yeah. like a like <laughs> yeah. a like a Christopher Guest movie because well, it feels like yeah. they're just improving and trying to be ridiculous because <laughs> he's like, 
So Bobby Wolf's the head of the Wolf Pack. No, 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 Judy Hame. All right, so Judy Hame's the top of the Wolf Pack. Well, she's the queen of the Wolf Pack, <laughs> and it's like he's being the wacky character. Yeah, but he's just being himself. Well, it's he, also weird that he can stand there and also sit on that little chair in the corner <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Ah, damn it! I was gonna bring up the terrifying statue. <laughs> well, it's it's great because now, like for backup, he's gonna go to his wife. Like you know, the Wolf Pack. <laughs> oh yeah, the wolf pack. You think he just like goes over and stands over right? that statue, like, yeah, I'm tall. I think okay. She's definitely yeah. working with the wolf pack to discredit and defame Corey for sure. I made videos. See, my for stupid Judy thought Hain confirmed. For six to eight months, <laughs> trying to discredit Corey Feldman because here's some druggie that says she was a former uh, member. Of what the wolf am pack. I? I'm wolf pack. <laughs> yeah, she has like pack. a uh, needle sticking out of her arm. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, if we give you 50 bucks, will you say you're from the Wolf Pack? I am from the Wolf Pack. <laughs> you Why? keep your 50 bucks, give me 20 goofballs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no use for money. You got goofballs? Oh, we got goofballs off the wazoo. That's I made what she goofballs. wanted. All of Corey Feldman's um, disappointments and what a fool he is, you know, but it went a lot deeper. Than that, and it got really vicious and really sure mean. Like Corey yeah, we've got screenshots of all of these these group convos with Judy and Bobby Wolf. Judy would be in a chat room on Facebook with the, the people pack. that were making these videos. Were um, you know a Facebook out chat room? Horrible things. Um, and she Joe's was phone? in the chat room what with these this? people, um, telling them to call social services and have Corey's son taken away. CF is an idiot. I hope Charlie will find out and go after him. Trying to stay strong. I'll send I you some stuff. I also have one that says we need to re-brainwash people about Corey Feldman. And, the, and she's saying this to... To me. Everyone's owning yeah. them, too. Would uh -huh. numbnuts be that general. dumb? If I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, seeing her part of these, of these conversations... Um, encouraging like snack. things like this was really upsetting. Well, I've, I've had an opportunity to look at some of the emails and text messages from Corey's mom. She's upset that Corey Feldman identified Corey Haim as a victim of child abuse and it's really sad reading her stuff because she like some of the stuff she's saying is completely reasonable though. Here you are lying again as you always do <laughs> pointing fingers at my Corey. Yeah, yeah just stop. Stop talking about my... She's basically just saying, stop talking about my fucking son. Tell your own fucking truth. What was this my truth? Uh, the rape of two Corys. Yeah. I was... It's like how I was raped. Yeah, when you were raped at that guy, I was never raped. I fought him <laughs> off. I chased him down the street, and I said, if you ever try to rape me, I'll kill you. He I thought he was so cool because he was horny, and he wanted to get <laughs> off. That's the truth. <laughs> Corey's response, I hate that you always assume I'm out to get Corey or make him look bad or make myself look good. I'm not. I never have. I'm doing my best to tell the truth as it happened and putting it the softest way possible. No. He did ask to meet Dominic. But not because he thought he was cool, because he was horny and wanted to get off. That's the truth. Imagine telling you so his mom, <laughs> like, I'm dead. You're like, listen, listen <laughs> Jeff's mom. <laughs> Jeff was horny, okay? He's obviously a mother that's deeply in pain and trying to protect him. Well, I love it. The beginning, I was just reading the beginning in the background, and he's like, Judy, I'm sorry, you're wrong. I'm going to say this softly because I'm ashamed to say the actual words. But then this part they highlight is like, He's just horny. He wants to get off. Preserve the memory of her son. In reading her stuff, I could Love feel Corey. her pain <laughs> and her desperation. And I think the way that she's coping with it is slandering my client, defaming my client. This is the Mike Corona my guy? Client, <laughs> organizing other people to go after my client. Somehow she's finding some solace and peace of mind. Isn't it great? Because, Mike, like, as you've se seen going through this, that he's been shitting on Corey Haim, like, the whole time, and now they're spending a good amount shitting on his mom, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're also his mom. This a is fucking a piece of shit. This documentary is not, hey, here are the people that raped me and my good friend Corey. This documentary is, hey, this uh, that Corey guy that I was always friends with, he is a piece of shit and he hated me <laughs> and his family is trash and also by the way he was gay and got <laughs> raped <laughs> but remember when he was like your hair man fucking sick <laughs> yes yep that dude the one thing you've done that's great you're fucking and so strong activity 
Judy and I had exchanged many emails. My perception is that she knew exactly what was going on because it was dated July 25th, 2013. Yeah, you explained what was going on. And it said, you know as well as I do that the media will want to know who that was, especially because you mentioned the fact that the guy on Lucas is well known and makes a lot of money. They'll know it was Can't be Charlie. Charlie Sheen. I can't read the whole email in one piece, so I can't tell you everything that was said. You know what's great too? It is, goes um, on to say what is I don't the Charlie want Sheen to start calling said? me Nothing. and <laughs> Yeah. It's like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Well, and this whole thing, I didn't expect so much I'm an idiot. Uh, I didn't expect so much current stuff. Like I expected him to talk about the past oh, no. and all the shit that happened. Oh, but yeah, yeah. so much of this is like, hey, talking fucking about the stabbing two months and ago. The like, pack, yeah. like this is about him. And the conspiracy against him, not about the old rate. Like the, he is, he is so fucking uh, flimsy and shitty mm -hmm. with his agenda on everything that he can't even like keep his stupid like, phony documentary on fucking uh, on topic. Hell yeah! <laughs> Asking about this, I will have to be honest about things that I think are going to be wrong, or agree to things that are right on the money, and then I have to answer questions that I may not want to answer. In another email dated April 17th, 2011, she writes, Charlie the Nutcase was in Toronto for the last three days. I called his manager a while ago while I knew Charlie was coming here. And I told him to have Charlie go to the cemetery and visit one of his co-stars and learn something. I and uh, Kristen pointed out when we were watching this live, since this was in 2011. It sounds more like when Charlie Sheen was being crazy uh -huh. that she was like, hey, maybe he should just go visit, you know, uh, Corey's grave to see, like, what can what happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? But he's making it seem like, yeah, see, she's she's agreeing with it. I don't think he went. Big surprise. Judy and I had a conversation about it after Corey was dead. And we'd had conversations before that, but she pretends we didn't. He looks like the eagle time, from the Muppets. She said, well, I only knew this four years ago. He only told me this part of it four years ago. I said, Judy, that's impossible. It's impossible. It looks like someone deep faked him into a nine-year-old. <laughs> She's like, I knew something happened. I just didn't know the details. But then he finally told me. But here's the kicker. It looks like when someone paints eyeballs on your eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, yeah, he's sleeping. Uh, <laughs> kicker is, you know. You know. So why not be a fucking man about it and tell the world what you know? Why not go out there and say, you know what? Yeah, cry, this happened. Cry, cry, cry. My kid told me he was raped by a man on a set that I brought him to. And I feel terrible about that. But you know right what? I gotta friend, pay Corey. my dues because that's life. You suit up, you take responsibility for your actions. It's your responsibility, Judy Haim. Yours, not anybody else's. He's yelling at himself. Yeah. So stop blaming it on me and stop blaming it on other people. It's not my Grow friend up. Dominic, okay? People don't realize. Everybody <laughs> yeah, Now he's interviewing that Dominic. Out. He's like, <laughs> so all right. Dominic. So, anyways, Dominic. <laughs> isn't it? Tell us up. how Corey Haim raped you. <laughs> <laughs> he was just so horny all the time. I remember I would always tell him no, and then he would just make me blow him. A bunch of executives with this movie. Mm. I'm not outing a bunch of executives with this movie. What I am doing is saying that it's not the executives. It's not the studio heads. And it may be, but it may not be. It's very convenient that he's saying that because it's like, yeah, I, w I want to get work still. It's not the people in power. It's not the people running things. The people that could buy this documentary Harvey. and release Hello. it. Yeah. But in most cases, it's the manager, the publicist, the agent. You know, it's the little guys around the celebrity. That's the point, is that you can go back to the early days of Hollywood and there's stories about Mickey Rooney. There's stories about Judy Garland. There's stories about uh, Coogan, you mm -hmm. know. Now, who knows what's real and what's not? Shirley Temple. Mm -hmm. We hear Who's stories about dropping them names. Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's real? Or is it just myth? Is it just lore? But here's the thing that gets you. You look at cases that have been public, from Tatum O'Neill 
all the way through. Anthony Edwards is the next generation. Then you've got the Corys. Then you've got this one and that one. Uh, but you then you have about, the Ricky Garcias. This is happening yeah, up through now. you hear about Bella Thorne. You right. hear about all of these kids coming mm -hmm. forward right now. You can help me bring these people to justice. You can be responsible for being the next one to make the shoe drop and getting these guys put away. Here it is. Kids too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that says me too. Kids too. Kids, kids too, baby. Kids too, baby. Hashtag Call. kids too. Hashtag baby. <laughs> Call Joe. Yeah, I think that the... at three. Oh, <laughs> yeah, call, call oh, Joe. Call Joe at three. Oh, uh, oh. The promise you made to Ham. It's fulfilled. It, yeah, I think it I did is. my job. I mean, yeah. I can't say what's going to happen. I know, but this. you did it. Yeah. I didn't promise I was going to have Charlie Sheen locked up. Mm -hmm. Look at that you fucking know? loser. And not only did <laughs> I tell him, his dude. story, but I told mine, and we were That's fortunate his bodyguard enough with to tell too. Ricky's. And it's a few Edward other Penis hands here to fucking. Wait, is it Dominic with him? Cut! Cut! This, oh, is no. the, this is the big moment, dude. Is he gonna cut it off and leave it at the grave? Yes. Uh, you, you watch that? I think the you know, All of these tributes, all these nods to Corey. This is his because, big crescendo. You know, um, He's right next to Margasina. <laughs> they're not because I don't have any, you know, any material. Or I, or I, or Wait, didn't Corey Haim have tattoos? Could he be? Is he supposed to be buried oh, in a yeah, Jewish he can't cemetery? Oh yeah, in a Jewish cemetery. I don't know. Did he have tattoos? Maybe Seems like right, would um, I want filming the this on an Android camera. It's because what's this shit? my heart. What's his message? I loved that man. He was my partner. He was my brother. Forearm. Brought a stick with he him. My... What's it? I keep well, my stick. promises, bud. Now you can rest in peace. Something back. Something new. I love you. For Corey. Best friend. I have your back. Oh, yeah. I two, brought two. you this stick. Two, two. Those are their favorite numbers. This needs like a song about it. <laughs> yeah, it totally does. It really needs a song, I think. To, to bring it all together, we need a song. That's stupid hair. <laughs> I don't even think it's real. Like, he added it in. Here it is, the moment. Well, look, he clearly gelled the shit out of it so it'd all be together, so it'd be easy to cut. The devil lock. He doesn't cut all of it either. Yeah. Yeah, don't play music under this. Wait yeah. till playing. We need the by. cicadas <laughs> adding drama. <laughs> this is such fucking horse shit. Who's buying it? didn't this? even cut it. <laughs> We well, didn't want it to be uneven, bro. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> put it in the stick. Yeah, wow, <laughs> what an insane lie! That and he's then what trying did he do? Like, like stab the stick into the ground? Uh, nah, he just places yeah, it. He's there. hoisting up this giant lie to be the dramatic climax of his garbage fucking lie of a movie. He really is. This guy's like, get out of here! <laughs> get out of here! Oh, is that his wife filming it? Yeah, it is on like an Android phone. I think you called. I told like, you, dude. It's yeah. fucking shit. <laughs> footage mm. oh hamster two 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 i didn't even wow, see that wow the hamster baby dude he, he really is such a fucking ghoul for doing this and oh, if yeah. anyone is like likes this guy oh, like man. it's terrible yeah and there we go but now <laughs> now we need a whoa, song whoa 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 is this a part of the movie right now this played at the beginning of the movie no, technically no, but this this that part I'm... was part of his. Th he added it to the beginning. So he added yeah, a Windows video. Movie Maker that somebody named Marissa intro. Wren made. Yeah, <laughs> this is at the beginning of the movie. Oh god! But he, technically, this song plays over the end credits. But I, it doesn't have the full song. So he started the movie with a Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> yes. Fucking YouTube. This is the beginning when you watch the stream. I'm surprised he's not filming his yeah. laptop. <laughs> song is fucking sick. Though. Dude, I actually had this song in my head all week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I know we, we've probably said this a lot or other people have said it. Like, it would be hard to make the goof version of this song yeah. Yeah. as good as... Oh, wait, I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But I agree. It'd you be hard to two seconds of it. It'd be hard to sit down and make a goof song like this. <laughs> And have it be as good as the actual yeah. song. You don't have the level of <laughs> mental illness to like make mental illness videos. Uh -huh. 
By the way, that's not even them. That's the actors that play them in the <laughs> Lifetime movie, uh, the two Corys. Well, because he couldn't be asked to fucking make a montage <laughs> yeah. to his own song that's just photos. He's like, I'll just record, yeah. screen record well, YouTube. Fa- oh, is, fan is made this it? voice Felpin? Yes, yeah. That we met. I thought you maybe thought it was an angel, right? You yeah. told me right away. A secret that I never could forget. My heart just sank. Yeah. When I yeah, bum equipment, huh? Good choice. Ah. You <laughs> Look how fucking ugly <laughs> Corey Feldman is. Every picture of him is always this ugly motherfucker. He does have a tattoo. Uh, he does. Maybe they cut it off so he could be buried with Jews. Tell the world to be ashamed. It's not that bad and it's not your fault. He's got like an old saloon piano player. You laugh the way you want to live. You were free. Dude, you're right. It'd be impossible to make a song like this that wasn't a over-the-top goof. Could you imagine? You couldn't make a joke song that's more of a joke than this song that's serious. There's no way. There's no fucking way you could. You couldn't write five verses. The voice, if nothing else. (laughs) The voice that he's he's using is is, is a pure goof voice. And the change-up. No, goofs only. It's a goofs only voice. (laughs) It went from the singing to the change-up to this part. He's just like he's riffing over like RPG shop music. (laughs) (laughs) Would you believe there's four more verses? (laughs) I don't know if that was the chorus, the verse, or the bridge. a bloated uh, production. <laughs> so time went by, we grew up. Looks like you hate someone. Had my own experience and innocence to grow. Not gay, <laughs> but not like you. All those years, I kept your secret locked away. But now you're safe. And hell. Monster must pay. <laughs> He's a Jew celebrating Christmas? <laughs> Dude, this yeah. is a baffling song. It's insanity. This is an insanely baffling song. <laughs> you were dead. I'm alive. I win. Corey forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, the winner. Best. Never got raped. <laughs> Not by Michael Jackson. Who else <laughs> like? <laughs> you are free to tell the world to feel ashamed. It's not your fault. What it did ain't right. You're still a kid. Imagine it's having to be the producer going like, yeah, yeah. 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 This sounds good. And then Corey's like, can Corey? you turn the flute up a little? <laughs> can you turn the flute up in the mix? How'd my vocals sound? Oh, yeah, they came through, man. <laughs> yeah, they, these are great, man. Yeah, no, they, they, are, they came right through. We're just going to plug them in, and there they are. Be what you want to be. Pee is poop. <laughs> poop is pee. It's not your fault because you were a kid. He hits Pro Tools and it just the machine explodes. No more, no more pain. Don't you know that you are? Don't you know that you are? Don't you know that you are free? The legend of the 80s, baby. Oh, I think there's, yeah, there's like another version. Hold myself accountable. But we were both just kids. So I'm not really accountable. <laughs> Dude, these are like joke song lyrics. Introduced it's you like, to the guy who raped you. It's not like a, really. I think it was consensual. <laughs> it's like a Trey Parker, Matt Stone song. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what it fucking too. sounds like. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking joke uh, Matt and Trey song. He comes in with like a faux rap here. It's great. It's perfect. This should have happened long ago. And a wizard told you this. You a wizard? Uh, That's what I thought he said too. A wizard, a wizard told, you wizard this. told you this. Free to tell the world to feel ashamed. It's not the bad and it's not your fault. Wait, is he doing a bad duet with himself now? <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> you were free to be ashamed. Just tell the world and never go out and live.
One, two, three. Yeah. Pee is poop. <laughs> poop is pee. <laughs> so there you go. That's my truth. The rape of two Corys. Parentheses in the Lost Boys font. Disgusting. Just, uh, <laughs> it is unsettling. Disgusting. It makes your skin crawl. Right. <laughs> this guy's actually dead. And, and he it, just made a, a whole movie about his supposed friend being and, a sex freak. And there are actual fan there are still fans of Corey Feldman. They think he's doing a that's good thing. Shocking. I don't think so. That's, terrible. Terrible. that's alarming. Just fucking unsettling of a man unhinged. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. you, like he should really just stop living. Well, he tries <laughs> to get more money, right? He tries to get more money because he's like, oh, it's too, yeah. baby. We got hacked, and we I want more people to see this now that it's done. I'm I'm doing a, a GoFundMe to to try and get money to to make sure more people get to see it. Yeah, I wonder, is he, what's he saying about it now? Does he have any updates? Whichever one of us dies from coronavirus, we have to make the movie about them being a sex pest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, don't do that to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's calling for a federal investigation on um, uh, Sheen. UK, oh, he's retweeting people who are trying to get the media to talk about it. Kids oh, do. It's, it returns to streaming starting tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, any unused ticket holders can view. New tickets can be sold if you go to mytreat.com. I'm here to answer any questions. Kids too. What is the thing with kids too? Because it only sounds oh, like Jesus. it's promoting like kids too, baby. He's promoting like the movie Kids too. He's <laughs> high as fuck. Supposed to be like me too, but kids too. Oh no. <laughs> dun, 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 Jesus. Oh no. Hello. How's it going, folks? How are you? <laughs> Hello. Just being We're sober. Back. We're back live, live back in the studio that you all know and well and love so well. Huh. I'm a bit fried. It's been yeah. quite the week. Very active, very crazy. Lots going on. Thank you. Love the doc. That's great to hear. Love the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love, love you guys. the I love movie. You guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love, and thank you for being truthful. For those of you who got to see the film and admit you got to see the film, <laughs> anyone that will admit there seeing trying it, to deny the film thank you for admitting you watched it. We really appreciate. it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a hard thing for y'all to do. I know most of you are saying you feel sick. Yeah, you know what? I that can't... you're disgusted for even watching it. We're right, gonna have to just save him this. Retweeting himself. It's just a bunch of him retweeting himself. Look, all these are just retweets. Of himself. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He retweets his own shit. He retweets like fucking weirdo fans that he has. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can't even get into that. That's another twenty minutes. Like yeah. we just. <laughs> so yeah, the the uh, the Corey Feldman uh, versus dead Corey Haim continues. Uh, this, you thought the story was going to end with the movie? No, it continues. Wow, we're still going. What a pile of absolute trash! <laughs> it's like a dog to shit. It's just like a, a bunch of dogs. Like all sh- like, but they they put their butts together. <laughs> they all start shitting in the same place. So you're back on the wolf pack. So you're back on the wolf pack. You know what? Should we try it? Should we tempt fate with the Corey song? Oh, I we? just want to hear the Corey song. So yeah, you know what? I just want to hear the song. Oh, no, yeah. Corey's free. Free for Corey, Corona Land for uh, you and is it me. It's called You Are Free. What's it called? Da, na, 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 na. Uh, I don't know. Just take your version of that you made for us and just play the very end. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see. What the hell was um? Because someone uploaded it. Just Google P for poop. Poop <laughs> is P. <pee. laughs> You are free. Yeah, oh, it's you it's are you. free. Yeah. Oh, of course we're idiots. U. We know way and too much about him. R. Yeah, we're like two threes. We're in so there. stupid for not knowing that. Hot mixtape cover though. This Did was it. stuck in my Go head, up. and now it's gonna be fucking stuck in my I head. Know. Again. I had forgotten about it, but I already remember it because it sounds like fucking anime music, like the end of an anime. Yeah, this would be the close for like an Inuyasha. Very first day. <laughs> Sounds so like it's bad. gonna be a good song, you and then he fucks up the very first note. <laughs> I see good that and never could hold it. My heart just sank 
when I built your bed. He's in the box singing. He looks at his producer's producer's is like. <laughs> ah, there it is. P is poop. <laughs> poop. P is P. P is poop. <laughs> Uh, so it's boy, worse than I remember. <laughs> you know what plays perfectly into his his hands though is that, you know, since his movie came and went and it wasn't a big deal, but coronavirus stuff happened Bro, that he, week. He yeah. must be so pissed yeah. because first he had me too shit all over the last time he tried to come out. Now he had coronavirus drops. No, he's got to be but happy because now, now he can be like, oh, I didn't get a chance to really put it out. But there. he can also even say like. Look how powerful these people are. You know, they even put out a virus to stop the truth from we getting wanted, out there. We wanted, we actually planned on five more dates. It had done so well. We had five more dates. Had to cancel them all. I'm surprised couldn't get where people hawking, weren't allowed. He should be hawking that while you're home during the quarantine. Pay me $20. Well, yeah, he's I, a moron. I truly think he would try to pitch it as like the virus was made because yeah. of his movie. Yeah. Like, mm. And it was, it, this is all like it. Maybe it's not fake. Maybe the virus isn't fake, but it was specifically timed to uh you know try to hide the truth well they want to distract away from important things and one of those important things he'd say was him that that thumbnail by the way has the smallest my in my truth history go back to that thumbnail yeah mike was talking about that it's smaller than even the other one yeah he's (laughs) he's trying to make it just be called the truth it's insane how little he makes it but yeah in parentheses really tiny my Look how tasteful it is, too, because it's like a Hollywood star with a gift that's leaking blood all I over I don't get it. the gift. I don't understand it. <laughs> it's the like the gift of his virginity, I guess. License to ride. Because didn't he tweeted Drive. recently, too, didn't he? Ooh, Corey he Haim? <laughs> yeah, Corey Haim did from the grave. <laughs> hey, back from the grave. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Jesus. He has the same mask I did. Uh, I would love that this wasn't Watch a real this. video. It was just a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 37 minutes looking high uh, of course uh, this fucking guy christ hold on it was from an hour ago friday night oh is hall. it Fuck you. Dude, that's <laughs> other, we missed it that's the other thing is these motherfuckers are uh everyone's trying to hone in on jim and them territory uh trying to go live and shit thinking they can take our audience now that they're stuck at home Corey we can only get 170 viewers <laughs> <laughs> he decided he was going to cut his own hair for this yeah I'm trying to pull it up. For it looks like kid here. trunks. Yeah, he looks like he's got he's the kid like, trunks haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Google kid trunks really quick. <laughs> I'll look on my phone. Yeah, just put kid trunks and then tell me that he, Hi, he doesn't have kid trunks as hair. It's gonna be the rapper kid trunks. Hi. He looks high as fuck. That mask is just made out of cocaine. It's Corona time. Ugh. Hold up Corona. It's corona time all the time. Oh, from DBZ? Yeah. Yeah, he does have that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Twitter Live. It's more like Twitter is anybody alive. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Ah. Ah. It's Courtney. Why are their masks so huge? And Why did he put a mask on that here. mannequin? <laughs> Coronavirus oh, time. 2020. Did he make his own My, mask? how things have changed. My, my. Imagine that. In just a few days time. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> that's a good that's a good uh, sesh. I well, guess grandma and grandpa are on Twitter. Just wanted to make sure you all knew that we were masks well in hand <laughs> and prepared. This guy is high, bro. <laughs> and safe as possible. You know who his wife looks like? Stuff. Maybe we said this, but I don't remember. <laughs> he looks like so um, uh, the Wayans brothers in White Chicks. She well does kind of look She looks like, like a yeah. White yeah. Chicks person. Don't worry, we're indoors. Yeah, How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? I was worried. I thought you were outdoors. How's everything. Everybody holding up? Yeah. All right, good contribution. Blues fucking Thank God whatever blues videos are. Dude, he gets well, so mad when he puts talks. a CD on. Hello. I mean, yeah, the- these people hop online and they have no plan on what they're le- like. What's up? At least, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have I don't an know, idea. Yo, hey, <laughs> how's you it hanging? Talk about anything? Have an idea of what you want to like get out. What you're trying to talk about here? Supperuni. Do you think he blew all of the money he made on the doc already? <laughs> yeah, look how high he is. <laughs> <laughs> There's the doc right there. <laughs> yeah, doc is in. That's his uh, doctor right there. Debt. 
How are you? Pumpkin. Gina. Hello. Just making Good up to names. See you guys with us Hello. today. Tammy. Sarah. Um, he's going through all his nicknames. Yeah, Pumpkin, Bored. Gina. Well, Bored is better than the alternative, I suppose. What do you bet the so only movies have... at Corey's house are movies he's Something in? Something to be great oh, for. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. Definitely. It's like we're just watching a movie here. Things could be worse. <laughs> it's just Lost Boys. <laughs> things could be a lot worse. We got Gremlins coming up next and Goonies so, maybe later. <laughs> you guys. But the thing you is, know, that would be no a pretty good collection well, to a point. I'm but he wouldn't be watching old today. movies. He'd be he watching, watching his new movies. Yeah. yeah. We got that one where I'm a fucking weird transvestite vampire <laughs> coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. What was that? Uh, uh, Maxwell Stone or something? Some, a, yeah, some fucking name like that. I hope you're grateful for your health today if you have it. Yes. Man, she um, adds nothing. You can tell how annoyed he is anytime she talks. Yeah. He doesn't want her like stop taking my fucking spotlight. He he ignores her. He never acknowledges her, and he clearly seems annoyed when she well, talks. Well, anytime it's him, her turn to do something, she fucks it up. Yeah, like she throws it to her. her. Yeah, she Corey but Feldman. Then when he starts talking, he, she goes, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> Grateful that you're all still here with us. Thanks for exposing real sincere, you. dude. He's Thank been saying you, the same uh, thing yeah, for like five minutes. Anyways, I'm gonna do some time. bait tricks. It has not been I'm a cloud time. chaser. Now. <laughs> They're just it's hitting very hard on there. for all of us. Uh. Um, it's been a tough time, folks. Um, There's no way it's been tough for him. But that said, we're still here. We're still on the planet. Yeah, we aren't going anywhere. We're still making our way and trying to do the best we can, to be honest. We make Corey. I think that's his shit fucking up too. Yeah, Corey gets the truthful, guillotine, but we make him watch his wife get the guillotine first, and then in. we give him the guillotine. <laughs> Corey gets tarred you. and feathered. Thank you for saying we that. We run him around town. Whoever said they, that we're heroes, we appreciate that. No one. No one. We're not said heroes, that. though. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't see not. it that way. No one does. <laughs> we see it as yeah, everyone we're doing doing the chat we point out his throat puss. Look at his throat yeah, puss. I was going to say, his throat looks like a zero. Yeah, it looked like where a, uh, one of those things that, that uh, what are they called? So a st- camel toe. steeple Apparently or a obvious. stoma. Stoma, yeah. It's, it's like where a stoma to used up. to be. Look what's happening around us. People must open their eyes. To what? <laughs> He doesn't know. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. It's good to see you too. It's everyone just I'm saying like Boss Boys ruled. Yeah. And, um, I love Goonies. Thank you for Eat that. shit. Thank Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, have a new movie in the things. works. Yes. With Dad, I'm glad you got to see it. Yes, indeed. Um, yes, in, yes, Sersky. <laughs> I know there's a lot of you that have seen the film. I know there's a lot of you that haven't had a chance to see the film. And I also know there's a lot of people that have seen it the wrong way. Yeah, us. Yeah, Jim uh, and them. Jim yeah. and them. I want to talk about the fact that we've been severely, badly abused <laughs> by... BitTorrent. The system, I guess you'll Jim say. Jim YouTube. You know, um, YouTube allowing... Hundreds of thousands of free streams. He's more upset about this than his supposed rape <laughs> or the rape of his best friend. Yeah. Dude, you know, I wonder he is. if he actually maybe saw our commentary. Because <laughs> knowing him, he's got nothing but time. And he's clearly mad about it. I bet he was looking them all up so he could flag him. He had to have seen ours. Well, the great thing is that ours got flagged not for the movie, but for the song at the end. And then I fought it and I won. Hell yeah. <laughs> you're, like, I, oh, you're like, this isn't a real song. They're like, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not music. I just said, hey, it's fair use. It's commentary. We're talking over it. And then uh, we just, we win. <laughs> to happen. Piracy. Mm-hmm. Copyright infringement. Mm-hmm. Stealing the work that I just spent three years doing no. to make yeah, sure no. that everybody could see the truth. It's so fucking but weird. also... Obviously, during that three years, I had to employ a great many people who had to give and dedicate their Yeah, but the whole point of the doc was work. to tell your story, and so you're actually yeah, more people are hearing the story. Out t- Plus, he got like half a million in fucking donations, <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's a dick. He's out here gatekeeping. And on top of that, he got 20 bucks a pop from, from people signing in. He, yeah, all 13 of them. He, <laughs> I mean, you got to figure he at least got like 5,000 people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So $5,000 from, yes, from 300 five, people. At least 5K righteous bucks. Tirelessly with the promise that there would be... Def- yeah, that's his. Because be. he does... Payment. He has a tweet below it saying there's a problem-filled <laughs> broadcast. Uh, from the movie, broadcast. 
So what do they do? They hack the movie <laughs> and then they stream it for free, but they do it under the premise of a lie on YouTube and they tell people that they're oh, okay. Peter Pan. They tell people that I'm the bad guy because Does he I'm mean Price Robin Gouging. Hood? I think he means he's I was just saying he's gotta mean Robin Hood. Yeah, does he mean? Also he's talking about us, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's talking, talking about us. He's talking about us. I'm the right bad now. guy. That I'm uh, dragging a corpse through the grave. Jim and them think they're Peter Pan all the time. <laughs> I want to talk about this wolf pack, this gym, this locker room of, uh, uh, <laughs> what is it, uh, goons? Peter, locker room yeah. of uh, fucking... The uh, army of... Army of Arctic The goons? Arctic army of locker room goons? Yes, yeah. yes. This wolf pack? The Arctic army of Neverland goons? <laughs> Tear off of my friend's misery. That's the lie. That's him! No, that's what you did. They stream it. They it is great when sometimes... I mean, we'll get some comments that are like, oh, you know, um, Corey's trying to do what's right or something but very few of those but there are a lot of people that are like yes all Corey does is <laughs> try to drag his friend through the mud like people that don't even listen to the show yeah. but are like annoyed as well that people are giving this guy yeah. attention and acting like he's a victim well because at this point even if you're like some normie like that watches well, ellen if you watch that doc you'd be like what point of, yeah, what is why, the point of this why doc? does he hate his friend <laughs> so much you have to assume at the very least the wolf pack has seen our stuff and oh, they're probably yeah. like, hell yeah, allies yeah, of yeah. the Wolfpack. Wolfpack is definitely <laughs> pro Jim and them. could be hanging out with Judy Haynes. <laughs> yeah. The Wolfpack's like, oh, man, those guys think they're Peter Pan, but they say it like a good <laughs> way. Great. They stream our movie that people worked for, that people were supposed to be risk paid for. Life. and risk We're supposed to be for paid for. Uh, she's for trying to ruin she it ain't. still. She's still. Did you see that? Yeah. They're like, yeah, I, I, The upside is. He already just superimposed <laughs> oh, it on a TV, Fuck. so all we have to do is just put the regular thing on, and it won't get flagged because it's already on a TV. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I fucked um, it up. I lost the spot. And I also know there's a lot of people that have seen it the wrong, the wrong way. way. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> she's like Yoko Ono. Yeah, she's it. got all bad stuff. timing. She's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more annoying, her or uh, Corey Feldman? Feldog. Oh, yeah, man. Feldog's still annoying. She's just more stupid. Annoying. Yeah, she just... <laughs> has no right being there and then they stream it for free but yeah. they do it under the premise of a lie on youtube and they tell people that they're it's peter totally pan nice. they tell people <laughs> that i'm the bad guy because i'm price gouging because i'm trying to make money and profiteer off of my friend's misery that's the lie while i had to correct it that's a lie by the way <laughs> they stream our movie that people worked for that people we're supposed to be risk paid for and risk their lives for and gave everything for. <laughs> they stream our movie for free oh, and I create Thanks, a honey. link Thanks, baby. that makes them money every time it's you It's not watch. about the money. That's the truth. That's what's happening. We don't. And that's what they're doing. We don't care about money. We're just they're like, literally we're just clowning. <laughs> making people Sorry, bro, we're just they're clowning. They're helping me out by getting my word out. By spreading my word, yeah, you're by welcome. putting free rip-off streams of my movie for people Well, in to our watch defense, we edited it down for him as well. To be I, fair, yeah, I cut out an hour of his movie. Yeah, you made it better. Yeah, I mean, I get the good the stuff. The Jim and them cuts way better. I'd have seen straight uploads of the movie on YouTube. Though. Yeah, I have too. <laughs> our IT guys found out that in doing your so... IT guys? You have an IT guy, You're Corey? clicking a link, which is actually bringing a profit... To, to the people who are ripping me off. Wait, he's just so talking about monetization probably, on YouTube. Yeah, he had to have an IT guy explain that to him. <laughs> yeah, the Cox Cable guy came out to fix his cable. He's like, listen, what, is, what do you think this guy gets from... She pops in, gets from... Uh, <laughs> get my, my, risk my, my, my. their <laughs> lives. That's how you know they're on drugs. Because he could kind of hold it together, and then she tries yeah, she to top it, and she's like, "Bah!" <laughs> the people who are supporting the pedophiles, no surprise there. You just need to reset your router. <laughs> off of our film. I want to get on Wi-Fi. What do you think? Do you think they happened. benefit, huh? <laughs> yeah. You want some blow? <laughs> and I'm not just talking a few streams. I'm talking one link. Had 500,000 views before we finally got it taken down after multiple copyright strikes. Do you know what 500,000 views dollars would do to me? To? I mean, yeah. views. If those were purchase tickets, do well, you see, know but what he's we an idiot because he thinks all money? of them would have bought it yeah, and, and, and chose no to way. watch this instead. But really, it's like no one wanted to pay you, so they watched this. Well, plus. 
he's making himself sound like a greedy asshole because he's like, do you understand how much money I would have made yeah. well, if that many people bought dude, the $20 It's tickets? classic Feldman. He's yeah. completely ignorant to it. Like he's, it's, he's so yeah. unself-aware. He has no idea yeah. how dumb he sounds all the time. She's like that dumb bitch that was doing the math of Bloomberg giving everyone a million. She's like, did you <laughs> yeah. know? Because she's telling this to him. She's like, wait a minute. If we do 500,000 times 20... <laughs> we could give we everyone in America a like million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars. Are you serious? Stay alive. I'm getting on Twitter right now. People risk their lives. <laughs> 215 people need to hear about I, this. We need the timestamp. I, I need, need that one. Yeah. <laughs> She's almost making a normal point that she goes, yeah. <laughs> Twenty million dollars. That's Throw what your that face is. That's the twenty fat. million dollars from one stream, from one link. You know how much money. blow that is? <laughs> like we could have like donated so he has much. Never money cried to about Corey Hayes. See, see, he figured it out we halfway through the season. Yeah. Like, so oh, many. we could have uh, uh, donated yeah, so much no money. Way. There's no way he would have donated that money. Victims. And I don't want to say you brought God's wrath housing. upon the country. Created, <laughs> Dude, just uh, watch her. You might have brought God's wrath. Watch her the whole time. It's like she's about to doze off. Do you know the She's white girl from White Girls Like the Party. With that money, people. <laughs> and people walk away watching these. You players. know how they always try to. <laughs> He's always yelling about money <laughs> when he cut to five minutes into this video. <laughs> <laughs> you know the money. You know how the phrase that like, there's this, there's always someone out there for everyone. It's like this, they found their soulmates. Like they're Us? perfect for each other. Dreams going. Oh well, I supported the cause by watching it for free. No, you didn't. You supported the bad guys. That's the what wolf you pack. did. You got tricked. The wolf pack uploaded my movie in guys. full. They stole our movie. They hacked our movie. And then they profited <laughs> from the movie. That is the disgustingness of what we're dealing with right now. And you know what? The worst part of it is... What's the worst part of it, Corey? I don't even care <laughs> that much. <laughs> He's doing a troll. Because we have He's doing like the <laughs> anti-troll yeah. move where you know, you're like, so I don't, I don't even know care. it's so dumb. Is I don't even care about this. That doesn't even matter. I'm not even mad. You didn't think I gave a shit about Corey Haim. He was a Bigger sex pervert. problems in the world right now. <laughs> I have to worry about the health and safety of my friends and family. And most importantly, my, my child. I have to make sure. We're, I mean, come on. We're in a place in the world right now where we don't know where the next dollar is coming from. We don't uh, know where the is. next More money is coming from. And that's you and me both. That's all of us. Oh, we're all in this together. Yeah, I'm We've like got you, got like you know, waiter that got laid off. <laughs> I'm just trying to make money off my dead friend. We're finally getting paid more than Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Although we might have number been one, but we also Corey have to look while. out for each other. We have to stop this. How many cameos madness do you think he has that are like coronavirus going on in the cameos? World. <laughs> because hey if we don't find love now in this same shirt, <laughs> if we don't find a way out of this, a way to learn how to be compassionate and caring and giving to one another, then we are truly lost as a race. He doesn't even have a goal. He's just no, talking. Yeah. He's just so mad. He really Do you thinks, guys feel me? He really thinks he, he's <laughs> missing 20 million. He thinks he's owed $20 million. He really someone. thinks that 500,000 people were about to buy his movie, and then instead they're like, oh, what? This link. Better yeah, click that first. Oh, oh what? It's free? Okay. Oh, wow. I would have paid for uh, this. He's, he's got the $20 bill in his hands. Like, I'll put it back in my oh, pocket. Fuck. <laughs> Do you feel me? Do you feel what I'm saying to you? <laughs> feel me? I'm so fucked up. Man. Keep in mind, he has 200 people watching this right now that's it he's got like he's got a, 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 a few more people than we normally have i gave this selflessly i didn't i i bullshit i gave everything so that i could keep my promise no no you didn't so that i could do what i promised you I guys cut I, my hair. I, I delivered that truth i delivered that movie and i'm a grateful truth. that a lot of you have gotten to see it and i'm grateful beyond grateful that many of you did it the right way. Yeah, but what he doesn't understand right is he said, hey, fund this movie so I can make it and then show it to you. Well, yeah. He didn't say fund this movie so I can make it and then make you pay for it. No. Because in theory, it should have already been paid for by the hundred campaigns the funding, you yeah. made. Well, and doing it the right way meant that A, you didn't see it the day it came out. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. B, he just streamed it all day like it was a pay-per-view movie on one day. He's just like, ah, noon. <laughs> well, and the all, the other thing to remind ourselves, because remember, like, because we watched it, we saw how it played out with like the interviews and the basic plot of it was how 
you know, uh, there was that his enemy fat, Corey Haim guy. got fucked. <laughs> yeah, it, it, but remember the initial pitch was that it was going to be a blockbuster film that it was yeah. going to be it was going to be an actual movie that he thought was going to play like coast to coast, and that turned into like a, a documentary. Yeah. Like, how does that translate? And there's people out there who've been very petty, demanding their twenty dollars because I scammed them. Right, that's the the rumor. Because we scammed them. First, it was the rumor that the movie didn't exist. Then we proved oh, that the movie existed. <laughs> it didn't. You know? Then the next rumor was it was all a scam because there was no new information in the movie. Well, anybody who saw the movie knows that's definitely not the truth. What was new? Okay. Charlie there was Sheen? plenty of new information. Nothing really. And valid <laughs> information. Kids, in the too, movie. baby. <laughs> important. Oh, yeah. Very, License to Fly. That was new. Yeah, that was in new. That movie. Very important. And everybody should see the film. Don't get me wrong. Not everybody should see it, but not for free. Yeah, no, film, not but for I free. also want the people that worked on the film to get paid for their time. That's the whole point of funding I've it. Got yeah. You fund it so that you can make it. You don't pay them after. That are trying yeah, to why did you have a hundred campaigns if you family, didn't pay anybody? We'll see how the streams go, and then we'll pay you. <laughs> and they were promised money that was supposed to come from the sales of those those tickets. Yeah, we'll hit you on the back end. And then the movie gets hacked, and then people demand their money back. Acting like it's our fault. First of all, let me make this very clear. We ran the movie for a week. We gave everybody ample time to see it. And it's not our fault that the first two screenings that were supposed to happen did not happen as planned. That's called an act of God. Okay? God is the wolf well, pack. Number one, it's not an act of God. But number two, I do agree <laughs> that he streamed it for a week. So I don't think he owes it. If you paid him... You had a chance to see the movie. Yeah, well, I'll fair. give you that. Num number four, too. Would you kiss Corey right there? <laughs> Look at him. It's the nicest <laughs> he's ever looked. He looks like a gecko. <laughs> he looks like uh, with like in a cartoon. Sometimes the characters in the background they barely draw them. This <laughs> picture like, looks <laughs> like when a guy and his girlfriend <laughs> do a face swap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she has a man's Holy face. Holy shit! Oh my god, Jim! What the fuck? You just fucking broke me. He would be a much handsomer man oh. if he had her face. And she would be not a better looking girl. Because both of their faces are like, uh, they're kind of out of balance as well, like with their oh heads. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> I think that's giving it a little more credit than it deserves because we all know that whoever was behind that was certainly not accent? acting in the name of God. Mm -hmm. The people that you chose brought up to act hack of our God. film yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and froze our account staring into my soul as it happened live were certainly not acting in the name of God. How did Creation never become one of his angels? Do you think Creation was going to be an angel? Was, was Creation one of his angels? It's called a no, but why wasn't she? Oh, or she or, got pregnant. Okay, Everyone started hating her. Who's Creation's friend? Oh, Lil Debbie. Debbie. Control, no, not Lil Debbie. The other one, the gangster one. Yeah. Nothing that <laughs> be nasty. Yeah. The one that can say it. the N-word and nobody yeah, stops that's her. That's when you are supposed to have compassion and empathy and say, we will wait and see what happens next. And we made it right. We did our part. We played it for 24 hours straight. So that everybody could see the truth. So that oh no, are there drag race tickets spoilers? I'm sorry, see it. And then I put it up for another week as a video Fixed on it. demand to make sure again that anybody that wasn't available or wasn't convenient for in the first 24 hours was able this, to see it. Do such any a time whiny bitch. The of a week. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, he really is okay. the worst. Now, and he's as dumb as you expected him to be. Who may not have had a chance to see it that did buy tickets. And even though I know there's a few more complaining than than the truth, I got that this was an hour ago. It, is this fucked up? <laughs> there still are yeah, those who yeah. really this is not like a, a from a while ago that wanted to that bought tickets. He's just now I dressing this. Times dude. And so did my friends. God bless you. Well, hopefully you, you you saw it on one of the ones you paid for, and not on the free link. We. No one said you could watch it twenty times. He's so or with transparent. Your friends. He really, he just can't help himself. And who lets this guy talk? We are working Again? on a way to make well, it the, available. The, the great thing about him is he doesn't have money to pay anyone yeah. else. So. He has no one stopping him. Well, plus he's that unself-aware where he'd be like, "Why would I pay you? You know, I know this business. I've been in this business since I was uh, five years old, or whatever." Yeah, he really just lacks an, an, uh, yeah, a, and a, and a profound amount of self-awareness. And I guarantee, if you cut to like let's face, thirty-six minutes, and he's still talking about this. <laughs> and one same thing we know for sure: I don't. You saw the little Google trends thing that I just posted, but 
I just found that out myself. I didn't realize we had 500,000 inquiries the day the movie was released on March 9th. There was 500,000 inquiries on Google, About which means a lot of people in? wanted to see this movie. A lot of people were yeah, trying for free. to see this movie. No, you said 500,000 people, people watched, watched on YouTube. What are you talking about? No, he's trying to say he got all these hits. And I'm sure, but I'm sure a lot of people were just Googling, like, yeah, because it wasn't working. So they're like, Corey Feldman doc, like making sure they Or they, they the were right Googling thing. Corey Feldman doc or, free. <laughs> I mean, the others, yeah, people probably were just interested to see, like, not to watch it, but like, oh, he's supposed to screen it. I wonder what's the information. Yeah. I'm going to read about it or whatever. So they wouldn't be watching it for free on YouTube days later. They would be watching it the way it was meant to be seen with the rest of us. Had we At a not poor bit had, rate <laughs> with breaks every five had minutes. Had not interrupted the programming because they fear this truth so much. They fear the word of God. Oh, and no. the word of God comes through truth, through love, through hope, through the lessons that we tried to teach during the film. What? God is Lessons. definitely in this yeah, project shit on your friends. he was led by God. <laughs> That's why I did it. He's the opposite of us. We're, he, the, we're the power of friendship. He's the, the opposite of that. Has he done the, his weird, this weird religious thing before? Every now and then. Yeah. And, and that's why I have to do the milk challenge. my life was going to be <laughs> taken from me. If you watched the movie, then you know the story. <laughs> they almost got me twice. And I'm still we here. We heard your lie. Because God chose to save me. So that I could finish the film and wow. get the truth out. Yeah. He sounds like a, a true lunatic. So take it yeah, up with like, God if you have a problem with me. Hold on, I just I, I, I was gonna skip ahead, but I'm just trying to reformat it here. Oh man, he is crazy. He tra he sounds like a, an evangelist like level of crazy. Oh yeah, he's a nutbag. Uh, but I want to first. I think it was around like six around minutes of a lie <laughs> on YouTube, and they tell people. That they're Peter Pan. Was it before they tell this? They that after I'm the bad guy true. because I'm price gouging. I think it's because after. I'm trying to make money and profiteer off of my friend's misery. That's the lie. While they stream it, they stream our movie that people worked for, that it's people were supposed to be <laughs> paid for, for and risked their lives for. For. Just cross eyes. That makes them money. Let's yeah. Let's skip ahead like towards like what twenty minutes? Because how does this go on? We made it like fifteen else minutes any in. Peril. And um, and we hope that we are able to return to America safely one day. Wait, is he saying he's leaving the right country? Right now, we're not. Yeah, where is he? You think? And we don't know what's going to happen. But we're trying to be as selfless as we can right now. He's in Michigan. He thinks that's not because in America. Because the world needs strength. <laughs> He's in Canada. The world needs love. The world needs compassion. The world needs better security for live streams. And I am praying for all of us right now. Isn't he just at his house? for all of us. That looks like his house. For yeah, every it's a, loving, it's a B Airbnb. <laughs> beautiful soul on this planet that we learn to love and appreciate one another. Is he going to cry? No, he's trying to fake and cry. most importantly... That's fucking super fake. That we learn to love and appreciate our children and that we protect our children with everything that we've got. Look at him pretending to be uh, emotional and then look at her in the background like... Bleh. He's going for it. <sighs> I'm very sensitive about this right now because I don't have my child with me. It was taken away. He and ran away. He sad. said, I'm crazy. He doesn't <laughs> want to be a part of the family anymore. Um, I mean, his kid's like 17. He's the most he important thing in my him. life. Aside from my wife, of course, who's with me here. Ah. The music. <laughs> he has money. But she feels my pain. And she also feels the love and the compassion in my heart. There's 20 more in minutes in this video. For what all the of the hurting souls right now. All the fear. Oh, I'm sorry. Seven, that's counting down. I thought <sighs> it was. So we 17 We need minutes. each other. We all need each other. We can't make this through this. We can't make it through this as, as a we race, can't as, make a being, as a being, as a, as a, because that's what they want. They want confusion. They want to sow confusion. But we will, we will get through this as we'll a race. We will ride again. 
Not all of us, obviously. Many of us are dying right now. <laughs> he did the thing he always does. <laughs> many He's so dumb. He's so literal and stupid. <laughs> but you know what? We're all going to die. So yeah, that's life. We can't it's like the thing he does on the camera. Death. I was like, yeah, I want to wish you happy birthday. I mean, we I don't know you. <laughs> Someone paid me money to say this. You know, but hey, happy birthday. <laughs> embrace the fact that it will happen. And all that we can pray for is that God is merciful. Merciful. Because I do believe that um I feel like his wife's looking directly at me <laughs> looking through you something about I wish we could give you hugs I wish we could hug you both too oh, yeah know. but I think that's in a way where like he yeah. reaches around and like pulls your wallet out while he's hugging learn. you that way that's the kind of like, <laughs> I wish to find I could the hug peace everyone. within our hearts you want to party with me I want to party with you we can comfort one another physically we can comfort one another spiritually and emotionally, yeah. like we are all connected. Yeah. We don't yeah, have to physically totally. touch to feel that connection. Oh my God, shut up. Like everybody that I've ever borrowed from before I died. And I still believe that, you know, I can make that happen. And I believe that everybody should have a right to make things equal before they die. Is he saying he has to that's a lot what of people about, money? Right? Now he has to die. He now he has to drink it's like leaving fighting Las for Vegas. what you believe in. He thinks he's very profound. Yeah, he thinks he's like doing something important. Amen. Amen. Was she praying? She was answering the question of, "Hey, Who are what gender are you?" Making these Twitter <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, a man." What? Um, I don't really see that, but there's a lot of strange girls making Twitter chat about awful things about me and awful things about Courtney and awful things oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've heard it. Trust well, me, we've heard not it. Enough. We've heard it all. We've seen it all. They will continue to lie. They will continue their blasphemous ways as they protect these disgusting, filthy, evil people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch the movie if you don't understand. I feel like he doesn't have any intent. When you see things like articles, says, he literally is going word at a time. Yeah, it's like that game where everyone says a word like in order to form a sentence. That's what all his sentences sound like. He doesn't know where he's going. Uh, well, the modus operandi is... Oh, the great. Beating. She's she's coming in. What's she have to say? Look how annoyed he is. He's like, fuck. <laughs> Shut to let her talk. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Let the Courtney fuck her talk. <laughs> Shit, did I lose it? Eaten by dogs, by the way. Whoa, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the Wait, fuck? What a minute. She's what something about getting eaten that? by dogs? What was that one? It's probably a threat someone told her. Like, I hope you get eaten by dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like something I'd say. Oh, hey, Courtney, I hope you get um, eaten by dogs. I don't know about all that. According to the I Bible. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's Jezebel. She's, 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 she's the Bible thumper. Sorry. The Jezebel gets Look at him. He's embarrassed. He's so annoyed. I'm just, I'm just talking myself. on more of a spiritual plane. Yeah. Dude, he fucking hates when she talks. Hold on. What's she going to say? I think we're covering the bases because I think we all know what we're talking about. And you know, they'll uh, probably yeah, might already happen. So, yeah, she's going with the eaten by dogs from my Bible. mind, and we're crazy because that's what they do. Yep. Uh, yep. Well, the <laughs> modus operandi is to discredit and defame. So, you're really easy to discredit. You have no <laughs> Thanks. Really we easy to laugh, defame as well. <laughs> yep. What else can you do? Well, eaten by crying. dogs, I guess. I know I've been doing a lot of crying. <laughs> doing a lot of both. But I'm trying you to. You know, I've been doing a lot of crying lately. My positive outlook. And I know that in the end, I don't have to keep a positive outlook because God wins every time. Oh, stop. That yes. I know. No matter how ugly it gets, Yahweh. Satan is louder than the Holy Spirit. Who said that on my feed? No, Locked. no, 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 no. There is no such thing. Silly, silly boy. This guy's clean, <laughs> dude. He doesn't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Satan is louder than the Holy oh, Spirit. Satan. Have what you ever heard mean? such blasphemy in your life? What does that even He really mean? does sound like when Blue's ready to do his fucking... Anyway. His, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. He's all K2 and shit. That beginning of that blue video is terrifying. The point is, God has my back. That's how I uh, yeah. you see somebody said, you're so positive, I don't know how you do it. And then the next person says, God has your back. Well, duh. 
That's how I do it. Duh. All right, idiot. Why are you uh, even watching you? When there was right, only one back. set of footprints, it was just his. He was carrying me. <laughs> you doi. just have to believe well, it. Well, does a classic doi. Corey Feldman You just have song. to believe it. Oh, yeah. It was divine Duh. faith. How did we get here? How did we get the movie out in the first place? Because of God. Look what we were up against. All that Look free at all money. The obstruction. <laughs> they barely had new footage. No expense <laughs> to shut that thing down. Mm-hmm. Right? Truly, mm-hmm. truly. They were two hours. Up. Truly, to dog. Shut down. <laughs> yeah. And God found a way. Ugh. Was this your final a attempt? A GoDaddy to website cash in a PayPal. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> you are evil. Right there. Was that Jeff? Wherever you Jeff? are. What do you say? Yeah. You're evil. Because, is this, st- someone said, is this your final attempt to cash in on Ames, Ames name? And this makes them quit. <laughs> this is the twisted. last 30 seconds. Anybody who's using 666 to represent themselves, I'm sorry. Right. There you go. Is so my name Hojo666? Six, 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 <laughs> just ask me if I was done cashing in on my best friend. See Never. what I'm talking about? See how it goes? Demon. You don't have to tell him to. <laughs> loses audio <laughs> and therefore yeah shit just crashed he got cursed <laughs> and therefore uh, and therefore uh, <laughs> he got cursed don't worry she, I'm sure he came back into that we were hacked <laughs> cuts back to him he's sticking his hand in a blender <laughs> ah! what was that movie Friends oh yeah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah if, uh, friend I, in, uh, watch friend the movie invited or something. if you don't understand when you see things like articles written, I just want to hear her. People dog, interviewing Marty uh, Weiss. She's Jezebel. Giving him the time of day when he's a convicted pedophile and actually listening to what he has to say, whether he might be telling the truth or oh, not. Also, the pedophiles get eaten by dogs? Really? Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> absolutely disgusting. It's disgusting. It's a convicted pedophile. What do you think? He changed his ways since the last time he was in jail? No, these people don't change. When you do the work of Satan, as it were, <laughs> it doesn't change. Yeah, he's on Twitter. I hope he's watching right now because he's going to burn. I'm just going to burn. She says, he's dog. And so is everybody. So is everybody. That doesn't want to wake up. Yeah, and accept yep. the Lord. Spirit of Jezebel truth. for sure. Yes. Uh, anybody that has read that story in the Bible understands what that means. She gets eaten by dogs. <sighs> yeah, he's he's annoyed. He's like, I don't know. He's what that so means. annoyed, dude. Anytime <laughs> she talks, he's annoyed because well, he doesn't well, know the story, but he doesn't <laughs> want to explain. He doesn't want to out himself. Well, especially yeah, the fact that she has to chime in with her spirited Jezebel. Eh, whatever. Jezebel yeah. was oh, eaten dude. by dogs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know? He's like, mm. um, I don't know about all that. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> she's if you a, believe she's, that, she's the Bible thumper. Sorry, just for the not, record, you know, trying to tell Bro, you were just talking about how it's I'm God's just, will. I'm just not talking myself. on more of a spiritual plane. Yeah. She's talking God more could be on like a biblical leaf. plane. Yeah, yeah, he means just spiritually. Yeah, he's a fucking moron, and he's so embarrassed by his <laughs> dumb wife. She thinks the Bible's literal. I think God's more <laughs> like a force. Yeah. He d- he wants to tell her like, hey, you're not allowed to talk, but he knows he can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't look good. Well, because she already set the precedence of if you don't know the story, you don't know much about the Bible, and he doesn't know the story. Yeah, so he doesn't like, know. I don't know about all that. She's the Bible thumper. Uh, God's <laughs> like a spirit. <laughs> yeah, God helped me make this movie, but she's the Bible thumper. Uh, anyways, she has her own Twitter. She could do her own video. I I'm imagine. just saying, <laughs> I like the Bible. Biblical I'm check sense. this is uh, my Twitter, but okay. I would love a. Like a YouTube channel that's just her, like, okay, so we're reading <laughs> Revelation yeah. 2. Like two. Re- and the then the first trumpet. Trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> the first trumpet, oh, it happened. It's World War One. <laughs> what do you think the other trumpets are? <laughs> One World third War of the grass in the world. World War II happened again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! That's a part one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, we'll be back. Play us out. You told me right away 
A secret that I never could forget My heart just sank When I felt your pain You asked me not to tell a soul So I locked it deep away Corey's the opposite of a thick. I was um, saying earlier when Jim pulled this up, he looks like Caesar the dog. <laughs> yeah, he does. He looks like my dog. He does look like your dog. Because he's got like a grin. He's got like a kind of smirk. Yeah. He's got like a smirk on his face. He has a whole Caesar face. <laughs> yeah. Caesar always looks like he just got caught doing something bad. <laughs> like, But not so bad. Just like eating cookies when he's uh, sleeping. <laughs> um. So yeah, we haven't watched this, but I I, I assume it's something about the Wolf Pack. Probably something about Jim Corona. And really killed like his hype, huh? Yeah. Oh, totally. But but you know, to him, it's that's the extra conspiracies. The, that corona the power of the Wolf yeah. Pack literally infected the world with Corona, and it ties in with the whole thing about how it being a cover up to arrest pedophiles. I guess. Oh yeah, he would buy into that. Yep. <laughs> the chat says it looked like A to B. <laughs> 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 Hi everyone. I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to join on. His lips really fell off. He's been sucking yeah. dick over, over. Kill. Yeah, I mean, like Hello. staying at home. He went from dick. no he lips to like it's one. like puckering up into his mouth, like he ate some sour candy. <laughs> Corey, it's Mike. Did you eat sour candy? Sorry, I just had the whole bag of warheads. <laughs> He's got a, a butt cheek mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 
Christina Loet is second. Taylor John Styles, Spinder Veta, all sorts of folks joining on. Wow, 38 others. That was fast. Hi, everybody. Not, it's not very much. That's, I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, like the baby has like two million in like two seconds. Yeah, because I that's like uh, Jim and them like on a slow night. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and he's like, oh wow, Ooh. <laughs> like right now we have like sixty. <laughs> looky, looky, I got cookie. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'd like to say that I was um, doing better, but I'm really emotional right now. Oh no. Um, I've had a really hard day. Do you think if he actually, <laughs> I was about to cry. I don't, if he legit <laughs> cries, will you start to feel bad for him? Like, do you think uh, I'm already <laughs> laughing? It hasn't even happened yeah. yet. Like, him like, starting to cry makes me ramp up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll be getting fucking excited. But I'm just saying, like, I thought it was gonna be a fake cry thing, but this looks like yeah. You're I, so I mean, do you think cry. it's gonna be a real? It one? It seems like you might really cry. Well, to to be to be fair though, to Corey Feldman, I <laughs> don't mean, do that. He really was. Like the coronavirus really came at such a perfect time to completely dash any plans that he it, had. It is I mean, it obviously, hard. it obviously fucked up a lot of things, but <laughs> it was, you know, coronavirus was obviously already a thing. People were already talking about it, but his movie, well, it got fucked up on that Monday. It premiered on Tuesday. And then by Thursday, all the news was about coronavirus because like NBA canceled. Uh, and that next Tom week, Tom Hanks yeah. announced it was all within movie days. theaters were shut. Too. Yes, <laughs> yes, theaters were shut down, and he was just—he was a small blip. He got a little attention because his movie got fucked up or hacked, and then it finally premiered. Got a little Charlie Sheen headlines. Then it was game over. And I've had a really hard week. Um, no, do you think his wife <laughs> left him? Oh shit, she's not there. I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys. But she comes in. We'll save it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> really a rough week. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding a Bible. <laughs> That's like a children's Bible with pictures and shit. <laughs> I've been trying to reel her in all week. It's been really rough oh, for me. It's a hard week. It's really hard, you guys. It's a bad day. Uh, my, uh, my girl smoked all my weed. <laughs> now she's talking in slow motion. <laughs> weed. <laughs> Smoking weed. My girl ate all my goofballs. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no more goofballs. My what? quaaludes from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> because... In the chat, she left him for Doc Eyes. <laughs> um, I've been enduring just endless, endless Eaters. attacks. <laughs> oh, he's always gonna. Just oh endless, no, this is a great least. angle. Everyone's been ignoring him, so yes. he's gonna lie and he's say that people have been raw. refusing to ignore him because suddenly no one has anything better to do with their life than just than attack just him attack and him. Yeah. And Sawed it's his not, leg off. Oh, that's a... Oh, Corey's a genius. Somebody stole my leg. <laughs> Where's my leg? And, um, First Tiger King, then Corona? I gotta tell you guys that it's... This isn't a job anybody wants. <laughs> no, I mean, I you're right. It. I don't want to do this. I don't want it. I really don't. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I want to quit. I'm a widow baby. I want to up so bad. I'm, a, I'm Corey Feldman. If you guys understood what it was like to be a, a champion survivor for children of the abuse that I've been through in my life, from being badly beaten as a child. He was gonna say molested, but he's like, oh, I can't, yeah. I can't admit that. A child, be a friend with a sex fed pattern. drugs <laughs> by these abusers, who my parents introduced me to. And I have a best friend who you love dearly, who suffered the same abuse. And, um, and then you lose him. And when? You, when was that? Yesterday? Yeah, well, was no, no, it was uh, 14 years yeah, ago. Recently? Uh, how long ago was that? <laughs> you know, it's your friend because he you promised you would. You promised you'd tell his story. It's now and I, I don't... sat on the story for twenty years and released it right before Corona. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> you know, you know, uh, hindsight twenty twenty. <laughs> I think the weird thing is, I think he actually was gonna cry, but then his his dumb 
Corey Feldman marketing brain kicked in. He's like, oh, that's good. No. I'm going to cry. I 100% And he agree. tried to force it, and now he's up. not going to cry anymore. I saw yeah. little bits of real emotion, and they, yeah. came into, they kept coming back, too. But like yeah. he, it seems like he was about to get there, and he, like when now you're trying to force trying a sneeze, to, and you're like, yeah. ah, I can't. I'm not Now there. he's trying to lean into it, and he's, he ruined it. He's he whipping. Just, he would have just cried. And I did all of this, everything that I've dedicated the last three years of my life to... My life is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> because he's going to be at the gathering. <laughs> I believed that there was enough good people in this world. Oh, so now it's difference. our fault. Yeah, we didn't give him enough money. <laughs> we didn't like his documentary. <laughs> he heard everyone's getting their stimulus the other day. He's like, time to go on live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I can't believe he hasn't tried. To do that? Oh well, I mean, give yes. it give it thirty eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, you never know. We got a we got a long time. I uh, just in general, like the idea that he didn't launch a website that's like, hey, I'm selling my dock now. Yeah, and you guess what? Sti- everyone's got their stimulus yeah, money. I know you got that stimulus money, so like, it should be real easy, right? This is a drop in the bucket. Yeah, it's just a little piece, just a little taste. It's like PB and J Otter. Even I must wet my beak. <laughs> <laughs> what beak? Everyone <laughs> said. Being brutally attacked. Oh, this is so <laughs> fake. Everywhere. <laughs> Why are you doing trade? Oh, Everywhere I turn. Jim, I'm so I go sad. on Twitter. Jim, make a Jim, post. I have a good question. I go here on Instagram. It's I'm become so a war sad. here. I used to love being on Instagram because we didn't have any of these wolf pack people. Uh, they weren't pack, interrupting pack, every single post that I write. If someone told me this is one of those Snapchat face With like lies. masks, you know when people do like, a, yes. I'm the president, they yeah. put the president's Comment face on him. I'd be like, oh yeah, that is so. That's a good Corey that do it. <laughs> he looks like that pastor. Right yeah, he's Corey, but deep and fake. I would have to be online. <laughs> I guess Corey himself is relatively deep fake. <laughs> to answer Wait till you see smooth Corey. every question, like somebody <laughs> says, oh, where can I see the movie? And it's an innocent question, or when can I see the movie? And then all of a sudden, it's save your money. Twenty dollars. It's a waste of money. I can tell you who the bad guys are, and then listing Spoilers. the names. Spoilers. Do you think I give a crap? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Okay, about we've it. said the names. I said the names for a decade. No, you, no, no, you no. didn't. No, 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 no. You can't say I that wrote when it. the whole point yeah. of the movie was to name the names. Exactly. You said from day one the whole point of the movie is and to then, name and then these names. He needed protection because he couldn't name the names until he got uh, enough money. He's so dumb and ugly. A decade before the book was written, <laughs> I told him untalented. The police, yeah, this yeah, he can't <laughs> sing <laughs> and annoying. And then I wrote yeah, my he's book. He's dancing. <laughs> The publishers made me change the names. Do we understand no lip. this yet? The publishers uh, made me change the names because of their lawyers. Well, then you haven't been saying the names yeah. forever. Then Wait, I make a he movie. can't even like. I mean, yeah. implying. You can't go five that seconds the without lying. Said you've got to rewrite the script. Can't tell the truth. So I did everything I could to keep my word. And it still wasn't working. The truth wasn't coming out. So I gave up everything. I was on a successful tour. No, you weren't. I did not need this. He didn't give up anything. He's in a house right now. I have less than that. Yeah. (laughs) And guess what, folks? If I did it for money, then I failed. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you did. (laughs) Finally, we're on the same page, Corey. I'm in debt right now. $600,000 from this film. Wait, how much did he raise? Because I borrowed the we money. Looked, we looked it up a few times. He made. He definitely made at least a cool three hundred plus thousand on one of his Indiegogos. Uh, I remember. And then it was like it sixty, up. and then, then he 50. had like a sixty. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Because then didn't he? Do, he did like a GoFundMe, or then like an Indiegogo. I refuse to believe his documentary cost more than four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, no, no fucking way. He didn't do like it he was all people that he was friends <laughs> with. Um. Okay, well, no, all right. He has one here. It was two hundred seventy-three thousand. He tried to get a million-dollar goal because um, <laughs> this is, I think, when he was going to make a blockbuster version of the movie. Like it was supposed to be an actual studio movie. Yeah, because he's like a true Hollywood blockbuster. They're spending thirty-five million on average. Wow. We're asking for much, much less. He's asking for a million. He wanted The um, Rock to play himself because then he had <laughs> Truth <laughs> Campaign. <laughs> Truth Campaign Part Two. Made six thousand. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wrote like twenty seven. Dude, that's embarrassing. Out of a million, um, six thousand. 
That is so bad. You got to feel like, like even a man like him with zero shame has to feel a little bit of shame. I, I, this one was completely separate, but then he did the elevated to Ascension, the Feld fan fam fundraiser. <laughs> wow, this, why didn't that one take <laughs> That <off>? made fourteen <laughs> nine. But I mean, still, that's, that's a nice chunk of change. Yeah, for me, uh, but not for Corey <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> but I mean, just for some pocket money. Like, he's not really spending it on an album or anything. That's true. Uh, do we have... <laughs> Did he have another one too? Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> he had like <laughs> six more, probably. But yeah, I mean, at the very least, yeah, he made close to three hundred thousand. Because I think he also had like a fucking GoFundMe. He had like an Indiegogo and a GoFundMe. Plus, who knows? He's he's definitely pocketing some money on that fucking cameo that he does. Yeah, he made another forty grand on GoFundMe on top of Indiegogo. So, anyways, he's made, he's pulling some dough to finish it. And then it was hacked and stolen and duplicated by a very well organized group of people. Just random trolls. And I'm not talking about the wolf pack. That's what they call themselves. Talking about Jim and but those them. are just yeah. the talking about peons. Jim and them. Those are the sheep. The peons the I will never that shut up about. Brainwashed and indoctrinated. And you're eligible too, by the way. And I don't mean to insult anybody, but just so you know. Anybody on here that tries to defend me or tries to say hi or just be passive, they're going to attack you. Don't say hi and to as Corey. I've watched over and <laughs> ah, over ah. and over with some of my dearest followers, people that I thought I like cared about and I thought cared about me, I have watched these people from a few little sentences turn on me, betray me, and start working aggressively to destroy my life because you know what that was that was just someone that came in that's like hey man big fan but they're just fucking with them the whole time <laughs> yeah that was like if jeff was like hey dude i love you wait what what is this guy saying is that true i hate you yeah or well, just like hey big fan love the mu-. like how he made us a cameo that's like yeah. you guys love the music and we're like yeah we love the music and he's like oh thanks Idiot. We're like, fuck you <laughs> asshole oh my Moron. god the wolfpack I, got them <laughs> i cared about jim and them jim and them's a turn by the wolfpack i made them Cold. a video they paid for <laughs> The brainwashing and manipulation, that's how they work. There's a story I beg anybody watching to read that is posted right now on the top of my timeline on Twitter. At Corey underscore Arctic locker Feldman. room of goons. It is by a woman who is a journalist, who is a, a supporter of mine, who is following my story, and she was approached by one of their team members, a fellow former actor... A child star, a former child star who never you became want to say a star. Former actor, because he might have more roles coming. And yeah. had a complex <laughs> and was secretly jealous of me, and I didn't know it. And I allowed this man in my life. I treated him like a friend. I treated him like family. He was with me and Haim all the time. And then Haim heard that he was talking crap about me while he was alive. While he was and he took him, him and he threw him up against the wall in an alley. And he said, if you ever speak that way about no. my best friend again, no. I will put your head through this wall. That never happened. <laughs> he picked him up and threw him. And he him. said, oh, no, no, no. I thought, you, you got it all wrong. I would never say anything about that. A lot of people don't know Haim. That person's name strength. is Scotty Schwartz. Let's call it what it is. Scotty Schwartz? Scott Ooh. Schwartz. You know the little kid from the toy? He went into porn. What? That <laughs> person Wait contacted... The According kid the allegedly, on him? but he's also if this was going back to when Haim was alive, this is some dude that talks shit about him. What in two thousand nine or two thousand eight or something? Yeah, shit? why does this even matter yeah, right now? He's still don't forget, bro. He's still stewing over it. The kid from the toy <laughs> contacted a woman who was this reporter. Because people don't say they're his friend ever. So someone said minutes, he was his friend. He's like, my best friend. <laughs> telling her all these terrible things yeah, By default, me. by being his friend, you become his best John friend. <laughs> that drip. It's like when you're and friendly to a retarded person. And then she tells the story about really how they induced her. Like, no, no, I mean. By like, getting her to follow down the rabbit like, hole <laughs> of bullshit. Of lies. They make screenshots. They make memes. They take old bits of conversations. How many of you here have seen me hit on a 15-year-old? How many? 
Wait a minute. I have. You know what happens? I have 15-year-old fans, and I talk to them because I love oh, my fans. Oh, no. Oh, no, he got caught. And I will continue. <laughs> Is he jumping ahead of something here? I love my fans. But if somebody tries to be in personal contact with me, like they want to come see me or they want to hang out or anything like that, I ask them how old they are. Wait, <laughs> out of curiosity, and just to find, play devil's advocate. And if they're 18, they're my wife. <laughs> he hung out with Michael Jackson all the time when he was a little kid. Yeah. And claimed nothing happened. Yep. So why would he care if him, a person that can be trusted, hung out with a fan that was young? Because, dude, it feels like he, like someone's going to share something. What? Him being a weirdo in a DM, and he's trying to get ahead of it or yeah. something. That's what it feels like. It's just weird that he's like saying, like, I'd never do that thing that I was allowed to do yeah. and said it was no problem. find out somebody is under 18, I say, I'm sorry. I cannot allow that. Because that's the responsible thing to do oh, when yeah. you're he an adult. Oh, yeah, throwing Michael Jackson under the bus well, here. Well, also, yeah, 18 shouldn't matter okay. unless you're trying to date your fans. I love seeing my fans out at events. I love signing their autographs. I even love giving them personal advice when they need it. Do you oh, know how many no, no. little kids advice. contact me and say, my mom is abusing me, my dad is abusing me? How old I are you? I go to school <laughs> and I get abused. They reach out to me. And do you think I'm going to ignore them? I'm not. I'm going to be Unless a support group under for them in any way that I can. They say Franklin, Franklin the turtle, and they help. take those conversations <laughs> I out of I'm context with one little line where I'm saying, oh, you're 17, I bet. Or you're 16, I bet. And they go, yeah. And then they cut that out. And they go, see? He talks to little kids. <laughs> They're like, that's, oh, apparently, I'm 17, and you're, I'm like, ha! It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, apparently there are these screen grabs out there that oh, we didn't even man. know about. When's that happening? <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Yeah. Wait, Appreciate it, bro. I Corey Feldman right now <laughs> in, in news. Underage These are caps. the pedophiles. That's who they are. Okay, look it up. You are Do the pedophile. research on how they operate. Or better yet, just go read that post that's on my Twitter feed right now. No. <laughs> and it, in great detail, expresses how this woman was brainwashed by these people and how she got so brainwashed that she called me a rapist in public, wrote a story. And then she realized after six months that there was no evidence. This is like me there going online no truth and talking story. about like, my own but drama, but drama. acting like it, it matters yeah. on, in like a, a, a global scheme. Like his, his small fry drama does not matter to anyone, said, but he wants to talk what? about it like I it's forget. super important. Oh, shit. He's live right now, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he? Yeah, that's what, ah, Bean, but it's on that's the what gram, Bean right? Smasher said. But especially now, like, especially now when everyone's fucking dealing with a pandemic, he, he even now thinks that it's supposed to be a big deal. Yeah, man. He really thinks he's important. And I let her continue writing about me. And I posted a couple of her recent stories. And my fan base said, how could you forgive somebody who did this to you? And I said, because that's what the, the Lord wants. God is about forgiveness. That's what we're supposed to do. No matter how bad somebody has done you wrong. Do you forgive that if porno guy that you're yelling it. at? Yeah. Do you give the guy And they have the seen the light, then we forgive. So I forgave her. Doesn't mean I trusted her, but I forgave her. I forgave her twice in one night. And oh, because of that forgiveness, oh, she is now finally speaking up and telling her story. Oh. And you need to read that story so you understand the mentality of how these people operate. Yeah, um, what else? What else? Uh, Ten minutes into 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, we'll try crying again. I think I got it. I think I found, the, I think I found it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to even come at you guys he's like this. twisting his balls right now, trying to feel something. <laughs> yeah, he's just like yanking yeah. out hairs. <laughs> uh, Corey Haim was my friend. Corey Haim was my friend. Wait, was he my anymore. friend? I can't remember anymore. You know, uh, when you say a word so much, it doesn't even sound real. Haim? Haim? Um, <laughs> What happened to Haim? That band was huge. He's had a, a warhead in his mouth, but it's got like the sweet on the outside, and it's just, just now getting to the sour. I and he's like, because I a reverse warhead. Yeah, I made this what are you talking about? They have reverse warhead. And they put everything what? out. Yeah. All the evidence. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
all the witnesses together speaking the name of the rapist. And I put together detailed accounts <laughs> that the <laughs> news <laughs> would be talking about it. This is his godfather. <laughs> that they would be reporting on it. And that investigations, real investigations could be started by the feds, by the CIA, by like somebody in right government that might care. Yeah, listen, he thinks he's so you know important. He's like, I released the stock and no Nothing. one cares. They yeah. took my face. That's what's oh. happened. The whole world should matter. Instead, care. <laughs> he's actually I'm Corey Haim. He's been trapped in Corey Haim's face. Oh, man. Forever. Help. I'm being called nightmare. a sham, a shill, a scam artist, a user. Sex god. <laughs> a Best rapist. dancer alive. I've been called that. Like, can you? They call me bitch homie Corey. That would be a great uh, two Corys movie if Kane was still alive, where they they switch bodies, but then one of them just dies. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's oh, stuck. Shit, what do Freaky I do? Freaky Feldman. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I guess spoilers for Louis C.K.'s special, but his closing bit reminded me of like a Jim and Them joke. Really? Because, he, yeah, he was talking about those movies like Freaky Friday. And he's like, I want to do one where this where a teenage son switches spots places with his mom. And then it's just his mom stuck in her teenage son's body. And then the teenage son's just looking at his mom's dick and vagina. And then his father comes home and fucks the shit out of her. <laughs> and then they never switch bodies back. And then the movie ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is very Jim and them. There's these people right now that have come onto my feed and, and every time you make a comment, I'm not even reading, I'm not even reading the comments. Yes, you are. You read everyone. Yeah, he's reading them right now. That's why he's stopping. <laughs> yeah, look at because him. I know. I don't even read this. I'm not Thank you. Some of you Thank are you. out there you supporting too. me. But I just are you 16? <laughs> <laughs> I just picture while he's crying, it's just a stream of retard, retard, retard. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. <laughs> are you a retard? Baba You're a retard. <laughs> Jim Lemsey, <laughs> you retard. Wolfpack, Baba Booey, Wolfpack, Baba Booey. Pee That's on all couch. they do. Pee on why? Why? <laughs> because they're <laughs> changing the story. That's Wolfpack why. Goes, oh, wow. They're changing the conversation. They would rather that you're focused on trying to blame me for charging you for a movie. <laughs> Even though that's what we do. We spend our money showbiz, to baby. make a story <laughs> and we put it out for public consumption and you pay us back. That's how the business works. No, no, no. Works. But you borrowed money you watch from everyone from... to make that movie. So Let's... it's implied that the people that paid for your movie should just see that movie unless you paid your... Like, Plus, if you no use one, your own money. No one asked for a movie. Yeah. We didn't need a fucking movie about you it. You wanted to make the yeah. movie, and then you took everybody's money to make that movie, and then you're like, also pay for the movie. That's how movies work. Plenty of people came out with their stories, and they didn't have to make a fucking movie about it. Free on Netflix? Do you watch movies for free on Amazon? Do you go to the movies for free? No. You wouldn't steal a car, a would you? <laughs> That's how we make our survival. Okay. It's not a sham. It's but that wasn't your intent. Your intent was never, yeah. I want to make this the thing that to we make money. It was, hey, I've got this story the the movie yeah. that you all need to know. By them, they copied the movie while nobody who paid for it could see it. They ran it for free. Jim. They ran it for free. <laughs> Jim. And they tried to say that you're they. it should yeah. be seen by everybody if it's important. They did, they, he did Normally we're them, but this time you're them. <laughs> he did get it taken down. He got our uh, our commentary taken really? down. Really? Did we ever get it back up? Uh, I mean, I did I did the first level, and then the second level, they wanted all my personal information. I was like, meh. <laughs> I'm surprised. Because oh, yeah, yeah, we we'll talk over the whole thing, and it's all cut up and Usually, stuff. Usually I just still fight it, because no one's going to really take you to court. And but I, Corey Feldman, I almost wait. But shit, wouldn't that be great if Corey Feldman took us to court? It would be great. It, but though. then if he like just tech, took me personally to court, you know, sure. I don't. For my name, I got nothing to lose. All right. <laughs> well, we, what if what if we put all the uh, court fees on black? And yeah, we, we could it? do that. Oh shit, we could put. Uh, let's find a listener who's w willing to put his information up. Well, I'll see if I'll see how these ICP ones go. Because uh, ICP took me to the second level too, and I was like, "No, fuck you, <laughs> give them." Because your these are ads, mm -hmm. like yeah. they're trying to say the the gathering infomercial. I'm like, "No, fuck uh, that commercial, you moron!" Yeah, no way. 
How did it take him 10 years to figure that one out? <laughs> I don't know if maybe... I, the only thing I could think of, because I, I, I refuse to believe they've never seen our commentaries before. I know they've at least seen one or two of our commentaries. Yeah, I, know, sure. I know for a fact Shaggy 2 Dope has laughed <laughs> once or twice. I'm sure it's just something where they probably recently uh, like hired someone to hey, take care of some Comb of through stuff and we stuff. Yeah. Well, they were the original people to fuck us over, too. Remember we had a million views on fucking... Uh, uh, miracles, yeah, uh, but yeah. We and then get... like YouTube just like didn't look at it for a year. That wasn't because of ICP though. We didn't get taken down. For it was that. the Pornhub, uh, yeah, they... or the uh, the Bang Brothers, right? Yeah, Bang Wait, Brothers. Really? Yeah. Bang Car. Bang Car is what Bang made Car it... was what fucked us. It, it got wrong. I blame Kristen. Now, it's because she's in it. No, it's just because we made it look that. Well, I made it look that good. That like, convincing. The yeah, at the beginning. Even though there's no nudity in it at all. But back then, also, there you could never get in touch with someone at YouTube. You it couldn't just, fight anything. It Unlike was now, like, where you can never get in touch with someone yeah. at YouTube. I mean, at least now there are avenues where you could at least send retractions and stuff back. There wasn't anything like that at the time, so we just got our channel taken away. So we right like before the Halloween Kristen special, for nothing. Yeah. Fucking week before Halloween yeah. special, we fucking lost it. Yeah. Gordon, but there's nothing useful in it anyway. We already knew the names. Oh, his song is gay. I don't care <laughs> if you knew the names. Did you know the details of the story? Did you hear the eyewitness hair, like, accounts? Corn. Did you see the evidence laid out before you? No. Wait, because but how would we not know that? You claim it. you've been talking about it for nobody years. Nobody has talked about it. You said you had. Yeah. Plus, it was in National Enquirer. It's not justice. I deserve justice. And so does my best friend. <laughs> wow. Dude, it's I not even just like... Just it really is the more he starts crying, the more I start laughing. <sighs> it's not real. I really hope that I can get through to you guys. Because I really need your support. A.K. I don't know how much more money. I can take. While he's crying, he stops for a second, throws don't up worry, a pupil's eyebrow. Don't worry, I'm not going to help myself. So if all of a sudden I get suicided, just know that I didn't give up on life. Because I would never do that. I have a child that I have to protect. It's a shoot. It's all a shoot. But I don't know how much longer I can take this abuse. I'm trying to fight for justice. He's almost crying. Yeah, he's, well, he's getting there. He just has to think about, like, all the money he left. I'm trying to fight for justice. I'm trying to get my voice louder than the bullshit that they're lying about. Hey, don't they're cost. twisting the you stories. Don't they're working Come with on. the pedophiles. I have presented evidence on my Twitter page of them working alongside convicted pedophile Marty Weiss. He's a convicted pedophile, folks. Wait, but if he's convicted, and the then... Wolfpack has endeared yeah, I, themselves I, I, to him. I think he but, did time, and then, yeah, then he got out. So, he's like so he, I mean... I mean, I'm not one to say, like, hey, you probably should have done more time, but also, like, what do you want, man? Yeah. He's versa... Death, death, to all <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not about money. It's a bit of a joke, and it's definitely it's about money. It's about me it's trying to big, pay the people. That's why he talked about how he's in debt. Worked for me it's for three about years, money. dedicated their lives, their lives, <laughs> and put their own family a song. safety at risk. Peace, poo, poo, <laughs> <laughs> pee. <laughs> they took my beautiful song. <laughs> yeah, we should just isolate that part. <laughs> I love if he, he starts singing it that the Jim and them way. I literally can't even think yeah. of like how the real song goes ever. I always just think like peace, peace, peace. I don't know any of the words. You wanna be free? You wanna be free? Poop is pee. So that they can help me. Get justice. The P was poop. That's a P was poop. You know what's happening? The exact opposite. There are no investigations. No news is talking about it. Corey Feldman is like the Alex Jones of pedophiles. Like he, because uh, <laughs> yeah. like you lose all. Like typically you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's get these pedophiles, man. Like throw them, in, throw them in the jail and throw away the key. Throw them in the river. But then when he shows up, you're like, ah, well, fucking this guy's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like how yeah, Alex it Jones. Doesn't matter if he exposed anything. Yeah, Alex Jones. I mean, uh, every now and then, if he has a thing that like works out, but you're but you're just caught up in like laughing at what a buffoon he is. So. <laughs> You know, well, also, we like, love him. Like yeah. Alex Jones has been right a bunch of times, yeah. and it's still just like, shut the fuck up, yeah. nerd. <laughs> Quit taking your they can talk off. about Miley Cyrus's hairdo or 
Paris Jackson's crazy, you know, date with her girlfriend or, what? or yeah, what whatever. He, what is he talking about? Talk about that. In the news. Well, he's like, they're but popular, they can't talk but he's about not. Kids getting raped. They can't talk about kids being molested. <laughs> Jesus. And they can't go after the bad guys. <laughs> it's so fake. I laid it all out. Watch the movie. For twenty dollars. Spread it. Share it. No, you don't want us to yeah, you don't want that. How important this is. To give me twenty dollars. There's this other movie out there right now that all the conspiracy theorists are raising the alarm bells about called Out of the Shadows. What? Huh. It's propaganda. Well, I'm now we sorry. Check it out. Thanks, yeah, what is this but one? that's what it is. Yeah, what is this one? It's, it's not what I did. Yeah, he keeps dry snitching so hard. The movie I made took real evidence, real facts, real eyewitness accounts, and exposed the crimes of these sick perverts. How long is taking that tear to roll down his face? Took like, like it's like what they a, did is the a bunch of media are from, <laughs> from stuff that's been out there. I'm not convinced they aren't. And that's rumors, true. and they threw it all together. Look like you almost broke there. And they got laughing. six million views on YouTube because it's streaming for free or playing for free or whatever. Wow, what a what an idea! <laughs> yeah, Good big for them. big shock. Yeah. No one's and watching your shit because you charge twenty bucks. And I pray that bucks. their message. He could, he could like monetize his video too, and right? On point. No, he totally could. Yes. He could do. He would probably make more money on way monetization more. because how many people would watch that? Like, how many people actually watched it for twenty dollars? Probably like four hundred people, right? Yeah. Like less than a thousand versus for sure. like just the streams our video got when we had it up. <laughs> like shit. I'm trying to think, what the hell is um, what is out of the shadows? It's got to be about like. Yeah, I'm trying to find out as well. It's just our video re-uploaded. <laughs> damn it! Yes. God damn it! We eight, owe eight billion views. We deserve monetized. reparations. <laughs> Corey's innocent. Yeah, what is out of the shadows? It keeps coming with turning teenage mutant ninja turtles out of the shadows. <laughs> Tell us about that then, <laughs> Jim. What's that? I'm making less money than teenage mutant ninja turtles the out of the shadows. I, there's like a Reddit post about it, about how he says it's bullshit. So no one heard about it, and it's even hard to find until he started talking about it. Now people are looking. Classic yeah. Corey. Good good old Corey. Classic fell shine. dog. Dry snitching all over his own s- vagina. I think it's just a Dry YouTube snatching. thing, too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> one Christian's attempt to expose the evil of Hollywood. Oh, so it is. It's, it's the same like a type of doc, but he's mad that. But he's, he's got mad, more views. yeah, that it's similar. Because it to was him. free, you idiot. Okay, a new documentary out of the shadows exposes the origins of false narratives in Hollywood. It points to the documents in the post World War II era verifying the CIA's Operation Paperclip. What is this? What? Uh, One of the key people interviewed is Hollywood stuntman Mike Smith. Uh, later question. Yeah, what is what is this? Something to do about Hollywood. Where's this fucking white? Hollywood is full of corruption. Why would the CIA purchase property for Walt Disney in Florida? And why would the Department of Defense be involved with Walt Disney? Ah, yes, Hollywood. Walt Disney. <laughs> I guess it's about how... I mean, because I, I can't even gauge fully from this breakdown, but it seems like it's about how Hollywood is actually designed to um, brainwash you, basically. Um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So Nazi programming later t- it connects it to the Satanist cult of Pizzagate, exposed <laughs> by Wiki- WikiLeaks and to Jeffrey Epstein's network of pedophiles, independently produced and funded, available on many different platforms for free, for anyone to watch and share with others. So it's e- he's even more bummed, I guess, about it, too, because it's just a free thing that you can watch. Well, it did what he wanted to do, or yeah. what he's too stupid to realize he should have done. He kept saying, it's about the message, it's about the message, it's about the message, and it wasn't. Because at every chance he gets to like ignore the fact that it's about and claim it's about the message, he just bitches about the money and how it didn't make him any money and no one's paying him for it. And then someone else went out and told the same story just about different people, and 
It was yeah. about the message, and now he's pissed off because he's like, well, it's doing well for them, but not me. Because, yeah, he didn't even smear well Corey Haim's name and dance on his grave. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like they get into <laughs> they, <laughs> they get into pedophilia, but it's more it's like the overarching thing is that it's Hollywood manipulation to control the masses by spreading propaganda throughout their content. Well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> But I've got news for you. It had a more reasonable it's claim filled and it was with free. lies. <laughs> there are no underground operations happening. When Wait, this whole he's thing claimed ends that up, there are multiple yeah. times. I guarantee you. It was just Corey that the Haynes that I have being horny. Will still be free. They're not going to be killed or locked up. Because the whole rumor is that the government is rounding up all the Satanists and the sat- satanic elite. QAnon! All of you people yeah. who are 17 coming 17 minutes and that tear's almost down to his and mouth. And <laughs> victim shaming me and abusing me on a daily basis. I really hope that when this is all over alienating the only crowd he could you have You are able to QAnon. look at yourself in the mirror and say, I went and shamed and beat up a victim who is trying to break through and tell the truth. To support propaganda. And I made him feel like crap. I hope you're proud of yourself. I made him feel like he looks. <laughs> what if this ends with a uh, Drake switch? When meme? I hear a victim, <laughs> I just flip, I just I flip the switch. Flip, flip, flip. flip. He flips to his wife. <laughs> But when you've got somebody, I just put this switch dancing reporting like a fucking that, idiot. Nah, man, he, he, he does the Drake switch, but then he just fucking this big shoots himself. I just put the switch. On. I got news Whoa. for you. It ain't going on. People are sick. That would be a People funny are goop. Dying. That would be a good. Goop. It's a gonna kill yourself. Virus. Might as well do it a TikTok. That'd be the That'd ultimate. be an awesome bit. That'd, That'd be the ultimate Drake switch. Switch. And it'd be Switch. classic no, you, you Corey because that there, shit's dead now. Yeah, there's, so like do a, it. there's a skeleton behind you, and you're like, I just hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Someone would have to then post your TikTok. But, yeah, you know. his wife could take care of it. She could flip the switch back on. Yeah. That's <laughs> what matters right now. It goes left foot, aim. Coronavirus right foot, is very real. <laughs> so stop deluding yourselves with this idea that your superhero president is actually changing the world while we're all asleep. He hates QAnon. Yeah, he hates him. I agree with Corey for once. Yes, you can believe Q and me at the same time. I no I give you every freedom to believe whatever you want to believe, but don't come here and abuse me. Shut up, idiot. Do I idiot. go on the yeah, Out of the up, Shadows stupid. websites, or do I go stalk their creator moron. and say, oh, you're lying. You're full of it. I hate you. You should die. <laughs> Probably no, with a fan of the opera never, mask on too. I would ever never die. Do that to anyone, unless they it make was a, a fan of the opera with Corey just singing his or songs. a murderer. <laughs> who's, in, who's that in the Raptors? <laughs> <laughs> That's is justice. Is <laughs> but what you are doing to me is sickening and disgusting, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Sorry, I need to read the comments I claimed I don't his, read. I'm his sorry, wife is just hiding in the other room pretending to be asleep. Like, <laughs> oh, God. When will this I'm dispensary sorry, deliver? Right <laughs> Next day delivery doesn't cut it. If you knew what I went through as a child, and if you knew what I, It's like <laughs> to wake up to this <laughs> every day. And I'm every crying. day I have to get I'm back to I'm crying. I'm crying. Because I can't give up. <laughs> this is what crying Until somebody like. looks into my story. <laughs> Until somebody <laughs> investigates these people. The sad thing is, if any Until of this is true, he's, he's just burned every bridge yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And no one's ever going he's, to... He's, he is just living this tortured life where <laughs> everyone... The worst where he's like, guys, this guy raped me. And then the cop's like, oh, this guy raped <laughs> me. I'm what you. Is this is what you me? sound like. <laughs> Nobody believes me anymore. <laughs> 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 this operation. How much money do you think well, it costs be- to organize hackers to steal your film? <laughs> that's not how it happened. That's yeah, what, yeah, so one person that bought it, and then they ripped it, yeah, and then they just need, released it. Yeah, you didn't. Need the, especially because he was just playing it on a loop, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he had like endless opportunity to steal it. Yeah, yeah it was so easy to steal. I could have stolen they it. They hacked in, and, and it, also like every fucking movie, like 
this happens. Yeah. Was he not aware that this was a possibility? Every you know movie that's ever happen existed. When you post it for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, because it's already free. There's no point. <laughs> Dream of that movie for free. You're supporting them. You're allowing them to win. But I thought oh the message was what mattered. I'm yeah. going to come in my pants. The yeah, message is what should matter, right? I thought it didn't. Yeah, I thought it only. It, he said money didn't matter like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it's but, not about but the Jim, money. this is Corey. Yeah. Corey Feldman. It's not about the <laughs> message. Corey Feldman is Joker. <laughs> Corey Stand Feldman as anyway. Joker. Uh, It'll be the Spider <laughs> <laughs> because that's the only oh, reason that me. I did oh, this. Batman. Was to help you understand. Yeah, I just watched a movie. To open your eyes what to was the it truth. About? Uh, the you media get has it. blocked it's $20. me out. <laughs> <laughs> the last time around when we had the premiere, the media was helpful. They put me on the talk shows. They wrote about the articles. No, and see, it always hack, loops back to this. Yeah. It's about him being in the spotlight and him not understanding. Over. I he understand is, that. He's it's so more broken that he right truly now. thinks he should still be like fucking well, a superstar. And he doesn't understand why. And so he's decided the only reason I'm not the most famous person on the planet is because someone must be taking me down because there's no other explanation. Yeah. And he it always comes back to that. He's he's mostly just sad because, yeah, he he used his last card, like his last ace in his pocket that uh -huh. he's been teasing for 10 years. Yeah. He had, and he has nothing this left. this Charlie Sheen story. And I mean, that maybe, whose name he refuses to say. And maybe he's sick because he, he still <laughs> never put much out about him being raped, except like, I guess what a guy gave him oral or something. Maybe that's his next. But he thing. didn't even come. <laughs> the guy that, sucked yeah. at it. <laughs> well, Jim, what do you get when you cross a mentally ill loner? Yeah. With a society <laughs> that <laughs> smears Corey Haim in a movie that costs twenty dollars, I'll tell you what you get. What do you get? You get fucking like forty dollars. <laughs> right? Like you got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> But guess what? Everybody's got time to talk about out of the shadows. Nobody's talking about that. Yeah, no what celebrity is doing what today? I love that he's all up on what Q Alpha lately. What Bella Thorne wore on Instagram last night? Everybody knows that. And he's it was but they can't talk hot, about bro. the people yeah, he's who obsessed raped with young girls and molested children. They can't give me a platform. To promote my oh, film, oh, oh, which has tier. the most important information <laughs> yeah. and true I think it's the same information tier that traveled to the other about eye. this topic <laughs> that's ever been released <laughs> in the history of cinema. Ah, oh, dude, how bad that's the Corey Feldman's breath smell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get when you mix Bella Thorne's hot titties with a bra that doesn't hold those titties? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what you get. <laughs> what do you get, Jack? <laughs> Uh, what you deserve. Oh. I want the. I want them to. I wanted to just zoom in because when Jeff was when you guys were just talking about the traveling tear, yeah. I just wish all of a sudden the camera zoomed in. And now it's a Pixar movie about Corey Feldman's the one tear <laughs> and drunk. his travel from <laughs> eye to eye and getting down his cheek. <laughs> uh, that'd make a good. Uh, that, and if and if we couldn't get that pitch, we could at least get it to be an animated short at the beginning of a Pixar oh, movie. Oh, for sure, yeah. The, the tear? Yeah, the Corey Feldman's, Feldman's tear. tear. You're laughing. A man so. was raped and you're laughing. Nobody appreciates it. This is all my Joker. I never saw Joker. Sorry, I have a condition. Joker? <laughs> joke Joker? <laughs> Go look at what... I never saw the Joker. The mother of the child... That's just like a buff the Joker. The mother <laughs> of my best friend has done to me. Who's <laughs> done to me? Your best friend, who you've drugged through the mud, who you dug yeah, his corpse up. your best friend, up. who you hate. You hate his guy. <laughs> yeah, you you dug his corpse up, you put your fucking Jedi okay? braid on top of his corpse, <laughs> and then you sing a <laughs> bad song <laughs> about him. <laughs> <laughs> you played him like a marionette Maybe while I poop his pee played. Maybe I fun of this, too. Because <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Hey, I mean, he's hey, got us. You're going to pass around a spade, a spade, huh? Corey Feldman having a meltdown on Instagram. Corey Feldman cool. cries on Instagram. Name of this video. That makes you feel like a big person. And have fun. <laughs> this is what bullying is all about. I am having a great about. time. Because <laughs> your your pain isn't real. Yeah, yeah it's fake. Hey, if hey, anything about you... it was real, then we wouldn't bully you. I, listen, I believe that Corey Feldman is constantly. In yeah, he's, he's being berated yeah. constantly. We know that. Well, I believe he's constantly sad, but I believe it's also his fault. This is so hard. 
This is so hard. Well, also, he got his DNA spliced with the frog's DNA, kind of like the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Uh, and now life has found a way. Yeah. And he's like, he's breaking down, know, man. He's changing. Do this, guys. He doesn't know what to do. Will it ever come out on DVD or Netflix or Hulu? I don't know. Why don't you ask Netflix or Hulu? I'm Whoa. pretty sure they're aware. Why are you yelling at your existing. fans, you cuck? Yeah, you idiot. Netflix turned it down twice. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to them again <laughs> after the movie came out. They came crawling back. Yeah. That's right. We was like, I'll oh, take a billion dollars. Well, imagine, like, of course they said <laughs> no. Matter. It's super low quality. Yeah, no, yeah, they don't want that. And it's just a bunch of hearsay garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they, the, uh, Netflix should just take the Jim and them long boy. <laughs> I was talking about Corey Feldman. <laughs> chop it up into Tiger King episodes. <laughs> Jimbo can print a Millie. Give us just like the back end, baby. Uh, no, wait. Give us the whole thing. Well, yeah, it's going to hell, Jimbo. Well, the best. Stars now. The best thing about it, too, is because thinking about it now. Like, I mean, we, we watched the movie. It was a big thing here, Jim and them. We did our commentary and our Jim and them cut. Yeah. But I did literally forget that he existed for weeks. <laughs> and everyone else did. And we we're all watching Tiger King. Yeah, and we're Corona. All, we're all like talking about coronavirus. But, you know, he's the type of person, he was looking at, like, Joe Exotic and Tiger King being like, why is someone talking yeah, about me? That should be me, you know. That I, I mean, be. that is you, Corey. Yeah. Though, <laughs> yeah, like, and it was him. He you're got, like just like him. In Trump's a lot of talking ways. about freeing yeah. him. Why isn't it Trump yeah. talking about me? I'm Corey. But he got his his Tiger King month or two when he was on the Today Show, and he spun it into a fucking uh, tour. A yeah, he got years. it all the first time he did yeah. his GoFundMe. Yeah, that's when he got it all, and he squandered it, and then tried to replicate it a hundred more times, and every time it fails harder and harder, and he takes it worse and worse. Yeah. Also, he's got a little dick. They don't care. <laughs> and, a butt, yeah. and a butt face. He's, he's got, got a little baby dick. Because they'd rather <laughs> yeah, sell Joe baby, Exotic. Oh, baby dick. Oh, he, to the world. Now he's talking about Joe Exotic. That's important <laughs> right now, right? People say, "Oh, well, it's he's coronavirus. So we don't have time to think about these problems." But you have time to do you talk think about all of his Joe Corey Exotic. Haim shit stems from jealousy? It has Dude. to, right? Also, Joe Exotic, uh, I watched that show because it cost seven dollars on the net Netflix a yeah. service. It's worth it. I didn't. <laughs> we didn't watch your movie because it cost twenty dollars and it's full of nonsense. Yeah. Plus, it's like I, I won't even pay twenty dollars for like a service like Netflix. It's not <laughs> like I was like mm, between these two things. I guess I'll pay twenty dollars for this. It's like no, no, no. That thing's worth it, and your thing is not worth it. And you know what else is worth it? Skimming them. Oh, yeah. Skimming, Skimming them. them's worth it. For but, sure. But also, I just realized how well we know him, because we were just talking about Joe Exotic, and of course, that's the fucking next thing this asshole goes to. Because he's a fucking broken Because you know record. he was fucking jealous. He's so jealous. He's Super got jealous. like 15 more minutes. <laughs> that makes sense. These are our children. Sorry, my, my voice cracked because I was we're crying. We're fighting for... <laughs> this is not children. just the children. This is the soul... Of Kids the country, too, baby. <laughs> this is the soul of the planet that we are I fighting wish you would for. Break out into song, this though. is good versus evil, God versus the devil. That's what this is about. I am a messenger. That's it. I went through all of this pain in my life so that I could be here today to show you the truth. If you choose to be blind and you choose to ignore it, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. And that's on you. You should get raped. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get raped, bro. <laughs> this is a warning. If you ignore this, then you get, you're going to get raped. Corey Feldman to Jim and them. Get raped. <laughs> <laughs> Get raped, losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I would love it if Corey Feldman told us to get raped, losers. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine how happy we'd be? Picture for one moment uh, the, so the group great. chat you know when that link fucking music. went through. The idea that Corey Feldman told us to get raped, losers. This is a message losers. to Jim and them. Get, get raped, raped, losers. Oh, we should pay him on Cameo to say <laughs> that. comments. Is he still camo jokes? Cam Cam I think he is. Yeah. yeah, he films 37 or of them he, once every we'll month. Judge. Is he on crazy yeah. clown clips? Well, that's what I was. <laughs> but I was also one. I, I, I was trying to check on my phone because it'd be so funny if he just records this and then right after he just hey! turns his cameo on. <laughs> well, dude, it would be easy to find the shirt. It'd be I don't super think he easy. did, though, at least from the ones I'm seeing up now. But it'd be great. He still kind of has oh, his like man. one tear in his face. How great was it when we saw his cameos and like 50 of them were all from the same co-filled <laughs> yeah. night? Where he's like, <laughs> yeah. ah. Trust me on that. Trust the man. one thing I know is no matter how fuck, man. pitiful 
and disgusting people make my life while I'm here alive, I have the glory of heaven to look forward to. I thought he was going to be like, I know they'll be dancing on my <laughs> grave. that <laughs> is the only truth. Uh, oh, truth. my God. He is going to Bud Dwyer right now. He's going to be like, I got the glory of heaven. Stand back. <laughs> Amen. Oh, oh, she's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh, Courtney. Oh, 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 oh. How is oh, that? I'm speaking in tongues. Bro. Because they're being rounded up right now when we're not looking. Bullshit. Bullshit. She's just been scrolling through her phone and heard one thing you said. I has mad. reached out to investigate anything that I brought forward. Anything. Wait, does he just think that like he I've releases a documentary and then the FBI goes I've like, been "Hey, muted." Yeah, we just saw the, 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 the FBI. I've yeah. been persecuted, bro. We just saw your I've movie. been lied about. Great the, technique. And I've been criminalized. Not static TV. <laughs> if you want to know the truth. Then my truth. Damn, that's the even another thing. Like bringing up uh, Joe glories. Exotic. Like think about how slick and well produced that documentary is in comparison Next to oh, the. That's what I'm saying. That is why yeah. Netflix doesn't yeah. want and it. Maybe Netflix would have been like, okay, work with us and we'll make something. I'm not even saying they would, but that's when they would. That They're not going to be like take this cheaply yeah. made, like very very poorly made looking movie and go, yeah. We'll buy that. Like, that's what insane. Is, you should just pay. Just think about those garbage, like, <laughs> clip art TVs that had the screen yes, on it. It me yeah. weeks, weeks to <laughs> cobble together some bullshit and threw it at Netflix twice. And you know what they said? They said, no. The crazy no! thing is Amazon can't get it. That he can't get on Amazon because <laughs> yeah. we got stuff on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anything on Amazon. I mean, you could just make, uh, you could make like a Create Space account. You could submit some shit to Amazon and they'll put it up. <laughs> yeah, but he, he How much that, that costs, though? Like $40? <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> Are you all my profits? I'm Corey Feldman. You think I got $40? <laughs> Stealing from the filmmakers is to watch it on mytruthdoc.com. Tickets go on sale in two days. What? Saturday. Oh. Is he doing? He isn't doing it again, is he? He is. All Jim. I want is to make yeah. back Jim, the money that's I spent. What so he I does. I didn't realize. Jim, no, you're not surprised. <laughs> don't don't act like you're surprised. No, 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 this no, is no. what he does. I the the main reason why it's like the missing puzzle piece came into place, like because I'm like, why is he crying about it now? Now I realize all the theatrics and the crying. This is just another ad for buying his stoop buying tickets again. Is there bonus footage? Is it a fucking George Lucas special edition? Three yeah. more, three more songs. It's just yours. It's just uh, the, it's your cut. <laughs> and I love he keeps. We find out about his uh, out of the shadows that he's all upset about, and that's just free. It's free. You can watch it wherever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah. Who deserve to be paid, and I can protect my family against these crazy, crazy attacks. And oh my God, God willing, he is selling tickets I can again. make it through this. Then if any extra comes and I give you my word, if I make one dollar over what I spent, it will be donated to Child USA because they're the only organization that is actually making a difference in this fight. <laughs> Shame you won't be able to donate to them. Yeah, sorry, man. How much left? I need to make another six hundred thousand dollars. Do you understand? <laughs> what? Man, he's really but shitty to six hundred dollars. The only people that are but watching this are, are people that care about him, and he's just talking down to him. Yeah. He's gonna make. He's gonna make six hundred dollars or what? Like no, six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand uh, dollars to make what? back the money he said he is out from the that movie. He owes the people that from worked the on the movie. So apparently, at the very least, that means that this yeah. movie, at the very least, cost one point three million dollars. Yeah. If we're to believe that he's six hundred out, and we know that he at least had. Uh, oh shit! Am I bad at math again? <laughs> Well, I don't know because he's he but because let's crunch the numbers. He's trying to say he broke records with the initial sales. Did he say how much he sold in the first round? Wait, wait, he claimed that. That's what, yeah. Earlier in this, he's like, read the article on my Twitter. But I broke <laughs> records. Then when he was saying Netflix turned him down, the source is his Twitter. <laughs> because I mean, if you're just taking the twenty bucks off, I mean, which you, he's not going to get twenty bucks because you know whatever fees and stuff are. But let's just say he's getting twenty bucks per ticket. He's got a. He needs thirty thousand. He needs to sell thirty thousand tickets at least to make it to six hundred. But I mean, I don't know if he said what the initial one was. 
thirty thousand is steep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's insane. And steep. he has no buzz at all. Like <laughs> at the very <laughs> least, like a month ago. I mean, there was buzz. He was sh- popping up on like Doctor Oz, which I mean, it's not like we watch it, but it is a daytime show that has an audience. And at least he had all his fans that had never seen it before. I'm sure he'll get some people that are like, I've already seen it, but I'm going to buy a ticket because they just like that fucking uh, preacher we just saw. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. these zombies that are going to give him money. But this guy's out of his mind. Percentages that I have to give off. So what happens is when you make a certain amount, you have to give a percentage to people who are attached to it. So you don't get that money. So if I made 600000 it would cover the percentages, and then what I spent. Who the fuck is showing up for the movie and being like, I'm going to get some points on the back end, right? If I uh, come in and say that, you know, we worked together <laughs> years ago. Well, you just answered your own question, Jim. <laughs> yeah, the interviews are just his friends. Yeah. <laughs> but they really fucked him over on the... And then <laughs> I get... yeah, now that he owes them a million dollars. Ah, fuck! Don't answer. I didn't look at the contract! And I would love... Because I could see maybe, maybe if he had to pay for, like, bandwidth, server space, but Jimmy uh, did. equipment or the something best. like that. The, the, yeah. the white glove service, That's true, Jim. white glove service. And that's cheap? And even then, you'd have to demand some sort of money back with the way that everything was fucking bumbled and <laughs> fucked up. Nothing more than to be able to help financially... He's like, I fucked up this movie so bad, I can't pay anybody. (laughs) Please help me. Uh, That's a... uh, You're going to have to hit rewind. (laughs) There's a lot wrong with this world right now. Starting, first and foremost, with my movie being ignored. Marilyn Manson is in this feed laughing. What? I hope he's having a good time. Marilyn Manson's in there laughing at him? I wonder if that's someone saying that or... Yeah. Wait, what did she say? She said I, he's, he's laughing a, all well, the way out. Right. He wrote a book, uh, which he mentioned me in a few times. Called it would be great if it was just the verified Marilyn Manson popped up in the chat with like laugh, <laughs> crying laughing emojis. <laughs> uh, the straight one and the sideways yeah, yeah. one. Long road out of hell or something like that. Guess what? It's a long road back in. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Yeah. The old dirt road. You guys think you're funny? Yeah. Prank call mafia sent me. Oh, you're f- fucking cool, dude. Wait, you don't <laughs> read that you stuff, dude. Got yeah. I'm done. Screw Who you. Else? I'm Who done. I'm talking sorry. Shit. But this ain't no joke, man. This is kids. Can you imagine saying, saying the sentence, Wake this ain't no joke, up. man, in a way that sounded more Wake like up. a joke than the way he said it? This ain't no, no joke, joke, man. There's only one <laughs> truth. I found a way. And that's God's <laughs> truth. A lot of people said, why'd you call it my truth? Why did I call it my truth instead of just the truth? Because if it was really the truth... Well, I tried. Uh, you see truth? how small I made the word my? It's called <laughs> lawyers. Okay? <laughs> it's called the lawyers. fact that I got them. it out, the fact that I got as much information... In the film as I did is a miracle in and of itself. You got one bit of information in the film yeah. that you said. The laws are designed to protect the criminals, not the innocent. Exactly. Remember Shut that. up! Because you're all she's just playing to face Call of Duty sort every now and then, yelling and shit. I bet she's weak. And when you're she's, she's playing with Offset. Yeah, yeah, go farmland. <laughs> you'll understand. Oh my God, that's who Offset's cheating with. Fight for justice. Fight. He needs a real crazy bitch, not this fake Cardi B crazy shit. I don't even know what to tell you. You're crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. Pray. Pray. Pray for Corey, hashtag. We all need to pray for... Pastor Still challenge. We all need to pray. We all need to pray for me, Corey. Pray for Corey. protection. (laughs) It's like the monkey, Homer's uh, (laughs) fat monkey. Pray for Corey. I love you guys. Even those who don't love me, I love your souls. Oh, you love me? <laughs> and I pray for you. And you just I were pray talking that there's shit, bro. Did yeah. we skip anything? No, no. We wow, we're, we're the best. Really sick. When it's a Corey and video, you got to go for it. Yeah, and imagine a world. Imagine a world where, like, seven years ago, <laughs> like, the, the modern versions of us go, like, hey, Mike, Jim, Jeff. <laughs> In seven years, you're going to watch a 40-minute version of Corey Feldman live streaming on the internet, and you're not going to skip a second, not oh, a single second. You're just going to pause and let's, let moments simmer for a little while. <laughs> oh, and Mike from 
10 seconds ago, there's still six more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I thought it was over. He seemed like he was wrapping it up. Issues. Real issues. Anyways, they're going to so freestyle for a bit. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got for you. Uh, uh, my wife is on the accordion and the knee symbols. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to do the. Uh, this is my push up challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His wife throws up. Like, <laughs> His wife's just like Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins, it. a one man band. <laughs> Every day. I would wake up in dread, having She's to do the organ this, grinder, having to the look at these messages, having to fight these sick, twisted people. <clears throat> having I don't want to hear like, lies and reduce slander it all, about myself. Do you like, think be too reductive, but happened before I started? I would imagine he's got fight? enough money to just no, ignore it all, right? Yeah, you think? All maybe he just blew it. He doesn't seem like uh, like for between a divorce, problems. child support, drugs. And Drugs. then he probably, <laughs> and you know what? I bet you he was fairly, he was probably fairly comfortable. Yeah, like um, BH1, Corey, maybe? But he probably blew a bunch of money making that stupid album that he put out. <laughs> <laughs> like and then, Fred Durst and shit. But then after that, then he got, then remember he got that little resurgence of as a goof when he went on Today's Show, and he probably just figured like, this is it, baby. Go for it. Things are never going like things are never going to be bad again. He probably wasn't like banking any of that money or anything like that. It's like this is it. I'm famous again. This is how it works, babe. I can afford goofballs again. <laughs> he, he got that Lost Boys two money. He got that. What was it's the vampire movie? Tons <laughs> of oh, oh well, shit! It's like yeah. a guy's name. Yeah, it was just a guy's name. Monster what, what, Slayer. Yeah, yeah like Blake Volcano or something. Yeah, like, he, it was a name like that. It was Blake Volcano, <laughs> and he was the trans vampire or whatever. The trans vampire prostitute. Fuck, bro. We gotta watch that movie again. Yeah. <laughs> organize and structure. We... Hey, remember when we it was a dumb that? name though. It was like Rick Maximus or something. It was something stupid like that. But I Corbin just read... Nash. There it is. <laughs> That's chat. weird because that you, just Mel. sounds like. Isn't Corbin Nash a TV show? Uh, or am I thinking uh, of Nash? You're thinking Bridges. of Nash. Bridges. Yeah, Nash Bridges, baby. <laughs> but it just reminds me of um, that bit in Clerks cartoon. When he's like, hey, Flintstones list. And he's like, we're not watching that. And then Dante <laughs> goes, hey, remember when we watched that? <laughs> That's us with Corbin Nash. Uh, that's true. It's like, hey, oh, Corbin Nash. Hey, remember Nash. when we watched that? That's another thing going back to past uh, Jim, Mike, and Jeff. Hey, guys, you guys are going to watch the movie Corbin Nash <laughs> with Corey Feldman in it. <laughs> what, what, what is Corbin that? Nash? <laughs> it's pretty oh, no, Bear is driving. <laughs> with a lot of money. Yeah. Endless, ah. money. endless yeah. money. Endless you know why? Money, because rich, all the money bitch. is in sex trafficking. All the money is in. That's what the real money is. And slavery. And of Corey wants to wet his women. Beak. Okay? That's Corbin what Nash is. himself. <laughs> and that's why they have to. <laughs> He's not even Corbin Nash. <laughs> he keeps calling himself Corbin Nash. But guess what? <laughs> Corbin Nash, <laughs> the lost boy himself. Because this is God's. <laughs> he doesn't remember anything. It's me, Burbs. God wins in the end. So you can make my life a living hell. <laughs> it, it's again, me, License. Die, I'm really missing my friend Drive. <laughs> it's me, Johnny <laughs> Frogs or whatever. Drive is, <laughs> drive is his name. My name is License. <laughs> My brain is failing. God bless you guys. <laughs> Please stay strong. Corey's sundowning. In and pray for me. Well, pray for me. Please. Jim, do it. Praise Allah. Jim, Never. do it right now. Never. As Jim, said, do it right uh, now. I tried to watch the Rub it up, dub. Thanks for the grub. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, I oughta? I, you know what? You know what? One thing I think maybe that's really, really make him cry, and that's probably what's making him cry. Is he probably would be ripe right now for like um, uh, direct to Peacock Network or Disney Plus or something a license to drive reboot at oh, this point? Yeah. But the fact that it, he's just known now as like pedophile molested guy, everyone's like, eh, we don't really want to do business nah. with that. <laughs> yeah, that guy's uh, always uh, crying. <laughs> if he was just leaning into being his stupid musician self and being a goofy loser. Yeah, um, yeah, be a uh, lovable yeah. dope. You'd be like Screech. Because he's already burned up. He's already burned up the Lost Boys because they did, what, two and three. Uh, so that's done. But yeah, maybe they could have done License to Drive. I mean, I, I'm convinced. Jim, wait. I just thought of it. License to Fly. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean? What <laughs> so, would that be? What would that oh, be no, like? no, I got to start writing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. I'm convinced that 
the there's no Goonies reboot just because of him personally. Oh, they don't want to deal with this fucking guy. I, there's got to be something where they have to have him involved somehow. Yeah, but well, they don't want to, and what, so they just so like, like fuck it. Let's just not do it. We'll just make the porn parody Poonies and get on with it. <laughs> yeah. Was hacked and you actually paid for it. All tickets got a big will cock. be honored. <laughs> if you have not used your ticket, it will be honored. We're not trying to double charge anyone. I'm sure okay. so many people got double charged. Oh, oh yeah. for sure. If you care to watch the up. movie. Although the, the other great thing is I'm sure so many people just did a chargeback. On oh, them. yeah. <laughs> Call your bank on that when one. When it didn't work, because they did a chargeback probably that night and then watched it the next day when he put it on loop. <laughs> yeah. And he's just watching the yeah. fucking the number roll backwards. <laughs> yeah. For God's sake, please, please just support us by watching it the legal way. And if for some reason... You feel like you don't want to support me. You don't want to give me money. You don't want to whatever. Then go watch your Out of the Shadows and donate to Child USA. Go watch your Joe Exotics. Hey, even guess that. What? Even that, which he thinks is a selfless you can't thing. Argue. That's still yeah. going against his idea that the message is what matters. Because yeah. he's saying, in that way, my message doesn't matter. Someone else's message matters because it's free. My message costs money. Yeah. And so I don't even. I don't care if you know. I just want you to pay me for it. I got and if you don't want to pay, pay, then go find someone else's message. Their message yeah. matters. Go get a free message. Ooh. Mine ain't free. Are they ever going to make Kids 2? What the fuck? Yeah, Kids 2, baby. <laughs> <laughs> with the fact that we have changed laws It's just him getting California beat with a skateboard <laughs> on live stream. You can't ah! argue with the fact that R. Kelly and Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein were both indicted apes. in New York over the past year because of the laws that we changed. You had nothing to do with those. Yeah, fuck and you. And guess what? Those laws hey, Corey, it's are now Casper. being <laughs> Shh, threatened. Corey, it's just Casper, baby. In New York, but the CBA, Casper and which we opened up <laughs> it's for a one-year look-back window, which goes until oh, oh, August oh. 17th, <laughs> is now being threatened because of coronavirus. What? Shut up. Right. So I'm doing <laughs> a few things to help <laughs> to try and... Help the world recover Four. faster. When he does that, it's tears. I'm doing cameos this weekend. I'll be making an announcement or putting some some messaging out about it tomorrow. I'll be doing cameos all weekend and donating every penny I make. No, you won't. To yeah, anybody no who no wants you won't. a cameo no for me. I, Mike Steele, declare in full victims. knowledge of the law that you will not donate every penny. There's I'm no going to be donating my money to an organization called No Corey. Child <laughs> Goes yeah. Without a Meal. No, no child goes, goes without a meal. Is that a ch- whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he's, he's like, a oh, moron. Oh, he doesn't oh, know wait, what it's wait, called. Wait. Or no meals, uh, something or something. other. Kids too. <laughs> Kids for that's meals. That's where my money's going. Any money that I make. So if you want to donate and contribute to help coronavirus victims and especially children, then you can go buy a cameo for me, and the money's going to them. Shut or you the go to Taco Bell up. and you round up your tomorrow, change, and they'll donate yeah. to the same and place. Monday. If you want to donate to somebody, donate to Child USA. And if you want to know the truth and you yeah. want to support all this work that we've done, buy a ticket. Then please buy a ticket for $20. <laughs> and I like that he's even acting like buy a ticket. VOD, like you know, on demand. Any time that's convenient for you. I know. It's, man, it's, he really is just Wednesday. the most retarded person on the planet, dude. Yeah. Just put April it up for 22nd. sale. Put it up for sale for people for someone just to download and yeah. watch. It'll be on like every you, day. Yes, it's yeah. e- also just, easier to pirate. But guess what, motherfucker? People are already, pirating, already pirating it. Pirating. Just it sell your matter. stupid movie, you fucking idiot. Just sell, sell your DVDs. fucking movies. And it's, <laughs> it sounds like it's just he's doing the thing again where it's just streaming on a loop. Yeah. Like, dude, even <laughs> if, if like Jeff said, sell a DVD. You do better doing anything other than this weird... You you kind of watch it live with a ticket sort of movie theater thing he's, he's obsessed with. Yeah, he's, he's an idiot. For a month. They'll probably try to hack it. They'll probably try to stop it. But we will make sure you get to see your movie. Our movie? That's it. I appreciate That's it, that, that 40 minute rant? That's all. <laughs> That's donations. all I have to say. I'm looking for support. Oh, no. Don't cry again. Oh, Come wait. You never cried. You. His wife should have just punched him in the stomach. I love you guys. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Eat shit. Yeah, eat, eat my ass. <laughs> yeah. 
Get fucked. I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck you. Come at you like oh, this. yeah, he's crying on his live video right now. Oh, no, he just put God his bless. sunglasses on. Bye-bye. Was he crazy? Now he he's still? vaping. <laughs> yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just still talking about the same shit? Well, it's because it, it's just honestly think about it. If tickets are on sale until Saturday, that means no one's buying them. And so he's like, fuck, I got to get out there again. Yeah, shit. I got to, yeah, I got to fucking bang <laughs> on those doors. Ah, oh, he looks like a penis wearing sunglasses. Yeah, I don't think Oh, it he looks. was live. He ended it 47 uh. minutes ago. But he's, you can still go on his Instagram and just watch it. I don't it. know if I can watch it on the desktop yeah, or not. His, clip, click his photo right there. I this see one? you too. Yep. Oh, man. It, that's his story. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know if you can watch the lives on the desktop one. Where is the ah! Where is the Where is What is dog? this thing? Where is the dog? He's Sea Dog 2022 on fucking. A <laughs> fucking what, what a That's fucking great. insane name. Sea Dog 2Gs. Two, two <laughs> what is this? I see you. That's some coke shit. (laughs) (laughs) I see you too. (laughs) He just found some fucking goofy ass app. He's got a goofy app. He's a silly app. (laughs) And it's just a close up on his eyeball. (laughs) His slide whistle three. (laughs) (laughs) I see you in 3D. He's just fucking around with an app. Wait, wait, that's not 3D though. That's just it going, (laughs) it's a boomerang. Uh, what a fucking weirdo. Yeah, Where what? is the ass? Sea <laughs> dog. Yeah, what a big stupid asshole. Talk you're back on the wolf pack. Talk to you're back on the wolf pack. Anyways, see you later. I'm the funniest <laughs> cop on Twitter. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> All cops are cringe. I'm the funniest cops on Twitter. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, no, he's gassing us. <laughs> <laughs> We're um, funny. They, imagine a cop doing stand-up and he just starts rubber pepper bullying spraying. the audience. I'm the funniest cops on Twitter. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck it. Come on, YouTube. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Get out of here. Why won't yeah. you leave? <laughs> Oh, no, Get the fuck, the fuck out of here! <laughs> How is this happening, Jeff? <laughs> why won't he leave? I don't know. Uh-oh. I think he's Are you got- guys telling me to fucking leave right now? <laughs> yes. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I don't even know if this is a good one. Leave no. or else. What is he doing? What is he doing? Get out of here! You gotta go. You gotta go. We're being peaceful, but you gotta leave. <laughs> Officer, did you just cut <laughs> your gun? What is happening like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute! He's cocking all his guns. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> all right, I got my happy Juneteenth, you fucks. <laughs> See you ah, later, man. YouTube really shadow banned all the yeah, guns. What the sound fuck, effects. dude? Yeah, they do like four searches. They definitely fucked us. That's what I, this is exactly what I was telling you about, Jeff, with YouTube. Their search sucks now. You got to use Bing. That's crazy. Yeah, you should have binged some gunshots. One guy, 30 sound effects. Use Bing. Now I'm telling you, Bing's the way to go. Really? If yeah, we're trying Bing to find woke, woke show shirt. stuff, we have to go to Bing. Weird. If you use Google or YouTube, they suppress everything. Huh. It's all like... Is it for the greater good? Yes and no, but it, it, all it means is that they... Because even like, because I was talking about this on the woke show, even not searching conspiracies, just looking for like world star videos. Uh, when you search, it's just CNN videos, CNN, Fox News. Huh. It's just, it's like YouTube's just a network now. Like yeah. they're not like an internet thing anymore. It's trash. YouTube's trash. Google's trash. It's all about Bing. All about DuckDuckGo. Bing. Uploading your videos to Pornhub. Gee, we can't just say Duck Duck Go like everyone knows. That that oh, is. everyone knows Duck Duck Go. <laughs> yeah, that's where you look for it's CP. The search engine, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard. <laughs> I of honestly it. don't know what it. Or is it a browser? It's a search box. Yeah, it's the real search, bro. Oh, What's the other a, one? You, Brave browser. It's Use like the Brave browser. A VPN. Is that what this is? Type in gun sound effects. Yeah, let's duck, see. Duck Duck Go. Let them gun sounds. Is that even let on? Him, let them gun sounds. Yeah. Waka would be crying. Free gun. I mean, they even see. They even bring up the YouTube ones. Oh, that are deep, deep shadow band. So this is just a Machine Gun Kelly song. Number oh, one. MGK, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's heard in true eyes. <laughs> huh. 
I like this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, here's some Two famous million guns. Views. I Simples. like that it's like, as heard in, and then it tells us. Good job, Z Chen. Uh, so, yeah. Fuck Google. But what if a gun could scream? Would it sound like... <laughs> <laughs> In, in a space, nobody can hear a gun sp- scream. <laughs> it's true. He's got you there. <laughs> uh, uh, what about Courtney Feldog uh, put up a video? Her name's Courtney? Week. Yeah, you didn't know that? We knew it's that. It's Corey and Courtney? Yeah, Corey and Courtney. How did I not know that? Yes. <laughs> it's fate. She's um, still kind of a babe. Corey, Corey. I can't believe it. Is off his rock. You don't think she's kind of a babe? No. She's definitely crazy. No. I'm sorry she's not a ripped dude, but she's kind <laughs> of a babe. I don't. Anytime we see her in something, she looks like a man. Kind yeah, of. I, I she looks a like man. a dude in drag. I don't know, guys. Maybe you guys are uh, look. gay. <laughs> <laughs> look. Yeah, like no. it's like a man look. in drag. No, look. I see. I see. That's a handsome woman. Yeah, and you said handsome. In the traditional sense. Like you would see in the movie Gone with the Wind, if you could see it. Now you got a bing Gone with the Wind. What uh what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> it is dumb though. It yeah. is stupid. They like re released it with like a thing at the beginning. The the point of the movie is not about slavery, right? Well or that, that dude slavery is good. <laughs> I mean, I've never even seen it. But what? that Neither that dude uh that dude got greedy because he wrote that article about Gone with the Wind that got taken down like the next day. Uh-huh. And then this week he wrote an article about Quentin Tarantino saying the N word, which is like <laughs> Like another go to, uh-huh. um, and I mean it got a little traction, but it didn't quite pick up as much. Yeah. Everyone's looking for their like race clickbait they can make. So you that know guy, how it, it, he had a winner with his "Gone with the Wind" article, but I guess his Quentin Tarantino I one just didn't don't quite get the hit. point of taking down "Gone with the Wind." It's not like the "Gone with the Wind" is like a pro-slave movie. Nah, it's just Gone about with, the Civil War. Gone with the Wind is the racist Cupid I, of films. I'm sure there are <laughs> problematic things in it. Again, I don't know enough about it, but. But not like to the extent of like if you anyone that watches it now they'd be like if there's like weird cringy stuff they're like ooh that's weird yeah they're not like yes that's how it should yeah be. <laughs> and even if they even if they are the person that does that it's like if you take it away it's not gonna change them <laughs> well you gotta get rid of Tarantino <laughs> yeah like Red Dead Hicks are crying like God with the wind was my favorite movie. I mean it was the number one movie on Amazon after that happened yeah because they empowered it yeah exactly <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. C- Corey Feldman's off his rocker. He's been tweeting about the wuss pack. He calls them instead of the wolf pack. And uh, <laughs> I got him. What a fucking loser. I love that. In like the midst of all of this, he still just only cares about this. He's, he's like tweeted and retweeted. Like this is all in the past, like few days, like all this shit. So what's yeah, going on with the wuss about, pack? Are about they, living they in your own? I don't know. Let me see what Courtney has to say first. I want to go through some of his things. He's still promoting his movie. He's in his own weird little oh, bubble, man. man. I like kind of already forgot that his movie no, came well, out. That's exactly what I was saying. Like I forget about him for months, and then when we check back in, he's still fighting <laughs> this world war like yeah. that's been going on. It's always the same for him, yeah. even though we check in and yeah. out at will. Hi everyone! That's Thanks a babe. for joining the live. No, she's hand, she's fucking handcuffed to that bed I'm by her feet. I'm giving it a few minutes. Yeah, she's gonna fucking stuff. Gerald's game Hi, her Cherie. skin off. Yes. Yes. I have my yes. um, <laughs> list of handy dandy notes because it's so much. Yeah, she looks like I Maynard James Keenan from Tool. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, I thought I'd like come like here and defend my husband because this is just fucking bullshit. Like Whoa. he's working to protect kids. What are you doing? You know? So protesting. You know, people want to say consider the source. Well, let's consider the source. She's bringing up my news we have no idea about. <laughs> she looks like a caricature of a person. <laughs> She just looks like a, like a, like a, like a seven out of ten. And she looks like when you, I mean, when you're playing maybe Fallout it's, and you hit random yeah. and it makes that her. Is, maybe it's the angle or the lighting, but to me, it looks like every part of her is exaggerated. Girl, it might just be the mean, weird shadows on her face, but she looks years. like a caricature of a person. She looks like, like her head looks like too big for her body. Daenerys Tar Targenian or whatever. No, she doesn't. No, she don't. Not at all. Yeah, she looks just like her. No, she doesn't. It's 
beyond disrespectful for someone to go and like do this and make up false allegations. First of all, because they're not true. I mean, I don't know. Were there allegations? That's what they're really she's bringing up the allegations that nobody heard of. She looks like. Do you think they're saying he's a he's like a rapist now? Is that the new thing they're trying to say that Corey Feldman's a I rapist? I believe it. I believe a hundred percent that he also raped the other Corey at some point. Like, yeah, it's cool. She looks like Pinhead from Hellraiser with no pins in her head. That is absurd. <laughs> you guys are now just <laughs> trolling. I didn't say that. Okay, uh, good. I'm glad you're not. I own that. it. Jim laughed though. <laughs> I did laugh. How's, At how the absurdity. Was Corey Feldman. She looks like Voldemort. She's but, not, with a, but with a nose. She has a uh, uh, pronounced nose. Yeah, she looks like if Voldemort had a nose, he'd look just like Courtney Feldman. Are you gay? Just say it. Nobody wait, would wait, care. Wait. So I'm suddenly gay because I don't think <laughs> no, because you're like, Feldman. She look, but it's like you're like, she's disgusting. Is basically no, no. What you're saying. I'm saying I'm just or you're you, saying Voldemort's hot. One I'm of the two. I'm telling you who she looks like. <laughs> so you think Voldemort's a hottie? No. You think Voldemort's a, a seven out of ten? You fucking she looks like Voldemort with a nose. Tell me I'm wrong. No, absolutely not. She looks like Abe Sapien from Hellboy. <laughs> uh, you know who that is? Jim I mean, knows. Elijah Wood said something about um, he wishes he could name names or something, like where he's talking about it, but then he, he ran it back and said he wasn't talking about his own experiences. He was talking about uh, the documentary An Open Secret. I mean, everything that comes up, then it's just Feldman talking about Charlie Sheen. Is he saying he wishes he could name names because he knows them? Or like, I wish I could name names, but I don't know any of them, so I can't. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's like Because that's a statement that could go either way. names anymore. He forgets names all the time. I don't know anyone's name. He's a face guy. I wish I could name names, but it's just like, I I see him in my head. I don't know. (laughs) Is it Chuck or something? (laughs) I guess. Maybe she'll get into it. I I wonder what these allegations are. Of all, because... She's doing it for ulterior reasons because she was sent there in the first place to cause disarray (laughs) and to make us all look bad. So anyhow, there's that. It's like (laughs) Corey working on music in the other room. Tired of it. Like I don't know how anybody can possibly give her any sort of credibility. (laughs) Like. She's been terrorizing us ever since we decided to like create the documentary. Are you talking about Hames? Judy Hames, mom, because, maybe. Yeah. You know, God forbid someone should say something about children that are being abused in Hollywood. God for fucking bid. Whoa. Yeah, that's what she hates about you guys. <sighs> so anyhow, mm, who's sorry? Other dude um, calling Cor- yeah, You're Corey's sure, calling me. He's asking you know, me what the fuck I'm doing. Jackie, like, sorry, just the other dudes Selena. I fuck. And <laughs> Corey's calling. He needs the cookies from the top shelf. And. It was a little strange, but, you know, whatever. That's what they decided to do. Um, she wa- also wanted to strip while she was living with us, which we said. Oh, so there we a, go. All right. So there's a, a former girl. angel, baby. All right. Let's take this. Back I believe over. everything she said. <laughs> OK, so yeah, it's an angel. Definitely been terrorizing us ever since we decided to, like, create the documentary. And it all started back then because. You know, God forbid someone should say something about children that are being abused in Hollywood. God for fucking bid. <sighs> so anyhow, um, so during the tour, you know, basically Jackie like bunked up with Polina. Jackie and Polina. They Polina. Very friendly during the tour. These names Corey and gives them. <laughs> it was a little strange. You're but, Jackie. You're Polina. You know, <laughs> Let me see. He started to, let's see. Who wrote this? There's an article here. Uh, there's a point in time where I'd say that I was good friends with Corey Feldman, but that relationship quickly fell apart due to moral reasons and his own weird brand of selfish Hollywood douchebaggery. Yep. He demanded I had to wear white if we hung out or did an event, which was weird, but whatever. Then he started demanding that I couldn't eat meat in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's so gross. <laughs> he had actually invited me to dinner but then refused to allow me to order anything with meat because he was vegan and found it offensive, which was the last time I agreed to ever take him up for dinner. I was always an outsider at Hollywood, which probably saved me in the end. I was in my thirties and working nonstop in independent films and reality TV. Um That's ba-ba-ba. the schedule right there. Nonstop indie films and reality TV. Delving into the story about Corey Feldman sent to my inbox. The accusations against Feldman are beyond horrendous. Emotional abuse, controlling what the women around him wore and ate. 
Physical assault, nonstop sexual harassment, plying women with drugs and alcohol to render them either these willing are all facts. <laughs> or unconscious enough to have sex with them. Yeah, these all no- sound very true. Non consensual sodomy and rape by use of force on a woman while she cried about it. The saddest part is that all these testimonies from former bandmates and friends that it fits in exactly with things I've heard and seen him do before. Uh, bu- 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 first, after inviting me to his birthday party, I was told by the doorman that I had to pay to get in or, <laughs> take, or take my clothes off. What I called fuck? Corey pissed off, and he stated he'd only let me in if I agreed to walk around in a bra and thong for his friends. <laughs> <laughs> after an argument in which I obviously friends. won, I managed to get into the party without doing either. Is why do you still want to go to the party at yeah, that point? Yeah, why would you want to go Coke? there? <laughs> not, to, not to blame the victim. Is this Poena? <laughs> Paulina this is someone Coke. else. Uh, but I was clearly ostracized from him and his harem for not playing along that night, and that was fine by me. Oh, uh, I can't hang out with Corey and his harem? <laughs> Fuck. Let's see. The second time I had to console a young Isn't woman Polly Shore all night? who had plied with so much drugs and alcohol that he had that she had gotten ill. I held her hair while she cried and threw up while Corey stomped around angry because she wouldn't have sex with him. (laughs) And Lord knows I wasn't. So we just kept getting madder and madder, demanding she go into the bedroom to have sex with him. Come on. He's like crying. None of this sounds out of the It doesn't sound outlandish. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. It it sounds (laughs) honestly. Come on. You want to have sex with me? (laughs) I'm not even. (laughs) Come on. The mood walks away. I'm not even. I thought I was drugs and booze. I thought we were going to have sex. I'm worried by Michael Jackson out there. You can't even hear it like. Okay, let's hear her side of the story. It just sounds like her just like <laughs> saying facts. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Can't believe what you're getting sick now. We're supposed to, we're not even in Fox. <laughs> I yelled at him to back off and stayed with her until she felt better and finally went to sleep. She seemed unaffected by it when I talked to her the next day, probably too out of it to remember. It didn't sound like this is the first time this had happened. This brought up another discussion because he had also given her a bladder infection, which was making her miserable. About the third and final He's thing got a I, filthy dick. I found out he was doing, Corey Feldman was having unprotected sex with all these young girls and convincing them it was safe. <laughs> <laughs> Corey liked using his celebrity status to reel in young, usually out-of-town, naive girls, but it turns out he also convinced them that a makeup sponge dipped in a questionable spermicide he bought from China would protect them from every disease in the world, including Ooh, AIDS. What? Oh, that totally man. sounds like <laughs> that's so <laughs> No one would make on. that up. That's the most fell dog shit. This cleans it. Don't even worry. I got a spermicide from China. Look at it. It's a sponge from China. It's a very special sponge. <laughs> that's I, insane, and it has to be true because no one could make that up. Yeah, no, that's Except yeah, Corey. no way. Yeah, that's, that's too Corey. Corey. That's too Corey. I said something to the likes of, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> he, cl- he claimed that Charlie Sheen showed him this method, and it was a hundred percent fail safe. Charlie, so he. <laughs> <laughs> wow, because uh, I believe all of this immediately, and that. That would be so perfect that his friend Charlie Sheen t- taught him about the spermicidal makeup sponge. This led to a fight where Corey and his girlfriend went to get tested just to show me the results. And thankfully for all those women he slept with, it was negative. I said, I'm glad you're healthy, but you're just lucky and this needs to stop. He didn't care. Uh, it was keeping his idol Charlie so Sheen the sponge safe. works. <laughs> yeah, it does. His idol Charlie Sheen? <laughs> Is this all about a falling out with Charlie Sheen? So he made yeah. some fucking... A uh, smear campaign about Corey to d- try to stick something on Charlie. I wanted to use my platform to give these women the voice they've been denied by hypocritical, soulless industry. Ba ba ba. Corey Feldman is a manipulative, emotional bully and takes advantage of everyone he knows. I very well believe that he himself was a victim of sexual abuse, but that does not give him the right to sexually violate women. All the while pretending to fight for against Hollywood predators. Make no mistake, Corey Feldman is a sexual predator of the worst kind. Take into consideration the accounts of women that work directly with him more than anyone else. And that was just the lady who was friends with him <laughs> that people wrote into. Mara Moon. Oh, isn't that what she said? Mara Moon? Oh, I thought it was... Wasn't it Pina Weenie? It was Pina and something. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, you're thinking of Sandra Moon. <laughs> so, anyhow... Um, so during the tour, you know, basically Jackie like bunked up with Paulina. Okay, yeah, and... Jackie and Paulina. But anyways, this is Mara Moon. It's taking me a little bit to collect my thoughts and to find the right words and spirit to sit down and write this letter. Uh, the easiest thing for me to do right now is walk away from everything I'm seeing, try to maintain what is at best an unconscionable non-disclosure agreement. 
Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. I just want to help other victims. Playing an instrument is hard enough without added sexual exploitation and having your dreams preyed upon by a predator. I'm a musician. It's not that hard to play an instrument. I am a singer and a songwriter. These are my strengths. I also play guitar. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> I'm a lady and I can play guitar. Like That's a, already yeah, hard enough. It's like a resume, though. Then I got I've, I, 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 I'm a full package. I sing. I write songs. I play guitar. Um, I was hired to perform in Corey's band. I looked forward to the opportunity to work with other musicians and grow my knowledge and skill. I never saw this as an opportunity to make it big or even get recognized. I truly admired the fellow musicians I worked with. Um, not what one consider by Corey's description of an angel as a lost soul in need of saving from myself. Uh, I did not leave the tour because I was in fear for my life from outside people. My safety and health were jeopardized by my employer, Corey Feldman, practically every day I was on tour. I was not comfortable with what I was being asked to be a party to, and it did not sit well with me. Corey had expressed to everyone on tour that he was going to start a campaign in order to generate some funds. This was not a spur-of-the-moment afterthought when the tour fell apart. He had this in mind from about October 14th in Reno, Nevada. Uh, what is going? What is this? Well, I mean, that's credit to Corey because we thought it was an afterthought after the tour fell apart. I think she's <laughs> saying that uh, his, like, truth campaigns are actually just he was trying to get funds for his tour. Sure. Uh, let's see. That was his reason for needing to. Oh yeah. At the time I expressed my concerns that logically that if he felt he needed additional security, because that was his reason for needing to start a fundraiser campaign, then what kind of danger did that present me? I was met with indifference because as was stated to me by Corey, you're not in danger. You're not a household name. The verbal abuse and <laughs> condescension. Dude, that's so, <laughs> it, I, I believe everything she's saying, whether, whether, I should or not, just because everything she quotes for him is the most Corey thing. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. We know Corey front to back. That's Corey. Uh, the verbal abuse and condescension was ongoing. On one occasion, I'd lost pieces to my Lolita costume. Was forced through being yelled at to find pieces in a lost and found of undergarments. Where's your Lolita costume? I was yelled at to just wear them. Oh, like like just pick, just get the <laughs> just get the get clothes out of the lost tongue. and found. Just wear them. What are you talking about? And he was throwing, fucking fuck, put it off, and had them thrown at me when clearly they were soiled with either menstrual or fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jesus. wear these dirty panties from the dump. Just wear it. What are you doing? You got the you already <laughs> got the sponge inside you. My safety, both physically and mentally, were constantly under assault. I was met with that tone as though I was collateral damage, or that I should be grateful for this opportunity. Whenever I brought any concerns about circumstances or conditions during the tour, I felt like my hopes and dreams were held over my head. Uh, I should have left much sooner than I did. I feel that once it became apparent to both Corey and Courtney that I didn't co-sign their lifestyle. He started pretending he was a trans vampire <laughs> wandering around. I was reminded regularly that this was my dream and it could all vanish, vanish if I did not at least turn a blind eye. The subtle, continual emotional, verbal, and physical abuse had begun to take a toll. Uh, the contract I signed guaranteed food, suitable accommodations, a safe and drug-free environment, and payment. To date, none of the contractual obligations have been met. Jesus. I was subjected to accommodations contrary to the contract. I was made to share a bed with two other women while the motel room was comped by the venue. I was guaranteed food, but it was rationed to the point I received a quarter of a veggie burger while others that are not vegan ate full portions. <laughs> I was told to get the fuck up and put these groceries. Oh, get the fuck up. Put these groceries away. <laughs> by I can't Corey. reach the top shelf. <laughs> by Corey. He's on a tricycle. Too, these I were imagine. not my groceries. <laughs> they were <laughs> Courtney and Darcy's groceries. They were picked for themselves and paid out of the tour food budget. A privilege I did not receive. I wasn't allowed to eat any of them. And there were a lot of tears shed before I'd even decided to leave the tour. Uh, I was subjected to domestic altercations between Corey, Courtney, and Darcy, their girlfriend. They were violent in the sense of loud yelling, arguing, door slamming, and it was all fueled by drugs. Yes, there are drugs. I have a hard time reconciling what? Corey putting <laughs> forth a drug-free image when, in fact, they were arrested for drugs being in the RV they were traveling in. I was guaranteed a drug-free environment. A.K.A. the drug V. Corey tried to silence me with an NDA, knowing full well he was not honest about his lifestyle. This is uh, low considering how many concessions on my life and safety he asked me to make. I had to rent a car because the driver that was hired was driving erratically and I'd gotten hurt. The sleeping arrangements in the RV. She's just bouncing around the cab <laughs> because she's so thin from no food. She's like, oh. Looking like those people in the videos where their car rolls like the on the highway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. What else is here? I she lived... gets sucked out the window. 
<laughs> I lived in their house for months before the tour was strongly manipulated to never. Uh, before the tour, I was strongly manipulated to never leave the house for anything. I'm perpetually tormented by images of Corey Feldman having an orgy oh. while worrying about getting kicked out of the house or fired from my job. Yeah, that is uh, a hard image to uh, cope yeah, with. I, could, I couldn't shake that. I don't know if I could shake <laughs> that. Dude, you had to hard car yourself right there. I remember trying to go to my room and wasn't allowed to and trying to retreat and being bullied into staying in their room. When I finally left, Corey managers Phil, Corey's manager, Phil Shapiro, didn't want me to talk to the media. They didn't want me talking about living in the house, sexual harassment, or attempts to coerce me into sexual behaviors I wasn't comfortable with. Why not? Phil tried to pay me off with a hundred with a thousand dollars. No <laughs> joke. To not associate with the wolf pack. I told him he Here's would pay me. Here's a thou wow. Don't talk about the rape. <laughs> yeah, don't join the wolf pack, please. <laughs> I told him he would pay me my paycheck and nothing else, and I got the hell out of there. Uh, all right, well, let's get to her. There's some other stories, but let's see what else she has. To <laughs> Kevin say. Nash is standing in the shadows, like, don't take the money. <laughs> <laughs> during the tour and it was a little strange but you know whatever that's what they decided to do oh poina her um, story's here too she wa- also wanted to poina. strip while she was living with us which we said absolutely not because no stripping you know that's against everything we're standing for oh and, like at a place you know I get it. the whole notion you want to make money Angels outside of us to give girls another avenue so you didn't have to go down that kind of a path oh wait a minute pause and, real you know, quick I'm not saying i don't want to bring everything to a screeching halt but we got to explore the accessibility settings in the last of us part two that's what's trending in gaming right now nope so. Uh, just click that uh, gem. It's BLM. It's Pride. Where you gotta <laughs> learn about how retards can play the movie game. <laughs> like, I know what they all are. Doing that, but like, you know, if there's a better way out, why wouldn't you take it? You know, if somebody's giving you an opportunity to do something that you've always dreamed of because you spend your whole life practicing piano and singing and being in a band and then you finally get an opportunity, then why wouldn't you like appreciate that opportunity instead of like use that as a reason to be like mad at somebody? What? But it doesn't matter. What anyways. was the thing she said in that other video? It was like, and no. What was that? Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. And that's when they, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Shit, I forget what it was. I forget, too. Uh, that should be on the soundboard. <laughs> I just remember yeah. how I felt when it happened. <laughs> because she was sent there to fucking... Oh, wait, was it like wasting their lives? <laughs> it was something like that. It was... Oh, shit. What was it? Uh, it's like oh, yeah, yeah. Cooler sport. guy. Risking their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fucking unbelievable, really, because... Yeah, this is like a you sober... You know, when she first... Court, you felt me. Um, came to live with what us. The you know, she mentioned she was dating somebody and you know so I mean I would love to <laughs> like you know, out, dude. specifics and stuff, but it's <laughs> you probably said the best sober that Courtney I don't. Jeff? Yeah, but, <laughs> but she's not wild. Like, lay out some of the breadcrumbs because it's really interesting. Like when Poena started working for us, she mentioned that she was dating a couple that she was witnessing abuse the woman Thruppling? and I thought that was scary and I told her to call the police and she should report it call the police and that, um you know she should you get out of there as well but then once the tour started I you know she started dating Jackie so there's the breadcrumb trail there you I thought know, Jackie was their girlfriend it all out from there this lady's to totally to like a Suspiria it. witch, though. She's yes. probably like 200 years old. <laughs> but, you know, these Just people off clearly angels. don't care about children. She opens up her chest and shoves an angel in there. And whether they're doing it for fame or for money or, you know, because somebody's controlling them or manipulating them to do something like this, it doesn't matter. They're fucking doing it, and it's a fucking disgrace. God, Whoa. she cusses Pardon my All she does is cuss. Yeah. <laughs> Potty mouth. And it's just like... Where does Plus this the stuff sexual end? manipulation. You know, like, but she can play guitar. <laughs> why? Why are you so obsessed with doing this and with trying to take down somebody that's trying to spe- spread a positive message? You know, and what makes you feel like you can like get away with this and not be held accountable for your actions? 
you know, because everybody, yeah, no, everything yeah, you comes know, around like, in the end. You this know? is from Paulina. My name's Paulina, and I have no incentive to write this statement, but I wish to protect women and children from a repeat sexual predator. I need to see a birth certificate on this name. <laughs> When I was introduced to Corey Feldman, I was living in a garage in Van Nuys, California with the homeowner's pet rooster. Hell yeah. The homeowner was in the garage watching her poor friend Corey and showed me the video that had gone viral in today's show. <laughs> I, so <laughs> she was friends with Corey? Like, oh, fuck. I had Corey. similar criticisms as most people. No, she wasn't. The person who she's living with That's was. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, the person who owned yeah. the garage. I had similar criticisms as most people that the vocals and costumes were terrible. Oh, she watched the jam of the video. I was working as a costume designer, and the lady I lived with texted him saying I could make better costumes. Next thing I knew, I was at Corey's house in Encino, and we sat and talked for around three hours. He talked to me about being abused as a kid and how he wanted to create a safe working environment for women. He told me he was invited back on the Today Show and it was his big comeback, and he begged me to help with the dream. This was before the d- t- yeah. Today Show. Well, it was the second time, because he went back, remember? Oh, okay. He went back the second time. He said he didn't have any money to pay me, but he'd pay for supplies, and that he had other opportunities coming up if I did this for him. He'd make it worth my while. He said he'd promote me in his documentary about the band and tours and would hire me to do, a mo- do more work. He had a documentary about the band and tours and I'm, the work. Imagine if Corey Feldman's like, sorry, I don't have any money. Yeah, like, he, I don't he, believe that for even like a broke celebrity. Yes. sells shitloads of money. He's such a scumbag. He can't just <laughs> throw like a couple hundred, like even just throw a couple hundred bucks. Like, hey, this is just a start. Maybe we'll test yeah, it. I'll buy for supplies. Yeah, I'll ten. buy supplies, throw you 500 bucks or something. Um, he also went on. Oh wait, yeah. He said he'd promote me. He also went on about how horrible the media is and how they make up lies about him for buzz. He talked about Crystal Cali and how she got paid a bunch of money to distort the truth and talk bad about him, and how Wife Swap edited the show to make him look horrible, and everything was out of context. <laughs> he seemed so nice and seemed like he wanted to be my friend. I decided against watching any news online about him. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and just wanted to judge him like he was any other person. Also, it kept uh, me out of the rooster's house. Yeah, kept, plus, the rooster kept stepping on the laptop and changing my searches. <laughs> I agreed to join the team. I still have an unpaid invoice for costumes I made for the Today Show performance. I <laughs> mostly spent my time, and I only spent $157 on supplies. I mostly made the costumes out of reused cardstock and floor sweepings of crystals from one of the design shops I worked for. Floor sweepings <laughs> of crystals? That's great. <laughs> Immediately when I started working, there were cameras in my face filming me working and fitting the angels. After the performance, he tweeted a thank you to me for my work. I have no money. I have this documentary crew following me. Here you can see the light up crystallized halls and handmade wings the angels wore to replace the party city wings and halos. <laughs> I was asked to remake the wings for the spring tours. The wings on the Today Show were fragile and made of paper. He promised that following the tour, he'd have a budget and he'd put me on a payroll and make it worth my while and promote me. I told him this oh, was ridiculous man. because I'm not an aspiring costume designer. I would never want Corey <laughs> Feldman to tell me, hey, I'll make it worth your while. That just sounds sinister. Yeah. Corey begged and pleaded with me and even agreed that he would pay for supplies and I could open for him on the summer tour. I, I don't remade... have any money, but I have this sponge that's yeah. a miracle. <laughs> it kills It'll all It'll make you live forever like my wife. She's from the 1700s. I remade all the ha- halos and wings with better materials, and I worked on a few costume pieces for Corey as well. He gave me $20 once, but again, never paid the invoices I sent for cost of the supplies. I worked about 100 hours altogether making the costumes. By the time it got to the summer tour, I didn't even want to go because I felt like I was being taken advantage of. (laughs) You felt like. (laughs) Yeah. The first issue was I wasn't added to the tour, and I was told I had to call all the venues and book myself (laughs) as the opening act. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? The second issue is nobody believed my name was real. On top of that, his team refused to give me any contact info any of the bookers of the venues. I was only able to book myself on four shows and every media outlet who wanted to do a write-up about me as the opening act. And costume designer had to get approval from Corey and his team, which never happened. He's like, who is that? So even though he promised to promote me in exchange for my work, every attempt was shut down. I felt like I needed to go make sure these girls were safe as they were all much younger than me and Corey seemed to be a, a really good manipulator. I signed a crappy contract for $500 a week, all food and hotels included, although the angels in their contract were never allowed to leave the group. I got my contract amended to include that as a devout Catholic, I was allowed to leave to attend Mass whenever it was possible with the driving schedule. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking power move. 
Once the summer tour started, Corey was angry that the venues booked niche acts as uh, a lot of them, which included devil themed performances. <laughs> the venues tried to make it about angels and devils, and Corey was upset because he wanted to be considered a real musical act. Uh, uh, sounds like classic Corey wanting to be taken seriously. So then, oh, so then he, after that, he decided to demand that she perform every night on stage, and the venues were taken off guard as they thought I was a tour manager. <laughs> <laughs> who <laughs> well, your name is what many of the audience greeted me with booze <laughs> <laughs> even Corey's audience Jesus. Is, hates the opener uh where does it get to the harassment well i mean he's obviously really like shit but um let's see i was performing my own set singing backup during his set dressing him repairing costumes cleaning costumes doing laundry as well as other daily tasks the tour manager was only 19 had never been on tour uh, so as the most experienced musician on the road, I picked up so much slack that I worked around 18 hours a day. Wait, you said the tour manager was 19? Yeah, the tour. <laughs> it's probably just some 19-year-old girl. I was like, hey, be my tour manager. Eh, I can't pay you. <laughs> I love you. I have no money. Yeah. I'll pay you in these crystal wings. <laughs> on top of that, I wasn't allowed to eat anything, and we weren't paid our first check for almost two weeks. The other girls weren't being fed either, so every night I collected whatever food I could find in the green room and cool it on the bus Jesus. into whatever meals I could manage. What the fuck? When the the venues would accidentally put meat in the green room, which wasn't allowed, I would hide it for the girls to eat later. I wasn't eating nearly enough, and I was literally starving and got so sick I had to go to the ER. Corey didn't want me to go to the ER, insisted I had an STD, and he kept trying to give me medication out of his giant pharmacy bag. <laughs> Dude, you're not sick. You have an stuff STD. Like that. Stuff like that is that just like so true, that is dude. how, in my eyes, that is how you validate a story is by yes. saying saying oh. that's something that is so Corey Feldman that I oh, just yeah. you can't make it up. It's really you bad make for Corey up. if she goes to the ER. Ah, you have an ST. <laughs> Clearly, they got syphilis or something. Here, eat these pills. I got clap pills. I got what <laughs> these else? These will be you need? good. These are these are benzos. Uh, I told him over and over I was celibate and I didn't have an STD. Corey told me that it was impossible for me to be celibate. <laughs> Finally, I made it to the ER and got medication for a stomach issue. I called a friend, said I was starving, and he sent me 200 bucks. I went to the store and got food and med uh, medicinal supplements. When I returned to the bus, I was told I wasn't allowed to bring my food on the bus because there wasn't room. Despite this <laughs> insanity, I said, well, I'll sleep with it, but I'm not going without basic essentials. I spent the remainder of the tour sleeping in a bunk with groceries. Like a dog. Like, you're just like, I ha this is my food. Yeah. And then Corey comes near you, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like fuck bro this uh, is like some of the worst allegations against him yet because of course yeah. we know he's like a, a coked addled orgy weirdo but now he just like doesn't even let you eat yeah no he's a <laughs> he's a maniac yeah like I, he's much worse than ansel elgort he's lucky <laughs> that he's not a femboy i tried to complain to Corey's manager and even he said, though he's the most feminine of all <laughs> he said some disgusting things to me which i would consider sexual harassment so then I tried to complain to Corey, who promised a safe working environment, and he said his manager sexually assaulted his wife. I'm going to go with Corey on this one. Wait, uh, well, hold on, hold on. He said his manager sexually assaulted his wife by grabbing her once, and he sexually harasses all the girls. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's just that's just Joe. <laughs> yeah. He does it all the time. He What's that, food? <laughs> he pretended to be sympathetic. I asked, why would you work with someone like that? And he said he had no choice. What? I had to because he put so much money into his film and he has to deal with it. <laughs> that sounds like super Corey as well. That's so Corey. Overall, the tour is a nightmare. But then we got home. First, we didn't get paid our last week of wages. Then one of the angels, Jackie Von Rudin, said she hated him and was sick to her stomach and couldn't stand to be in his house one more second and asked if I'd help her move out. I said, sure, no problem. Went to Corey's house while he and Courtney went to Hawaii. So Imagine these are the two. <laughs> they have no money. Yeah. That's what she's talking about, that's Jackie and Paulina. About, yeah. Yeah, they're like, ah, we can't pay you. We're going to Hawaii. Didn't we serve? Was it one of his videos when he was, we watched? He's in Hawaii, the one he's on that like balcony. Yeah, and there are oh, all these people yeah. behind him and shit. Uh, I took Jackie to my house, and she had no money, nowhere to go. When Corey returned from his trip, he sent me a series of psychotic text messages, <laughs> calling me a home wrecker and a Satanist. I couldn't figure out what the heck he was talking about. <laughs> Finally, Jackie opened up to me about what she witnessed and went through on the tour that I didn't see. I immediately took her to the police station to make a report. Corey immediately replaced us with other young women for a fall tour, which <laughs> turned into a nightmare for those girls. They told uh, me it was 10 times worse. He used my costumes again for this tour without payment or permission. 
Corey began bad talking us to his fans, calling us lecherous, and only referred to me as Jackie's girlfriend. Just between songs, <laughs> hey, we, fucking poeta, huh? Everyone's we, like at the fair. Is we like, all hate Jackie. Corey Feldman's girlfriend. in a band. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we got death threats from his fans, and there's a blue van parked outside my house for over a month. That's great that he, he has an actual wolf pack <laughs> on his side. The, yeah. The Feld, what is it, the Feld fam? <laughs> are like Scientologists. We even had someone take photographs of us that were given to Corey, which he showed his fans to somehow prove we were a Satanist. Uh, we tried to expose him as he made himself a hero for sexual abuse survivors during the the Me Too campaign, but no, new Me Too campaign, but no one would help us. <laughs> Just no one bought that bait at all. No one even like was on his side during any of that. Uh, we had to watch as people donated money to the scam artist. Thankfully, people heard our story and continued without us trying to expose Corey for being a liar, manipulator, and a sexual predator. Then Corey began referring to anyone who opposed him as the Wolf Pack and claimed <laughs> we were trying to stop his work of God. Then Corey's horrible movie came out, and the Wolf Pack came together to do whatever we could to expose him and convince people not to give him their money. I love that. Yeah, the little dig there. Yeah, yeah. Corey's horrible documentary came out. <laughs> because of this, more victims began to contacting us, telling us stories about being raped, drugged, manipulated, and sexually bullied by Corey Feldman. We made Corey pretty angry for giving his victims a voice, and he began trashing us online to his fans, saying that we were pedophile protectors working for an elite organization, and I was hired as a spy to, de to destroy him from the inside. That sounds like him. Yep. My response to that is, well, now I won't shut up until all his victims come forward and he gets investigated for fraud. I feel a sense of responsibility because th his show was crap and I made it good enough for his fans to enjoy. Well, slow down. Your, your costumes are not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut her up, Jim. Yeah. I was trying to see. Well, so what did Jackie say? I bet you Jackie's got her own like little thing. Out yeah, there. yeah. It must be like, uh, hang on, let's go back to Courtney. What's she saying? It just does. Can't just get away with lying forever. forever. You know, eventually it's going to catch up with you. And I think, you know, to anybody that's seeing the situation for what it really is can see that, you know, and anybody that's a victim or a survivor of sexual abuse. That is a huge slap in the face. You don't make up false allegations because there's already so many people out there trying to be taken seriously and trying to get justice that you just don't do that because you're ripping that away from them and it's not okay. You know, people like that I think that it's should go squeaking, not beeping. They really should. No, that's beep. Fucking makes me so sick. Unless it's Corey's in a I like a, a, like a swing. So anyhow, she keeps cursing, but it sounds like very put on. Like yeah. she feels like she should curse to make it seem yeah. like this is real. This is it's, how it sounds. Yeah, this is dramatic. Ridiculous. Oh, and then these girls, um, Jackie and Polina, you know, working together with Judy. Same with Margot. It's just like, you know, that's who they were working with. You know, I haven't seen, you know, Margot pop up recently. So maybe she's got. Eight. figured it all out or maybe she's still part of it i don't know but you know it's just it's just ridiculous okay yeah jackie did an interview with bobby wolf who i guess is the head of the wolf pack <laughs> and she did say that she witnessed feldman rape a girl while others were present feldman said no comment <laughs> no comment how about no <laughs> Wolf, who has made a series of videos interviewing those who have made allegations against Corey Feldman, is considered the leader of the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack consists of those who believe the multiple allegations the ex-angels have made against Feldman are convinced he lives the lifestyle of a cult leader. The Wolf Pack are people that believe women. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really all I have to say about it, because when you go and write a letter to the SAG Sexual Harassment Board making up all kinds of false allegations... And then we get a call from them. That's not okay. Also, by the way, the you SAG know, sexual harassment board, it's just a tube that goes to the dump. <laughs> like, like you yeah. write or anything to them. Because they have something to <laughs> Just hurl stuff. it right to the sun. Uh. <laughs> Hail the sun, by the way. Or praise it. And that's usually the case. Oh, cool. You know, <laughs> people that have something to hide typically want to point the finger and blame somebody else so that 
nobody looks at what they have to isn't hide. that what Corey feldman constantly does is just point the figure and blame someone else so no one looks at him what so that's anyhow. all Corey feldman does I'm well because she said typically people that have something to hide point the finger and constantly well, blame and other he's people. Con- he constantly has this elaborate story for why what the thing you thought you saw wasn't yes, actually what you thought you saw. Yeah. And it's never a simple story. He no. never has it never once been like, oh, no, that's just some person. I don't even I, they, I, I've no. never even met them. They're just it's making elaborate. Some like, he got no, stabbed. But they, and yeah, they, they snuck drove in by and, and they, yeah. they ca- came in through a, an open window. And it's, it's always like some elaborate I mean, I really shit. The wolf fox back causing mass destruction. How much more I can say about this, you know, other than. It's extremely I like that he, unfair. He's and like, I un- can't make the video, but if my wife does, it'll sound better. <laughs> like, it's definitely like he he had to feed her what to say because it he feels like it's a better play than if he's on there like I'm not a rapist. Yeah, he's directly to yeah. her left right now. Yeah. Yeah. To my back to tank. And Beep. I do pray Beep. that you know Beep. people see it for what it is. Looking around in the back to and... That's just well, that beeping is just a bomb. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got like a dynamite with and, a uh, clock on it. Yeah, and he's not gonna disarm it unless she makes this video. You know, anybody that's going after you know naming themselves after Jezebel in the Bible. You know, Jezebel was an extremely vindictive Jezebel character that went after the Lord's prophets. That's yeah, the one the dogs ate, threw end, up, and ate she again. She paid for it because she was eaten by wild dogs. Yes! Yeah, she, Woo! she, she brought up the same one. You, like, it always <laughs> she brought up the same uh, biblical reference in the last thing. It's like the only one she knows. Oh, man, what a crazy reference, though. She throws herself from a mm-hmm. tower, and evil. the dogs eat so her and I'm throw her up and eat her that. again. And, Jesus. You know, Classic seeing, dogs, though. They love eating You know, puke. all your comments and positivity and all the people that their do eyes were bigger than their stomachs the right thing for justice Corey you feldman's know, a coomer oh man it all matters jim just stumbled <laughs> on it <laughs> like it needs to be said yeah, he is oh uh, that was like a fucking bad lib for being robbed <laughs> of justice that they deserve. The Their voices the need Kuma to be heard. Even. They deserve justice. And nobody should have the right to take it away from them. So, you know, all I can say is that, you know, you I know. said what I I'm said. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. And sorry, not I sorry. To bring some clarity to anybody that might be confused about the issue. Um, you know, Go to Jackie basically truth said that, dot, you know, my dot com, truth to movement. Butt. We have the movie streaming it was every investigated three by hours. The yeah, he's going to be pissed at her that she didn't and plug the doc once. It was disproven. So I don't know why they never like followed up and, you know, arrested her or anything like that because you can't be, <laughs> You know, making up fake allegations. The thing is, no one whose nose is clean has this many things thrown at them 24 7 all the time. Just they are constantly embroiled (laughs) in all this nonsense, and they're claiming that 100% of it is completely unfounded. No one who is just not doing anything is just completely engulfed in this all the time. Some these elaborate uh, conspiracy groups that plan it to a T. Do you think they've seen our um, commentary yes. of 100%. the movie? Hundred oh, percent. Yeah. Maybe not watch the whole thing, they but at least we're have in the seen wolf pack it. for sure. Oh, They're they like, absolutely who's think. New, who's this new den of yeah. wolves? There's a there's a notebook somewhere in his house with n- notes about everything we said. And <laughs> there's why a we're wrong. wall in his house that says Jim, Jim, <laughs> Jim. Yeah, it's pictures Jim. of all of us. Yeah. Literally, string you know, like it. Jim was like his biggest fan. <laughs> He's well, like Tyra Banks in that clip. Yeah, just well, like why I trusted you. The weird thing is, is because like you know, all every now and then the um, like the Goonies two rumors will start up. Yeah, but oh, now because yeah. it's impossible to make Goonies two. Exactly. Now. Well, because they it started up again recently because like the guy that made uh, that makes the Goldbergs that TV show mm-hmm. like the eighties show. He posted some screenshot of like how he made a script Just five years innocently ago. Innocently not knowing what's going on yeah. with Corey right now. Like <laughs> but <most> also <laughs> that Josh Gad show had a reunion with the Goonies as well. And it's like, was I can't, Feldman there? Yeah, Feldman was. I was surprised because it's like 
it almost feels like you don't want him there, but yeah. then you kind of, I guess, can't do it without him because he's not going to say no. But I guess you kind of hope he says no. Was nah. his role in there, though? Here's the Absolutely thing. not, can, right? He might have been there. Actually. What? You can do it without what? him. What, Josh no, Gad I, I, I genuinely don't think anyone cares. But, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't care. But, you if know, you people get every, If you get everybody else, it's like when people... Do you think the Feld fam's not going to ask about it? But he, he'll claim that they... They had something against him or something. Yeah. Either yeah. way, I feel like all the pedophiles. I feel that, like you uh, totally get away with. But it. he's like that's Mama why Mama Fratelli uh, was a good Satanist. <laughs> not that they should make a Goonies too, anyways. But like at least in the past, whenever someone brought that up, I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. But now when people bring it up, I was like, don't do that. Do not because imagine Corey, Corey trying. Because uh, I mean, Keanu do Reeves, a reboot or a soft reboot at best. Yeah. Karani, Keanu Reeves forgot how to be Ted. Never mind Corey Feldman oh, yeah. trying to be. Hey, in a, a but Bruce Alex Winters one hundred percent remembers how to be Bill. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Because he would just be no, now I thought, Corey. I, think, I like the trailer, but. I, I think that know, Keanu man. Reeves didn't. I think what Jim Maybe said. he's just too distracted. He for couldn't me to remember enjoy how I'm to. I'm sure be the Ted. movie will be fine. It was just some of the the things in the trailer were tough. The trailer itself I liked, but yeah, yeah he just didn't seem much like Ted. But just imagine now Corey in a Goonies movie, like it just he wouldn't <sighs> what be about able to Corey do it. And John, John Wick Four. Imagine <laughs> a director trying to get him to do uh. anything. Like, it'd be impossible. He forgot how to act. He was actually good at acting at one point. Yes. And then he got it raped out of him yes. or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> he got it drugged out of him. Yeah. In this day and age and getting away with it. So anyhow. Um, Anyways. What's yeah. up, guys? And now I'm hearing Get me on that the fin stuff. is trying to <laughs> make up some sort of rape allegation. And it just keeps going on and on. And isn't that so interesting how the victims keep changing and... You know, the story it's almost like we're a menace. <laughs> and nobody can really seem to get everything straight because it never fucking happened. Whoa. So anyway, Whoa. Cusses. A lot of cusses. And then, you know. That's how you know she's telling the truth. First it was, oh, <laughs> someone grabbed her butt. Then it's like, oh, I witnessed a rape. You know, <laughs> oh, you don't, like, oh. joke about that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, you she know, had this great joke <laughs> about witnessing a rape. had the unfortunate experience of you being know, raped. You know, you witness a rape. It's an absolute. <laughs> disrespect and slap in the face to people that actually have been abused so i do hope that she is held accountable for this and that you know she isn't allowed to get away with this anymore because it's slander and it's lies she looks like uh like the wayne's brothers white chicks yeah she does you guys are I really impossible to please, guys, huh? You know, unless it's a femboy i mean she looks like a femboy at the end of the day, we can get justice for yeah, she this looks like that. Um, we've risked our lives. Who's that Nine Inch Nails that, rapper? You know, Ghost Mane? Yeah, she looks like Ghost Mane. She says blonde hair. <laughs> uh, she looks just like Ghost Mane. Oh, Can't man. Say. I mean, Ghost Mane you is know, also pretty. That takes balls, and it takes courage. And, you know... Sorry that Ghost Mane's a femboy, bro. Nobody needs this crap, especially not my husband, because he's been through she looks like so Jeffrey much Star. already. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. Yeah, she does. <laughs> at all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Knows that. You know, he's been abused his whole fucking life. And, you know, for people to just pile on to that for no damn reason is beyond despicable. She doesn't sound disgusting. genuine whatsoever. So, yeah. You know, um, you know, anyways. I'm confident that. God will have his way, and God Smash will Smash that justice. like button. Well, I'm hit the confident subscribe. there is no God with all the so, things you guys yeah, God, have done. God would have guys. stepped in by now. Thank you <laughs> yeah. for hearing me out. Split the heavens, came down like Corey. Really you got to settle down. To well, God's back, and he's so mad at Corey. Get it, get it. And, um, I let a lot of shit really go, but jeez. <laughs> so, you know, I hope you... Is that him whispering to her? Dude, I was just going to say, is that him whispering, I telling her what to say? I said that Corey is whispering like, hey, a minute. <laughs> I was just about to turn it off. Hold on. More to say than that. I think those that get it, get it. And um, that's all I really wanted to clarify. So, you know, I hope you. <laughs> what? No, I. I mean, I think I'm. I'm good. That's the. That's all I want to say. What? So anyhow. 
What was that? You guys take care. I don't know. She started breathing left. heavy and, and like um, we'll, was looking uh, at him. See you Rip soon on I'll another live. Kill I'm you. Sure. I'll fucking rape you right I'll now. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, I yes. think that's it. Oh, she's <laughs> got dead shark eyes. Look at those. <laughs> They're made of glass. Yeah, she's got glass eyes, like a doll's eyes. <laughs> oh, this hot lady has defaults. Uh, I want to see lady. what he's acting like in the Goonies reunion. Oh, man. What is this Josh Gad show? Is he it does, America's like, Next Top Jew? No, nah, because he did like a Back to the Future. He had like Back to the Future reunion, the Goonies. So he, he's got clout, he just, so he gets he just reunites He stuff? just gets them on Zoom, basically. Oh, was that what the what the Lord of the Rings thing was? Oh, I think so. Yeah, he got okay. the Lord of the Rings. I saw that, but I didn't know the part of anything in particular. I saw him there, but I was like, he probably played one of the dwarves in Hobbit or something. <laughs> the last ever episode ah. of Reunited oh. Apart, a show that brings back... I just want to see what Corey Many does. Many of us watching this wish we could see each other right now. It is my sincerest hope. That's Sean Astin first. Do you send out like a like a Goonies bat signal up to the sky? Sky? Don't you realize the next time you see sky, <laughs> it'll be in another town. The next time you take a test, it'll be in some other school. Sean Astin rules. <laughs> Our parents, they want the Sean best Astin of stuff for us. But right now, they got to do what's right for Where's them the because it's their time. Their time up there. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. It's all over. Stop the cutting the Josh Gad. Troy's bucket. Sean Astin, I love you. Please welcome the cast of the Goonies. Josh! Yeah. Oh, they got Mark, Brolin, they got baby. Brolin? Yeah. Corey, Sean. Uh, look at Corey, dude. <laughs> it just ruins it. Uh, guys, the cast of the Goonies! I bet he steps on everybody, too. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? I cannot believe I have you all in one, but Who also is that? so Oh, that's Trump. Crazy. Nerd girl, oh. right? She looks like uh, what's Oh, I thought you were from... the person in the throne. Yeah. No, Arkansas. I didn't know who was in the throne, but yeah, yeah it is Chunk, Chunk isn't it? Because he, he lost a bunch of weight and became a lawyer. Yeah, he's an entertainment lawyer. No, I meant like the one in the middle. I was like, who the fuck? She oh, looks that's like, the uh, nerd from girl. Arkansas. She looks like uh, Clark Duke. Oh, no, that's Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I were to tell Who's my the Asian that guy? this was happening, he'd probably have like a 1980s Hodor fit. I, first of all, I'd love each of you to quickly fill us in on what you've been up to. Oh, in and no, out you don't want to know. Doing nothing. What do you mean, what have we been doing? You don't want to know what Corey's been <laughs> up to. Things have been good, though. Having man. a career. How about everyone else? Kind of reassess <laughs> what starts to surface is what's important and what's not so important. And it's instigating a lot of things Damn, like two this, camera man, set up. which is amazing. This would never happen. He says happen, the Thanos set up so for some reason where it's like, I, can't even tell you. I was shaking so before we started. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, what are you up to right now? You're looking beautiful. Oh, you're very kind, nope. dear. I did manage to shower today. That was the She looks identical. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like the Carrie, exact same person. where are finding you right now? You, you look like a first yeah. lady. I'm in my home, the kids and the dog and my husband, and we've been eating a lot. <laughs> uh, Jeff, which Game of Thrones set are you currently <laughs> occupying? Uh, well, this is uh, my friend Tony Montana. Yeah. This is his throne. Oh. And he let me wear it. Thank you, Josh, for setting this up. This is amazing. It's, it's kind of great. funny that he has a Tony Montana throne. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that all ended out good for me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. He but always saw the first cause, part of Scarface. I, I reached the pinnacle of entertainment. Uh, by <laughs> Donate to Jeff. Of chunk, and I, there was nowhere to go but down. So I retired on top like Babe Ruth. What is, is Corey going to be like, yeah, well, I got, I got this documentary. Like, oh, is he going to bring it all down? All sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I know it, it, uh, I'm genuinely like school. terrified of when he talks because I'm just like, oh no, what's it gonna be? Oh man, he reps uh, Bong Joon Ho. Good yes! for him and Kugler. And I'm currently an entertainment lawyer. The one person who's no longer an actor looks most like an actor right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep God, still <laughs> acting. He looks like Michael oh Rosenbaum. This is all the adrenal chrome. So yeah, exciting huh? for the last few months. I decided to get back. To the the I was gonna say, same. why is his yeah. voice the same? Dude, he fucking sounds the exact That's same. awesome. He's, uh, Dr. Jones. He fucking sounds exactly <laughs> like him, dude. He didn't change at all. Because of. Um, movies like crazy which asians has really opened up oh this makes me so happy i like that he, <laughs> no matter he hasn't learned english any better oh he sounds uh, my identical acting, my, my daughter's high school senior film class 
just did a production and I, I played the principal. <laughs> I think there was heart. There was a lot of heart in that performance. They saved Corey Mostly for I've last. just been coming to Because they know he's a lunatic. You know, just, just skip non-essential, Corey. which I'm trying to do with precision. Corey, how are you holding up? I'm doing well. I'm actually stuck outside of the country. What? So I'm the only one I believe who's quarantining very far, very far. <laughs> The only one whose webcam is all fucked. I had premiered my film. Yeah, he brings uh, up his dumb uh, fucking film. Uh, God damn it. Even Gad put a link. Yeah. Of my truth, Fucker. the documentary, which is the expose that I spent the last three years working on. Look at on, everyone else. And it's really Texan. important. Yeah, they're all trying hard not to roll their no! eyes. They they know away. They're on <laughs> camera. <laughs> you know that was like 20 minutes long. When yeah, he yeah, he just kept going. Reunited apart. I just want to. Oh yeah, what what else is he doing? <laughs> that has never happened never ever in my life. No. Once. Really? <laughs> that shocks me. I have a question for you, Key. Oh, you cool. Ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. That's the thing. I mean, I do feel like they probably want to avoid Corey. <laughs> no, it's much as possible. Dude, they cut was, him off. He was the last one, and he got cut off. And you can tell that they're like. They probably were like, hey, motherfucker, you're muted, I can't believe so they don't even talk. put a link to that movie. Yeah, that was probably, like, the only way he, like, demanded it or some shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. Just have him not be there. Yeah. Unless their whole thing is, I haven't seen the other ones. If they've really thoroughly they been, like, get... everyone they've reunited, it's been everyone. Yeah. So they couldn't just not do it that way. Did they even get Joey like, Pants? Dobby and I in the makeup trailer with Annie in the morning. They did. We would be Joey wow. Pants. He's done some shit. Look at him. He looks he like um, the and the other and Fratelli. Wow. He looks like uh, uh, Ron Howard's brother. The other Fratelli's alive. <laughs> I can't believe uh, it. <laughs> looks like Clint Howard. He looks oh, like man. Clint Howard mixed with David Cross. Wearing like a Halloween <laughs> costume. <laughs> Finally, she started screaming, stop it. Stop it. I can't stand yeah, it. Yeah, what's her name's dad, right? Mama Fratelli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show them the tattoo. Oh, I have a tattoo. Mom was in the Navy. Our perception. I like that their real voice is like, oh, I have a tattoo. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, <laughs> in every movie she's ever been in. Hmm. I'm just trying to see. Like, there's definitely, I mean, I'm just skimming, but, but we're seeing right the Corey. voice that sounds like I look. Everyone else you can see has like a segment because you could see their close ups. I'm must not have been... seeing any Corey close up. There was one close up I stopped on. It was just him reacting. They were stoked that his internet connection was bad because that oh, meant yeah. that they could go. Hey, sorry, your your internet's kind of yeah. like up and down. We're just gonna focus a little bit more on everybody else. Yeah, but you know what? This one, this one right here. Oh, he's trying to do his. This was my wish, my dream, and it did he's come true. It. He's so bad. So he's I'm doing a bad impression. Back. Taking them I'm all. Taking back. them all back. Oh, oh yeah. Carrie and Mark. Oh, he did a terrible job. One of my favorite. You see yeah, this? No, that wasn't good. My, <laughs> this is my, my wish. <laughs> yes. It'd be Booyah. like if I just read it off the paper and had never seen the movie before. Yeah. Oh, I got Spielberg on here. Jesus. Whoa. Josh Gad pulling in all the favorites. They had to get Corey he out of there. A, he's huge right now, man. Yeah. Spielberg's got to be the leader of the, the child fuckers, huh? So you're back on the wolf pack. But I mentioned on one of our Patreon shows that like we're being we are now being accused of being pedophiles you by and me? Uh, uh, all of us. Oh. Although sometimes people will say the two of you. The two uh, of even you. Even though it's clearly three of us, even in the shot, like you could see there's <laughs> that happens us. constantly. And they're like, the two of you loses. Both of you idiots. <laughs> Because we're getting a ton of comments from the Feld fam on our Corey Feldman commentary. Oh, yeah. These are my favorite things. <laughs> and uh, first, someone pointed out, um, it's like, oh, they're not even hiding anymore. The pizza ad at the beginning. And I guess, <laughs> I guess there was an ad for pizza. So it means that we're obviously tied up with Pizzagate. We're part of Pizzagate. I didn't even know everybody was monetized. That I had no idea us. we had monetization. <laughs> I mean, YouTube just picks them randomly. Um but then also, yeah, we've been accused of being pedophile. Like, oh, the way these guys are joking and laughing, wouldn't be surprised if they're pedophiles. Clearly, clearly. I, or the other big one is like, I wonder how much they got paid for this. <laughs> like, I love that like, the only person. I was gonna say, like Hollywood's like, get Jim and them on the line. <laughs> they gotta uh, make a give them a big. We're gonna do a real teardown on Corey well, Feldman. And also, anyone who heard 
even one second of that show would be like, oh, these guys hate this guy. Of course, they're not paid for by him. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, no. Like we're. <laughs> no, that's right. That's what they're gleaning. Yeah, we're oh. paid by the executives that Corey is trying to out. I thought you were talking about the guy that said we were bought and paid for <laughs> oh, by yeah. Corey. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, if your jobs are reporting the news, then you're shit at it. It's well, the good yeah. thing it's not the job. <laughs> it's like, yeah, th- this is our gig. Like, oh, find something better to do. Yeah, we're Channel 8 News. This is the giant Jimmy Fallon we have <laughs> every night. Uh, you guys are morons. What else we got? Eat shit losers. I'm trying to see some of these recent ones. So this is just on the commentary of his whole video. You know what it is? Is we're one of the only places you can easily watch the well, whole movie. No, dude, because I have to comment sometimes or reply to some of these people because they're always like, where's the fucking movie? Why do these guys keep talking over it? And I'm like, hey, idiot. Go pay Corey $20. You yeah. could watch the movie. Also, Jim's Whoa, a genius. That guy's a pervert. Because it's a Jim Scampoli edit, and we talk over yes. the whole thing, so we're fucking untouchable, bitch. Imagine you're a Corey fan, and this is the only way you can watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, you oh, that's why they're so mad in the comments, because they're seething. Well, yeah. the whole they have no money, but they love Corey well, Feldman. <laughs> one person replied, and they're like, I'm not comfortable putting my credit card online. <laughs> it's like, all right. Okay. Not even Corey. It's not, yeah, Corey's not the problem in this case. This one's comment was just Feldman's banned in balls. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. Huh? <laughs> Feldman's banned in balls. You guys suck. Pathetic worm turds. <laughs> That's Feld. <laughs> oh, my God. Your That's channel Your channel is a disgrace. To what? I don't know. News? news? Just in general? The news. <laughs> uh, Jim and them. You're... W- wait. You're waste, mans. He's trying... You putting him down, you lot look like a bunch of pedophiles. Get at me. I'm waiting, sick heads. Oh, you got a British guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is that he like was a, a waste foreigner? man. Oh, you yeah. a waste man. I'm going to tell him to uh, eat my ass. <laughs> Y'all are going to hell. Uh, what else we got? <clears throat> Eddie Munster. I guess we... Oh, we called him Eddie Munster, I think. Oh, yeah, I did point out that he looked like Eddie Munster. <laughs> That's all someone wrote. He had all that man. Eddie Munster. Uh, They're just enjoying the joke. You guys are fucked up for real. And these are all just from our fans. Yeah, that's a good one. God, this was hilarious. Oh, good. Yeah, where's everyone like understanding the genius? Does that have a yeah. ton of clicks now? It's it's at like 40-something thousand views now. Whoa. And it got taken down. Because remember, it got taken down for like a month and a half because he tried to- It was f- that long? Yeah. Oh. He tried, or maybe it was just a month. It might have been 30 days exactly because they give you 30 days. Because I challenged it. No, it was a month and a half because I initially didn't challenge it because I was like, oh, fuck, we'll lose. So I just let him take it down. And then we talked about it on the show or whatever. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll challenge it. And then 30 days from there- he just didn't fight back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they put it back up. So, yeah, it's at 45,000 views. Uh, it was initially put up in Mar- March 14th. <laughs> I like, I like, good for him for telling the truth. You guys are disgusting for being so one sided with your review, which is mainly just making fun of how he looks. Because <laughs> 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 that is what we did. Review. And that, yeah, because someone was like, he actually said that. Uh, the molestation started on the set of the Lost Boys. But I'm like, we're like experts at this point. And I'm like, he never fucking said yeah. that. No, yeah, he no. did not. Where, where and, is the <laughs> biggest experts on the planet? And then the guy's like, uh, actually, he did. I've been following this from the jump. And I was like, where's the link? Never replied. Yeah. Because that's the thing is, they don't understand. Like, we didn't just pull this up randomly. Yeah, like, who is this Shit guy? on him. We've been following all this stuff. We yeah. are fucking experts. We have the two biggest Corey videos, yeah. right? <laughs> Probably on YouTube. It, unless they took down the one on entertainment or whatever. This one is a great ending. Why would you look for all the negatives? Are you in favor of child abuse yourselves? Wow. To slag someone off for whatever reason? How childlike. You guys give me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> this guy clearly just wants to fuck a child because he brought up child like four times. You guys are so in- immature. Making fun of how people look. You don't have any other intelligent thing to say. Do you realize how easy it is to make fun of the way people look? You learn that at age seven and immediately realize it's a bad habit. So you stop. Clearly, your parents were not around. Were you guys raised in a shelter? <laughs> in a shelter. I'd like, I'd like to argue that we bring up more points than just we how do. he looks. But also, look at him. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, look at him. His fucking That's lips fell fucking off. He's a ventriloquist. From sucking dick so much. Dog. I love, and I don't even know what the reference is that we make, but a few commenters are like, 
how dare you make that joke about a dad blowing his son? And I have no idea what we even said. Well, but I how we watched the whole sounds thing. Sounds like a fucking kick-ass joke, though. A dad blowing his. son. I had to stop when they talked about a dad blowing his. Oh, maybe he was talking about Corey's son. Pedophiles making jokes about fucking kids. Disgusting. <laughs> Uh, what a weird reason to stop watching the Corey doc that you've watched up to that point. I don't think that's like in the middle yeah. of it. I see a lot of people telling us to do our research, which is insane. We've done no, our research. no one is a more studied student of uh, Corey Feldman than Jim and them. Oh man. Yeah. And it's great that we have a clip of him saying shout outs to Jim and them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks to the fans. I should just put that up on our channel too. Yeah. Corey, just <laughs> watch the video, you guys. <laughs> and he has something to say. Jim and them, two knuckleheads trying to make a buck on the back of a celebrity. <laughs> Jim's cool, though. A <laughs> couple of knuckleheads. Yeah. Uh, you can do a little... Re yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can do a little research on the material available and see where at least a good part of it's true. Stuff you say is outlandish. Watch the first part of their show together. Haim all but says he needs to get some to get some as soon as he gets there. Oh, yeah, he's just trying to... We, we know that. He, but... It, but Corey still makes him try to be a sex fiend. Uh, I'll give you guys credit. I'm bashing the song at the end. <laughs> you guys <laughs> killed. You guys killed it on that. That was a dude that hated us too. Uh, he's but like, he that's pretty it. funny though. He watched it all the way to the end. He's like, all right, this is good. <laughs> this. Is I mean, everyone loves pee and poo. I like. I like the one. I don't even understand this. Hey, dude, what's up with your hair? With that long price? You look like Bob Marley. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but oh yeah, is he talking about Jeff's I think he's long hair? About he, Jeff, I wasn't sure if he's talking about Corey's. The way he talk about how he has this long thing in his hair. I think but. he's talking about Jeff. Huh. Jeff, you're like Bob Marley. Dope, Fucking dope. <laughs> Hell yeah! I've always said the if there's one person I look very similar to, it's Corey's braid. Uh, you are assholes and disgusting. I hope you get what's coming to you. The, the two of you mean? are assholes. <laughs> I per oh, here's that other response. I personally don't believe in putting my card information out onto the web. I got more smarts than that. Must feel good to have more dislikes than likes on a video that you pretty much pay to make. What? I guess because we paid I mean, the 20 bucks. Us. Like he's trying to own us because we paid to watch Corey's movie and this supposed yeah. fan didn't. And he's yeah, he's owning us. He watched it for free with us talking over it. <laughs> yeah, get owned. Yeah. I don't care if you don't believe him. Yeah, pretty obvious he wanted to make some money on this documentary. <laughs> Hollywood taught him that. Fake Hollywood and hypocrites. Taught him that. It's what Hollywood is all about. But if you're going to be assholes about it, at least entertain your viewers and do it right. Anyways, I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> so she believes he's corrupted by Hollywood. Oh, no, this is to a make dude. This is a dude with giant arms. I didn't pay anything watching this video, but I feel ripped off. Weak jokes, no punchlines. How old are you guys? <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Are you guys into fiddling kids, too? You seem like you have an agenda. Like, why are you doing this? You're helping scum pedos get away. <laughs> Hope you all get cancer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, another uh, foreign one. Funny, isn't it? What a bunch of knob beads you, you <laughs> lot are. What a ridiculous clip where you are laughing at someone for speaking out. When book look, what's now? Hope your channel busts. I don't fucking <laughs> well, book. Look what's now. Hope your channel busts, bitch. The pizza, yeah, the pizza. Waste man, busty. But I mean, there was that great one this week that was. Uh, oh, that one's so good. You guys are terrible people, but you made me laugh. Smiley face. <laughs> great comment. Smiley face. Love like it. the one where he uh, he calls us all fags, but yes, then says like that's the other. Yeah, that's would, right. What was yeah, that other one? Uh, it was like woke, and then he used. To it's probably just in, since you tweet them, you can probably just look at your, your Yeah, images. let me look up. I have a, I, I clipped that. Where did I put that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that one. You guys are terrible He's trying people. to be all, like, fucking, uh, like, uh, moral, like, think he's, his, he's morally better than us. Feldman went through all types of horrific shit, and you punks do nothing but make fun and talk shit about him. I'd like to know how you bitches would act if any of your kids got molested and raped. Fucking fags. <laughs> <laughs> they are best friends, you dumb fuck. <laughs> They are best friends, you dumb fuck. First I of love all, the explosion because he's mid. He, he must have said something while he was typing the other part. Yeah. Because then he threw that in. And it's like, hey. Well, because first of all, if you knew anything about Corey Feldman, Corey Haim, like we do, They're they not. were not best friends at all. Wasn't even close. Even the footage he presents to show that he was his best friend is all like Corey hating Corey. Yes. Yeah. And it was all like 
it was misinterpreted. It was all for like the fucking the branding of just being the two Corys. They weren't fucking friends. Well, the ultimate is remember where he's like, and he really liked my hair. He's like, cool hair, Corey. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he really loved it. <laughs> Look at your cool. hair. <laughs> I love her doing your hair, and I was like, oh, this old stuff. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Came here just to add one dislike. And then another comment from the same person. Does anybody have anything good to say about the commentators? <laughs> and then another comment from the same person. Typical fake media bashing the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're part of the fake media. We're fake news. We're pedophiles, and we're also part of like Hollywood, pe- uh, like the pedo underground. Well, and I like that. That depending on the time stat, that clearly proves that she's like just came here to dislike. But I'll watch a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, these guys are bastards. Keep watching <laughs> <laughs> one more time. You guys not are, even funny, <laughs> but got, the end was pretty good. <laughs> you guys are so immature. All you did was make fun of how he looks. Making fun of how people look? Don't you have any other intelligent things yeah, to say? Was, I read that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> that's like what a seven-year-old. That, that yeah. sound, I, right? lo- yeah. I love that, that that we made fun of how he looked so often that so many people brought people it got up. got upset about it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how how can you be a Corey fan and not come to, at least to terms with that? Yes, You'd he have looks to be really like, yeah, bad. look at how he fucking no looks. One's, it, 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 even like the diehards can't be like, this is good. This is good for Corey's look. Uh, what do you think? Do you think uh, Corey's got anything good going on in cameo right now? Oh yes, let's. Just, I just oh, love checking shit. in with Corey, even just his Twitter. And shit. You know what? I was watching some of uh, Sebastian Bach's cameos. Uh huh. And Ooh. I mean, he charges a lot. The singer of Skid Row. Oh, that's. I thought you meant like the original Sebastian Bach. And I'm like, well, it can't be him. He charges a lot, Have but we... they're all like ten minutes. Why are we watching Sebastian Bach's cameo? Well, because. Well, first of all, I've been wa- I always watch Gilmore Girls all the time. He's on it. <laughs> Skid Row and rules. Oh, I Skid should Row have known. Rules. And then um, he charged four hundred bucks. But then wow. uh, he was in the news because him and Jericho have like a feud online right now what? because um, they're like we're the same person. Someone tried to ask him about Fozzie, <laughs> and then Sebastian Bach's like that guy can't sing. <laughs> You've never seen him sing a song and for real. And he started <laughs> shitting on Jericho, and Jericho got all pissed. Uh, so I, I was on his Twitter, and I saw well, it. I mean, if, if he's going to be like, hey, oh these cost God. way too much. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what's chat 20 bucks mean? Does that mean we can talk to him? No way. Can. Yeah, what is this? For 20 bucks? What happened? Your receipt. What is this? What is this? Or is it just a, is it just a text chat, though? Cameo just, Direct. That's so fake if it's like not a FaceTime. Cameo Direct's our exclusive app feature where you chat with your favorite celebrities. Let them know you're... Oh, I have. I think I have heard of this. This is where it's like a text chain. Oh, uh, okay. uh, yeah. And yeah. then it's like, hey, it's me, Tony Hawk. Just yeah. got a new vid coming out. You're like, isn't what's up, ca- Tony? <laughs> isn't that kind of I do what, actually have that. He's in my phone. He texts me. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that like what J- Jeremy Renner's app was? Where you yeah. could like pay and chat with him Okay, okay. No Jeremy mind. Renner had an app? Yeah, but then it got overrun by uh, free, <laughs> like trolls or something. I I forget. Oh uh, no, I'm thinking of a different guy. I was thinking of Jeremy Piven. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like Jeremy Piven has an app. Just cor- wait, two hundred bucks. It wasn't always two hundred bucks. Yeah, it was two hundred two. Because remember, that's his, fa- his favorite number. Oh uh, yeah, and also it's more than forty five. <laughs> but like he has dreads now or something. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. is this? Or maybe he's got like the really dirty the cornrow. Yeah, type he's got braids. cornrows going. Oh yes, I'm pumped. Dave. Dave. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember me, Dave. Oh, no. What's he doing? I'm going to do one Oops, of my sorry. new characters. <laughs> Die. 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 Oh, he's doing Just Friday the 13th. Grief open here with a... Why? Couldn't tell. <laughs> but why? Because he's in the fourth one. Because, yeah, they, he, that's what he does to Jason, right? Doesn't he say, remember me? And then he stabs him over and over again. He's yelling, die. He, yeah, he has a little different inflection <laughs> than <laughs> yeah, the, like, Ace I mean, Ventura Rasta detective or whatever the fuck is going on here. Sexy, he's all filmed the same day. Surprise. But it's weird because it's like, well, I mean, maybe it was the next day because he's got some without Oh, the, yeah, it's a different shirt. You're yeah. right. Dave Smizzle Simone. And Joanna Bigu. Kick ass audio. I hope, you that. I hope that guy asked for a Friday the 13th Part 4 Brooks reference. Hill Brothers. And they wanted to say, Congratulations on your marriage, 716. So, in Montreal, I hope it was a. <laughs> I like cold. how he did the thing where it, he uh, read it all wrong because yeah. he didn't know what he was saying. 
<laughs> uh, happy wedding, seven sixteen, and it's like, yeah, that's clearly like the date. And then he starts reading where it's located. And then he's like, oh, oh, and he starts panicking. Uh, yeah. oh. Yet warm because it's summertime type day where you could wear your jean shorts and shave your head and say, remember me, Dave. Don't you remember? Yeah, again, like Friday the 13th, oh, yeah. I guess. Please make sure you I hope they asked for that. There. Imagine you asked for, like, Goonies. <laughs> Corey is like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> He's like, what was Happy that wedding? One? Oh, yeah, I remember the Goonies. That's when I killed Jason. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> Who was the biggest Goonie of all? We gave him uh, Snickers. <laughs> now, Machete, for setting this up for you. Thanks. Take care. Peace and love. God bless. Dude. Corey Feldman. How half ass was his peace and love? Even? I like that like, he ends up with God bless sarcastic. Corey Feldman. He literally says, God bless me. Out. Corey out. Yo, 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 what's up? It is Corey Feldman, and I'm coming to you live and direct from my secret location here during. Why do they let us watch these? COVID-19. There should be like three of them at the bottom. Isn't, like, if I really legit came here because I wanted to get one, when I watch these, I'm like, oh, I don't want this. Yeah, there should be some celebs. Well, and also just the entertainment factor. It's like they want us on this <laughs> show to show up and make fun of them. <laughs> yeah. Funny. What's up, peeps? Yo, yo, yo. Uh, I am. Appropriating culture. You, Tori. Not Corey. <laughs> Like poor moi, but Tori, like poor you. <sighs> yeah, that's right, Tori. What's up? It is your birthday, and I am coming to you with a very special, very high greeting video <laughs> birthday message to tell you. Here I am, high <laughs> above the planet Earth uh, in more ways than one. I hope you like meatballs four. <laughs> <laughs> Remember in meatballs four when I found the aliens? Yeah, what, sh what should we end up watching? Should we watch meatballs four or busted? Oh, man. I mean, meatballs why choose? <laughs> I want to see Meatballs 4 because we but discovered Busted the other day. Busted is more like post. I mean, I guess Meatballs 4 is still post Corey fame, but Busted is with him. I don't know. We'll probably watch both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just back to back. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Just bumps a line on camera. <laughs> Uh, the so funny thing Tori, is, that's how uh, I'd sing all, if I was doing a cameo. But he thinks he's a singer, and he's singing the same way. Fan. And I also know that you have great musical taste because you are a music lover, a lover of all music, and you also play what is this? Oh, I wasn't sure. music. So... I love speaking with a Look how high he is. Oh, and he yeah, always man. talks about how he doesn't do drugs. Possible. Yeah. So, how do you I'm starting to, to the cracks are starting to show. I think he's back into drugs, you, you guys. And you I think? <laughs> you better have some proof to back that up, Murph. Yeah. yeah. How about 37 so, cameo videos? <laughs> happy 33rd I'll ask him birthday. in a 1999 chat. And you want drugs, bro? I just want yeah, to Yeah, why? <laughs> you got some? Oh, oh Jesus. What the fuck? What was that? That's his video. <laughs> I just to say fuck hi. you, Corey. What did he do? He already asked for a video for Gavin. So here's another message for Gavin. Ah, oh, my ears. I didn't want to mess anything up. So Gavin didn't want to mess anything up. Message. I'm going to say this one more time. He's doing it. This was my wish. This is his my dream. Oh, he's doing the Goonies thing. It still thing. didn't come true. So this was a true. correction one, too. And it sounds all fucked the up. It is to remind you of that. Oh, that no, no. really hurt. Yeah, it Maybe sounds like shit. Believe in your dreams. I don't want to mess this one up. Your dreams. <laughs> ah, my flashbang went Let off. Let me see. Here's his first one. Let me turn it down a little, just in case. Hello there. This is Corey Feldman. Oh no, it's fine. To you live and direct from my very Throws up. <laughs> location a bird flies into him. And Throws I up a, a bird. Special <laughs> video message for Gavin McCourt. What's up, Gavin? How's it going, buddy? Listen. Um, I know you're a big fan. I know you love movies like... I feel like cameo Dead users should be allowed to delete things if they don't go well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't just be stuck well, here forever. Corey Feldman, and I'm coming to you live and direct from my... Why, why can't you hear him on any of these? Quarantine of COVID He's got a fan. Haunted. He's totally uh, next to a fan yeah, yeah, or something where there's wind, like air blowing on him because that's sharing. what it does usually. Modern okay. cameras, like, share. they don't know how to... They, they try to, share. like, get rid of the white I noise, but then it just makes everything sound like shit. Yeah, but what about Virgin Mobile flip phones, which this was recorded on? You know what? <laughs> that too. Even have to ask, because I am a huge fan. I love your song. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Love after love. 
something like that. His Isn't joke singing is better than his anyway, real singing. Yeah. No, that's a different share. Okay, just joking. Anyway, listen, Ugh. share. Two hundred dollars, you got Sherry, this. Sherry, my yeah. friend, my good friend, Sherry. How are you? Listen, I've heard, I've heard that you've been dealing with a lot. Okay, I've heard that you've got this. this oh, this is going to be the thing that helps her. Thing in the way, and it's called cancer. Some <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's got time for it? It's it's, it's an annoying. inconvenience. What he thinks he's it's doing is being like, yeah, he thinks oh, he's like so you're, empowering you're, her. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. dealing with something what like oh cancer? Oh yeah, you're way stronger. You than got that. this. That, 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 that's waste not even of something you're worried. But instead, he's like, you're dealing with what? Yeah. Something stupid like only an idiot would have. Oh cancer? Fuck you. I got this sponge <laughs> dip, dipped in time. Chinese yeah, water. Really, <laughs> what well, was it that he made him? Oh uh, yeah, it was like a sponge dipped in like some sort of bomb or something. If put the bomb on? Put the bomb in your pussy? Picture, or Who told it? you to put the bomb in your pussy? I know specifically from the bean that you <laughs> are not your average cancer eh, survivor. Flat lines. Because you are already a survivor. Okay, I'll just say that. Man, but Corey, it's all first takes, huh? One take? Yeah. yeah. Let's one freestyle average. this cancer yeah, message. Up it, bro. One and done it, bro. regardless. You are a champ. You are a champion, and you are going to kick that cancer's ass. And you know why? Because you're not just some victim of a disease. No. It's an you inconvenience. You are the Sherry, the share. And you have all of the strength within you to fight this venomous disease by strictly believing... A snake bit you and gave you cancer. <laughs> and that's unfair. That's right. But I believe that positive mental outlook, positive energy, and a lot of prayer... Can go a long way. Yeah, so, look at all the stuff it got I me. I believe in you. I want to see you believe in yourself, and I want to see you have a lot of faith, whether you pray to God or whether you believe in, you know, the trees and the universe. Or couldn't even I think. Know, couldn't even think of another <laughs> religion. <laughs> what are the fucking trees? Firepower bigger than yourself. Nothing would make me I believe in God less than Corey's continued success and me having cancer. <laughs> and you deserve to live in <laughs> like, peace and I have cancer and, and this I'm guy's sure got cameo? Can overcome yeah, but he's ugly. obstacle that's in your way. So He does have like jowls please, like a dog. Hear my he's words, like dog jowls. Find the strength within yourself. He needs some nip tuck. Yeah, he's got a beak like a bird but dog's like a jowl. Dog's jowls like a dog. Yeah. He's like a Greek beast. Along the way, besides chemo, because we all know chemo is terrible. And my don't wife, do it. <laughs> so don't do it. Happens to be a health coach, Ugh. and she works very specifically. She's a health with coach. Ah, she is looking pretty healthy. So I would love to help you out. And she's been and dealing with health her whole life. That could help you. Yeah, so she shows up at a cancer patient's us, bed and like, oh, just start eating more uh, uh, veggies. To, uh, <laughs> Everyone's like, hey, get this dude out of here. Reach <laughs> out and maybe ask her a few questions, or she can give you a few tips or advice. Uh, but I do believe there are ways to beat cancer using natural uh, homeopathic remedies. Uh, please and also, don't. You know, just just. The Imagine really having cancer and then that's Corey's that's like, hey, story. by yeah. the way, magical um, curia. Want, is, this right, so is this what you wanted? Is this the video you wanted? By the way, you can hire my wife. She's very affordable. Yeah, just say a Goonies quote and sing a bad song and get, get, get fucked. Anything like that, then definitely hit us up and we will try and uh, get you some. If she hit him up, he would delete the email. He wouldn't even reply and pretend he was too busy or something. He'd just straight up ignore it and delete it.